Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us in. So make sure you don't miss our shows on a chanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. A very good morning to you. Yes, spring is here. Those beautiful daffodils are starting to push through the soil, come up through the grass and smile at us when we take the dog out for a walk, when we go with our friends for a stroll, when we can, of course. And as we drive to work, we see them at the side of the road. Aren't they beautiful? But daffodils, of course, don't have to stay with you just for the six weeks that they're blooming in the spring. Now you can have them all year round with your heartfelt creations, delightful daffodil I want it all, Ty said. I love that. Um, but it's not just your daffodil. You've got butterflies in here. You've got your hy um, hyacinths as well. So beautiful, beautiful flowers that will stay with you all year round. The price on your screen, if you're a Freedom member, you get extra discount. Yes, just 83.64 for you guys. And if you want to be a Freedom member, you can join today, triple eight, triple eight in your basket, and you will start saving and you won't pay any PMP. Now, it does say it's a one-day special, but it's not a one-day special. It was a one-day special, but we've bought it back at the same price for you because it was so, so busy. So we thought we'd treat you again. And in true heartfelt style, we have have the lovely Nikki with us. Good morning. How are you, Nikki? I'm really good, thank you. I was just perusing around your top then very, very quickly, giving you the once-over okay. of a morning uh, to see if you had any daffodils on I there. I don't. 
I don't have any. But you've got some on. blooming I marvelous have. I've flowers. I've got some beautiful flowers on you there. Thank certainly you certainly have. <laughs> uh, but you love flowers, don't you? Because you've, your history love flowers. Is, it's flowers. Is a, is flowers yes. and floristry. Yes, I trained as a florist back when I was 16. Oh, and that's and a trade you got many, from your dad, many isn't it? I did, yeah. And I did it for many, many years. And then I found Heartfelt when the children were a little bit younger. And here I am today. And it's lovely to have you company because, Thank of course, you. Um, when you see the demonstrations from Nikki as well, do take a moment to learn about composition because I think that's what you are so it is. good at. It is, and it's kind of, especially when you're using flowers and butterflies, it, if, you, if you don't get the composition right, um, that is an easel card, actually, if you just sort of, yeah, if you don't get the composition right, your, your card can just look a little bit too t lopsided. Yes, yeah. Here's a lovely example, actually, of what we're talking about here. We're using the paper pad, you get the paper pad included, you also get your red rubber stamps and your dies to cut out those images as well. Uh, so, yes, we're going to have some wonderful demonstrations throughout the show. Now, in your heartfelt creation, you have your stamps and your dies. The dies will cut out your images beautifully to save you from fussy cutting. You've got the images in the paper pad, but your stamps will give you that longevity. Not only because they're red rubber and they'll last pretty much a lifetime, but also the images that you see in the paper pad, you can stamp yourself and keep reproducing, which is absolutely beautiful. Red rubber, and they are mounted as well. And red rubber, of course, um, Nikki, means that they are so durable. You can use it with all your different techniques as well. Absolutely, yeah. And as a... Um, what I love about Heartfelt is they bring us the stamps, but they also bring us the coordinating die. Yes. Which makes it so easy for us to create absolutely stunning cards like this one here. That's that is beautiful. One of the design team have created. Isn't that lovely? It's the colours as well. I mean, I love daffodils. Yes. And I always, they are classed as a March and April flower. And it's a flower they that are. I don't think they stay long enough with us. They don't, unfortunately. You know, we, if you'll, you will probably see them in the supermarkets just yep. before Christmas. Yes. Because we kind of import them from over the um, water. But, yeah, you know, and it is a symbol, I think, of the summer coming, the spring. Yeah. It's really the first flowers that, that we see. And I always remember, going back to my florist days, children used to come in... And they would always buy the bunch of daffodils for their mum for, for Mother's Day. For mother, yeah, it is, it is a flower synonymous with Mother's Day, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And a flower that's taken on by some charities as well. You'll yes. see their badges. Absolutely gorgeous. Building up and creating your designs from the paper pad. We'll take you through the paper pad in a moment's time. Uh, but you can come up with some beautiful arrangements with mm. lots of dimension in there. It's available on Flexi Buy. Two pay, oh, three payments, sorry, of £30 and 93 pence making it affordable to you today but it's a freedom why not deal so remember if you join a freedom member today you will get that extra discount now the whole complete collection is there available to you but we also have some uh, essentials for you which is the paper pad and your first stamp and die set which gives you the butterfly it gives you the daffodil and it gives you that lovely uh, bunch of flowers in there as well which is gorgeous so that's your beautiful daffodil and butterfly, the stamp and the die included in that collection alongside your paper pad. 24 pages double-sided in your paper pad, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to go into Nikki, um, so not into Nikki, <laughs> well, really? we should go okay. into us. You wouldn't want to look Don't make a thing of it, it's too early. <laughs> it's too early. Right, so we're going to go deep into your soul uh, of flowers. And have a look at the paper. I'll just hand over to Nikki. Best. <laughs> so with all heartfelt paper pads, you have got 12 designs and 24 in total sheets. So you're getting two of each design. As you can see, you've got really kind of soft pastels in this. I really love the fact as well that you've got your pink daffodil in here. You've got your hyacinths in here. And then you've got some decorative um, elements as well which you will notice are from the decorative dies that we launched a few weeks ago but then you've got your larger size as well so you've got your pages if you want to do your scrapbooking maybe you want to cut it up into four maybe you want to make a large card 
completely up to you. And I always say that Heartfelt is more of a paper kit because you've got your ready-made panels in there, your matting and layering's being done for you. You've got a lot of images in here, so if you're new to card making, maybe you want to sort of just mat and layer these up with some of the dies that you have in your um it's not the one day special, is it? It's in your collection. It was, it was, it was a one day special. special. And yeah. we launched this a few weeks ago and it was absolutely crazy. And I actually did say, you know, we could have done another five shows, but we didn't have the stock, unfortunately. So we've brought it back for you today. And also last time I was on Skype. So you may not have quite clearly seen some of my demos. Um, but I'm here in the studio today, but just look at these. You've got your gorgeous butterflies in there as well. Absolutely stunning. They always bring us some decorative papers as well. So these are great for your background papers. Now the papers are available on their own if you want to go for extra papers. Maybe you bought it last time and you need more. $17.99 if you want to go for the paper pad. 727-089. Everything's on extended delivery, dispatching on the 3rd of March. Really love those butterflies. These are gorgeous, aren't they? And yes, you've got the dies that will coordinate with your papers as well. So if you want to make a nice, easy, quick card, you take your paper, um, your die. And wow. that will cut that out absolutely perfectly. But when you run out of that, if you're not going for another paper pad, you could use the stamp to stamp out the same image. And that's what's fabulous about these collections from Heartfelt. They give you a yes. test with the pads to use. Absolutely. Maybe you want to do a bunch of the daffodils, but you want to do them in orange or a different colour. But then you've got the, um, because you have got the stamps and dies, you've got the ability to do so. But as I say, it's always nice to have those elements to go to if you want to make a really nice, easy, quick card you've got your six by sixes in here as well so it covers your scrapbooking your mini album making your um, your home decor making but of course it also covers your card making as well and hopefully we will be able to go back to at some point this year um, into our craft um, uh, what do you call them? Craft workshops, workshops yeah. craft um, oh shows. So if you want to sell your cards, if you want to make your cards and sell them, we have a open policy that you can make as many as you like, as long as you are physically making them. And that last page, I love this one, Janice, because you've got your tags in here. But the nice thing is, you can stamp your own sentiments on it. So as I say, more of a paper kit than a paper certainly paper pad. And also, you can make lots and lots of cards from just one mm. paper pad. And daffodils, of course, yellow, and they can be white as well. They can, well, do you know, or? actually, Go on. I did some research on daffodils. Yes. And do you know, there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of varieties. Yes. You've got lots of them in your yellows, which is what you normally think. But do you know, you can get them in soft, peachy colours. You can get them in pink you can get them in cream white so you know it is a very versatile flower and yes we're thinking spring but maybe you know somebody that their favorite favorite flower is a daffodil yes let's not you, forget you you can do these use this for any time of the year you can use other collections that you may have maybe you want to put roses in on your card That's as good well idea. you know and other flowers this is just another flower collection that is so versatile i mean this one absolutely stunning Aren't isn't they lovely? that beautiful and, and don't forget your hyacinths as well because they're in there yes and they can bloom at christmas time they if you can plant bloom them in september any, yes mm. yeah absolutely so, so yeah, you know, and the thing is, you have got the ability to colour them any colour you like. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, you, you're like a little Mother Nature. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? It really is a beautiful... Oh, it's upside down. Hang and on a moment. And that one, what I did there was, I wanted to show everyone how you can use the elements from the paper pad. So I've done no colouring on that one. No. I've just added some pearls to one of the panels and added um, some of those die cuts that I've cut from the paper pad. I love the dimension you get into your cards as well, which is absolutely sensational. I think this one shows it really Look well. At Look at that. That I love one, that. in actual fact, you will get in your collection the instructions Will to you? create that exact this card. Oh, how lovely. That is fabulous. So when you get your kit home, this could be the very first card that you go to make. Can I show one more sample? Because this is incredible. 
Love that. Using some of the Gateway dyes from a couple of months ago, some acetate. I've created, you could put a candle, obviously not a real candle, like but an a LED candle, an LED candle. Um, Easter egg. <coughs> Easter egg in yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, this is perfect for Easter. Yeah, it certainly is. It's Isn't a beautiful it? collection for Easter and beyond. Um, £27.88. pence. That's your first payment. You've got another payment a month after that, another payment a month after that. Which poses the question, can we make, create and sell with these, Nikki? Oh, sorry, what was that? Can we make, create and sell with these? Yes, as many as you like. We've Excellent. got an open um, angel policy, as long as you are physically making something. I love that. It could be a little oh, Easter a little bonnet Lisa, as well. An Easter hat. Hat. I need I need a ribbon to tie it around. I'd like to wear this for the whole show. Okay, if that's okay. I'll leave you too. I love an Easter bonnet. Talking about Easter bonnets, tune oh, in on Sunday because oh, I'm back on. I am back on Sunday with yes. an Easter bonnet that I've created. Oh, yeah, <laughs> back it or not, and, and Janice didn't know that. So yes, I will be back on Sunday with an Easter bonnet. Oh, I hope it's me and I get to wear it. Yes, love an Easter bonnet, me. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm not oh, sure Nikki. if it'll fit. I'm not sure it's big enough, but... <laughs> well, you try to say. Right. <laughs> try to say I've got a big head. Well, wow. It probably will fit, actually. I'll stop. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, right, Nikki. Well, oh, by the way, if anyone has um, got this collection at home and you've made some cards and you want to share those with Nikki, our guests love to see what you guys have been up to uh, with the kits that you buy from us. I mean, if you want to tell us what you've been up to, you can also email in as well. Uh, it's studio at hochanda.com. But uh, what we're going to have a look at first are Nikki. Right, so we're going to create our first card. I was just plugging the die cutting machine in. Oh, that's you didn't all right. see me down there, no, did we you? Did. We didn't see um, you down there. So I've got all my elements here ready to create the card. But as you can see, I've coloured all of these in. Really easy to colour. Yep. I've got one of the larger daffodils. And what I love about these, you've got one daffodil that goes that way. And then you've got the other daffodil that will go the other way, which me, I can be a bit funny. You, you talked about the composition of putting a card together, but if they're both facing the same way, but I want them the opposite side of the card, I kind of get a little bit funny about it. So I really like the fact that you have got those um, daffodils that are opposite. I'm also using one of those gorgeous, like, um, uh, I can't think what it's called, like a spray of the daffodils. Yeah. I've done these in pink. As I say, you can get pink daffodils. And I've got some butterflies here. There we go. So the butterfly stamp and die comes in two. So you've got your stamp, which you will go ahead and stamp your daffodil, yeah. which I have done here in orange. And then you've got your die that will cut that out, which is that one there. So that will cut out the outer, but then you have a, another die that will create a beautiful kind of lace effect. So what I'm going to do is I will pop one of these through because I want another one. So I'm just going to do this on white card and I'm going to take my die cutting plates. Now I am using the go and emboss, but you can use a smaller machine because most of these will go through your smaller A5 machines. And then I'll just pop that through. And um, as I say, this is the kind of decorative part. Now I'm going to reverse it because I don't need it to go all the way yeah. through. And that's what I love about this um, machine. I like the butterflies as well um, because they're different. They're different. It's a, it's a lovely butterfly to use. It's really, really pretty. And if yeah. you look at this one, when I pop this through, so I'll just take my pokey tool. Really nice design on the wings as well. It's like a little fantasy butterfly. It is a fantasy. Yeah. But it's a heartfelt butterfly. It I think. Is. I think, you know, um, you can tell a heartfelt card from a mile away because they don't, you know, a butterfly to them is something like this. Look, I mean, look at that. <coughs> look at that die cut that I've just cut oh, out of those wings. Wow. Oh, Isn't I that like gorgeous? that, Nikki. How about doing one in gold, <coughs> though? You could, have, you, you could put and some layer embossing them up. powder on there as well. Uh, embossing powder. You can do them um, really pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take my dauber. So what colour shall we do? What have I done this one in green? and pink. So I'm going to take my green and pink ink, 
So I'm taking a dauber that I've used with my green. You like your daubers, don't you? And then a dauber that I haven't got one with pink, so I'll tell you what, we'll get a new one out. I love my daubers. Really, really easy and quick to do your colouring. And we and have some available on you, the show, actually. A set of 12 they are, yes. daubers. Finger daubers. Uh, and they're stackable as well, which is fantastic. Uh, so you get two packs, like so. Both of them stackable. And they're really easy just to take off, pop on your finger. Really comfortable. And it's the precision of the triangle on there. Rather than having circles, you've got that triangle. I am going to put one on each finger because that's just the way I do it. And they even might fit kind of on your thumb. Probably more like that. There you go. It does look a bit weird, doesn't it? This early in the morning. Oh, oh, a little bit of tapping. That's all I'll do in the next 50 minutes. No, I won't. But they are, they're really, really good because they will go on your finger. Because they're clear as well, Janice, you kind of see exactly where you're going. So I'm going to do the center of my butterfly in green and just blend that in. Of course, you can use your alcohol markers, you can use your pencils, you can use your paints. Yeah. But I just think when you're using your daubers, especially on the butterfly, look what a great effect you've got. It blends the colours, doesn't and it? And then I'm going to go in with the pink, and it ble yeah, it blends absolutely beautifully. And I always say, if I if you go in sort of like a little bit lighter, you can always go darker. So now I can add some darker around the edge. But oh. look how that's blended, really pretty and really easy. That is lovely. Okay. Now, we've had a picture sent in from Michelle. Good morning, Michelle. She, uh, she she's the cat's mother. Good morning. Uh, Michelle, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Michelle absolutely loves this collection. She adores the collection. Uh, it is one of uh, Michelle's favourites collection. Um, she doesn't have many uh, daffodils in her collection. And she made a quick Easter card. Oh, isn't that lovely? Using another brand and this that uh, is lovely. collection as well. Mm. Oh, that is really, really nice. That is really pretty. So I'm guessing that everyone's got theirs if they ordered it a few weeks ago. So it'd yeah. be lovely to see what you've created. Yeah, it certainly would. And don't miss out lovely. this time because we do still have it at that great price, saving £16 on the collection. You can buy the essentials. You can buy the sets of dies and stamps singularly if you want, well as pairs if you want to, so you can get set number three and you can get set number two, um, but you've got your, is it set four and three? Yes, those two that come with the uh, essential, yes. uh, with the paper pad. Mm -hmm. If you just want to go for those, you can do. And the paper pad is also available on its own for £17.99. And lots of people are going for that individually. Those of you that already have this collection clearly have used it up. Uh, so you need another pad. And some people, believe it or not, just buy the pad to keep because they can become collector's items. £27.88. That's your first payment if you're a Freedom member. No PMP to pay on top of that. And then another two free, um, another two payments after that. Now, it's a why not deal. So it means if you're not a Freedom member, if you want to become a Freedom member, then you are saving. It's a why not deal. You might as well become a Freedom member to make that extra 10% saving. So your Freedom membership is £5.97 a month. Um, if you put all of your savings together, including your PMP, it comes to £13.25. So you might as well become a Freedom member to make that extra saving and then have all the benefits of being a Freedom member for a month. And it will carry on. Uh, and if you want to stop your Freedom membership, you do need to get in touch and let us know. So there you go. Uh, lovely. Back to Nikki. So we've obviously coloured the butterfly in but what I want to do now is add some color as well to my kind of decorative wings so you can actually do this before you die cut it out so you can add the color to your white cardstock and then color um, and color and then die cut it out but what I'm doing is just added some green again in exactly the same way blending that in if you had some pattern paper, you could stamp you could use on paper. some pattern paper for your butterfly. Absolutely. That would look nice. Now, I'm, I might be making this up. I don't know. I might have dreamt it, but I'm sure somewhere along the line I've seen a black daffodil. Mm. 
I don't I know. Didn't Maybe see them the producer on my research, that for me. but I'd be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. I've, I've just got that in my head somewhere. I would not be surprised. I've you got can... a lot of things in my head. <laughs> that I've got in my head somewhere. So can't have a daff um sorry, a daffodil, a butterfly without a little bit of glitter. So I'm just going to add some um glue. So this is just PVA glue, and then what I do is I just dab it over my image. I wonder if somewhere in the world, universe, there's a butterfly now live on a crafting channel saying, you can't have a human being without a bit of glitter. <laughs> yes. Adding a bit of glitter to our hair right now <laughs> and adding it, it to a card. Look. It's pretty. There we go. Look. That is lovely, isn't look it? Look at that look. But you can see how we're using that door because it's kind of blended it really nice. Is he nice. smiling? Is that butterfly I think smiling? smiling. Yeah. It is. He's smiling. Oh, that's beautiful. That, cute? <laughs> that really is. And then the same with the decorative part of the wings. So I will just add my glitter. And there you go. Apparently, I don't think we can find an image of a black daffodil. I'm sure I've seen it now. Maybe you dreamt it. Maybe. That's, that is, that and is then lovely. I will just bring my daffodil, um, sorry, my butterfly. Add some glue just down the body and pop that down. I like the fact as well, when you pop it on, you're not covering that little face. No. Oh, I like that. Lift that up. And then what I like to do as well is just roll those butterfly wings using my finger and thumb. Lift that up and then... You've got dimension. Isn't that gorgeous? That is Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So what I'll do is, with the one that I did at home, do exactly the same. Just roll that. So they have added. So we're going to add two of the butterflies on okay. this. Okay. And then bring my card over. So I've already done my matting and layering on it. So I've got one of the 12 by 12s, and I've just cut part of it off to mat onto some nice bright yellow card and we will just pop that on the front so already it's looking like a pretty card yes but we have our decorative dies in our crafty stash if you are a heartfelt lover you will recognize these from the gateway dies that we launched a few weeks ago and i'm just going to pop one of those on there just a little bit of glue make sure it's straight don't really think a lot of glue went on there. And then just mat some of the other elements from those gateway dies. So it looks like I'm covering that image up, which I am yeah. to a degree, but you can still see it. Okay. And then I've cut um, one of the, using another one of the dies from the gateway, but I wanted the daffodils at the top okay. there. So there's that archway there. Oh, that's nice. And then I've got one of the kind of like gateways. I think we did some of these shows together, actually. Yeah, with Janice, the gates, didn't we? Yeah. Really versatile. And then just pop that over there so you can still see your daffodils through. And then I've got my daffodils that I just want to add some dimension to. So. Even though you haven't got three-dimensional daffodils in here, mm -hmm. does not mean we can't add dimension. So what I'm going to do, just go around the edge. Now we've got some shaping tools for you that Nikki is using, and we're going to pop the details on the screen for you. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. It is for your deluxe flower shaping kit. Um, it comes in a nice little case as well. You've got that magnetic clasp, so it keeps them nice and safe. And you open it up, and you've got your foam pad. You've also got a mini foam pad as well, which is in the top. And then you've got your tool, and you've got the 10 different nibs, all different sizes to start manipulating the paper and to start making your flowers. And it does add dimension when you're using your tool as well. Just to show you this card, you can see here as Nikki shapes her flower. Um, you can see you've got the opportunity to really bring it to life. I love that. So if you want to go for the deluxe 
flower shaping kit. There it is. Details on your screen. Um, and if you want to add this to your larger collection that you're going for, you can also divide the cost of this into three payments. And that's that'll be about nine ninety nine a month if you want to go for that. Beautiful packaging, actually. Very nice. Very nice. And very, very handy as well. It's got the details of all the uh, tools on the back. There you go. It's a really useful tool because you can add dimension to basically anything that you're putting on your card. So I've got one of the hyacinths and I'm going to top, turn that round and just in tiny little round motions, I'm just going in circular motions because that's kind of the pattern that I've got on the other side. And that's and your hyacinth. When I turn that around, oh, you've wow. got dimension to your hyacinth. I like that. Or yeah, grapes, I think, has just been mentioned. Yes, it could, could be, be grapes. <laughs> it, it could be. But like vine, like a, a vine, vine of grapes. So then I'm going to add my daffodil. So I'm going to use my glue gum. It's like the day of the triffids, that. Isn't it? It's a big daffodil. And my friend Lorraine actually did buy me a brand new glue gun. Um, so that's to use it on the show, but I, that's I, brought, not, I picked the wrong one up. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought this so. isn't a brand new one. No. So I'm just going to pop my daffodils each side of that gate. One at the top there, look. And then I've got my hyacinths. In actual fact, that's gone a little bit too far. Bring that down there a little bit. And then I've got my hyacinths. You know the weather's going to go up to 14 degrees next week. I hear. It'll be sunshine How every day. I so cannot a collection wait like to this get in is the going garden. to be very inspiring, isn't it? I definitely think so. 14 oh, degrees. I can't wait. Of March. But then, if you look further into the weather, it doesn't look good. Oh, thanks. So make the most of that weather. <laughs> They give us the good news, we're going to get some amazing weather, and then on the next bit of news, it is we are going to get a cold snap. And then this one, I'm going to pop just under there on the side. Oh, that's pretty. And again, just use my glue gun. And then I'm going to just kind of bring that so it comes over my gateway, but then I'm just going to lift it up slightly and then of course we've got those gorgeous butterflies so we'll pop one there because i kind of think just to leave the stems there yep. it looks unfinished so pop my butterfly there and my other butterfly just there and then i'm just going to take my scissors and just trim that stem off because I just don't think it's needed. Let me just, I could have done that before I added the butterfly actually. There we go. And just lift those wings up. And there you have an absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> That's lovely, Nikki. Isn't that beautiful? And how lovely was that to build up all of those different layers using the paper pad? Or, of course, using the stamps and dies that you're getting with that collection. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, the Thank paper you. pad, oh my word, this is proven to be very busy on its own. Uh, a beautiful collection, 24 sheets. They're all double-sided. Uh, maybe you want some inspiration to do one of those gate-style cards. Well, there's your inspiration right there on your paper. Beautiful for scrap, uh, scrapbooking. These are great also for just cutting out and using as elements on your cards. Scrapbooking, I think I've just said that. Uh, but so many different elements. Those are those larger um, flowers in there, those beautiful daffodils. And when you've used your paper pad for the inspiration, you've still got your stamps and your dies to continue building and creating some wonderful designs. You don't need to fussy cut anything out because you've got the dies to cut them out as well. Let me show you some samples uh, of what you can create. There you go. Uh, with your cards. Love this one. Isn't this pretty? Now this one has got three sets of butterfly wings on. So you've got the one there and then you've got the gold solid underneath and then you've got the stamped image or the image cut out from the paper pad. Beautiful how the daffodils go off the side of the card giving it dimension. This has been turned into um, a picture stand which is really easy actually. If you've got some card you slip it in between 
then you can create that stand so the card stands proud. Um, here's another lovely, beautiful design with the gate on there as well. So adding dimensions, spilling off from the card, which I really like. Um, it will still stand up and then inside you've still got the paper from the paper pad on the inside of the card. So you could put a sentiment there, uh, a little sentiment at the top there, which is really nice. You could create a nice little tag card, uh, which is beautiful. Um, you can still open that up and have that standing proud, which is really nice. Something like this you might want to keep on your mantelpiece, keep on your bedside table, um, not like a card that you'd normally get and then place in a drawer somewhere. Beautiful colours in there, very, very inspiring. Isn't this a lovely one as well? Hope you are better soon. Oh, isn't that lovely? So That's pretty. Using half or not, it is actually using half of the 12 by 12. Wow, just one sheet. So just one sheet. Wow, that is spectacular, isn't it? Now, we did talk about dimension, and uh, look at that for some dimension. Isn't that beautiful? Just turn that to the side. You can see you've got your butterfly standing proud from the card. You've also got your flowers as well using the shaping tool. Maybe you've got some shaping tools already, uh, and that's going to bring the elements out. Just bend that back here yeah, for the butterfly wing, which looks lovely. Um, great for Mother's Day. Great for Father's Day. I think um, daffodils are beautiful all year round. They only bloom for about six weeks of the year, but isn't it lovely to see them all round as well? And we do love butterflies, as a, uh, butterflies, uh, daffodils as a nation, because as Nikki says, you know, you can get daffodils at Christmas time because we import them. We love them that much. We import them from other countries when we can't get them here in the UK. So an absolute beautiful bouquet, uh, an array of flowers with your hyacinth. Let's not forget the hyacinth as well, because they're a lovely flower, aren't they? And they'll be pushing up through the soil um, soon as well. Uh, unless you planted them in September, then you'd have had some Christmas blooms. £30.98 is your first payment of three payments. Unless you're a Freedom member, it gets even better. You save even more. You're saving 25 29 And as a Freedom member, it's just £27.88 today. And you will get your dies and your stamps and the paper pad all delivered at the same time. So you're not buying in dribs and drabs. You just pay in dribs and drabs, which is better, isn't it? Uh, dispatch date is the 3rd of March, which is only 8 days away. Now we have a smaller option and that's the essential. So that's your paper pad and your set of dies with your butterfly. You've got your daffodil in there and then you've got your lovely bouquet or nature's bouquet of your hyacinths and your daffodils and you also have the dies to cut them out. So that's a great essentials uh, set for you. Now you might need somewhere to store all of your um, all of your stamps and your dies and we've got some great storage for you we certainly have i like this so pretty uh 12 pounds and 99 pence that is a great price three seven four four eight one uh four one eight sorry is your item number turn that aside it is perfect for the shelf and uh you've got that lovely spine there beautiful designs even that's inspiring isn't it uh, if i turn it this way you could add some details or some writing on there to say what collection you've got in there and you've got that magnetic clasp as well which keeps it all safe so inside you do have the binder and then you can put the inserts in and you can keep your dies and your stamps stored inside. And of course it depends on whether you're storing stamps or dies as opposed to how many you can fit in there. But that really is nice. If you want more than one, go for more than one and be inspired. You've got that little uh, pink tab on top so when you pick it up you can carry it over to wherever you are crafting. 374418 is your item number. Absolutely love that. Just to show you the back as well. Nice, isn't it? Now, we've got some inserts for you, um, and we'll go for the stamp storage first. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. There you go. So your stamp storage, these are brilliant. So these are your cling mounts. If you just stay there, I'm going to go and grab a stamp if I can. If I may, let's grab a stamp, take that out, um, and it just clings. So you don't need to do anything. Look, it just clings, and that's going to stay there, which is brilliant. And then that goes into your folder. Uh, so we'll open that up, just place that into the folder, 
and close it up. And then you've got it stored, which is brilliant, isn't it? And then you can put on the side that you've got your lovely daffodil collection stored in there. Very, very easy to do. You can take the stamp off or you can actually take the storage out as well and then take that to your crafting area. So $9.99 gets you 15 of the cling mounts for your stamps, which is brilliant uh, and excellent value for money. 021997 is your item number. We also have your die and stamp storage. This is brilliant. Okay, so what we've got here, one side is your cling mount for your stamps, which is great. And then the other side other side is magnetic so you put your die on there and you store that together so one side your stamp and the other side your die only 12.99 you get six of those great value for money it's worth it isn't it because it's, it's lovely to have everything stored together neatly and accessible and you do pay a lot for your collection so it's nice to keep them safe and if you've got a folder you can put these in a folder because you've got your uh, ringlets cut out already um, but if you want to go for the storage that we've got from heartfelt just to keep it all nice and neat then we also have that available for you as well so there you go so that's great storage for you uh, right what's the time oh 737 got about 80 minutes left of the show. Nikki, what we're going to have left? Uh, what we're going to have left? What we're going to see <laughs> next? <laughs> right. So we'll make another card, but this time I will be using one of the bouquets that we've got in the collection. So here's one that I coloured. Here's one that has just been stamped. If you want to have a look at the detail on that stamp, if I just hold that up, look at that look. Oh wow. There's a lot of detail in there. That? That is stamped. Isn't wow. that gorgeous? What colour did you stamp That with? was in archival olive green. That's lovely. I tend to do a lot of my flowers in this colour because then that means that I can colour it. So if I want to colour it pink or blue or yellow, it will go with any of the colours. So if you look, the green kind of just blends yeah, so really good idea. nicely. Good idea. There. But then, if you want to use the elements from the paper pad, I'll just show you one cut out from the paper pad. Oh, you see how pretty. beautifully it all cuts out? Yeah. And then, of course, you can have your butterflies from the paper pad. And like you said about that decorative die with the wings, I've die cut this out from the paper pad. Look, can you see the pattern wow. on you there? See, you wouldn't be able to fussy cut that out. And that's the I advantage of having no, the dies. You wouldn't. And then that would just pop on there, the same as it would do if you coloured it. But I just wanted to show you some of the elements. Then you've got your hyacinths that you can cut out from the paper pad. But then you can also, I have actually flower shaped these ones, but you can colour them yourself. So you've got the options there to do, um, as I say, really nice, easy, quick cards. But even with the paper pad, so say, for example, I want to add, I, I haven't got time to stamp and die cut. A friend just texted me and said, oh, I'm going to knit round for coffee. It's my birthday today. <gasps> oh, this is a scenario. Oh, I don't have a card. I thought okay. you were saying you don't have time. No, I don't have time to make a card. She'll be here in 10 minutes. But I have some elements from my paper pad that I've already cut out. But look, you can still add colour to it. So if you wanted to add a little bit more of a deeper pink oh, or some lovely. green, you can. And the paper still blends beautifully. That's lovely. Yeah, you know, like that. I mean, it happens to us all. I mean, obviously, I've got a house full of cards. Yeah. Um, I can't deny that. However, are you my bestest friend that would get one that's handmade by me? Aww. Only because I love to keep mine on display and I find it very hard to give them away. So if you've had a card <laughs> off of me, you know you're very special. Oh. So, um, so yes, use your elements. I've never had a paper card pad. off Nikki. Yeah, I've never uh, had a oh, card. What date was your birthday again? Well, if you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I've only said it three days. March. It's, it's, I'm going to say no. It's soon. Twenty third. March the twenty third. Don't let me forget. <laughs> wow. It's all right, don't so, worry about it, Nikki. It's okay. So you'll definitely get a handmade card, Janice. And well, then there's one that I've created, look. Again, using my daubers. Oh, that, is, that them is nice. And added it? the glitter. Yeah. I do love those butterflies, I really do. But you don't have to put that decorative part on there. They are pretty without. It depends yeah. what you're making. Of course. Um, so then I'm going to... So I've got one of the bouquets that I've already coloured. 
But what I want to do is I want two of the individual daffodils, those two big ones there. So I need two more. So I'm going to go in and I'm going in with a nice bright yellow. So using my watercolored pens, you could put those in a vase. You could draw a yes, vase, or so if you've got a stamp. In actual fact, that we have got collections, and I will think about the collections and which ones they are, with vases. Mm. Can you remember the um, urn that we brought I was out? Just about to say yes. That would be absolutely amazing. Actual fact, I think there's a card there somewhere with the urn. I'll have a look. I'll there have definitely a look. is because I do, I think do I know it. I've made one. Yes. Um, here, here we go. See the work beautifully, don't they? I mean, if you want to draw one or you've got a stamp, for example, that looks at that is a beautiful card. That is lovely. Isn't that great? That dimension. And then, I'm, so I've coloured them in in yellow, just literally just put that yellow over. And then look, just blend in with a slightly darker yellow around the dark. I mean, you can see where the artist actually put that dark anyway. Yeah, with the shading, with the... Um, like, so like so the you've got your shading already there. If you're not 100% sure, look through the paper pad. Look at the elements that have already been coloured in from the artist that's created them. Then I'm going to go in with my yellow again and just blend all that in. And when that dries, because I always find it dries slightly different. Yeah. So if you think, oh, I haven't got enough shading on there, just, just wait until it dries. Because I've used exactly the same colours on this one, but this one is totally dry. Look, um, actual fact, I'm going to tell a lie. I think I went in with a slightly darker orange as well. Mm. That's lovely, oh. though. So I think I will do exactly the same with this one. And um, just bring a little, just a tiny bit, just a few little flicks. And then blend that again. And then you get that little kind of bit of an orangey tone in there. Very nice. And then you're going to fussy cut them out, which I don't do very often because I don't have to with Heartfelt, because obviously they give us the dyes. But you want to fussy cut them out, look, and they are really, really easy to fussy cut out. So I've already gone ahead and done those two. And this one, I just need to add some dimension. So I'm taking my flower shaping tool again. And now this time I want a quite a smallish tip. And I'm going to go in very top, sort of like in backward forward motions to bring the, um, or oh, what do they call it? The trumpet of the tulip. The trumpet, so it yes, lifts of course. Up. And the trumpet of the daffodil, you Of the daffodil, not the tulip. Not the tulip. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you've got the tulip collection that we launched a few years ago. Yeah, true. How beautiful would that be? That would be to lovely. To work with this. And as you can see, that was flat, but now I've got dimension to it. And it looks three-dimensional, does it? It's escaping, it's alive. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I like that. It makes and a difference when you manipulate Where I've just it. gone around the edge, I have just noticed when I looked up to the camera, there's a little bit of white. So I can just go around the edge and just cover that up. If you don't like to see any white. There we go. Lovely. And then we're going to bring the card over. So this time... <clears throat> I'm using part of the 12 by 12. I've already stuck some of the blue paper down onto my card base. Added my foam tape. So this is one of the decorative papers from the paper pad. And you will recognise, if I pop this down, this element here, this beautiful image frame around those um, daffodils, yeah. is a die that we've actually brought out in the past. I can't remember which collection, but I do know I have it. <laughs> and, and that's what's really nice about Heartfelt. <laughs> you will see elements throughout your paper pad that you would have brought before in your crafty stash. If not, I do know we have some other items on um, the website, so take a look to see what's on there. So this is a decorative die that I've already die cut out. Now I've put some tiny bits. Now I've just put enough to oops lift it up okay because i don't want to put it all the way round, and i'll show you why in a second and then i'm just going to pop that down 
like that, just make sure it's straight. It's very elegant. <clears throat> very nice. So that is going to frame my flowers now. So I've already put some foam tape on my bouquet. So that will go, and this is why I said I don't want to put glue it all or um, put my foam tape all the way around. I want my flowers to sit under that frame like that so it kind of looks like it's coming under then I've got the same with my hyacinths so this time I will use some glue oops, from my glue gun Are you right there, Nikki? Just, just fell down <laughs> and just bring that behind that, sorry um, right. behind that bouquet <clears throat> And then I've got a blue one, so we'll pop a bit of blue up here. And yes, because it is a decorative frame, you can see the foam. However, when you're putting your card together, if you bear that in mind, so I know I'm going to have a butterfly up there, so we're going to pop that on now. That will cover that little bit of foam up. This one I'm not too worried about, you can't really see it. Um, then when I pop the flower, the rest of my flowers on, so this one I'm popping over my frame, like that, and then this one will go under, there, and this one oops, will go just behind there was going to cut it up actually because you can if you wanted just snip one of them away you don't have to put all three on there but that will just go under there if it will it's yeah nice that, <coughs> excuse me it's nice to have the bring elements that over coming off from the card isn't it yeah just bringing them off slightly I think um, really adds a little bit more interest to it so this one I just need to add some small bit of foam Tape. So I just really that pretty. Off. I like this. So you've got your soft colours on there, but then yeah. you've got the brightness of these yellow daffodils that I've coloured. But these could be pink. As I say, you can get peachy, whoops, peachy coloured daffodils. And then I'm just going to sit that over there. But oh, now I'm nice. decoupaging them up. Yeah, good idea. And then another one just there. And then I've got my other butterfly which I am just going to pop down there just to cover up those stems just there see something like that would look nice in a frame on the wall it would yeah, yeah. I mean I, you know it, it isn't all about card making home decor yeah definitely. present I mean can you imagine making a gorgeous sort of like frame that um, on uh, the top of a box of, like yes, a jewelry box or something a jewelry box. For your mum. But then if you wanted, you could just add a sentiment, which I'll add my sentiment, which is going to go just there. My, my wish, wish for you. For you. But yeah, you could make a card that coordinates with a <clears throat> um, piece of home decor. Yeah, that is beautiful. I love that. I really like that. Beautiful spring garden. It is a beautiful spring garden, but I'm also thinking summer as well. Yes, you know, don't definitely. just have your daffodils for springtime. Have them all year round. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, here's another card to show you, uh, which is similar to the one that Nikki has created with those beautiful flowers coming out of the framework there. Think of the frames that you've got at home. Uh, you've got the lovely butterflies as well. Dimension your butterflies up. Look at this. You've got the one, the two layers there, which look sensational then you can put your flowers over to one side remember your paper pad has the flowers in already but you can also stamp more out that's the beauty of buying the paper pad you have your images your ideas already there and then to start creating even further you've got your stamps and your dies to continue that's why this is fabulous value for money so whatever your taste is whatever the occasion is that you're making your card for they're going to look absolutely sensational whether it's a stepper card like this which looks gorgeous something like that you'll just want to keep out won't you uh, you could use your glossy accents and your glitter on your cards as well to add a little bit of deeper color it doesn't always have to be pastely love the fact that these have actually been stamped in black 
and they've got a lot is that more vibrancy with them. Completely yeah. different look, but the same stamps and dyes. I like that one. I like that one. I mm, thought it was just darker colours, but yeah, you're right. It's the it's the black um, edging of the stamps. Very very nice. So it could be a birthday card. Have your butterfly in the centre of those images. Really nice that, isn't it? And lovely array of flowers going around the outside, which is beautiful. You could use some of the paper pads on the inside of your card if you want to, or just leave it blank. Yeah. Yes, because you've got all those panels in there. Um, and if I was to give a card away, I would never, ever not decorate the inside of my card. Really? You'd always do something on the inside? I always use the some of the papers on the inside, yeah. Well, I suppose when you've got something as beautiful like this on the outside, you think to yourself, you need something mm. on the inside. And when you've got a stepper card like so, it's nice to use the corresponding papers with your designs so they all match up. Uh, yes, which is absolutely, brilliant. Yeah. Now this one again, let me just show you this one again. It's lovely, isn't it? Because you've got your three elements to this with the three uh, gateways. That isn't included in this particular uh, collection, but you might have one of those in a previous collection at home. But you do get your stamps and your dies. There is an essential collection, uh, but if you want to go for your paper pad, then that's also available on its own. Your paper pads are double-sided. This is what's going to give you that perfect inspiration. You've got your card toppers here. You could use these for your scrapbooking. You could use these for your journaling. Maybe a journal for the spring. How lovely would that be? Um, planting out and then taking pictures of your garden, of how it looks in the spring, and then maybe in the forthcoming months as well. You've got the inspiration of the gates on there, which you can use. You've got inspiration to put your flowers in a circular aperture. Maybe you've got some dyes at home as well. Um, beautiful areas on the actual uh, paper pad itself that you can start to cut into. You don't have to use it as a 12 by 12. You could cut into that if you want to. Uh, true to form with your heartfelt. You also have all the different smaller areas that you can work with as well. So have a peruse of that, be of that beautiful paper pad. And if you want another one, it's just £17.99. pence. Lots of people going for that because they've already bought the collection from the one day special. This is the same price as the one day special. We have bought it back because we didn't have enough stock last time. So we're giving you a second chance to get hold of those beautiful daffodils and your um, hyacinths, which are beautiful flowers for this time of year. Again, you've got the white daffodil, the yellow daffodil, the white and pink daffodil in there, um, which is beautiful. No black daffodils. I'm going to do a bit of research on that later because I am sure I've seen them somewhere, Nikki. I really have. I know you've, I've seen black tulips. Yes, maybe that's where I'm getting them mixed up then. Maybe that's where I'm getting them mixed up. <laughs> but um, look, we're crafters. We can do them any colour we like. Well, this is it. Oh, yes, we? when you stamp out your flowers, you can colour them any colour you like. You are the mother nature of your craft room. So that's your paper pad. That whole complete collection, uh, divisible by three payments, but we'll send everything out at the same time. And everything will be dispatched on the 3rd of March. So £27.88 pence today is your first payment as a Freedom member, getting you your paper pad and all of the dies and um, stamps included. Now, if you're not a Freedom member, you want to become a Freedom member to take advantage of that saving, you can, so why not deal? Uh, so your Freedom membership is £5.97 a month. That will continue until you contact us and tell you you don't want it anymore. Uh, the combined price is 108.93. The special price we've got for you today is 92.93. Lots of numbers on here, isn't there? Um, but with a Freedom discount, you get an extra 10% off. So it's worth becoming a Freedom member today to make that saving. The saving of £13.25, <coughs> that's the saving. Uh, the extra saving by being a Freedom member. It makes sense. Just become a Freedom member. <laughs> lots of numbers there this early lots in the morning. Lots of numbers the first thing in the morning, isn't yes, it? Yes, certainly but is. I honestly think it is absolutely definitely worth it. Yeah. But, you know, one thing I hate doing is paying for postage. Yeah, true. Uh, you're back at 10 o'clock, aren't you? I am. You Just are in a few hours' time. With Just Adam, I do believe. Uh, yes. Oh, you said that, like... Yes. With, with Adam, I do believe. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with you at all. It's just that I could see Adam in the background over there, and I thought, yes, oh, I'm look with Adam. Now, <laughs> looking over my shoulder. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Yes, Crafty Devils One Day Special is coming up next with Adam and Mel. Jewelry Box with Irene after that. And then Heartfelt Creations with the lovely Nikki and Adam.
Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on a Chanda and have some fun. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. It is eight o'clock and it can only mean one thing. I am so excited about this. Uh, we are talking crafty devils is what we're talking about. And when we talk about crafty devils, we're now talking stuff that's, and I mean this in the nicest possible way, usable. Stuff that you can gift, stuff that you can build and put your own flair onto it, but then gift it out and then other people can use it as well. 
It's practical, is the word we're looking for. It's practical, it's fun, and it's for any age which is what I also like as well. And you are getting a bundle and a half. There's new stuff thrown in here. There's crates, there's flowers, there's tissues, there's tags, there's um, wrap to go all the way around to make it. There's twine in there. There is so much, but before we talk about what we've got here, uh, I love working with Annex I don't work with her enough. Uh, normally via the world of Skype is where we normally do, which is live <laughs> in the studio. Uh, and Mel's here. Morning, Mel Love. Morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. Uh, first one day special. Yes. Very first one day special here at Chanda. And what a one day special you have bought us. This is a kit and a half. For the big events that we may have coming up, your Mother's Days, your Father's Days, birthdays, anniversaries that we've got, you have given us more or less everything we need. We have, and we've tried to cater for everybody. We've got um, feminine, um, masculine colours, um, Easter colours, so we've tried to cater for everybody. And you really, really have. Right, and let's go through this bundle to see what we're actually getting. We'll start with the MDF down the front. We'll start with the crates. What you are getting is you are getting a large, you're getting a medium, and I'm going to throw in two small crates for you, okay? So you're going to get two that are this size. Now, as I, as I just placed together, they're not glued together, but you can still sell this sturdy. That's the quality of the MDF you're looking at here. And that there is no glue in this. Myself and Megan just built them this morning. Um, there is no glue, so that's how sturdy it is. But look at the effects that you can get on your MDF crates. How beautiful is that? Now, you imagine that now filled with the black tissue paper that comes in. On top of that, handmade truffles, handmade chocolates, cupcakes that you're going to do, um, homemade, well, anything that's homemade. Maybe you're going to use it for dad. Maybe you're going to go down to one of those convenience stores um, at the uh, 99p a month, and you're going to fill it with tools. You're gonna, it's going to be dad's new toolbox. It's going to be full of gardening attire. So you can go from that, you could then go maybe go to the bathroom. So now start filling it with your bath bombs, uh, your flannels, maybe a little hand towel in there, maybe a little bottle of something that's like a little smell, a little lavender that's going to go in there. Then remember you're getting the shrimp wrap as well, so then you can wrap it all up and make it look really, really professional. As I've said before, I'm a massive fan of hampers. I absolutely adore them because they're quick, they're easy, but it looks like you've spent an absolute fortune. But then look at the larger crate that you're getting here, keeping all your crafty supplies. This is nice to have out and about in those cube units that everyone's buying at the moment. Um, you can normally get the drawers that you put in. Why not pop a crate in? Match it to your room, your decor. And you really can, because you can keep all your, the new paintbrushes, new paintbrushes that we've got on the show as well, beautiful brushes, uh, but you can keep all your crafty little goods in there. New crackle paste, just throwing it out there. Uh, but then you can keep everything in there that you already need. And that is just the crate. That is just one element uh, that we're looking at in there. Then we've also got your flowers. Now your flowers, once again, are absolutely stunning. That is the uh, other way, so you can have them either way. It reminds me of an old flower cart with the wheels that you've got currently on the back that's in there. But then we've just worked out just before we came on air and went, now, do two wine glasses and a bottle of wine fit in the centre of that? Well, yes it does. So now, imagine putting two wine glasses that you have created yourself. So you get the wine glasses, you decorate them, you pop in that little bottle, maybe for a loved one, maybe someone you haven't seen for a while. Uh, you shrink wrap it all up and it's good to go. How beautiful. £29.93. pence. We've not even touched on anything else yet. If you want more of the flower parts, uh, they're at the bottom of the screen. So you could get three as well, because you get one in this set and I can give you an extra two if you wanted as well. £12.99. pence. Right, let's press on. So we've got our, we've talked about the MDF. Well, we've even got more MDF because you've even thrown in tags. So we've now got ten tags of sorted sizes. So you could either use them uh, for your projects that you've got here. Or you could also use them for tags in general, for other projects that you want to use them for. And I had an idea last night when what? I was going to sleep. Um, so you could, if you're for our upcoming craft fairs and everything, you could use our blackboard paint on the tags. And then when you're at a craft fair, you could use your chalk pens. And as you've got a customer, you could actually personalise it with that name that they want on there. That'd be amazing. Yeah, really. I, uh, just. 
dreamt it. Popped into your head. Last I just dreamt it. Uh, is, uh, so we've got your MDF now. The one question we always ask, and I always ask the same as well, whether it's on air or off air, because I'm never, I'm, all, I'm never too sure with MDF. What glue do you use? Do you use PVA? Do you use the normal glue that you got? Do you have to go out and buy that special wood glue that you would use on units and shelves? No. You are getting MDF glue in here as well. A brand new. Uh, brand new for Crafty Devils, MDF glue that we're looking at at the moment. But am I right in saying that, and I'm sure, I, I didn't think I dreamt it, I think I watched it last night. You can more or less use this for an all sort of purpose glue, but you just haven't got the wiggle room with it. But obviously it's built for MDF, but you can, if you want, use it for your papers. And things. Yeah, that's right. Um, we've created this glue because people ask all the time, what glue can I use? So we've created okay. this lovely MDF glue. But as you said, um, I use it for everything now. So I use it for my papers and everything. You don't have that wiggle room. It dries quite quickly. So you've got like half a, half a minute to wiggle it and then it's done, set. That's good. So now it's going to be super sturdy and you're only, a little goes an awful long way. Uh, with this glue, a little goes an awful long way. £29.93, and I'm still not finished. Uh, so, we then move on to your baker's twine that we've got in here as well. Once again, you know why I had baker's twine? Because once you've got it in a collection, you've got it. So whether you use it to wrap up your goods, whether you use it with techniques and your paints and you change it that way and use it in there, it's always handy to have, especially with things like your tags uh, that you've got in there. Now, as the crafter, what do you use it for? So this time I've used it to tie up my um, cellophane, um, but also I just like the whole um, natural look of the twine. So on my tags and everything, I just, I just like that natural kind of look. And it is, and as we said, we talked about the cellophane, you're also getting uh, the cellophane thrown in as well. Um, that is a lot of cellophane on That's that quite roll. a lot in there, yeah. That is an awful lot. I just thought you were going to get a little bit just to do like one of them. Uh, by the looks of it, they're on there, you are going to get enough uh, to wrap most of your goods that you've already got here as well. And then, oh yeah, there's more. Uh, then, you're also getting 40 sheets of tissue paper. Now, if I would have thought about this, I should have got one of these out because these are absolutely huge. Have you got a spare one? I might right. have one here. Yeah. Look at the size that you are getting of your tissue paper. And that is just one sheet. You are getting 40 sheets of your fuchsia pink, your burgundy, your blue, your yellow, your black, and your red that's in there of that size. Yeah. So it goes a long way. Oh my word. So now I'm thinking, start covering your projects in them. Yes. Use them, scrunch them, use them as texture that you get. Because you have got a lot and all these beautiful colours uh, that you've got running through. £29 and 93 pence. 591622 is your item number. It works out to be just under £2 a project. That's including your tags that you've got in there and doesn't even take the cost of the glue, the uh, twine, the cellophane. I've not even added that in uh, to that. So it's just under £2 a project is what you're looking at. 591622 is your item number, £29.93. This is what it looks like when it will come to you. Look at the amount you are getting there. You are getting so much, and they're so easy to put together. They really, really are. I, I didn't have any instructions this morning. I literally uh, just walked in and we made them. It was quite, it was quite self-explanatory. You get an awful lot in this. If you want additional crates, though, I've got a set of three of additional crates. One large, one medium, one small. Thirteen pounds ninety-nine pence uh, for your set of crates that you're getting here. Five two three nine five three is your item number. Nearly a third of the stock has already gone here. Brand new today. These crates and flowers uh, not been seen before. Brand new one-day special with Crafty Devils, and never been a one-day special before. Uh, and what a cracking little deal! Right then, the next one. Uh, you're getting two flower pots. Now, obviously, yours will both arrive like this. We've made one up in this MDF form, and now you can see what it looks like when you've had a little tinker and a little play with it. Obviously, you don't get the wine glasses, and you don't get the Prosecco in there either. We're just showing you the size and the capability that you can use with these. These would look also uh, lovely with um, Oasis in the bottom and with uh, flowers. Yeah, and well, I have another thing as I was going to sleep um, I thought um, a lot of people um, don't have gardens um, and they have balconies or anything so I thought if you um, put a sealant on them 
you could put herbs in them outside nice. so that you've got that flower element but you've also got your herbs growing in them or even indoors like if you get a little one just about yes. line it with like a little black bag or one of the zip lock bags so the water doesn't come yeah. out pop your tissue bit of cress in there bit of chives bit of mint in there as well uh, how beautiful would that be a little bit of lavender uh, popped in there mm. if you wanted to obviously obviously you would have to line uh, the inside but it's really deep so you've got a really deep uh, base in there also just thinking outside the box uh, nice on your crafty desk for your brushes and things put your pens in yes if you want you know when you when you always want somewhere you know if you're doodling you've always need that pen part you always need that somewhere to put your pens and put your things uh, have it on your desk you have it on your desk. It's down to you to whatever you want to use it as. Uh, weatherproof it and put it outside, as we've just said as well, would be a lot easier to do. Uh, that's all right, babe. Uh, 12 pounds <laughs> and 99 pence. I thought I'd say it again. Uh, 971073 is your item number uh, for this one as well. Uh, you're getting two of them, but you can see what you can achieve. Imagine going in with the Crafty Devils Gilding Flex, and we've also got uh, the glue on, on the show as well for the glass and uh, for everything else. Uh, it's worth having a little go because you can really now. Um, I know my family, some of my family now over in Birmingham have started crafting since watching the channel and things like that. They're like, we want to give this a go. What can we use? And they like doing etchings on glasses. This is a perfect way to display. And imagine when the shows do come back, fingers crossed by the end of the year, you can start selling your wares as well. Something else that's extremely, extremely busy are the art boards that we also have on the show. Uh, with the art boards that we also have here, you're getting a load of designs. Uh, you're getting your circle, you're getting your hexagon uh, that's in there, you're getting your rectangle, and you're also getting your square as well. But once again, a good size. So what can we do with art boards, Mel? So um, using all your different um, structure pastes, your mousses, everything, design something that's unique to you, or something that you know your friend's going to love. Use a picture for it, do like a scrapbook page on it. Um, so just a lovely gift for someone. Or just, you know, a food planner, menu planner. Yes, that would be, uh, that, yeah, that'd be not, imagine doing that. Uh, once again, blackboard paint. Yes, the Going lovely blackboard paint. blackboard paint on there. Um, obviously, this is not blackboard paint, but I was just, I was just. <laughs> oh, look at that, this is from Jill Humphrey. How cute is that? If you oh, had a little photo in the middle, wedding photo, um, spring garden. That'd be nice. Lovely. Just hang it on your wall. In a little frame as well, because you can buy 12 by 12 frames as well, mm. like I noticed the other day uh, in Wilco's. Uh, other stores are available. Uh, but <laughs> you can buy little 12 by 12 frames now, so you could just pop these into the back of the 12 by 12 frame, take the glass out the front, and you could frame it because you've already got uh, your backboards already in there. It works out to one pounds and forty two per board is what you're looking at at uh, good old sizes of boards as well uh, it's worth having 16 pounds 99 pence i'd pop it into your basket 977314 is your item number uh, we are very very busy the quickest and the easiest thing to do because there's so much new stuff on the show is jump to the website uh, you've got um, the crackle that we saw last night. Hopefully we'll demo that during this hour. If not, we'll do it during the 12 o'clock hour. Uh, the crackle is absolutely phenomenal. You paint, you crackle, you paint is how it works with that. See, I did watch last night. Uh, you paint, you crackle and you paint. That's how I spent my Monday evening. Uh, but that's how it works. And you get this cracking, no pun intended, uh, crackle that's on there that looks amazing and very quick and effective to do so you can get that age look uh, especially on your boxes uh, that are in your one day special the palette sells out time and time again five star reviews look how many five star reviews we have on this show uh, for the products that crafty devils bring us uh, we've also got the magnetic sheets in there you've also got the pair of magnets to do clasps and to do clips maybe you're going to put magnets in your little boxes uh, so you can stick stuff to them the gilding flakes the gesso now i know about the gesso because i'm covered in it still to this day i'm still finding it on trousers and jeans from last time i bought it to you uh, you've also got the snow on the show the 3d snow blackboard paint i could go on and on and on if it was me i would definitely be putting the one day special into my basket if it was me i would definitely be putting the gesso into my basket as well black or white it's entirely up to you whatever you use the most uh, it's in like a squeezy sauce bottle so it doesn't just run everywhere it's phenomenal it really is and a little goes a long way we're still finding it around this set now when i last used it um, and also <coughs> oh i'm getting all excited 
um, I'd pop the crackle in there and the new paintbrushes. The paintbrushes are amazing. They really, really are the top quality. They're the, the finest quality I've seen in a paintbrush for a very, very long time. Uh, write your details for your one-day special are on the screen. £29.93, 591 I'm getting all excited. I need to calm down. It's a long day. Right, Mel, what are we up to? I'm, Quarter I'm, past eight in the morning. I've got another three hours yet. I, I'm tired just listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> how can you keep going? <laughs> you and the nation. I feel like you and the nation. What do you have for breakfast? I need Nothing. some. <laughs> <laughs> Just a cup of tea that my producer spilt everywhere. <laughs> So I'm going to put together um, our crates just to show you how easy they are to put together and I'm using our lovely new MDF glue. Now usually you will have seen me, maybe if you've watched, um, <laughs> use um, tape to hold it together but with this MDF glue I'm not going to use any tape because it's really strong stuff. Do we need um, to wipe away the excess or does it dry clear? No, away? it dries clear. Oh. So, and it comes in a lovely, uh, a lovely size bottle. It's really, this bottle is, sounds really silly, but it's really nice to hold. Oh, I know so what you, mean. you haven't got a massive bottle in your hand. Um, it's just really you can nice. You get to the finer details as well, can't you? Like, it's not one of these massive bottles that if, if you are going to squeeze it, it's going to go everywhere. You haven't, you haven't got to be scared of it. You're always in control. That's it. it. It's really nice and easy to squeeze. It's really, like, um, flexible. Um, so I just, it's, it's my new go-to glue. It's amazing. Can we get the glue on its own? Yes. Oh, it's sold out individually. The only way of getting the glue now is going for the big bundle. Oh. Might be able to get some more of that. <gasps> we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Join me at 12 o'clock. I'll see what I can do for the glue on its own. We'll see. Make a phone call. So, I'm just, this is the, oh, <clears throat> this is the most awkward bit because you're working from the top and that's the most awkward bit there. The crate is put together. So, I've just got the bottom to put on. Do you, but everyone says different things. Every time we do a, an MDF show, everyone says different. Do you build first, then decorate? Do you decorate, then build? How does it work? So I would always recommend building first and then decorating. Okay. Because MDF is such a porous surface, um, if you're painting or using a medium on it, it's going to swell slightly. Wow. Now, with our MDF, it's laser cut to precision. So if it swells slightly, it's not going to slot together as well. Okay. So you might have to file a bit. Um, if you are decorating with your papers, use your MDF as a stencil, draw around it, cut your papers out, um, put your MDF together and then stick your papers on. Um, it's just, and again, if you are painting or using a medium on there, please use your gesso. <laughs> please, please use gesso. Priming it is just going to save you a fortune in your expensive paints. I suppose it's a prime, it's, it, um, it absorbs in, isn't it? So don't go straight on with your colour because it will just absorb in and you won't get any colour. You'll get the colour on there, but it'll be dull. It, you it will your gesso, be. Your gesso's on the bottom of the screen. £9.99 pence is what you're looking at. Uh, that's for the white. They are amazing. 500 mils of gesso in a little squeezy bottle. And the only way I can describe the bottles are like sauce bottles. I've got one here. Um, it literally, you squeeze the button. When you squeeze it, the gesso will come out until that point. It will not come out, and it's a flip lid as well. None of these screw lids where you have to taste it out or anything like that. They are amazing. Um, demo of the year. That, that, if that doesn't get you an award, nothing will. Uh, a little nine wiggle. Pounds, <laughs> and 99 pence. That can be the opening of your, of your website. Just, just so. <laughs> at 397. What are reading? 397 417 is your item number. Uh, for the white gesso, black gesso is at the bottom of the screen. And a little goes a long way. Trust me, from experience, a little goes a long way. So, because MDF is such a porous surface, your gesso will absorb straight into your MDF. Whereas if you're using your expensive paints, if you paint straight onto MDF, you're not going to get the vibrancy of colour. The difference between the black and the white gesso, 
the white gesso, you're going to get the vibrant colour. If you use a black gesso as um, your base, your paint that goes on top is going to be a bit deeper in colour, not as bright, but it's just going to have that kind of like rich, deep feeling to it. So depending on your project, but don't be afraid of the black gesso. Some people are afraid of the black gesso. Don't be. It's a real, real game changer when, especially if you're doing male stuff, you don't want it too bright. Um, it's a real, real, real nice gesso. Please use gesso. <laughs> so this is our large crate and we had a really good question um, last night. Um, they wanted to know the size. So I'm just going to measure it and if I can see it because I haven't got my glasses on because um, I've left them in the car. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> who knows what's going to happen today. So we are 18 centimetres wide. We are good size. 27 centimetres long. So that is a decent size for the largest crate that you're looking at. So there's been all the others. Um, and then what's the height? The height is 15 centimetres. You are getting a real large crate uh, that you can see here. And obviously then I've stacked all the little ones inside just so you can see the size difference uh, of the openings and the depths that you're getting in there as well. How beautiful are these? These are absolutely stunning. Um, also remember... Because you, normally when you think of a crate, you think of a crate this way and you put stuff on the inside. If you're displaying for shows, there is nothing stopping you turning your crate around and displaying it this way. I love, and you'll see all the time when we've been tinkering, uh, tiered systems. So because you've got the different sizes that are already in here, you gesso all the way around, you can start tearing down. Start displaying your cards. Start, if you're making to sell for these online stores, you want to start looking professional. Well, start tearing your cards down. Start making your stuff, your jewellery and things like that. A crate doesn't have to be a crate that you put stuff in. You can also use it to display stuff as well. Uh, maybe you're going to pop all your cards in there long ways uh, so people can ferry through them. It's entirely up to you. Right then, what are we up to now? Nearly 50% of the stock now has already gone for this one day special. We are very, very busy uh, for 22 minutes past eight on a Tuesday morning. On. Again, just using my MDF glue and just, I, so I like, I love, I love decorating these and your idea of putting them upside down, but also um, a lot of people use them in their kitchens and bathrooms as shelves. Yeah, well I've got um, crates of shelves in my um, kitchen. My, my mum has and I just thought, do you know what? If you decorate the inside, have that on your kitchen. Nice little cup and saucer inside. Yeah. That's or like, think like condiments and things like that. Yes. Because there's nothing worse than going to the kitchen and you have to walk back with the salt and pepper and you have to walk back with the sauce. And we have all ours in a little basket. But you could create yours that match... Uh, look at me with my arms folded. Uh, that you could uh, you could create yours and then leave it in your cupboard and just bring it out every single time. I, I, I don't think you can go wrong with a crate. There is so many things. You can never have enough storage in my eyes. I'm definitely going to have one of these for um, barbecue weather to put all my cutlery and yes. my condiments in because I am so fed up of how many trips to the kitchen do you get? And I just think those on the table in the garden, um, even Imagine. some wild flowers in there, weddings, this is endless, endless. You could literally, oh I love this already. Uh, you could literally go for your condiments in the bottom, you could have napkins in the top, you could have paper plates in the smaller one, uh, so you really then are good to go. And you could just build up and go, you could go crazy with them all. I love them, absolutely love them. And you could theme them to your garden. 50% of the stock already gone. One trip. That's, that's, that's what I'm liking, one trip. One trip. One, one trip. trip. From the one, trip. <laughs> one trip from the kitchen to the garden. So once your paper's on there, I'm a big fan. So when you've cut your papers out, you've stenciled around them and you've cut them out, they are going to be slightly bigger than your MDF. And I'm a huge fan of sanding and filing. Okay. Just to get, <laughs> I you get your DIY. <laughs> <laughs> Who does the DIY in our house? Um, 
<laughs> no, we've got a man. No, no, we, got a man. <laughs> we have a man who lives in the East Wing. You know, no, we don't. Looks after the acres of land. <laughs> it's my son-in-law, right? Uh, <laughs> so, just file the edges. <laughs> <laughs> to get that real clean finish. So you'll see, usually you would wait for your glue to dry properly. Hence I'm holding my papers. In fact, I'm going to use my other little file because it's a bit sharper. There we go. So you see it coming off. Also, as you're doing this, you're filing on the burnt edge where the laser has burnt the edge of the oh. MDF. Um, so you're filing that edge as well. So you get a different colour there. So it does look a bit aged. So it comes through a bit lighter. Can you see it's coming through just the yeah, edge bit? It's a little bit lighter. I just really like that finish. I suppose there's no other way of getting the finish because that's going to be hard to cut those little bits off. Yeah. And it's going to give you, a, I'm guessing, a professional look to your work because it will all be beveled together. So it will all have that rounded edge. The paper will have the edge. The MDF will have the edge on it as well. That's it. I mean, you could do it with a craft knife, um, but I just think this just gets that flush look to it. So carry on doing that. And then the end bit. Now my glue, see my glue is nearly dry. So we just cut that end bit. Yeah. Nice and easy. Look at this. Nice in a child's bedroom. Yeah, so and, and lovely if you've got a friend who's having a baby. <gasps> Because then not only have you gifted them sort of like some bibs or some nappies or some um, toiletries for baby, then you, they've got something to keep for baby's bedroom. No, that'd be nice. You know, little teddy bear in there. Little baby grow, little sock. Yes. Because um, I know a lot of people have these nappy cakes yes. or whatever. But once they're taken apart, that's it, it's but gone, isn't it? You, you just use the nappies. And you always need storage for children. Always. Always, always need storage. Uh, they'd, they'd be nice for a little um, uh, sort of dog treats or dog toys. Oh, we've got one down there for done in oh, doggy. Yeah, look. We've also got the MDF on the show as well, so you can uh, name them. But imagine these now full of your dog treats. Uh, that you've got in there, maybe the tool and the leads that's going to go in there as well. Maybe you're going to use some of the bigger ones. Uh, these are absolutely beautiful and there is so much you can do with them. Uh, let me show you uh, what you're actually getting with said pointer. So uh, we are looking at a set of crates. You are getting one large crate that's here. You are getting one medium crate and I will give you two of the smaller crates uh, that you're going to be getting. So that's four crates is what you're getting, two small, one large, one medium. Uh, on top of that, uh, you're now also going to get one of the flower pods uh, in there. Now, the flower pods are huge. They really, really are massive. They're really deep in there. Well, we, you can see how deep it is because we've got two standard wine glasses and a bottle of Prosecco uh, in our one that is just here, which is absolutely uh, beautiful. Um, now, imagine using that and then going on with that, and then going on with your tags. You're going to get the different size tags. You're going to get 10 different size tags that you can see there, and these ones I've also got in my hand. Uh, you're going to get everything that you see here, beautifully laser cut with precision, uh, out of your MDF that we're looking at, which is beautiful. Uh, from there, we're then going to the brand new. Now, you can't get it on its own just yet. Uh, but you can get it now in this bundle, your MDF glue that we're looking at. Uh, brand new from Crafty Devils. This is, uh, it's got less wiggle room on it. You can use it on your papers if you just saw Mel do. It's got less wiggle room, which means it's going to stick sturdy. It's going to stick tight uh, when you get this home uh, for your... Uh, for your projects. Uh, what you've also got as well is you've also got your baker's twine. Now your baker's twine is in there, one to give you detail, 
and two to go with the wrap that we've also got on the show. So now you can create these beautiful, beautiful wraps uh, that you've got going around your actual projects. Then on top of that, we're also going to throw in 40 sheets of tissue paper, not A4. Da, 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 da. These are huge. These are massive pieces of tissue paper that you are looking at here. All of these for £29.93 and pence with a £13 saving. This is the very first Crafty Devils one-day special. And what a one-day special it already is. I'm getting excited again. I can't swallow. Uh, 591622 is your item number. This is how it all arrives. When it comes through your door, when Pop It In Pete throws it in your mat, that's what it will look like just there. Um, and remember, if you're a Freedom member, uh, it's a delivered price to your door. That's £29.93 uh, is what we're going to at the moment. Uh, well worth having a little look at this. 591-622 is your item number. Right then, something else that I've got on the show... Sentiments and the hearts. Let's talk about the hearts first. Uh, the hearts that you're getting here, they simply just pop out. Okay, so they literally just pop out. Uh, obviously, you've got the heart in itself, but now imagine using this once you've popped them all out as a stencil, maybe. Maybe you're going to use them as a stencil. Maybe you're going to use it uh, as the front of a card or something like that. But how beautiful uh, is all that? But then, you've got to throw in the dog. You've got to have a bit of the dog that's in there, the little dog paw print. Because it'd be a cat paw print, I'm guessing, if you wanted it to. Then, look at the words. Grandad, grandma, gramps that's in there. You very rarely see gramps. I love it. Brother, sister, dad, mum, uh, nan, dog and cat that's in there. All of these, maybe for cards, maybe for... Well, for anything that you want to use them for. Mixed media projects that you might want to use them for. Scrapbooks, albums, those sorts of things. Up to you, but for 9 99 I would definitely be throwing them in to my flexible basket if I was you. Uh, you're getting 25 of the hearts, and maybe you're going to do your weekly menu. Maybe you're going to do your weekly menu that you've got there using some of the hearts, uh, using the chalkboard paint that we've also got on the show. Maybe you're going to put a border of hearts around your little crate. Just a nice border of hearts, and, that, and that's, going to be a, that's going to be the lovely box. A three... Oh, here, here she goes. She's, she's, she's woke up. She's joined the party. Uh, three Ameg, 3D box frame, she's saying. Little slit in the top. You write your little love messages on these and you pop them in. Pop them in, like a little thought of the day. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, kindness. Have a good marriage. Things like that. How beautiful would that be? Uh, but uh, you can do all that for £9.99. Crafty Devils, MDF, Mixed, uh, Sentiments and Hearts as well. 022442 is your item number. Oh, look at that. I don't know where we are. Oh, oh we're all over there. Uh, it's beautiful things uh, that you can create. And then you've got your dog treats and there's the paw on the side. So you could use that as a stencil if you wanted to as well. Uh, something else that we've got on the show is your Easter sentiments. These are... Beautiful. Now, they're all in one. They all come in one large form, okay? So you've got Easter Bunny special delivery. Now, imagine doing these on the front of your crates, and that's where you're going to put your Easter eggs. Um, if it was me, I'd use um, sticky glue dots so you can take them off and reuse them. Uh, so then you can use your crates for other things as well. <gasps> Christmas crates. I know I shouldn't say the C word, uh, but, you know, uh, Christmas Eve crates... I know we're not even on them projects, but I've just thought about it before I forget it. Someone remind me when we get back. Uh, then you've got Easter Bunny special deliveries. You are getting six Easter special delivery sentiments for nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, nine two. Oh, I'll start that again. Two zero nine three four seven. I'm getting all excited. Getting all giddy. Uh, nine ninety nine with a five pound saving is what you're looking at this as well. Two zero nine three four seven is your item number. Staying with Easter. We've got the shapes. I am a shape. Uh, you've got a half price deal on this as well. You're saving £10. Oh, I don't need to do that. Uh, you've got things like the egg. You've got the basket. You've got the bunny. You've got the chick. Uh, and you've got the egg as well, which means now you can also create bunting. Uh, if you want to create beautiful bunting, uh, you can create small gift bags if you wanted to create the bags as well. Uh, we've also got the bunting using the baker's twine uh, that you can see currently on our television screens. Uh, on your television screen, which is on our television screen. Uh, so you've got all of those 
and you're getting 25 of them. 25 is what you are getting. Absolutely adore them. And look lovely on your crates as well. So imagine, oh, for the kitchen. Maybe this could, maybe you can use it for your eggs. Little egg crate, fill it with uh, tissue and things like that so it pads out. Use it as a little egg crate uh, with your chicken on there. If you've got your own chicks, maybe this is what you're going to take out when you go and get your eggs from Hetty the Hen. Pop them in there. I'd love chickens. Uh, I wonder if you can. Nine pounds and 99 pence, 966570 is your item number. Uh, then, you've also got the stencil. Oh, the bag's over there. Yeah, then you've got the... Oh, I wonder if that has been stenciled through. It looks like... Has the crate that's behind you with the bag of the Easter egg, has that been stenciled through the egg on the box of the back? No, that's one... Uh, that's... So this one here, has that been used from that? Oh, it may have been. Oh, you say? May have been. I don't. I don't know. One Let's of our design yes. team did that, but it looks like it. It looks yes. like it. We'll go with yes because it, it sounds good for my editorial. Yeah. Uh, nine pounds <laughs> and ninety-nine pence. Uh, you could also use it as a stencil, as we've just found out. Nine six six five seven zero is your item number. Uh, then we've also got the hearts. I'm all over the shop. Uh, we've got a set of 30 of three different sizes uh, is what you're looking at. Uh, so you've got your small, you've got your medium, and you've also got your large as well. Uh, but imagine turning them into things that look like these. So now going in with your uh, sticky foil that we've got on the show, your sticky glitter sheets uh, that I've got on the show, uh, you can now create uh, your own, uh, but it's, uh, the glitter doesn't come off. But you're getting loads of them. You're getting absolutely loads. You, go, you get your large, then you get your medium, I knew I shouldn't have touched these. It was me that stood them up. Uh, then you also get the small in there as well. You're getting 10 of each. This is what it'll look like uh, when it comes home. Uh, no, it's the same hearts. No, it's the same hearts. No. Uh, you're getting all the hearts. £11.99. pence. Uh, have a little look. Let's pop them into the crate. We've got another heart bundle. This is a set of 25 that you're looking at now. The set, of, set of 30. Uh, you get a set of 30 hearts, the same shape, but just more of them uh, in a sorted sizes. So you get, you get the, even the dinkier ones in this one. Uh, the set I've just showed you, you get the three of the larger ones, but you also get two of the smaller ones now as well. Nine pounds and 99 pence that you're also looking at for this. Very busy across the board this morning. Uh, we've got more tags on the show. Oh, these are the large ones. These fly out the door time and time again. Uh, these are so busy. These are super large tags as well. They are absolutely mahoosive. Um, it's worth having a little look at these if I was you. Uh, something else is worth having a little look at. The round tags, you've already found them. Um, you get a lot of the 80 round MDF tags as well. You get a lot of these as well, and they're half price deals. Uh, have a little look as well. We've got brand new paintbrushes, brand new crackles, uh, brand new everything. There's loads of new on this show. Um, and I'm trying to get more glue out of Belle, but it's not working at the moment. I'm going to try for 12 o'clock, so stay with me. Uh, what are we up to now? <laughs> so I'm just doing a lovely little tag to match my crate, ah. which you get in your um, one day special. So I've covered mine in paper, and that is just going to match my crate when I put some little bits in it. But um, I don't, what, how are we doing for time? We've I got really, about 15 minutes. I really want to show you. I'm going to finish that crate and show you it on the next hour. Okay. But I really, because I really, really want to show you. Our oh, crackle. Yes, 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 yes. I yes, want yes, to show yes. you the crackle. So, paint your MDF is your first. So, PCP. PCP. Paint, PC. crackle, paint. Yes. Well done. To homework achieved. You see, I did my Gold research. star. <laughs> so, paint your MDF. Now, this is probably the only time I would ever not use my gesso oh, okay. because it really doesn't matter because you only want that colour, that colour is not your primary colour because that colour is the colour that's going to come through your crackle. Okay, so the colour you want to come through you put on first. Yes. The colour you want to come through go on first. Okay, so now I'm going to use my lovely paintbrush. These paintbrushes are amazing. I love they them. They've got such a nice long handle. You've got so many different nibs. Nibs? Nibs? Is brushes? it a nip, nip on a brush? I don't know. Is it a nip? What's it, it called? 
A brush, isn't it? It's a brush. It is a brush. But what's the end bit called? Just the brush. Studio at Chanda.com. Let me know what's the bristles, the head. The, I don't know. The brush. I don't know. But we know what you mean. The yes, brush bit. The brush bit. So many different ones there. So you've got right, your fine you. tip, your wide tip, your chisel tip. Really, really good. So really, um, this, this, I don't know what this one is, the flat one, the one on the end there, yes, is really good for your crackle. So you pick your crackle out of your pot and put it on your MDF. A good price as well, £14.99. Really good price. I might need a set of these. So depending on how you want your effect, and if you've never used crackle, just play with it. So um, you can put... Um, a thin layer all over and that will give you a really fine crackle. So is it clear or is it white? It's clear. Well, mine's white. So thick bits and thin bits will give you more of a textured crackle. So just play with it to get your desired texture. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on there because I don't want it to spill everywhere because I'm liable to knock it over. Now let that dry. Do, don't we don't um, use a heat tool to dry it. Okay. Let it dry Let naturally. Dry nat natural. Yeah. Don't open that one. Okay. So here's one I did earlier. Now I'm going to try something because this is one I did last night. Oh. So I'm not sure how long you can leave it. Oh. So I'm going to try and see if this one works. Live demos. I love them. As you know, it might not. It might be. Crackle. 45% gone. Might be too dry. 45% gone on the oom crackel. Amazing thing. So this is my... It's easy as well. So easy for such a good effect. So my white paint. So we're not sure if this one's going to crack, don't forget, because this is one I did yesterday, but I have got another one there that I did this morning. So I'm going to paint my paint on. Now, you don't brush your paint too thin. Working. Oh, it is working. You can start to see. So oh, I did yes. this one. So I did this heart last night. So that's, so it's a project you can prep the night before, look. Look at that. Oh, look how quick this works. Now, do we have to let it dry naturally or can we force dry it? No, you can force dry your top layer. What I will say with MDF is don't overheat it because it will warp. Okay, but look, look at the that. crackle on that. So, oh, my word. you can see there I've used thick layers and thin layers of the paint. So you've got a different crackle all over. That so this quick. area is a thin layer. This is a thicker layer. And this is one we did yesterday. When does it stop cracking? I would, I would leave it to crack for probably five, ten minutes. Oh, OK, and then force right. Then if you want and to force right, you could. It, it, it'll, it'll be dry. It'll okay. be virtually dry. So you've only got to wait for your paint to dry. Uh, because your crackle's already dry. dry. So you've only got to wait for your paint to dry, and then it's done. Look at that. How awesome. That's, I think that's my new favourite. I think that is to overtaking my, my structure paste. Imagine mm. using that on the side of your crates now. So especially for a man's crate. We yeah. always struggle. Everybody always says to us, there's nothing for men. Can't find anything for men. Oh, crackle. Perfect for a man. Perfect. Well, it is, as long as you get the right colour underneath, then maybe go on a grey on top or a black yes. underneath, and the, then you crackle, then you go with the grey on top. It would be absolutely stunning. Uh, we have, how long do we have left, Jim? Uh, we've got about 10, Jim, I can't hear. Uh, we've got about 10 minutes, I think. Um, so oh, we're going to stay with you. So we're going to stay with me. Lovely. So now I'm going to show you our new flake and glitter. Oh. Flake and glitter glues. So. Flake and glitter. There, I'm going to get a wine glass. Let me get a wine glass. So our flake and glitter, we've got two different types of glue. 
So we've got a pink one, which is alcohol-based. So that's perfect for your glass, your metal charms. So if you've got a brass metal charm and you wanted a silver one, but you can't get it in that design, flake and glitter glue, put your gilding flakes on it, change the colour. Perfect. Okay, so now this is um, a pink, so you'll know the difference. It does say it on the label as well. Okay, so I'm going to pour it in my pot because I'm going on to glass. I'm going to use a paint brush to do it because then you get an even coat. So you don't, what you don't want is you don't want um, gluggy bits on it. Do you know what I mean? Gluggy? Yeah, you don't gluggy. want Gluggy, don't want it glugged. Big lumps. Yes. So now it goes on pink. Okay. This is a cracking little price for both of these. Nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Don't worry about the bubbles. That's fine. Now I really love this effect. We I did this effect last night, and I just like the way the paintbrush makes it all kind of spiky, kind of not not conform to a round edge or a flat edge. I just like that look. Feathered. No, it is. It's beautiful. I said it. It's the first thing I said this morning when I, I've got one. Uh, we've got one in the studio. I was like, that is a beautiful technique. Look at that. So now you will see that that wine glass is pink. This one, not, not your one. That's silver. The one that I'm doing. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pink, okay? So it is going white and it will dry clear, but it will be very, very tacky. So this one is clear. Uh, how does it I take to dry? Touch it. So that needs to dry. Um, that's classic, that's 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes, but it will stay tacky for 48 hours. Jeez. Okay, so another project you can prep the night before. Okay, and that is really, really, you see my finger sticking to yeah. it, tacky. But that is perfect for putting our gilding flakes on. Now, our gilding flakes are lovely because they are nice big sizes. Now, my fingers are going to be sticky, so my gilding flakes are going to stick to my fingers as well. Could. Could, could. I think you could. So, Matt, uh, Meg has just told me, me and I'm, I'm going to adapt it slightly. Okay. Using using what you're using, so using your your glues. Yeah. Could you put them in onto one of the precision nozzle glue um, bottles that yeah. you've got with the pin with sort of the pin end, and then you could write someone's name and let it go tacky and then gild that. Yes, on a flat surface. Yes. I think it might run if it's on a non-flat surface. I love this. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so then you cover your glass in your gilding flakes. Got some big Don't bits just think here. Use it at the using a paintbrush. If you're not very good with a paintbrush, go in with one of your super fine nozzles, decant it into one of those, and use it that way. It's got a nice nozzle on it anyway. Yeah, it has got a nice nozzle. It's um, it's not a, it's not a super fine nozzle, but it is a nice size nozzle. On there. So just dab your. Oh, it's a nice big one there. So, th so these flakes, some of them are like enormous. When we say flakes, we mean like jumbo pieces, really. Look at that. How big is that? That's just one piece. So put that on. Now I'm not going to get a chance to do it all, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that on. Do you have to on. pass it on like that or could you just throw the whole glass into the box? Um, you could throw it all into the box, but I think you would be it would be a waste. Oh, okay. Because some of these flakes are oh, you, you have to flexible? unfold yeah, you've got them. Load, you get loads of flakes. You get loads of them, so you unfold them for the size. I think if you just threw your glass in there, because some of them are scrunched up, you would you'd you'd waste quite a lot, wouldn't you? Sixty percent of the glues now have already gone. Five nine three eight three three is your item number. Sixty percent. And we don't want to waste. Have gone. We don't want to waste our products, no, do we? we? Don't waste so, them. but definitely open them up into a takeaway tub or a box. Um, so that. We've got about five minutes left. Now, so. Okay, so I'm just going to rub that bit off just to show you. 
the little effect because then I can finish it in the next show because it's going to still be tacky. Um, we've had an email in. Yeah. Lena. It says emailed in and said, could you put them in the dishwasher? I don't think so. I haven't tried because I don't want to damage my dishwasher. So I wouldn't like to say that it's dishwasher safe. Try somebody else's. Um, yeah. Try, try your mum's. Yeah. Just don't tell her. Yeah. Um, so I would hand wash them. Okay. I know well, that's, I you know. That. But look at that. I just love that effect on the side of the glass. I just think I might be doing my um, Christmas wine glasses like that would, this. I was just thinking you could have two silver, two gold and two bronze. Yeah. Which would look or multicoloured. Or multicoloured would look nice. I've got uh, I've got some multicoloured here. I knew I'd, I knew I'd seen some on somewhere. So this, I again, I did this um, MDF last night with our other flake and glitter glue, um, which dries in about 15 minutes. So um, this one dries, dries tacky again. And then you just get your gilding flakes. Look at that. I think I've one like that. I'm going to tell if you're wrong. <laughs> then. Look at those. How beautiful for like Christmas or Easter or absolutely stunning. Right, let's go back. Dinner uh, party. Something. Any dinner party at the moment. Yeah, when anywhere, we can have just... one. Our first dinner party. You can show them what you've all done in lockdown. True. Decorate your wine glasses. So as I said, I did this tag with our other glue. So um, this one, perfect, dries in 15 minutes, goes tacky in 15 minutes. And I did this tag last night and it is still tacky. So again, nice little prep the night before for the next day so that you're not having... Uh, my pet hate is waiting for stuff to dry. I hate, yeah, I I hate, I hate waiting. So, yeah, I've got the mojo when it's dried then, haven't you? You're, sort of, you're in the moment. Yeah. I'm not a very patient crafter. No. I'm not very patient anyway. <laughs> Ask me kids. <laughs> 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 it's all right. They're grown up now. They don't care. <laughs> they don't have to live with me anymore. Oh, yeah, but they live next door. Um, two of them do, yes. Um, well, one of them and their partner. But... Um, She's just landed a dream job, so she's she completes her PhD um, in June, July, and then she starts her new job straight away. Nice. In um, that says what the job is now, though. So she is going to be a scientific researcher. Oh. So she, her PhD is in molecular microbiology. Well, I never. I have no idea where she gets her brains from. They're not from me. <laughs> oh, don't say that. No, they're not. I'm the practical one, I'm not the brainy one. But so this tag's going to go on forever. But this, I'm just going to rub some bits off so you can see. You would rub it off into a box to save all your little bits. But you can see how that tag is coming together now with all the different colours on it. Could you stamp on top of that then? Yes. Think? Oh, imagine that with your stamps, having your sentiments on the front of your, uh, on the front of your crate. We've only got a minute left of the show. Where has this hour gone? Uh, we are phenomenally busy. Uh, thank you, Mamma. Thank you. Uh, we are looking at a one-day special, an amazing little prize. You get so much in there. You are getting four of the crates, one large, one medium, and you're already getting two of the small. You're getting one of the flowers in there as well. You get ten of the tanks. You get the wood glue that I'm going to try and get more for on its own for 12 o'clock. Uh, you're also getting the baker's twine, and you're getting the, string, uh, the foil. Uh, the, the cellophane uh, to wrap it all up. And I'm going to give you four sheets of the tissue paper as well to fill the boxes. For £29.93, and pence, a saving of £13. I absolutely adore them all. Start checking out your baskets if I was you. Remember, we've all these crafty devils. So we've got gesso, we've got blackboard paint, we've got the brand new paintbrushes. You've also got the crackle medium that we saw as well. And we've also got your glues that you can put your flakes onto glasses, wood and paper. It's up to you, but get in quick because who knows how long it will all stay for. Uh, should we reconvene at 12 o'clock? Yes, let's. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do this all again at 12 o'clock. Any emails, uh, keep them coming in. Studio to channel.com. I will see you in an hour's time. Yay.
Where did that hour go? Flew by. Jewelry Box is up next. And join myself and Nikki for Heartfelt Creations. Delightful. Mm, nice. There's Rowan D. Oh, Katrina said not seen her for ages. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda.
A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. Welcome to Ho Chandra if you've just joined us. Um, we are a fantastic channel. We really are. And we're live all the way through until 10 p.m. It's not just me that says that. Uh, you guys say it as well. Um, do you know what? It's great to have your company because we've got a wonderful show lined up for you. A show where you can make and create items that you can gift away, but also that you could possibly learn a new craft so you can start selling your wares and you can start your own little business. How exciting. Um, um, I do have, of course, one of the best guests. It's <laughs> Irene. Hello. Hi, How are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. I say one of the best guests. All our guests are absolutely <laughs> fantastic here at Hochanda. But it is lovely to work with you, Irene, because you're very inspirational and you bring to us a, a craft which we can sit down and we can do with our friends, we can do with our family, we can also do with younger members of the family as well. Yeah, this is for all ages. You've got from a seven-year-old, I think is a really good sort of uh, beginner's uh, age. Mind you, there's some children out there a lot more... Um, savvy aren't they, they yes. can, i've seen a five-year-old do this technique wow. yeah really good um and all the way up to the most mature lady i think was 93. Ooh, my yeah word. and absolutely brilliant and i think um every day is a school day and i've learned a lot from um people in my workshops as well so we've got some really lots of colors for you today um lots and lots of brightness which i thought would cheer everybody up yeah do you yeah. know what that's always um needed isn't it and we have got some zips like you've never seen zips before <laughs> very very intriguing <laughs> um, but let's talk about the kit that we've got first of all uh this is your mega rainbow kit this is yeah. beautiful and yeah. the items that you can make out of this is absolutely incredible i love anything miniature yeah. anything small yeah um and this is lovely you can see here this beautiful purse you do get the clasp and you open that up, but it's a use. It's not just a toy or a gimmick. No. You can actually pop items in there if you want to. Some coins, maybe for the yeah. supermarket. Yeah, you know, like it, yeah, the trolley. Yeah. you know, sometimes you forget the trolley, or if if you know the children are having a little lunch bag and they, you know, they some of them have a little bit of dinner money, don't they? Or yeah, a little a note nice for the teacher. Idea. They can. With the key ring hook on that, I sometimes also put a jump ring on the end of that and yeah. I'll have like a lobster clasp and what I do is I attach it to the inside of my handbag so I know I've always got my purse, my little purse with what my pan kai for my trolley. Do you know what, so. that is a great idea, just having that little emergency uh, money. And then we've got this beautiful, gorgeous brooch, isn't that beautiful? I'm thinking Mother's Day already. Brilliant, and that's yeah. what, if you actually put your glasses into that and slide the little bead down, it's a pin brooch, but it holds your glasses or oh. you can hook your keys on it again inside your handbag. And that's the bead just there, so you can just pull that's that it. down as you can see. What a fabulous idea, practical and beautiful. And there's no weight, so if you put it onto a card because you don't get to see somebody, pop oh. it onto one of your handmade cards, yes. pop it through the post and it is just a normal... Um, average large letter cost of a, an envelope. Now in the kit we do get the flowers which are beautiful so that night nice to create that bouquet. We get the hardware as well. We get the ribbon, beautiful colours in here which is gorgeous. You get 30 strands and then you get something that's going to be um, very helpful. Very, very helpful. <laughs> now, this is something you invented, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's something I did by listening to my customers. Um, this came out probably about four years and it has evolved. This is the first one of three that I've done. And this is one that's basic for the three strand uh, braiding. And basically, you, the, you get within this kit, Janice, you're going to get the instructions to use the board. Yep. But also, you've got the instructions for the purse. Yes. And for the other pin brooch. And that also shows you how to do it freehand as well. So you're not just getting three um, kit instructions in there, you're getting four. So you can learn it using the tool. Um, or as if you're within the family and people have got the technique because it's a repetitive and once you get to know it you might be able to do it freehand as well because yeah, that's, that's how true. it started off at the beginning you see we did it all by freehand I think they're absolutely gorgeous just taking a look at the purse and how that's put together to think that you will be able to do that at home and then apply that yeah. to future projects is fantastic and that price 29.99 well you've got two gifts to start with and then and you've you, got the tools of the trade yeah, to continue and you, yeah and you get a really long um strand bundle there as well so you're not just getting 30 strands of rainbow colors so you can mix and match whatever colors you want the, the bundle that you've got there, which comes 
strands in all the mega kits is actually able, you get four long strands long enough to make a necklace. Yeah. So if you're going to be making, you know, if you are a beader, because a lot of people can't mix and match their colours with chains when they've done a cabochon and they put all their pretty little sea beads yeah. and, you know, some, well, a lot of people that I know in the um, beading trade like to actually make a long necklace braid out of Kalanash braiding yeah. to match their, you know, their hard work that they've done in their gemstones for a, for a, a bale or a cabochon. I think it's a fantastic kit. It could be your starter kit. The start to a brand new craft alongside Irene. Uh, 991 517 is your item number. Uh, pop that into your basket and check on out. Make sure you get it. So that's your kit for the braiding board number one. We've mm -hmm. got another kit for you. Um, oh, I love this. This is your braiding board number two. Um, love this little chap here. <laughs> this, is, this is Ollie the Owl. And basically, the reason why I put these kits together for you is that you can, what I've also um, going to show you today is how you can extend the amount of length of the ribbon that we've got because that was something that I was always asked about. So this is Ollie the Owl. He's got a four strand weaving technique. So if you look at his belly, that's where we've used what we call a rainbow of colours. So you get four different colours woven together and that spirals and it's only a small amount of stitching and you can make his belly. Aww. And then if you look at his ears, the yeah. navy section is where we do a square technique. So not only are you just getting one style braid with the braided board too you can actually learn two techniques with it so you can learn um, the square and the round within this kit as oh, well as all the other um, um, kit uh, instructions that I've give you and I've also Janice learned how to um, make um, make the, the ribbon extended yes. um, so you, it's very hard for you to get 30 strands of ribbon that balance together, that are azo tested, which means lack of dye release, okay. and that they all go together and mix and match well. So this is going to be really good fun for you to use. Yeah. And again, you get the long... Um, now, the colours will vary within the kit, so yes. it is what I call the rainbow kit, so you'll get a long bundle of ribbon that will make a necklace, but you won't really know. It's a bit of a surprise when it comes oh, through like the post. That. I like that. Um, I like the uh, bracelet that I've put on as well, and this is something that you can create, which is really nice. That's just got a clasp, putting that together, nice and comfortable to wear. But what a lovely little bracelet to give your yep. friends, you know, to yep. say that you're missing them, or, yep. you know, just yep. when, when you get together again, it could be that friendship bracelet a lovely mm -hmm. kit you do get the hardware included so you've got these beautiful beads and again this is to make and create some wonderful bracelets and that's a magnetic necklaces. one yep so that's magnetic it's crystal magnetic so make your braid glue it into either end let it dry and then open it out that's the best way because it's a really strong mag magnetic yeah. clasp but also you've got those which are really classy so why not if you think of the blue one that you've got there Janice and you've got the blue long necklace you imagine that as your focal piece oh yeah so when you've lovely. made that so you've got magnetic clasp in there if you want to make scrunchies for the hair and you're you are probably allergic to um, magnetic clasp you can make those for presents with those however what you can do then is you can stitch your ribbons either side and make a hair scrunchie or elasticated bracelet without even using magnetic clasp. That's a so good you, idea. You, you're not just going to make, I think it's about four in there of magnetic clasp or these ones, these ones are actually where you just pop the glue in, all the findings are together. That's it, yeah. And yeah. you can slide that bead. So it's mix and match and you've got lots in there to play with. I mean, that is lovely. I mean, you, you can go online, you can go to um, certain stores, mm. and you can be paying a fortune for something like that. that yeah, this one has got um, what we call cabochon, AB um, cabochons in there. Wow. So they're all crystals, so they glitter. And also large hole beads are really hard to get hold of. Yes. So, yeah. you know, it is quite hard. You know, there's a famous bracelet out there, and sometimes, mm. you know, we know that those are large hole beads, and, and they large old bees just not out there to get they're really difficult for me to find at times well if you want to get this particular kit the details are on the screen that'll make a great gift for somebody's 21st birthday yeah. for example special birthday you know 21st 40 13 16 30 it doesn't really matter does it but just <laughs> every birthday is special every birthday is special 29 pounds and 99 pence 903 805 is your item number plenty of demonstrations coming up so maybe you're thinking mm, i'm going to wait to see the demonstrations before i purchase uh, but don't spend too long doing that because we are getting busy for your kits now let's move along
This is your braiding board number three. Now, what's different about this one? Now, the, the other two boards are around uh, rotation. This one is what I call a basket weave. Okay. So, whereas you go round the boards with the other two, this one holds four strands of ribbon. And what you do, you go backwards and forwards like a basket. So, okay. you're going side to side and then you're weaving over and under, down, over and under, up. Repeating that technique and it gives you a beautiful basket looking flat braid and it, now, it, Some people think when they see this they think oh, it's very busy. It's, it's hard actually I have so many people say to me. Do you know what I find this easier? Yeah. Believe it or really? not. Yeah, yeah, believe it or not, but look at the technique that you can do It's that beautiful. Is absolutely gorgeous, mm. isn't it? How wonderful is that with the beautiful rainbow colors in there? Um, you get your connect. Can we call it a connection? Yeah, it's class? a crimp. A yeah, the crimp. crimp. Yeah, so you get the crimp, crimp included. Uh, if I just bring this up so you can see the elements that are in there. So you get your crimp. That's included. Your now this is magnetic, isn't it? That's why that's I think it's sticking to it. That's a fantastic large magnetic. Um, um, I'm wearing bracelet at the moment that's got that on actually. Oh, so, can we have a look at that? Yeah, so once you've learned this technique, because it's a free form technique as well, you could actually use the magnetic bracelet clasp to even go wider and wider oh, learning free form fantastic. basket weave. Yeah. So that's included. You've also got uh, the clasps where it's very, very easy just to glue into. Yeah. Uh, really nice. I like that. It's like an onyx colour, isn't it? Which I have lovely. that one actually designed. Did you? Uh, so it's very hard to get that in the UK because I asked wow. if I could have the gun metal made specially for the kits. So my supplier did that for me. Fantastic. Um, and I also got it in a rose gold. Um, so I sort of evolved with the colours as well because yeah. most of the time you can only get silver or gold, yeah. can't you? I so like that. gun metal is brilliant, especially if you're going to make one for the gentleman or if, if they're a football supporter yeah. and you've got their favourite colours in the bundle of these, maybe that could be a small present that you make for your husband or. Yeah. Or you know. football fan in the family. Yeah, totally. yeah. But look, ladies are really into the football at the moment, aren't they? So that's brilliant. Certainly are. I'm just having a look to see if we've got Leicester City Blue in there. Probably oh, have, which is fantastic. <laughs> that will do for me. Um, so your full kit, you've got your um, instructions. You've also got the braided board as well. £29.99. pence. I'm sure you'll agree when you see these beautiful necklaces, the kind of styles that you'll be able to create. Again, a gift or could we sell the items we make? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I'd love you too. Yeah, love absolutely. That. Uh, so it could be a brand new business for you. Now, I did say we're going to see some zips, like you've never seen zips before. <laughs> these are brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, now, little bells here, but these have got a little story behind, haven't they? Irene? Yeah, yeah. One, one of our other um, ladies that bring um, a beading, um, you know, kits to you, Linda from Stantill Beads, she, she and I went to Prague and we keep walking and I could hear all this little bell noise and I thought, what's going on, what's going on? And then she said, oh, it's okay. I make um, bell jewellery to pop on the end of my handbag and inside my purse. So she shakes the handbag and she goes, yep, I've got my purse, off we go. I think that's a great or idea. Or it's a security safety, if, you know, if, if you're travelling and, you know, you're double checking that your purse has got inside yeah, your handbag. Definitely. But I thought it was a really good idea. So that sort of inspired me really to make the bells this time. <laughs> I love that. And what a great use of the zip as well. Now, this particular clip kit for £12.99 will make two um, bells. Uh, I love that. You've got a choice in colour. You've got the red, which I absolutely love, mm. or the beige colour. It's like a sage green, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that beautiful uh, yellow or gold ribbon that goes with that. So you choose, you decide. £12.99. A lovely little gift. And again, so handy to have on your keys, on your purse. Even some people have a uh, mm. on their phone case, for example. Yeah. It just means you know you've got them there at all times. 031128 is your item number. Absolutely love those. Absolutely also, love those. Janice, once they've made that kit and they're happy with that and they've learned how to do it, if they've got any broken zips at home that, you know, they were thinking of recycling in some way, I'm quite happy for them to keep using that pattern and recreating it as well. How fabulous. And it does come with the pattern. The full instructions are on there. I'm not going to show you in the show. You need to buy it and get it home to do it. So that's a lovely idea. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we've all got broken zips to use. Right. Oh, you actually see the next little characters. <laughs> These are adorable. 
adorable. These are the Victorian ladies. Again, we're using those zips. Yeah, we, we had um, something similar to this when I came on air last time with beads. And because I did the, you know, once you're starting to create things, I noticed it and I thought, oh, they could look like a hat or they could look like the skirt of a Victorian lady. So I sort of put all the concepts together and I thought how beautiful they look with the silk um, flowers in the hair and, you know, the skirts and... Yeah, they just just look really nice, Aren't really they pretty. Lovely. Mm. And I'm just twisting that one around there. Um, and you can see she's smiling. She looks like <laughs> she looks like she's got a bit of a frown on, but she's not. That's her nose. Where is she? Uh, she where is she? Come out. Uh, she is smiling. There she is. Um, these are absolutely adorable. They really are. Maybe you've got three nieces or nephews, uh, daughters or sons. One for your mum, one for you, one for your daughter or sons, father, uncles. It doesn't really matter. They're just absolutely gorgeous aren't they one four zero nine seven six they're only 16 pounds and 99 pence and that's going to make you three you get all the elements in the kit to make three and you get a choice so you've got the purple blue and the cerise i really like that one or you've got the green red and beige oh i don't know now which one's your favorite see I, I think they're all quite nice if, if you are Say that you're doing these and it's maybe a grandchild that you're not getting to see, because I know a lot of ladies are not getting to see their grandchildren yeah. at the moment. You, you imagine sending them a little card with a little gesture like this for them to put them on the school bag. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, it's like a little good, good look charm, isn't my, it? My daughter loves green. I quite like red. I'm sort of getting into purple now. Um, I don't know, because then you start drawing the faces on and then, you know, because they've got a face on there. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to create your own face, yes. you could put, you know, if you're not feeling, you know, you could, you could turn, you could um, permanent mark all over the face at the yes. front, turn the head round. So that you're making the hair on the face and you could turn it around and draw your own face if you're artistic, but I don't think I could do that. Yeah. So I just do some little squiggles on the hair and I create it so whether it's, you know, if, if you've got a niece with ginger hair or yeah. they've got brown hair, you can create this to match the person. You can change it according. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you are acquainting these uh, to different people, for example, this one definitely are Catherine. Yeah. That is definitely our <laughs> Catherine. Uh, so that would be absolutely fantastic for her. And then I think the red one over here would be our Paula. She loves wearing red. Yeah. I think the blue would be Alex, which would be lovely. You could, you could do yellow for Leone. You? you could do yellow for Leone. That would be lovely. Yeah. Uh, lovely. And you've got the green there. I think that would be our Fiona. Yeah. There you go. And maybe this one right here would be our Scott. There you go. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence. It actually does look like Scott. Uh, 140976 is your item number. 16 pounds and 99 pence. They are absolutely delightful. And you won't find them anywhere else because you're making them. Now, we've got some other super, super characters here. Uh, again, equally as beautiful. And you might want to go for these as well as the other kits as well because, again, they make great gifts. These are your pearl ladies. £14.99. pence, And these will make three charms for you. So, again, you've got the faces. You pop the hair on. You can change the faces if you want to. Um, but these are absolutely gorgeous. Are they easy to make, Irene? Yeah, these ones are, we, you know, we're going to be sort of combining the two in a moment to show you. They've got a little lobster um, clasp on there so you can hook them onto probably a zip of your jacket or something like that. But this sort of um, style, well, I was on air last time, sold out really quickly. And basically what you've got is you've got a long um, open jump... Um, long rod of wire um, with a little loop on the bottom you thread all the beads on and then you re-loop the top with the the lobster clasp and you're there so it's just a matter of processing of stacking the the beads together and then the base of them is uh, it's sort of like a, a little braid i put that in there and all you need to do is just glue that a little bit around the rim because yeah. there's a little rim at the bottom yeah. or what you could do is use some nylon um uh, thread and put some pearls on there or you could make yourself a three strand braid and you could um, pop that round the bottom as well to make it very colourful. Yeah, I think it's absolutely adorable and only £14.99, pence. Five five eight one nine zero. Now we'll be heading to demonstration in a moment's time. If you have any questions, email in. It's studio at hochanda.com. Two more kits to show you. These are beautiful. Your poppy brooch. Absolutely gorgeous. You could wear these all year round. You could add them to a really nice vintage style outfit that you've got. 
or maybe use these in some kind of decoration, wall decoration, for example. £12.99, 165156 is your item number. Again, they're using the zips. So, how cool are these in that beautiful red colour with your green ribbon? £12.99, you get the full instructions as well with your kit 165156 there is a color choice you've got red for your traditional poppy and then you've got your beige which again is more of a sage green in color just 1299 165156 is your item number right let's have a demonstration okay. irene <laughs> uh, what we're going to have a look at first i thought we could have a little go at the um braided board three because we never really get round to this one yes. um when we usually do our um our demos so i, I thought i'll quickly go over this with you and also Janice with the um, kits that we've got for this one in the mega bundle you see that we did um, a half of a circle and then we did um, like a rainbow necklace yes now um, within this we tend to have um, four colors to start off so within the board what you'll get is you don't get the pins in it so please ignore the pins but that that is a top tip to help you in a moment and on the board what we're going to do is we're going to make this braid Okay. Now so there are numbers on the board, aren't there, and letters? Yeah. Yes. So w when we make this braid, what happens is we do a, a, a weaving backwards and forwards and we go across. Now what happens is we're going to have a number system or you can go by collar or you can sort of go by a little um, phrase which I go over and under over and under top to bottom and that sort of thing and it, it does work that so you'll get to see me do that in a moment so what you'll get in your bundle is um, we're going to have a strand of ribbon I've just done it short so that we, we can fit it into the TV screen really to see you and what's on the board is you've got a one two three four and you've got an A and an A and a B and a B and at the bottom you've got four three two one now you can go by number system because each picture there must be about 20 pictures that shows you every step by step so this is really really easy so what it will ask you to do is it will ask you to click in on the right hand side to A so you find the middle length of your ribbon first and then on the bottom we bring in the, the one strand across and we're going to click it into the B here okay so A to A and B to B so this one's going on this side and this one's going on this side all right and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to pin that into place because this really does help and that's just to do that this is a resealable pin now if you are traveling and you want to carry this in your bag what you can do is you can literally just take it out and put it into the side and it will keep it quite safe so don't worry about that as you can see I've already got a few in there anyway so I tend to put it just by the letters okay and that brings me a little loop here now what we want to do is we take one of our colors and you can choose which color one option where you want it so you might want to go the the burgundy and then the deep purple and then the light purple it, it's totally up to you which way you want them to fall but basically what you will do is you will thread it underneath not underneath the middle strand and then you will find the halfway point and I hold it here and I just bring that down and that tends to balance the ribbon out okay and what we're going to do is we're going to click it into this one the first one we're going to miss the bottom one and just click it into that one don't worry about this is the hardest bit just getting it organized and then we're going to do the next one and this is all it is so it's just four ribbons okay find the halfway point and bring it down well, and honestly, the instructions come in the kits, don't they? Yeah, Ari? totally. Step by step, Janice. Honestly, it's not hard. I know it's just setting the board up. It's a bit like um, there are other boards out there. Um, I use those boards as well. You know, I've been in crafting for a long time, and it's only a matter, matter of setting it all up. The difference between my board is that mine clicks into position because we're using satin silk ribbon, and it's very, um, very silky and it's very lightweight. You need something to click in. So, can you hear the clicking? Yes. Yep. So trust yeah, the board. That's a real big important thing to do. Now, don't worry about them as they are. I hold it and that pull the ribbon underneath, that gets into place. And what we're going to do is the board will then start to ask you to go A to A and B to B. I have to say that if it's a posh because it's I A. I what you say. I I you can say it. You can say it however I, you I. like. <laughs> we say I, that in Leicester a lot, eh? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the polite way isn't it really um, excuse me not a a <laughs> so we're going a to a and b to b okay now if you really wanted to you could put another pin either side there but you don't have to now the secret with the weaving is on this side it's been looped 
and this side it's been looped. So when we get the tail, we want it to go over and through the loop. Can you see where the loops are here, yeah. Janice? Yes, I can. So this is the tail clicking in and this is the loop. This is the loop and that's the tail clicking in. That's the only thing to remember, otherwise the ribbons just fall out. But you will get used to this because it comes a lot easier. So we've got a gap at the bottom here, so number one is going to go over and through. Okay, so we click out, over and through, and we click in, and then we're done. Get the next one, over and through, and we click in. And this is all we have to do, over and through, and click in, over and through. So as you can see, I'm going up and down the board. Yeah. So over and through. And you start to see it coming because it actually looks like a checkered board when it starts, believe it or not. Yeah. But you also want to keep your ribbons straight. Now, as you can see, you can see the loop there. Here's the tail. So we're going over and through. And that will stop that sliding off then, you see. Otherwise, it would slide off. That's the only thing to remember. And then we're clicking in. Now, this is the secret, and this is the nice bit. Just take your pins out. It's a resealable board, so just pop them anywhere safe. And you pull this one down, and you pull this one down. I'm going to do it as slow as I can, because I do this so fast now. It gets quite difficult to do it slowly. OK. And then what we do is we put our thumb on top. And it, the first one's a, what I call a grumpy one, really. But as we pull it down, I'm doing it very slowly so you can watch. Can you see how it all goes flat? Yeah. I see. Now, if the ribbon is a little bit... There we go, it's fine. Click back out, hold it in. Now, put your thumb on top and tweak it, all right? Now, as we can see, the first one is a little bit grumpy. It gets, you know, not as balanced, but just ignore it because that will go into the end cap so you won't see it, all right? So the grumpy one gets stuck in the end cap. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. There's, there's other techniques on here to, to rep uh, you know, you can turn the actual braid over right now and turn it upside down and put it all back into place and you can actually get rid of that. But we're getting a bit too technical there, so we won't be doing that. Not today, anyway. Now, the secret is I get my pin and I put it where the letters are. So we've gone A to A, B to B. And then, now, it will show me where I want to go. So I can see this one. I'm going to go from the bottom up to the top. Just bear with what I've done is I've moved them. I didn't move them along, so that's fine. We can do that. Bottom, over and through and click into place. Next one, over and through. So can you see, Janice, it's just repetitive now. Okay. Now this is something you can do sitting down, watching the television, just sitting down with other members of the family, I, having a I, chat on your Zoom. Totally. I chill all the time on the settee and actually sitting at the table here, I feel quite formal. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm in school having to do it and I'm not. I sort of usually do, <laughs> honestly. You. I put my feet up on the settee and I'm, I'm just chilling away and honestly I'm just, I'm just usually relaxing doing it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click these down and we're just going to pull them down. And we're just going to put our thumb on and we're just going to get them organised. And once you've done a few, they start to get really into, into place. OK? So, move that one out. Hold it. And as you can see, I can let go of the board if I want to and it's there. OK? So, now, that's it there. And we tweak it. Put your thumb on top and we tweak it. You can put that in there. You can put that in there. And then you can just keep repeating as you go. And you can see the basket work coming now, all right? Okay. You can take it at any time if you're going to actually seal it up. So I'm just going to show you. If you take it out, it's already going to start to work, okay? So that's your basket. Oh. Now, we've got the basket one that we've done there shows you this one. And if I want to just put it back in, so if I took it out and I want to put it back in again, so I've got lots of colours going on here, guys, because I absolutely love colour. If I took it out for any reason to look at it, it's really stretchy and flexible. It's absolutely beautiful. I pop it back in, organise my ribbons. This one's at the top, so I, need, I know it needs to go to this A part here. That one's telling me miss one there. I'll put that in. That one. Click them into place. Get them all ready. And I'm ready to go again. OK. And then I can just keep going. Now, I'll just go over. Sorry, that one should be there. So over, in, over, in. And then I'll start weaving backwards and forwards, OK? Now, that's where we've got three colours of the same, and that will give me the double here.
Okay. Now, what I want to show some people that do follow the, the braid board three yep. is we've got this one, but what I've actually done now is I've learned how to put, you know, like we did the necklace on the um, the rainbow necklace that we've got, the, the long one in the braid yeah. board kit. What we've got there is we've got six colours here. So we've got three there, and that's two of the blue, two of the lavender, and two of the teal. But... What we do to make this happen is I've managed to get all these colours because I wanted to make a rainbow because at the moment we know that rainbows are very um, important, aren't they? Rainbows are always important. They do you are. know what? Ra <laughs> a rainbow was the very first sign I had on my drawer at school. You was know, it? when you're like four years old and you get assigned a drawer, yeah. my very first one was a rainbow. Then really? Then it was a ballerina, then it was a butterfly. Wow. So I'm just going to show you how to do this by hand, just quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to make all these six colours which we haven't done before and it's very, very easy. So this is how you connect colours and also how you can add more colours into this new design. Because a lot of people who bought the Braided Board 3 have not actually put all these extra colours into there. Yeah. So I'm quite happy that I can spend a bit of time to show you this. But this is how you would do it at freehand and you can, you can teach yourself this because this is quite easy. So you hold it in the palm of your hand like this and it's again, your A goes to A and your B goes to B but I've just held it in my hand there and by my thumb. And then what I've done is I can see here that my colours are telling me this one's at the top, so it wants to go over. So I'm actually doing this freehand. So over and under, over and under. The next one, over and under. So you're getting a bundle of 30 ribbons in that kit. So you might be sitting at home with somebody who wants to do the board, because they say, oh, I couldn't do it by hand. But then you might turn around and say, do you know what, I think I can do that by hand. And then you can have a little go at doing it by hand. So you can all have a little go together and probably have a little bit of a competition, maybe, because I know a lot yeah. of my ladies are competitive. You, yeah, you could do. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we've done those over and under, over and under, and I'm literally pulling the top, pulling the bottom, and pulling the size, and that's it. And that's how you do it, Janice. And then you've got Just another one. Like I think that's brilliant. And yeah. do you know what I like about the one I have, because um, I have one here uh, for my watch? What's nice about this is, unlike other straps, you know when you take this off, so you give that a bit of a stretch, mm -hmm. and then you put it back on, you give it a big stretch, get it over your hand, that's perfect, like that. And then slowly but surely, it just bounces back into its original shape and fits nice and snugly yep. and it feels lovely as mm -hmm. well because you've got that movement with you which is gorgeous so mm -hmm. you can build and create your own watch straps which yep. is a really good idea matches my shirt yeah and it's washable good. because yeah, it's it a material is. isn't it yeah it so is. and if you get that. what we call grumpy ribbon yes which means it's all a bit scrunched up when you've got it just get some straighteners and just gently slide through it. Straighten out that grumpy ribbon. <laughs> if only <laughs> life was that simple. I know. If <laughs> straighten out the grumpy ones. Uh, right, uh, we're going to go through the kits. I just want to show you a couple of samples, if I may. Um, Irene brought these in. This is something that you can aspire to. This really is amazing, isn't it? That is so quick and easy to do. No, um, it's not, is yeah, it? Yeah, honestly. Really? So, um, it, it was in a kit. You'd have to contact me for that for a kit. Um, but a lovely lady called Fiona did it all in a colour scheme that she wanted for her sister's wedding because she was chief bridesmaid. Oh, what a lovely idea. And she made it, yeah. It sort of stole the show, show I think. So I know Fiona's going to say, oh, Irene, you shouldn't have said that. But it was amazing. She did it all in peaches and creams and oh. everything. But this is, um, it can be achieved with the Braided Board 1 and 2. Really? Yeah. Wow. So this is the Braided Board 1 because this was when it first came out. And this was just something I invented without actually realizing how to do it and do you know what Janice if yeah. you want to just zoom in on me for two seconds I'm oh, going to show you exactly how to you. make it <laughs> bless you <laughs> <laughs> right okay so to make the flower you would do your braid and literally this is as quick as it takes so we finish the braid we just take it out of our board we tie it over and we form a knot like that and yeah. then what you do this one's over so it goes under and we take it out this one's under so we take it over, and then what we would do then, Janice, is we will hold it like that, we will organise it, and that then makes your button brooch. Wow, and that's it. how easy was that? Yeah. So you could have a brooch mm -hmm. to match your bag, you could perhaps put some uh, something in your hair, like on an Alice band or something, yeah. which yeah. would match your bag. How mm -hmm. lovely is that? That's absolutely divine. Can I show something else as well? Because yeah, this really is impressive. These are <laughs> things that you will then move on to from your jewellery. 
How gorgeous is this? This you is know, incredible. Well, thank you very much. My husband said this should be one of those top designer shops. It should, um, yes. I know the one you mean. Yeah, it's basically this is um, when we've done shows and exhibits, uh, my friend helps me weave all the time while we're, we're teaching people at workshops and when I come here on a chanda. So I've got lots and lots of spare um, braids or probably about three or four of the same necklace. And I realised that I didn't want to um, waste it. So then I thought, how about doing a collage and I've done it on a bag, I've done it on a beading tray, I've done it on, on the front of my suitcase that I've got here um, and I just personalise everything with it. <laughs> oh, look, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And you are right. Something like that is going to be an heirloom, isn't it? And yeah. it's going to be a head turner. Yeah. It really, really is. Imagine this with one of your little ladies with the little bells with your purse in there. How fabulous yeah. is that <laughs> but you guys are going to make this yourself and mm. if you wanted to sell it well just think about the price tag you could put on the, that do you know the, the the first one that you did with the button brooch i made it in red white and blue because my husband got an invitation to the queen's garden party he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Bless him. So I was lucky because I was allowed to go with him. So I made a you handbag. Didn't. I did. You I made didn't. it. I did. I made it in red, white, and blue. And I thought Queenie was going to say to me, "Hi, Irene. I love your bag," but she, she never even spotted me. Oh my! Just come round my house in my garden when you're allowed to, and, and I'll be the queen and say how lovely that the Queen's garden party. Yeah. Wow. I'll just wear it for a line dancing party somewhere. You know what I mean? Because it's she red, white, and blue. She did line dancing. No, I will. Oh, okay. Sorry, I will. You meant the I'll, Queen's I'll do it with tea party. Handbag, you know, when you put it on the floor and How dance around the handbag. What a wonderful story! What a wonderful story! Yeah. Right, let's take you. It's great, isn't it? Let's take you through the braided boards that we've got. So, braided board number one, uh, we have for you here in a kit, and you'll see. I don't know if you can capture this. Uh, you do have some information on there, and when you put your pins in there, it's self-healing as well. So that is your braided board number one. Uh, from Irene Crafts. Um, you've got all the instructions in there on how to use that. And with that, you get two project kits, which is lovely. Uh, you get this beautiful little mini purse here. Isn't that gorgeous? You get the hardware, so you get the clasp, you get the ribbon, and you get the instructions on how to make that. So your hardware does have the key ring on there as well. So you can put your spare change in there, or maybe a coin, for the supermarket or maybe you've got a little charm that you want to put in there and give to somebody which would be really really nice your other project you've got your little bunch of flowers there but you've also got your little bead that you can pull down and you can pop your glasses in there to keep them safe or you can pop something else in there as well so you get to move that bead up and down which is beautiful 29 pounds and 99 pence you get the flowers included as well and you also get your longer length of ribbon as well did, did is that three meters of ribbon do we say yeah three meters of ribbon wow mm. wow and you and get it, four of those yeah. which is great uh, right what a wonderful kit this could be your starter nine nine one five one seven is your item number that's braided board one uh, we've also got braided board number two let me pick this bag up uh, so braided board number two again comes with the full instructions you also get some project packs as well so you can make this little chap right here the owl uh, chain turn that into a brooch turn that into a key ring it's going to be entirely up to you but isn't that absolutely fantastic you've also got the hardware to start making bracelets I mean look take a look at that you might think oh that's tiny but you've got that stretchability with this you might want to make it small or larger you've got the metal clasp as well so that shuts beautifully again have a think about where you see items like this with the wide hold beads and how much they cost 29.99 gets you a full kit plus the braided board number two your ribbons to build and create these marvelous projects so you've got your owl and then you can make your bracelet or your necklace it's going to be entirely up to you and then you've got the knowledge to continue you also get your three meters of your ribbon you get three of those which is great uh, four of those uh, 903 805 is your item number I'm gonna carry on with my bag we've seen braided board number three Irene was just using that and you've got your numbers on there and your letters so you can follow those and you get the full instructions with this kit you get the hardware to make 
this beautiful necklace. You don't get the chain itself, but you get the hardware and the clasps, which is a, a brilliant addition. And I think that is so different, isn't it? Isn't that you, wonderful? You have got a chain in that, I think, Janice. Oh, there is a chain yeah, in that. There is, oh, sorry, yeah. I can't. I can see it yeah. now. You do get the chain as well. What fantastic value for money. Do you just get the chain for the for the, the rainbow yeah, one? You get one chain and then what you can do, if you're going to use the crimps either side, then you find the centre point of the chain and snip it in half, put jump rings either side and connect it. Yep. Or if you're going to use the one where it's a sort of a half moon one, then you put your large crimp on um, and then you just put a jump ring in and thread the chain through. Perfect. So How easy is that? It's mix and match, isn't it? It's yeah. sort of have a little fun, really. I like that. Yeah. I like that. 227651 is your item number. Remember, if you have any questions or if you've got anything that you've made and created before with Irene Crafts kits, then please do email in. It's studio at hochanda.com. Right, Irene, what we're going to have a look at now? Hello, my dear. Right, then what I thought we could do is, is that what have you said to the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't. It really didn't work how it should have done, though, Janice. Did it not? Because as she went to go past us, somebody nearly fainted. I sat her in a chair by me, and I missed the Queen. Oh, well, you did a good thing. Yeah, you did I, a good I've thing. I've seen her. I've seen her a few times go past, but yeah. Well, I'm not going to use that needle. I'm going to use this one actually because I'll get the colour. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to be doing some of the Victorian ladies. I think would be quite nice. So in the kit, what we're going to do is we're going to have some findings and we get a picture. So basically, just follow the picture and it will show you. But then you do get your step-by-step -step instructions to show you what to do. So we just need some basic tools. So probably flush cutters, round nose um, pliers, and probably a little um, sort of flat nose if, if you want them. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, it asks you to measure the length of the rod, which we're going to do. And we're just going to form a half round loop like this so that then will be at the base so that's going to be the bottom one so we're going to have that at the bottom and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bead on and then this is going to be the base and then what we're going to do is we'll make the skirt up but okay. to make the skirt we need to do the stitching to get it into this type of loop so what the instructions ask you to do is cut four strands of the zip and yes i do mean cut the zip up that's why um get the kit learn how to do it and then if you've got some more zips that you can use by all means mix and match from your stash that you've got at home and just recreate your own um little ladies really yeah, is it nice. easy to cut through the zips do you need special gosh no tools? no no not at all um i i tend to use you can use um some um don't use your best scissors, um, but you can use some that sort of your household ones, really. Yeah. Uh, there's two types of zips here. This is the metal zip that I've got. So if you are going to cut through that, basically, Janice, just cut between it like this. And oh, that's, that's easy okay. enough, isn't it? Um, but the nylon ones are just as good. Uh, there's another top tip for you as well, is that we do have what we call, um, in the, the crafting trade, we have what we call a, a zapper. It's a bead zapper. Ooh. And if this phrase at the end, what you can do is do that. Some people will use a lighter, but... Um, just be careful of that. Oh, and does it, that burn it? So it, it yeah, it's a thread zapper. So yeah. basically, this is where we used to um, zap really close to um, pearl necklaces or gemstones, and you you do this with the thread. So it just takes up on the top, and then all we do is we just seal it a little bit. Um, you don't have to, but it just gives a little bit of a, a, an end finish for for That's your great work. Cool. Yeah, we sometimes have them on here. You might get them on on our shopping channel may do um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut to the size that we want okay instructions tell you that so don't worry then all it is Janice is some basic um, running stitch so you don't have to be um, excuse the fingers you don't have to be a massive um, stitcher you know you don't have to be really experienced at yeah. this okay so don't worry about it so just put yourself a little knot in the end and then what we're going to do is this is the top of the zip and this is the baseline and this also goes for a lot of the um, flowers that we've got on the website as well so we've got some lovely um, daisy flower kits in zips as well they look stunning on coats lovely never even thought about doing anything like this but it, it yeah. makes sense because it just, it's just something a bit different we do have yeah. some poppy kits for you on the show I love the some poppy kits yeah 
my piece is so nice. And also, don't just use them as a brooch. I mean, I put um, some little tack and I put them into the, the front of my car so that I know which car is mine because I've got quite a popular colour. I've got a red colour car. Oh. So when I'm shopping, I think, oh, where's my car? And in the steering wheel area, I can see my flower. Oh. So I do that with lots of my flowers. Um, you can also use them as a pin to hold your scarf in place because we're in the winter. And I've just bought myself a lovely big long black raincoat and I've put the um, zip flower on there just to brighten it up a little bit really. Oh, lovely. So, yeah. You know, um, my friend once got in the wrong car. There were two cars parked <laughs> next to each other and uh, luckily, well, <laughs> not luckily, but they were both open. They got in the wrong car and really? couldn't understand why the, the, the key wouldn't fit. And then they realised <laughs> they were actually in the wrong car. I have stood at the car and keep pressing the button and nothing's happened and I see a flashing light probably on the next dial. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that, that's my car. I think that's why I did it in the end. <laughs> okay, so if you're going to be making any of the flower kits that I do, it's all about doing a running stitch and also this is the same way for the poppy, so I might as well just quickly show you this yeah. as well. So if we pull it for the poppy, we do it at an angle to almost like a fan and you're just going to cut four of those and you stack them together and that's how we do the poppy kit as well, so that's brilliant. Um, if we're going to do the domes for the ladies' Victorian dress, what we do is we just bend it a little bit. I've done it in this colour because it stands out a little bit more for you. And we just um, pull it together like a running stitch. We overlap it and what we do then is we stitch up and down, okay? And we just stitch up and down. And this actually looks quite nice as a little hat for them as well. I don't know if I've got any Ooh, there. Lovely idea. Yeah, because it, it, it looks lovely if you're going to do a male version as well. I just thought it'd be nice as a little man's hat, you know? Now, the most popular at the moment is yeah. the purple, blue and cerise kit. Mm, that so one lovely. seems to be very, very popular, which is uh, yeah. gorgeous. In the kit, you do get the little faces as well. You can add the hair, you get the ribbon and the flowers and the three zips and of course the instructions on how to make them i think they're absolutely yep. adorable something a little bit different aren't they they're lovely honestly so i've done it in a brighter color i'd rather you choose a color that suits you um to match the, the zip that you're doing but basically what we've done is we've done a running stitch we've gone down the one side and i've done a few across the top and the reason why i did that is because we're only popping this through so you've got a lot of um zigzag going on you know it's a bit of a wobbly skirt so if you cluster that in a tight and it a little bit that's going to help the structure of it yeah okay and then all you're going to do is cut it off and then you're going to make four of those alike um, it doesn't matter about the size because I found some of the sizes even if it's half an in inch different it does make a difference so what we're going to do then we go back to our instructions. I've been using my little beekeeper as well to hold all my bits and bobs in. These are fantastic. Yes, we do have these available on the show, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, we have got two different sizes. We've got them in different colourways as well. And these are really handy. We'll bring the details up on the screen and Irene can show you. This is the one that Irene's using at the moment. 9 99 saving £3 on that, actually. Uh, 171002 is your item number. Why are these so important? I, I found that when I was just basically sitting in the garden um, I used this bead mat and I'm only using this because we're on TV but I don't really use these bead mats anymore because I catch them with my needles and everything and all my bees went flying Janice and yeah. I, I couldn't tell what beads were for what um, so if you're doing something like you know like a Russian necklace and it's got four or five different colors in it or it just gives you that that divider and you can actually pick up your beads from it oh, so when you've got it here if you're actually going to pick up your beads so for instance i'll just move this here so what we want to do now is we've put our skirt on mm -hmm. then we're going to use like a little um little base and then we can just pick up a bead and you can actually work from here so can you see that i'm actually keeping them all divided so you imagine having pearls in one yeah. sea beads in the other larger beads there um probably your little cotton reel and like your tape measure it just organizes it and they're quite good for stacking up as well so now you were saying also with the foam that you take out if you've got a few of the beads left in you could put the foam on top yeah yeah so for instance with this one a lady told me that she got cats and that she'd bought a few of these and she stacks them so depending on what project she wants to do she'll just go and pick this one up or she'll go and put that one back but she puts the little toppers on and then she stacks it up but if you haven't got a lot in there you can also then just turn it over so for instance on the back this is actually like a beading mat now 
so you can bead on that as well. Oh, so you can put idea. your little beads on there and you can work from it as a beading mat as well. So it's sort of a combined one. So yeah, and they're colourful and they're, they're really light. They fit in your bag easy and, and they're great. So this one I use for, I put my little wax pot in there. I put my cottons in there. Um, I can put my needles in there. I can clip onto it. I can pin onto it. And it just it's just like a really small working tool really. It's great. It is great. And yeah. um, they are available on the website. You can go and have a look on the website so you can get the one that you want to work with. And if you want to put the uh, tops back on, on as well you can do keeping the beads safe whilst they're in there uh, let's just have a quick look at the website 171002 is your item number you can see the different ones that you've got on there and you've got different shapes as well so you've got your squares in there you've got your stars which is your 12 section bead keeper you've also got the round ones as well the one with the love heart in there you've got the one with the uh, tools uh, that's really handy if you've got certain tools it just keeps them safe it keeps them all in the same place great prices for them as as well um, if you want one of those pop those into your basket we've got about five minutes left let's head back to Irene and Karen with the demonstration okay cool so I'll quickly just pop this on so basically you're going to stack it up on top so we've put the base on um, we've put the skirt on and we've stacked them size wise we've put some sequins we've put some other beads on and what I want to do is I want to make the ends for you okay. so another rod you put a round loop on the end just add a few C beads and then what we're going to do is get your round nose um, pliers hold it there and just bring it round to the top and just bring it round so it forms a loop and that's all you've got to do it's not difficult and then just repeat your beads so I've I haven't got all the beads here that I want so I'm just literally going to use any beads at the minute just to quickly get there because we're short of time okay then what we want to do is leave enough space just to make and always point down to make another loop so I'm going to be quick at this I think so we know and that's how you make the ends so literally we've got Two little loops on the end, add your beads and a loop. We're then going to pop that on. Then we're going to pop that on. And you can mix and match these. They don't have to be exactly the way I've done them. Just build them up how you like them. Um, now you can colour the, the hair if you want to. So if you wanted to colour the hair now, you could. If you didn't want to, just do it afterwards. I tend to do it afterwards. I put another sequin on. Um, and then I put the, the rose flower on, which is a silk rose flower. Um, and I use the leaf petal there, because it's a loop. And then I bring this one over. I use that leaf petal. And then all we'll do is we can put another one on top if you want to. So we'll just pop one more on. And then all we do is a nice big round loop. Okay. And that keeps it all in place. And then brings it all in place and then draw Aww. the hair and do exactly what you want. And at the bottom, just bend that little loop down and it sits flush upwards for you. That is lovely. Yeah, she's so I cute. I really like that. <laughs> What a great use of the zips as well. I think it's a wonderful, fantastic idea. And when... Oh, oh bless her. <laughs> it's not even April the 12th yet. No. Um, <laughs> what's nice about this is that you can create a gift, but you're also learning a brand new craft. Uh, just another sample here to show you, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, what a great way to have uh, an organising box, for example. You can have this for a tablet. And if you're going for the... Um, beading number two and you want to make that owl that would look fantastic on the front of your little clasp or bag would it not uh, 140976 is your item number if you want to go for the Victorian lady charms uh, it's an absolutely delightful idea and it's something that you'll learn and then you can continue making uh, with your other zips that you've got. Now let's have a look at the website because we've got lots of things on the item and uh, we've got lots of items on the website for you. We have got your zip bell kit. They're a great idea for adding to your purse or to an item that you want to keep track of. You've got the Victorian lady charms there. If you want to go for more than one kit, you're more than welcome to do so. The pearl ladies are beautiful as well. Again, great gifts thinking about birthdays coming up throughout the year, Mother's Day, Father's Day, your friend's birthday. Uh, the poppies, of course, how beautiful are these? And you can turn these into brooches, you can put them onto your crafting items like your bags and your hats as well. Only £12.99. Go and have a look at the five-star reviews on those. Now, we've got about two minutes left on the show. It's absolutely flown by, hasn't it? Uh, right, we do. We do need more hours. Irene, is there something that you can show us heading towards the end of the show? Yep, I'm going to quickly show you 
you how to um, go for the same balls, the same technique. It's just a weaving technique, and I'm going to show you how to connect the ribbons to keep the length going and going and going Lovely. for as long as you'd like. So basically, this board, what we would do is you have three strands, six notches. It looks like a triangle. Okay. This one has eight notches, but it has four strands, and it looks like a square. And that's the sort of technique. All do the same process. So we're going top to bottom, turn top to bottom turn over and through like we did with the other board and click it in and as you pull it down you look like a triangle and we're in place and that is repetitive and that is all you do for this board wow. okay that is that okay but what I want to do is so as we say top to bottom turn top to bottom turn over and through click it in and you're done keep the ribbon straight keep it flat look for that give it a tweak and we're in Trust the board, and that's how you do it. Isn't now, that amazing? I know, it's, honestly, it's really quick. Honestly, Janice. So follow me on Irene's Crafts, or I'm still on Callan Ash Designs on Facebook. So I've got lots of tips on there, little videos. So please try that. We've got about 30 seconds okay. left of the show. Please do check out your baskets. Make sure you get everything you want and don't miss out. Don't later on in the day think, oh, I wish I'd have got that kit because you've just realised you've got a birthday coming up. What says it more than a handmade gift? Now, Irene, do you know yep. when you're coming back? Um, I don't, but I'll be back as soon as you ask me to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be asking you. Uh, okay, Irene, thank darling. you so much for your demonstrations. Oh, you're um, welcome. Please do head to the website and check out all of the different kits that we've got available for you. And look forward to a brand new craft or topping up on a craft that you already love. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, thank you and thank you for watching. Right, coming up next, we've got Heartfelt Creations with our Adam and Nikki. Rowan Dean Embroidery is next after that. And then we're back to the one-day special with Crafty Devils. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Can you believe it's been two years of Sentimentally Yours here at Hochenda? Please join me for our very special birthday celebrations starting from the 26th of February at 10am and ending on Sunday the 28th of February. You will not want to miss these birthday celebrations launching with the brand new products that I am super excited about. Then we have a one day special launching on the Saturday. This is gorgeous and we have a secret, very, very special guest coming in to launch that for you. Then we also have Trudy Howard's gorgeous brand new release launching on the same weekend. What a treat. I cannot wait for these birthday celebrations. 
So put the dates in your diary and make sure you don't miss the sentimentally or second anniversary birthday celebration shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. Very good morning to you. I hope you are well uh, with that lovely, lovely little opener that we had there. It means we have heartfelt creations in the building with a brand new collection. Now, old your horses. I'm already with you. I know what you're thinking. Well, Adam, I've seen this one before. You did. It's the Daffodil Collection that we bought you as a one-day special a couple of weeks back now. Uh, but it was popular. So, so popular. We've managed to get a bit more stock and we've kept the prices the same because normally after a one day special the price does have to go back up um, we pleaded with half i was in the office this morning and i was asking the question i said why is it back is it's a one day special how have we managed to get it back at the same price surely it should be more expensive they're like no we've got some more stack it was that busy people wanted it so we've bought it back at exactly the same price as the one day special so maybe you missed the one day special when it was on a couple of weeks ago maybe you missed out on getting that extra paper pad because you didn't have the money at the time maybe you only went for the essentials and you want to go for some of the others this time individually i've got every configuration from the big bundle to the essentials collection to everything individual if you want them the details on your screen are for that large collection 335213 is your ID item number. £27.88 is your freedom price as well. But let's go into this in a bit more detail. But before we do that, we can't have heartfelt creations with the lady that's standing next to me. Uh, and Nikki's here. Morning, love. Hello. You all right? I'm really well, thank you. But I, can I just say, go yes, on. we brought it back, but I'd like to think it was because I was at home doing Skype on the last shows and they wanted me here in the studio. Well, well, but we did all I, complain. I, you know, I think it was that really. We put a petition. <laughs> well, this is not right. I'm, I'm not having a heartfelt collection without her being in the studio. Yeah, We're not having definitely. Your... How dare she? I don't know what she'd do. She might not be right. I don't know what she's recorded, pre-recorded all this at home. <laughs> is she live? Uh, but it is a case though, isn't it? Absolutely. It was that busy. It was really, really busy. And to be honest, when you're at home doing Skype, there was a lot of demos that I wanted to do and it's just not possible to do everything. So so kind of talking with you guys and talking with Heartfelt, it was so, so popular. And we want everyone to get this because we are coming into spring. True. This is a beautiful collection that you are going to be able to use for Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. And yes, we're saying Easter because we do have the daffodils on there, but you can use it all year round. You can use it with other florals that you've got at home. Mix and match your collections. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They really are. These are some of the finished samples uh, that we have here in the studio <laughs> using uh, that complete collection and using everything else that you also have in your heartfelt uh, creation pack as well, like all the other dyes that you already have. But with this one, you're getting so much. 
Uh, let's break it down for you, because what I want you to do is I want you to take out the word daffodil. Okay, I want that. I want you to take it out. Okay, I want you to take it out for the sheer fact you get more than daffodils in here. Yes, it's daffodil themed, but you get more than daffodils. The snippability in this is absolutely phenomenal. So let's break it down for you. So first of all, we've got your essential pack. Your essential pack consists of your 12 by 12 uh, paper pad that we always get with heartfelt people buy these on their own. Just for the sheer fact, they absolutely adore them. Uh, you're getting 24 double-sided papers in there of the 12 by 12 uh, of sheets in there. You're getting two sides of each design, and it's acid and ligament-free as well, which means you can use it in your scrapbooking and things like that. With your essential collection, not, we're going to look into this in more detail as well in a minute. Not only do you get your 12 by 12, you also get these two as well. So you get the stamps and you get the dies that correspond. So no more fussy cutting. This is what we love about um, Heartfelt as well. There is no more fussy cutting with these because all the dies does all the work for you. I want to say it's that one. So if I pop that in, that's the stamps again. Look at the size of those stamps. Absolutely beautiful. Once again, yes, I know they're daffodil themed. I know there's a daffodil in there, but you really can go to town with these, can't you, Nikki? For the sheer fact, if you change the colours of them, cut some of the petals off them, just use some of the trumpets or take the trumpet shape away, you can adapt these flowers to be fantasy flowers if you wanted them to be. When you've got your pink daffodils there, and to be honest, daffodils aren't just spring. No, we not. see daffodils in our supermarkets and our our florists in early December. Nice. Okay, because we import them over before they're ready over here. We then see them all the way through basically the end of January, February, March, April, yes. into May. So we're not just talking. Spring, well, no, we're we? not. And that's, and that's what I want you to get out of your head. As the minute you think daffodils, like I bought some mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago for the house, um, and they're, they're just petering off now, but they've been in the shops for yes. a while. And we have this stigma of we don't buy daffodils before Christmas. We don't buy them. We yeah. only buy them sort of start of February. Yeah. But cards like and these... Particularly around Mother's Day. I think Mother's yeah. Day are a favourite bunch of flowers for the children to buy mum. I always did my mum and when I had my florist shop, I remember the children coming in with their pound coins or pound notes as it was <laughs> back then and, um, and buying a bunch of daffodils. So... But looking at the samples that we have here, the Nikki, like literally, you could use mm. these for any day of the week. You could Absolutely. use these for any occasion. Um, yeah, you've got daffodils on them, but once again, you could <coughs> really go to town. That is, is that 12 by 12? That is half of the 12 That's by 12. Beautiful. Yeah, it's tw um, 12 by 6. And that. I've cut the, the paper and made a larger card. Because the thing is, you, w if you've got all the other elements from Heartfelt, you can make your cards as big or as small, as shaped, a shaped card like this one. Very simple, just using a decorative die and the bouquet from the collection. I love it. That bouquet is in your essentials collection as well. Uh, it is. Now, the essentials is now is at the bottom of the screen. That's the extra paper pad at the bottom of the screen as well. £17, £99 on each side. Most of you are going for this big collection. £92 and £93. Or if you're a Freedom member, there's Flexi Freedom on this. £27 and 88 pence today will get you everything that you are seeing here. This works out to be one of those why not deals. You know one of those confusing why not deals that we got? Basically... The money that you're saving, well, let me break it down this way for you. This is easier to see. Freedom at the top is £5.97. pence. Okay, so free, it costs to pay a Freedom member for a month, five ninety seven. You get a little badge, you get a newsletter better, you can cancel at any time. Your heartfelt collection is £83.63 pence if you're a Freedom member. So that's a £9.30 saving. Remember, being a Freedom member as well, you don't pay postage and packaging. So I will give you back another £3.95. So you are saving £13.25 today if you are a Freedom member. Yes, you have to become a Freedom member, so take that off the price already. You are still saving money. And then you are a Freedom member for the entire month. Let's go into more details about the 12 by 12 paper pad. That is what Heartfelt are renowned for. Now, everything will be dispatched for you on the 3rd of March. So don't worry about that. It's only a few days away, eight days, I think, I've made, before you get this collection home and you can start paying. But the beauty is in the 12 by 12 paper pad, isn't it? Because the 12 it by is. 12 that Heartfelt give us, these are 
Your 12 inch tops, but they're also ready made toppers, ready made cards. They are they're good an to absolute go. Absolute ready made kit. Um, with your toppers, you've got your matting and layering done for you. Just look at the images. Absolutely beautiful. Really soft um, colours, but vibrant in the yeah. same way. Because I love the fact you've got your bright yellows there for your right. daffodils and your beautiful greens. I mean, how gorgeous is that? So this is great for your scrapbookers. It's great if you just want to cut it up and use it on smaller cards as well. And then you've got more toppers. I mean, already... We have just seen, hang on, we've got scene four. We've seen nine toppers. That's nine cards. Remember, we've got two of each of these. So that's 18 cards. You've got your elements down the side as well here where you can put your sentiments. So we've all got our sentiment um, stamps in our, in our stash that you can stamp your own sentiments on. Going back maybe about a year ago, a lot of our paper pads had the sentiments already on. Then we realised, then people can't choose. No, but, that's true. but now you can choose what sentiments you put on there. You've got that gorgeous kind of garland of your daffodils and your hyacinths there. Then you've got your smaller panels. So now we're looking at maybe mini albums, yeah. um, small little notelet sets. I do love to make my little notelet sets. You know, I make, I like to make little gifts as well as use making just cards then you've Look got your larger that. images there you've got that gorgeous trellis which you will notice the pattern is from one of the decorative dies that we've had um, on the shows before you've got your butterflies in there you're also getting your hyacinths as well another beautiful um, favorite spring flower but then you've got that gateway we brought these out a few months ago, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we did this show, didn't we? Yeah, so these on. are going to coordinate beautifully with that. And you cascade those daffodils and those hyacinths around it to make a beautiful card. You've got your beautiful florals there. I mean, nice. what a beautiful wallpaper that would make. That would I always say that about a heartfelt. You'll notice that the deck, there's a, the, the um, image around that, that bouquet is a decorative die that we've it's had brown. on the shows before. So it all coordinates. If you're new to Heartfelt Creations, you're kind of thinking, mm, not really sure, I've not really done much stamping. You have got elements in this paper pad, which we will be coming up, that you can use as well. Just coming up now, so look at that. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And you could cut these up. You can make more ribbon strips out of this. You can make paper bows with this, or you could use it as a background paper. But look at this. If you're not into your stamping, but you're thinking, I'd like to give it a go, how about just using some of the elements from the paper pad? This is nice and easy if you want to make a nice, easy, quick card. This is also gives you a guide on how to colour as well. So if you're new to colouring, loving so the, the butterflies. So the dyes that we're getting in that big collection, you would just place... They coordinate. So if I just take... I'm just going to take one. It will be the butterfly, because that's the first one that I picked up. But look at that, absolutely perfect. On there, that will fit perfectly over your butterfly. Obviously, it will go the other way, like that. <laughs> I don't know, back to the front. But yes, it, they fit absolutely perfectly over these. So how many times, and I said this in the earlier show, as somebody texted you or phoned you and said, Adam, I'm nipping around for a coffee today. It's my birthday. Yeah, you got a card and and you think, I haven't got a card, but I've got some I've got some collections that I can just quickly, within 10 minutes, you've got a nice, easy, quick card, and it doesn't look like you've rushed it. Lovely. Beautiful, more florals in there with all those pink daffodils. You've got your butterflies in there as well, look. Absolutely gorgeous. And just keep going through. You've got more elements that you can die cut out. But even if you die cut one out and you kept it as a reference point? Yes. Just Absolutely. Use it as a reference yes. to colour the yeah. resting, because remember maybe you are yeah, well. maybe you're into more of your stamping and your colouring. But as I say, these are elements that you will still use. But don't forget, even if you don't want to use these, because you do love your stamping and your colouring, you've got the other yeah, side. Right. It's double sided. Right. So you've got all your plain papers as well that you can create gorgeous cards. You've got your six by sixes in there as well you've got more panels in there i mean I, I don't know how many panels we've just looked at i know um a few years back i actually worked out on one paper pad you can make about 60 70 cards really 
Yeah, using all your elements from the paper Whoa. pad. Obviously using some sentiments that you may, be, may have at home, but going on all of your papers, how you would cut them out. Use your decorative dies. Use your papers to cut your decorative dies out of. Beautiful green. More of the six by sixes there. If you want a paper pad, seventeen pounds, ninety-nine pence, seven two seven zero eight nine is your item number. A lot of people are going for that extra paper pad. It's worth doing. If I was you, uh, it really is worth having a little look. And then we get back to and the then, tags again. Yeah. So again, look at all those tags in there. You've got two pages of these. But if you don't want to use all of them, maybe you're thinking, okay, I've got enough tags there. You have got a gorgeous blue on the back. Beautiful patterned paper. So yeah, a paper kit. A, I would say yeah, a paper kit rather than a paper pad. It is a paper kit because we've seen what you can do with it. Uh, from a simple case of using your papers and your dies and a, and a card blank, you can create stunning cards. Stunning cards is what you can create just by using the paper kit and just the dies. Let's take out the stamps. Take out the stamps for a minute. Let's just use the dies and the paper pad on its own. That is ready-made cards. All you need is a card blank and you're good to go. But then, let's enhance it by using the stamp. So we take the elements from here, we die cut some of the flowers that are in here, but we use those for our mats and layers. So we can now start decoupaging. We stamp out. We use that as the background, but then we stamp out that butterfly so we can build those wings up. Oh, not only do we stamp out the butterfly, we then use the die to cut that butterfly out. The highest things that you got in there. This, this one here, is I don't know if I have it. I do have it in stamp form. That, I reckon if you cut two of those out, here I go again, you could make a circle, you can make a wreath. You can actually, and my next demo is a very similar kind of you see? thing to what you just said. You see? You see Great you just lines. Look in, <laughs> this is the thing, see for more than what they are. Don't just see them as an arc. Now turn them in. Do three of them. You could create some beautiful, beautiful foliage. <laughs> £92.93. and pence. If you say it quick, it don't sound much, but don't say that. Split the cost. Please, whether you're a, whether you're a Freedom member or not, split the cost. £27.88 pence if you're a Freedom member. If you're not a Freedom member, though, uh, you still get a cracking little deal. It's just £30.98 pence today. £30.98 pence if, you're not, if you're not in the club. It's well worth becoming a Freedom member because your price and your flexible payments goes down to... Uh, your price goes down 27 pounds and 88 pence is what you're looking at for that. Uh, 13 pounds and 25 pounds is what you're saving. Oh, I didn't know where I was going, to be honest, Meg, with that editorial. I didn't know either. Right then, they've said it three times in my ear, so let's better do it. Let's go over to demo uh, to see what we're creating first. Right, so we obviously just looked at that paper pad and I always mat and layer mine. I use my foam pads, I use my decorative dies, but let's just go through on what I've used on this one card that I'm going to demonstrate. So I've got one of the 6x6 panels, okay? Then I've cut out um, the blue background, which is slightly smaller, and I've put some decorative dies over the top. And then I've used a circle die and cut out this element from the paper pad. That is just a small amount of that paper pad. Okay, so just see how far that paper pad will actually go. But then you've got your elements that you're going to stamp and that you're going to die cut out. So I've already gone ahead and done a little bit of colouring. So the essentials paper pad, if I remember rightly, you are going to get the smaller daffodil. If you want the larger daffodil spray, yes, you are. that you will need to um, go, for the go, for the, go, go for the full bundle. And note that they kind of are opposite, so they face each other, so they're not both facing the same way. I really like that. And then you've got your hyacinths, which I've already coloured up, but I am going to add a little bit more colour. So to colour up, I am using my daubers. I'm going to go add a bit more vibrant pink so I'm using um, some of my archival I tend to use whatever people say to me what do you use do you use uh, memento inks do you use archivals I use cheap inks which these are just cheap ones that I brought I actual fact my friend brought them very very cheap indeed um, I use my archivals I'll use anything if the color is the right. right colour that I need. And they work really well with the daubers. So I've already put my base colour on, but now I want to just add a little bit of darker pink. 
with the daubers. So I'm just going in. Daubers at the bottom of the screen, £13.99, pence. you get a stack of 12. Just missing out part so it does get that nice kind of effect of three dimension on there. So I'll go ahead and just do the other two. As I say, you can colour all your elements up weeks in advance. I mean, I tend to do all my stamping and die cutting and then I've got a stash to go to when I want to make a card. But it's nice as well. You could sit in front of the TV with your daubers, get the children involved. But you can really get in there with your daubers. You can see how easy that is as well to, to use. And I, if Adam was allowed to stand next to me, I would even get you... Have you had a go with my daubers before? Before we went into this crazy world? No, I've never played with your I don't think you've ever played with my daubers. Well, one day I will give you <laughs> some daubers to play with because, honestly, it's going to transform the way you colour and craft because it's easy, it's quick. I find now that there... I used to have, oh, I don't know, hundreds of stamp stamps that I'd buy because I'll think, oh, I like the colour of that but never really used them, but now is your chance that you can use all of those colours okay. that you've got. So I'm now going in with some blue, so I want to add a bit of darker blue to this. So again, got my base colour in there, but just add in a little bit of dark with those daubers. You know, I don't think I own any daubers, to be honest. I don't really know how I do my techniques at home. Yeah, right. See, like I, I've made up the word I, I still use my pens, I, and, and very often I'll get, I can colour with a pen, but then I go over with a, a, another colour and just kind of blend it all blend in it. with the daubers. I need to get some of these. But you could see how easy it is. So put my base colour on. So I'm going in very lightly with that pale b blue, and then going to pick up some more. That's so I'm nice. using the same dauber. And then going in with a darker blue now. You could sort of but go lavender-esque with these. You could go lavender, you can go pink, you can go white, you can go cream, lemon. It's the detail in the stamps that I love. Yeah, and I think that's why the daubers work so well with them as well. It's the detail that you're getting and the, and the smooth coverage. That's the thing, if you've ever tried colouring at home, uh, we've all given it a go, we've all given it a bash in colouring books and things like that, you get that line. You know that line, the line, so sort of the line of doom, I sort of like to call it in arrows, because you, you, you do what you think is a beautiful card, and you start colouring in, and then you've got like a two-tone on there, but you've used the same pen, it's just where the ink and the alcohol is absorbed. With these and your inks that you're getting, because you've got that smoothness over the top, you can cover a larger area quicker, but not only can you cover it quicker, you also get the smooth, you don't get that two-tone effect, do you, you No, and you can still get shading in. So look at those, all that beautiful shading, just using the daubers. Now with the daffodils, you can use your daubers, but I'll show you how easy it is. If you're not into your daubers, you don't like using your daubers, which I don't, can't imagine why you wouldn't, but this is how easy it is. So just go in with my bright yellow. Look at it. Oh. Okay, now that... Looks good, okay, you'll admit, yeah, yeah pretty yeah, good, yeah, but yeah. all I've done, you know, look how, I mean, it's more like a children, the way they colour, go around in a circular motion, but it's worked, okay, and I've got my colour in there, but then I can start going in with a bit darker colour, again, where the artist has put that dark, just blend that in, a little bit of dark around the edge. All the work's been done for you. Absolutely, yeah. And I, to be honest, I do like using my pens as well and I find it very therapeutic and I can get lost for hours just colouring and blending in my colours. Then I'm going to go in with a bit of orange. Just this time flicking that orange. Just a tiny wow. little bit round there. Adding that shade in. That looks good. A little bit more here. Then I'm going to go back in with my yellow and exactly the same technique. This is a great technique. Just bring it round. And to be honest, people say to me, what pens do you use? My favourites, I have to say, are my Zig pens, um, my watercolours. But these are some that were brought for me for a, 
what's a birthday present, I think, last year. So I thought, OK, I'll give them a go. And they work. What card stock do you use for tampons? This is Pink Frog. Why is it super smooth? Pink Frog Super Smooth. Oh, not, not even watercolour paint. Oh, so, no. No, because to be perfectly honest, that can work out very, very expensive. Unless her chandra have got some great deals on. But yeah. So really, really easy to colour. Okay, so do not be put off with stamping because you think you can't colour. So there's my elements that we're going to use. I've also got put that there, a butterfly. Again, I'm going to add a little bit more colour to this. So again with the daubers, gone in with some pink, but I just want to add a bit more darker green. So going in that edge and it just blends so I can even go in with another shade green so I'm picking up this one this time same dauber remember you're getting 12 of the daubers and they just blend really really well and the same this side and there you have your butterfly and then you've got the decorative part of the butterfly so you've got two dies you've got one that will cut out the outer oh, okay and then you've got the decorative part which looks absolutely beautiful like that or you could color it in I'm actually going to leave mine white um, but you could just go ahead and just ombre that that decorative butterfly wings as well that's I'm right. going to leave mine white. That would also be cute as well behind, well, behind anything really. You could use that as wings. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could use them just on their own, but you pop them on top. You could pop layers on. How about some metallic? Some nice silver. Put vellum. I'd put the silver on there. Vellum would look absolutely gorgeous. Vellum would be nice. A bit of parchment. And then what just work? layer that oh, up. Look, look. At that. look at that. Well, that's a little gorgeous. Remember, you get all this in the collection. Right, let's have a quick recap, and then we'll go back to, uh, to finish the uh, card itself. Uh, the details on the screen are full. That full collection that we're looking at at the moment. Three, three, five, two, one, three is your item number. This is your heartfelt creation, Daffodil Delights. I want it all. I want it all. Uh, nine dies, eight stamps, and a twelve by twelve paper pad in there as well for a cheeky little freedom prize of twenty-seven pounds and eighty-eight pence across three flexible payments now as we said this was a one-day special a few weeks back but by popular demand people said oh I missed out on that I was busy I was doing this I was doing the other uh, we've bought it back we've bought it back just for today uh, this is the last and is this your last show today Nikki it is the last and final show today. There's no more after this one for Heartfelt. So if you like the collection, remember you get the set, three sets of stamps, the three coordinating dies as well. Let me show you uh, the coordinating dies uh, that you're getting there. And I'll turn the stamps around so you can also see the stamps uh, because the details of these uh, are all on the back uh, is what you're actually getting. Look at all of those. You're getting the beautiful die collection uh, that works really, really well with the stamp collection as well. Look at the detail that you're getting in there, just in black, black and white, building up a scene, put your mats and layers in there, make your masks and start really creating beautiful, beautiful flowers. I love that cluster uh, there. Absolutely beautiful. You imagine? It is a beautiful bouquet. Yeah. You do that with like uh, a little bit of ribbon tied yeah. in a bow. And in one of the urns that we bought you before from mm -hmm. Heartfelt Creation would look absolutely uh, stunning. £27.88 is a cheeky freedom price. If you're a freedom member, offer us three flexible payments. 335213 is your item number for the whole collection. If you just want the essential collection, uh, your essential collections uh, that you've got there. It's your smaller tulip, you're getting your butterfly, and you're also getting that cluster in there as well, that beautiful bouquet. Uh, you can do this for two flexible payments of £23 and 49 pence is what you're looking at. You also get that beautiful 12 by 12 uh, paper pad in there as well. Well worth having a little look if your budget won't stretch this month. Or maybe your budget did stretch, but you thought you only bought the essentials last time, and this time you want a bit more. Uh, it's worth having a little look at it because you can go for them individually as well. Uh, somewhere to put it all. Well, we all, we all need somewhere to put it, don't we? The storage binder uh, that we have on the show itself. Uh, what you're going to get when you get your Heartfelt Creations home uh, is a magnetic clasp on the side. First of all, I like. Snap shut. You know it's sturdy. Then, once you open it up, 
Uh, it's a nice wide mouth as well. You get a D-ring. Now, I never thought I'd get excited about a D-ring on a clip folder. Never <laughs> thought I'd, be, I'd see the day. But you get a D-ring. And why are these D-rings important? Because when you fold things over, um, when you fold it over, it means that they fold flat. So that you haven't got that beveled edge on the back. So that will sit uh, flat there. And you can keep filling it up uh, with all of your storage that you've got on the show. Uh, so you put them there, look. So then everything sits flat. So you can still get to everything that's already down here. I absolutely uh, adore them. Uh, they're really, really worthwhile. And it looks really smart on your counter as well because uh, you get a little name tag that you can put on the side, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Worth having a little look at this one. £12.99. Pop it into your flexible basket. It will split the cost into three. Uh, so it'll split the cost into three. Three seven four four one eight is your item number for this. Uh, we've also got the inserts uh, for this as well. Maybe you want the inserts for your stamps that we've already got. So you're getting three sets of the inserts here. Uh, let me get one out of my box. Uh, here we go. So uh, you get yourself a stamp, obviously. I know. I hope you're pressing record at home because this is going to be the demo of the year, crafting man of the year. Here I come. Uh, then. Look on, eh? Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but cling. So now you've got enough if you wanted to. See, what I would do, I'd go for this big bundle because you're getting 15 of them. Uh, you're getting quite a few stamps. Well, you could have one each until you start building up your collections. Then you could put your masks on them. I am a heartfelt fan through and through. But you may have other diet exactly. stamps that you need. You, you, you're, you're struggling with storing. I'm with you all the way. I had some stamps over the weekend that I put on my social media. Um, and I had some, they're, they're beautiful stamps and they stamp absolutely adore. But they came on a large sheet and me and Molly cut them all up. So we cut them up and we've made smaller stamps now. Yep. So now I'm like, where what do, do I, I do them? with them? They're now all there just stuck in a box, all sticking together because obviously the carrier sheets don't go on the bag and things like that. Um, they also work fine. But I'm like, well, where do I put them? Because every time I look at them now, I'm like, yeah. this is. This, it you can put me. your clear stamps on them as well not just your rubber stamps yeah they will cling to it worth having a little look <laughs> worth having a little look i would go for these and i would also go for the next ones as well uh, this is the uh, stamp and die combo that we've got now so these are magnetic is what we're looking at for the dies. let's see if i've got a die i think i've got one down here somewhere uh and no here we go press record margaret press record because this is going to be the demo of the year. So uh, I've just got this home. Thank you very much. And then, oh, it's on the back. That's the stamp. There you go. There's your die. And then your other side is for the stamp. Oh, I didn't bring a stamp with me. Uh, so you've got your stamp on that side. You've got your corresponding die on the back as well. Um, well, what more can I say? £12.99. Uh, if you didn't know how to do that, you can catch that back on Rewind. 30 minutes after the show has finished. Um, you know, as I, got, as I did it slightly wrong. I just wanted to show you this side doesn't magnet. That's what I was showing. So this side's not a magnet. The black side is the magnet that you use on there. And the other side is your clean size for your stamps. Just want to clear that up with you because we've had a few emails saying, I've tried to put my dies on the magnetic side. It don't really work. No, it has to be on the black side. 12 99 <laughs> right, Nikki, what are you showing me? Right, let's get this card put together. So I've already got my foam pads on. So let's just layer this up. So... This is one of the six by six, so my card is basically about six and a half. Okay, that's the sort of like um, go-to size that I like to go for because then you get that nice bit of white around the edge. This one, I don't know what size it is, I will tell you. Five by five and a quarter. And the reason that being is I wanted it to fit my decorative dies that I've put on there. And the decorative dies are from some decorative dies that we had on the show a couple of years ago. <laughs> I can't remember what, what they're called. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I thought I was going to be really clever and actually tell everyone which um, collection they came from, but <laughs> it just completely went out of my head. And then I used a circle die, look at that, just to cut out that element. But now I can use my daffodils and everything to decorate it with. But before we do, let's add some dimension. Let's. So yes, using go. my flower shaping tool, there's no three-dimensional daffodils in here. 
but there's nothing to stop you from using your flower shaping tools to create some dimension. So just going down, lifting those petals up. This is my favorite bit, going around the top of the trumpet of the daffodil, just to lift that up, bring it round. And now all of a sudden, I have changed my flat daffodil into might go on for a bigger one so I'm going to flip my ball over there just the tip and there you have some dimensions so if I just show you the one that's flat oh look at that just looks you can see the difference and you can yeah absolutely see the difference on there so exactly the same with this one so I will stick to that larger tip so I'm just going to do exactly the same just lift those petals up. You can spritz the back if you like, if you want to um, help break down, that, down those fibres. I like these. Uh, we've got these on the show as well, £29.99. Uh, it comes in a beautiful presentation box uh, that you get in there. Once again, magnetic kiss on the side, which I adore. Uh, open it up, and you think, well, there's, there's nothing in there. Uh, but this is your foam mat. Uh, that you use, so that's what you do your flower shaping on, so you do it all on your mat. Uh, you've also got a smaller mat uh, in here as well, a slightly stiffer uh, mat, slightly stronger mat that you've got. But then it comes to the accoutrement and the tool. So first of all, you've got your pen, double-ended. You can put two balls in, or you can put your quilling tool in as well, or your poker tool, it's entirely up to you. And then you've got your tool. So that is your biggest ball, right there. Uh, from the, it is, it's a, it's a whopper of a ball uh, to do your larger tools. Then you've got your quilling tool in there as well. So if you, oh sorry, you're getting a shot, Adam, so we're on TV. Uh, it's not radio. Uh, so you've got your quilling tool in there. Uh, then you go down all your sizes, all the way down uh, to your little pokey tool. So you've got your tiny little, po tiny little pokey tool in there as well. Uh, you're getting all of this fits into the pen and you're getting your mats in there as well. All of that for £29 and £99. There they all are on the back. That would have been easier for me to show you. Uh, £29 and £99. Every single one there and full instructions on how to use them as well. Uh, you go from your piercing tool to your 1mm, 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm, 8mm, 12mm and you've also got your curler in there as well with your double-ended pen. And then finally, I'm going to add some dimension to the higher synth. So I'm going to turn that over again and then bear in mind the pattern that you've got on there. So it's like little kind of circles. It's not circles, but circles. Yeah. So taking the smaller tip in a circular motion, just go all the way around. And it just brings your card to life. But of course you can keep them flat. You don't need to use your foam tape to mat and layer if you want That's to put awesome. them through the um, post. So if you are posting and you don't want to put them in a box, you can just keep it all flat. But I tend to think it just brings everything to life. So now that we've done all that, bring the card back. I've also got a sentiment from, again, a, a sentiment collection we brought out a few months ago. <laughs> it, just, it just proves how well all your collections work together. And then I purposely cut this one out, and you can see why, because what I'm going to do is put that sentiment oh, there, and over. then that, art, uh, that daffodil kind of arches over my sentiment. And then I'm going to bring my daffodil. See what I mean? Now, if I had two daffodils the same, it'd really bug me if... Let's take these two, for example. If they were facing the same way. Yeah. It just doesn't work for me. But now I've got them going opposite. Or you could have them going back to back as though they've fallen out with each other. Oh. But they haven't. I'm going to pop them this way. So just take my glue gun. You can use some foam tape if you want to. Did I hear correct? You've got a new glue gun? Obviously not um, I have got a new glue gun. My friend Lorraine brought me one. Oh, and I did right. use it on the last show. However, I forgot to bring it with me. This I picked the wrong one up. So <laughs> this one is a very well loved and used one. But she said, I was getting absolutely fed up with you, seeing you with that grubby glue gun. And it's usually got my hairs and everything stuck to it. Dog hairs, you name it. It's... <laughs> but 
I picked the wrong one up last night when I was packing my bag. So I do apologise, Lorraine. No, don't need to apologise. So just I'm just going to... And everyone else that's commented, because I do have a few comments saying... Um, I do love the way that your glue gun looks very, 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 very well used. It's loved. And loved. loved. Word. Just pop those down there. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful this comes together. And just bring it in. I need a bit of pink here, so we'll put a pink one at the top there. And we need some blue ones here just to bring the blue in. But you know, with this one, I'm actually going to trim this. So just trim that, that one off. So I've only got the two blue ones. And that there. Under there. You see, th this is another reason why I like to not put too much glue on. Because if I want to pop something like with there, I can pop that there, look, you see. But if I'd have glued that completely flat, I wouldn't be able to get it in. And then just oh, okay. bring that under there. Whole but I have I covered it. the sentiment up, so let's bring that over slightly. Just lift that up. I've got this one more left, so we might as well pop that one on. Might as well. And that one will go just up the top there. Like that. And then we've got the butterfly. So I'm just going to pop that card to one side. With the butterfly, now... I either do downwards with the wings, just using my finger and thumb to curve them down, or upwards. And with this one, I think I will go upwards. And it just adds a little bit of interest. Like that. You can add glitter if you want to. But I think I'm going to keep it just as it is. I'm going to add that silver mirror card die cut of the wings now to me that's a little bit too much but then when you add oops, another layer on top my butterfly is alive. It's alive and just offset that slightly so I'm bringing it down slightly lower than that silver one you now have to me a beautiful kind of luxury butterfly there with that metallic card on and then finally pop that and now this is the thing because normally I would have two because I but the only time I'd have one of something is if I put it in just one corner and it will go in there if I was to pop it here I would want another one up there and just Look, like that. that you have a beautiful Hope you get better soon. That card. is a stunning card, and literally all you've added is your own dies. That's it. Everything else has been used from the paper pad. Everything has been used from that paper pad and stamped out. We are very, very busy this morning. If you like what you are seeing, I would start uh, checking out your baskets. Really check out your baskets. Let's go through the paper pad one more time because the paper pad. So many people are adding another paper pad into your basket because it is one of these things. Once you've got one, you think, oh, I don't want to use it all. Yeah, you get two sheets of them, but you think, I don't want to use it all. I, I like them tags, I like them toppers. And Nikki's already said, you, from one paper pad, if you're fugal, you can make 60 cards. If you get two, that's 120 cards you're that's making. That's at least. At least 60 cards. So be frugal and add your own stuff. This is going to go, this is going to go further. It's going to go, it's going to go far. Let's go through the papers one more time to see what we're actually getting in the kit. Right, okay, so you have got your matting and layering done for you. So even though I do still mat and layer maybe with a piece of white cardstock um, card behind, you ha if, if you, especially if you're new to crafting, or, you know, you just don't have a particular colour that right. you want to mat and layer, it's all being done for you, which means that it coordinates beautifully. You've got your 12 by 12s. Wow. I mean, we were just saying about how many cards you can make from a paper pad, depending on how you use it. Yeah. But you could cut that up. I've got that element up the top here. I've got the element down there. Okay, that that's a six toppers, by six. Could, could be, be four, four toppers. If you spin easy. That into four easily. You could cut this out, the element there, with a circular die, an oval die. 
and that's yeah. a that's a, another topper. So there's so many different ways that you can use the paper pads. Um, you can make aperture cards out of these as well because these circles and the squares yeah, with that heartfelt actually do have coordinating dies. Oh, okay. okay. Or if you don't have them, you could use a knife to cut those out. But you've got that really, really soft palette, but your matten layering is all the pretty papers that coordinate together as well. Then you've got the back there. Look at that gorgeous garland. However, do you know, I'm going to check because I know we've got pages in there that coordinate with the dies, but I've got a feeling these images at the top, do they? Don't they? Or are they slightly smaller? I think they're slightly smaller, aren't they? But it's worth a try. If you mats and layers. But you could mat and layer. Absolutely. Cut, the, cut this one out and die yeah. cut one out and then layer it on top so you've got that slightly smaller look that you've got to it. You've got your I smaller panels there. You know, these are great to put inside your card. They're great if you want to um, use them in, as little note-lit cards or you could make them as tags, you could make them as toppers or you could use them in your mini albums. So much versatility. And then, of course, you've got your larger in, again, so versatile. Look, look at, at that. that. Just look at that for a corner. Take that as inspiration Gorgeous. and recreate it with Absol your stamps. Absolutely. In actual fact, I did do that. I have a card here somewhere because I thought, when I first got, I wanted, what I did was, I basically copied this one here. That. No, it is. No. No. I'm just looking to see if it's on the is back. It that? That's the one. Look at this. Didn't do it quite the same, but I did it almost yeah. identical because I'd got the dies because I've got the gateway dies and then obviously I've added that butterfly in there and I've decoupaged it up and added some pearls but you could do that at home you could this is beautiful and these are the papers that we'll come to in a minute that you can die cut out straight from the paper pad yes they are yeah no coloring involved in that I got that right. Can you imagine. <laughs> <laughs> make, make your colouring very good. I was going to say I'm very good at colouring, but not, <laughs> no, I'm not actually very good at all. It's the daubers I think that um, help me colour. Then you've got your like. I always call it my wallpaper paper. I like this. Now, you imagine that as a wallpaper? Be beautiful. Gorgeous. I tell you what, if you do your dolls' houses, <gasps> yeah. Because obviously I'm really into my dolls' houses, and my very first dolls' house, I used all heartfelt paper to wallpaper the. Walls. Oh. I did have a I have got a picture on social media somewhere. I've got to get Molly a new doll though. So, oh. Have a look on my social media and have oh, a look to see mine. I did all the own, my own furniture and, well, I brought old furniture, but then I um, coloured it all up and painted it myself. But yeah, all heartfelt paper for my wallpaper and the floor. Look at this. So look at this. But this, as I say, you could cut elements out, use your dies. Well, there's the small ovals, aren't they? Create, ovals yes. is all you need, small, yeah. small oval and guys. And we've yeah. probably got those in Heartfelt Stash. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Nice, That's easy, fun. quick cards. Maybe you want to do some, um, You've maybe not at the moment, but maybe you've got your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews at home, or just your children at home, and you just want to keep them busy. They are going to absolutely love... <laughs> Working with these. <laughs> I was watching the telly like everybody else at home. Then. <laughs> watching what you're doing. These are beautiful. There's so Aren't many ideas gorgeous. that you can use them for. But you can see see where the shading is on these images. That is where I've kind of got my inspiration from to do my colouring. As I say, you've got your your sort of like what we call um, our just decorative papers in there. It looks like a plain sheet of paper, but it's got shading. I think it's even got a script on there somewhere. Or ah, something the in there. There we go. Beautiful. Look, isn't that gorgeous? And then is that back to the? Oh, no, back to the bin. We're not even at the beginning no, no, yet. And you're yet. getting twelve designs, two of each. You've got your six by sixes in there. This is the one here. This side here is the one that I've just used on that card that I created. You've even, as I say, you've got your greens, you've got your lemons, you've got your pinks, you've got your blues. But then, if I just turn this over, they've kind of incorporated a teal kind of wow. colour. Is that a teal? What do you say, teal? Yeah, I've got teal. 
absolutely beautiful. It's sort of a script in the background as well. It these is, could be yes. Used, just because they're Look florals, these could be used for masculine cards as well, I feel like. Uh, um, granite yeah. cards, dad oh, cards, absolutely. like gardening and stuff like that. And my the dad, um, which is where I, I um, got my um, love for the garden and my flowers, um, was, oh my goodness, always in the garden. Or what you know, and um, we've got Father's Day coming up. This would be great for Father's Day. And then you've got your tags at the back that you can add your own sentiments that you've got in your crafty stash. Love it. Love Two. all of them. Uh, if you want our second paper, seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven two seven zero eight nine is your item number. Uh, is what you're looking at. So if you want an extra paper pad, the detail. Oh, there's a screen there. Uh, the details are at the side of the screen. I thought it was further away than it was. Uh, the details are at the side of the screen. Uh, if you want that big bundle though, ninety two pounds and ninety three pence is what you're looking at. But I'll put it onto three flexible payments for you as well, and I'll give you a cheeky freedom discount uh, on it. You might as well. Everything is dispatched within the next eight days. Second, third of March is when we're looking at three three five two one three is your item number 27 pounds and 88 pence uh, today uh, let's look at some of the samples uh, that I actually have here how beautiful are some of these they are absolutely stunning they really really are using some of the flowers some are pre-colored some are cut out of the middle uh, some of them uh, sorry that may I'm going all over the shop uh, then uh, look at that one. How beautiful that. Imagine that with a photo uh, in the background of uh, a loved one or something. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you're getting it all. 33, 30, 30, 3, 3, 5, 2, 1, 3. I don't know. I got stuck on 33 then. I couldn't work out what number was on its own. 335213 3, is your item number. 27 pounds and 88 pence is a Freedom membership price. Right then. Let's go back. We've got about four minutes left, Nikki. What, do you, what should we do in four minutes? Right. I can make a card in four minutes. Okay, don't so okay. I've already done some colouring. I don't have time to finish colouring. But hey, that doesn't matter because I've got elements from the paper pad that I've already die cut out, already what got my fame well? tabs on. I'm using one of the six by six panels. And what I've done with this, because I wanted it a little bit darker, I've added some pink ink around the edge and that's kind of changed that colour up. And then I've got some decorative dyes here, which I've added a little bit of pink round. Now this one for some reason does not have my foam tape on, so this is going to be just a couple of bits of foam tapes on the back. One there, one there, which will be fine. And just take that off. So, as I say, think about all the decorative dyes that you've got that will work well. I thought these would work well because it's kind of just going to give me a little bit more interest and make it a little bit pretty. So, I'm going to pop them, probably put that a little bit too far up. So, let me just bring that down. And then I've got those crescents. On the paper pad, as I say, I've coloured them up, but I have got the option, as now, to make a quick card. So these are the ones at the paper pad? These are the ones from the paper pad. You could use your um, flower shaping tool and add more dimension, but look, I haven't laid it flat. I've kind of lifted it up. Like raised, look. You could even fussy cut some more of the daffodils and layer those on top and decoupage them up. This has got to be the quickest card that I've probably done in a demo. So again, lifting that up and then I've got one of the butterflies from the paper pad. Now you're probably thinking, not the same colour, but what I've done is I've added some more pink around the edge. Oh, okay, I was going to say it looks totally okay. different. So you can ink them up and change the colour. Now I do need a bit of glue and it'll be quicker to go to the glue gun. This decorative wings I have die cut out of the paper pad. Lift that up, just bring those wings around slightly. And I'm just going to add that butterfly in the centre. Or you could add one each side and then you could put a sentiment in the centre. Or 
your butterfly. How quick was that? And Look I think I have still got time to spare. What <laughs> a stunning card in two minutes. But as I say, you can transform it up by colouring your own, having them any colour you like. That, and that's what I love about Heartfelt. So you could go from that card that, that Nikki's just made now, but then you could adapt that card mm. so yes. many ways by mm -hmm. simply changing the colours. At the moment, we're using subtle pinks and light pinks because of the colour tones of the papers that we have added. But you go back and then you create cards like this. Exactly How the same. How different does that card look? But it's exactly Orange. the same card. Orange and blue. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. But just using then... Uh, look at what you can create. About making a basket look. How where gorgeous is that? Oh, there they are. Where are we finding this? <laughs> Why have I not seen this? In the other whole studio, hour Adam. <laughs> oh, where's it getting these from? Uh, making a little basket uh, of beautiful flowers that we've got. Some of the cards that you have got here, you will be creating in your own home. But to create them, you need to be able to get this collection home. £92.33 and 93 pence is what you're looking at. But why pay that when you can split the cost onto interest-free, flexible payments? It's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Tap the app or jump to the website. 335213 is your item number. Uh, when you're back, Nick. We'll be back on Sunday. Oh. You've got two minutes to go for this one because if you do, you are going to absolutely love Sundays because oh. it is, I would say, part two of this collection. You oh. are going to absolutely love what I'm bringing on Sunday. But you will be disappointed if you don't get this one first. So, oh, sorry. part two on its way this Sunday. Uh, so you need to get this collection first. I don't even know what part two is. I can't even help you. I'm calling it part two. Heart, uh, um, heartfelt don't, but it, it is part goes two. Hand in hand. Oh, absolutely. It goes hand in hand with this collection. So if you're loving this, you are going to love Sunday shows as well. Uh, check out your baskets if I was you. I've only got four seconds left. Thank you, Nick. It's been a thank pleasure. you very much. Brilliant. Uh, thank you as well. See you in a bit. The next three hours look a little bit like this. Uh, Rowan Dean Embroidery is up next with our Janice Nicolini. And then join myself and Mel for Crafty Devils One Day Special. Oh, then the girls are in. Be Crafty Birds. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. Join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at a chanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child, and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let the Only Loose show on a Chanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let the Only Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. A very good morning to you, or is it good afternoon? No, it's still the morning. I think we all need a coffee, don't we? How are you? I hope you're well. And are you having a lovely day with us here at Hochanda? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, we've still got many, many hours to go, and we've got a superb hour lined up for you. I'm very excited about this hour because I love Rowan Dean embroidery. I love the fact that you can build and create some marvellous scenes using thread and needle and fabric. And to guide us through the show, we've got Katrina with us. How are you, Katrina? I'm good. Really well. Thank you. Lovely to see you. How's your journey? A bit fraught, yeah, I hear. A bit, yeah, a bit exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you safe it's always lovely to do a show with you um, but for anyone at home that's not seen Roan Dean embroidery before or perhaps um, have been introduced to yourself can you tell us a little bit about the company and yourself well we've been we've been going about 30 30 odd years uh, as a family business so we started with uh, uh, my mum and dad and my husband Ted uh, and we've grown and grown and uh, our passion is embroidery and creating um, pictures and textures in fabric and thread but that, that are easy to do and I think that's key that you, you're doing this, this hobby to relax and enjoy yourself. Uh, it's not complicated uh, and it's really, well it's a relaxing, a relaxing hobby. Yeah. I think it's wonderful to do a craft that you love, that you're passionate about, that now other people are passionate about as well and can reap the rewards of doing such a craft. Yeah, I think, I think you don't, if you've never done any stitching before, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, if you've done loads of stitching, it's still lots of fun. There are always different projects to do and different ways of using a, a very few stitches. Now, you're award-winning. Well, your book is award-winning, isn't it? No, how, how, how's that? Yeah, that's, uh, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting for people to, what they say about the book. You know, you look at the reviews and it's, sort of, it's, it's mind-blowing that they, they love the book. And yeah. that's really humbling, really. Well, we do have the book available, so if you would like to get the book, it's absolutely marvellous. It really, really is. Uh, Katrina's very modest. It's a fabulous book. It really is, Katrina, because it guides you through all the different stitches, step by 
step. There's pictures in there. Uh, the tutorials are in there as well. It's a real easy read and that's what we like as well. If you do want to go for the book, it is available to you and it's at the bottom of your screen. It's only £17.99. Right, Katrina, let's go through the kits. We've got some demonstrations coming up as well. Uh -huh. If you have any questions or any pictures you'd like to send in, we would love to hear from you. It's studio at hochanda.com. So the first one is very apt, isn't it? Easter is just around the corner. It doesn't have to be just for Easter, of course, but what a lovely gift at Easter. Easter time. £15.95. pence. This is your Easter heart. Again, I just think it's absolutely incredible how stitching and using your thread, using the needle on here can create something that looks like you've painted it. It is. It is almost like uh, painting with yeah. thread. Yeah. And I think it's the organza as well. That gives a really lovely effect. So you've got a little bit of colour on the background first and then you can add your stitching and that just gives it more texture and I think a lot of interest as well. Yeah, it really does. And I love the fact that you've got it on this. It's a hessian fabric, is it? Well, it's, it's a pure wool that's, that's woven for us. Wow. So it's, it's a little bit softer than, than a hessian, but it's a great colour uh, for a lot of my designs. I think it lends itself to that natural look. Uh, and really, it's great for stitching with wool and uh, wool as well as the cotton fabrics. Now, I just want to open this up because you do get a little guide on there to start you off to get the flowers in the right place, get the composition. But then the rest, of course, um, is down to you. You can add your own flair to this as well, can't you? That, that's the beauty about uh, this kind of stitching. You know, the step-by-step -step instructions give you a guide, but there's always room for you to add more French knots, more beads, more fabric, develop the design further. And then, of course, yeah, as you're showing there, the back of the design is really important as well well yeah it so yeah is. The, it's 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 meant to be simple and it's step by step there is a sort of a plan you know the certain bits that you need yeah. to do before others but really it's it's a, it's just have a go at the easy stitches really it's gorgeous I mean this might be something that you get out every Easter it might turn into an heirloom it could be something that you have out all year round how about filling it with some lavender that would be lovely. How lovely would that, that would be, nice. be? I was just cutting down a lavender plant in the garden, actually, and the, the, the aroma, the scents are still there once they're dried, naturally. So you could put those in there and perhaps have it in your wardrobe or hanging lovely. out in your bedrooms. Absolutely beautiful. Even in the bathroom, you know, some lavender in. 305802. Look at the price, though, £15.95. pence. What an absolute amazing price to create something like that. If you went into a store, into one of the boutique stores, Katrina, to buy something like that, I would say conservatively you would pay somewhere in the region of £29, yeah. £30. You yeah. would, wouldn't you? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Which raises a question as we go down. Can we sell the the items we create. Yeah, I know a lot of customers sell them uh, for charity, so yeah, yeah that's, that's Oh, great. how lovely. And again, it's learning a new technique, isn't it? Uh, 305802 is your item number. Right, let's move on. We've got another wonderful kit. Uh, kit. This is brand new today. Now, the hoop is not included in this kit, but everything else is. But we do have the hoops available, so it might be worth popping your hoops into your basket at the same time. You do get three. Let me just show you that. These are lovely wooden ones. So you get three, and um, it's not a lot of money to get these three. Uh, 10 99 And these are like the traditional ones. So you can put your fabric in there. You've got your hardware at the top. 10 99 for three hoops. I think that is great value for money. Yeah, and I think the fun thing is you can frame the piece straight yeah. away. You know, when you've finished it and you want to give your gift to somebody, it's easy to frame and instant, you know, really instant. Would you, could you create it in the frame or would you put it in the uh, frame afterwards? No, because it doesn't have any way of altering the tension of the fabric. Got you. So, you know, use the spring hoop for that. These yeah. are just for, dis for displaying the Display. completed design. Okay. So if you want to go for the hoops there, they're available, available to you. But again, what a lovely image. Um, I'm thinking about summer already. Whenever you come to the studio, I think you bring the summer with you. You really do. You really do. And we're going to have a lovely week next week, full of sunshine. Um, so I think a craft like this, the sunshine is going to inspire you to do them. And it's the co it's the colour of the threads. Yeah. Uh, it makes you want to stitch. And the, you know the, the hayfield there. You know, the, you can see that you can see the sunshine, and it's got uh, it's really worked with lots of straight stitches couple of beads in the foreground and it fills that whole uh, shape with the with the four inch display hope but really really 
lovely to do. Is this a view that you know, or is this a view in your mind? It's a view in, in, in Derbyshire. But is it? But, uh, I mean, it could be lots of places, it could it? be you know, lots the, of... the end of the summer, or the, oh. and that sunshine where the, the, the uh, field has been cut. Oh, isn't that really lovely? Pretty. Derbyshire is a lovely, lovely place, as is most places in the UK, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and all around the world. <laughs> we got all of that in, didn't we? Um, a beautiful little kit, and of course, this is your Hayfield Tweed kit. It's your mini kit, ten pounds and ninety-five pence. What a great starter price for you, four zero nine zero one two. If you're going for this, it might be worth checking out the book as well uh, for seventeen ninety-nine because at ten ninety-five, it's great affordable price. You might want to go for the book as well. And remember, if you do want to get the hoops, the hoop size it's the five, the, yeah, the five, the five inch, inch spring. Oh, the, four, the four inch or the five. To display the, the yes, it's it's four, it's the four, four inch. inch. If the you got carried away, one. you could use the five inch. You know, if you, if you add to your design, yeah, of course. You know, just check as you start as to you stitch. go on. Okay, uh, right. Details for those are at the bottom of the screen. You do get instructions, of course, included in your kit as well. So all of that will be there, and it will take you through step by step. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, right. So that's for the hay field. And then we've got another design for you, and I think these two would go beautifully together. Nothing says springtime or summer like a babbling brook. Absolutely. Isn't it lovely? My little Millie, my Jack Russell Terrier, she loves streams. So every time we go for a walk with her in the park, she is running and running to try and find where the streams are, and that's it. You can't get her away. You can't get her away. So this is a beautiful scene. It really is. And would go really well next to the uh, hayfield if you wanted to buy these both together but again what a great price ten pounds and ninety five pence and again katrina you get all the instructions included you get all the step-by-step -step instructions you know how to start and how to uh, use the, the stitches uh, diagrams as well easy to follow easy to follow would you say if someone's not done any kind of embroidery like this before these kits would be a great starting point I think so because it's it's the size that sometimes is daunting. You know, the stitches are for the even the larger designs are easy. But if you've got uh, a, a piece of uh, a, a picture that you think you can complete very quickly, that's great. You know, so it's not too daunting, and you'll be able to do it in an afternoon. Just complete that. It's lovely, isn't it? You've got your organza, you've got your beads in there, the sequins, and you also have that lovely wool. Uh, to set you off so you have the suggestion of the image and then the instructions will take you through that. If you want to add your hoops to this, maybe you've got a four inch hoop that you want to display it in, you don't have to put it in a hoop, you could put it on a card, you could put it on a cushion, you could put it on a wall hanging, it's going to be entirely up to you but if you do want to go for those wooden uh, display hoops that are at the bottom of your screen, £10.99 pence. because of course putting these on a bag, a purse, um, a, a cushion, a wall hanging, you can do that. Absolutely, absolutely. You certainly can. Right, talking of wall hangings, oh, have you seen this? Oh my word. You might be rubbing your eyes at the moment thinking that's a painting, Janice. That's a picture. <laughs> it does look like a painting, it really does, but when you get closer, oh my word. This is incredible. It's a wonderful price as well at thirty one ninety nine. Something like this, Katrina, would you say that this is for somebody that has um, already been do doing embroidery for a while? Would you say it's advanced, medium or for a beginner well, level? Well, I think, I think it's got the same stitches as, as, as a lot of the miniature ones, but it's bigger. It's going to take you a little bit longer, yeah. um, but really there, are, there aren't any uh, difficult stitches on there. It's just a bigger design. And I, I know a lot of our customers do like a project that, that they can take places, that they can take you know, hopefully soon on holiday, you know, yes, get a project yeah, like that yeah. away. But it, it's it's a nice way of working the inside of the design as well as the motif. So the plants on the edge of the design uh, is worked on a, a piece of organza and that's stitched completely and then you can cut that out or melt it out and apply it to the to oh, the wow. mount which is included in the kit. But it's a nice what's around the corner, you know, that, that lovely lilac tree and all the plants there. Isn't it lovely? And then you think, you know, you could go enter that next walled gar into the walled garden. Oh. Uh, which would be look you know, is quite a exciting. A nice cup of tea, slice of Victoria sponge, Absolutely great. Glass of wine, some olives. Oh, should we just dream for a moment? Because those days will be coming. They will. So this will be a lovely project for you to do at home 
and then before you know it, those days will be here and you'll be able to sit in a garden just like this. Now, the burnt out technique with the organza, it is amazing. If you've never seen that, um, Katrina will show you some butterflies later on that she does the technique with, um, which is just outstanding. But everything will be revealed for you. Everything will be there in your instructions, step by step, that come with this particular project. So you're not alone when you get this home. Um, and it's a nice project to do. Take your time with it, enjoy it. Now the project itself doesn't come with the frame, but it does come with the mount. That's right. So all you'll need to do is find a frame which you can find relatively, yeah. uh, you know, cost uh, effectively. You might have a frame at home, uh, but it does come with the mount, which is important. That's the hard thing to find, isn't it, the mount. So it comes with the mount. You've also got your organza on there and you've got your backing fabric. Is that a cotton? It's the cotton, yeah. It's the yeah. cotton we use for uh, all our designs, really. It's great to stitch and it uh, takes wool as well as the finer threads. Yeah, that's right. You get the wool thread included. I'm just going to pick this up to show you because you've got that image there ready to go oh I know you're going to enjoy I know you're going to enjoy this and then when it's done to put that onto the wall and have your friends and family come round and take a look at that they will be amazed that'll be your talking point mm. you know when they come in it really will 801 645 is your item number 31 pounds and 99 pence you're going to be so proud of yourself when you've completed that right um, we've got another kit for you now I really like this because this is going to allow you to make six cards but you don't have to put them on the card. You could have the cards for something else if you want to. And you could use these maybe on, again, on a cushion, on a quilt even. A quilt. Would yeah. Be which would be really nice. But what you've got are six different elements. And it's all, again, about the water's edge. What do you like going strolling next I, to the water's yeah, edge? Yeah, I mean, I think I love uh, a pond where we yeah. used to have a pond and, the, and all the wildlife it, it, it attracts. And then, you know, you, can, you just have to go to a park. It doesn't have to be a, a walk in the country. It can be, you know, in a city. There's great parks where we live. And you can see fabulous colours and textures and wildlife. And that's, that's lovely. Aren't they lovely? Do you know what? There's something I enjoyed at school, going around the different ponds and looking at all the different insects and wildlife. Uh, because, yeah, ponds aren't just for fish. They're not lots of lots of wildlife around there that you'll see. And that's why this will appeal to so many of you. 307598, your item number, £18.95. pence. That'll make you six cards. You get the envelopes as well. You get all the threads, the beads, and everything you need to start creating. And what a lovely card that would be to give somebody. Somebody might then take that. They might use the front of the card. They might even stitch that onto a cushion or something that they're then going to have as a keepsake, for example. 307-598, your item number, great little kit there, great price as well, £18.95. Now, Pebbles on the Beach, I'm sure that's a song. Pebbles on the Beach. <laughs> I think uh, Like Pebbles on the Beach. These are beautiful, they really are. What's in this kit, Katrina? I think it's, it's Pebbles on, on the, in the pond. Pebbles. I don't know whether that's. Ah, these are. Pe oh, these aren't pebbles on the beach. These are pebbles in the pond. Have we got the right samples out for you? Yes. Yeah, we have. Well, pe yes, but it's pond. Yes, it is a pond. Dragonflies definitely on and a pond. And the water lilies. And, yeah. yeah. Of and then course. when you only know, look at the clear water, when you're looking into that clear water, oh. you can see the stones on the bottom. Yeah. Of the... Oh, this is lovely. So these are your pebbles on a pond. Uh, you get the full kit. We'll change the details for you. Uh, if you do want to get a hold of it, it is 19.95, and I do believe that's the right item number. Uh, no, it's not. We're going to change the details. We will find that for you. Pebbles on the pond. We'll get that, but it is available. Head to the website, uh, but we'll get the details to bring them back up on the screen. So what we'll do, whilst we do that, let's take a look at this particular item. Uh, so this is your Enchanted Garden Kit, £19.95, 679819. Wow, look at this. I like, I like this design because you're using much heavier yarns. Yeah. It's worked on the tweed again, but it's a close-up of a magical garden. You know, we're still using the same uh, straight stitches, a few long-legged French knots, a little bit of organza to create texture. But look at those tall spires of colour. And I think they look, just look fabulous in the garden. So they're done in French knots. A really nice, a nice magical garden. Really. Yeah. Do you know what I like about this as well? I'm just going to pick this up, if I can. I'll do it um, landscape for you so you can see this. just want to show you the, the, the threads here. Uh, this one in particular, 
That's amazing. It's so them. soft. It's yeah, I think you, there are some fab, fabulous yarns. And yeah. Some of them are knitting yarns, uh, and some of them are variegated yarns. But it just gives you that texture, um, just just very easily. It's fantastic. And that's a combination of, the, of all the different textures. And that's really nice because, again, it's, it's about learning, isn't it? And using all of these different threads. Absolutely love that. And there you can see you've got uh, a lot of those threads. That actually looks like my hair at the moment, <laughs> I must admit. Uh, but turn around. Um, everything will come. This is another point as well. It comes on these organisers, all your thread. Well, that's that's the beauty that you can you can just you haven't got to work out which which green, which yeah. pink. They're all on the organisers, so that you can easily get going on the project. I'll actually turn that the right way for you. There you go. You've got the numbers at the top, so that's absolutely perfect. You've got that with all of the projects. There you go. Uh, again, the hoops aren't included in that, but if you do want to display it on a hoop, we'll bring you the details in for this one. This is the seven-inch hoops, and you get three. It's, it's almost like I'm about to do a magic trick with these, isn't it? <laughs> you get three hoops, uh, £14.99. pence. That is a great price if you want to go for those. 903751. Remember, the book is available at 17 99 if you want to go for that, so you can further your techniques and you can read the wonderful designs and projects. Uh, right, we've got some play around packs now. Now, these are brilliant. Tell us what a play around pack is. Well, the, it's a collection of yarns I'm gonna that, that's around. worked on. Um, a cotton, either a cotton uh, background or it's worked on the wool. But the idea is that you've got a, a lot of texture, shades of green, if it's the bright and the bright colours, you'll get yellows and blues and reds. You'll get some beads there as well, and you'll get a collection of organza. So this is if you want to uh, experiment uh, with stitches or you want to create a design of your own or you just want to actually practice the stitches uh, and create a panel for a cushion but you've just got loads of colour. Uh, they're, not, they're not on an organiser, so it's, uh, you know, you're just going to have a look through and see which ones inspire you. But you'll definitely get some metallic threads, some bead thread, uh, knitting yarns, Appleton's cool wool yarns, and variegated cotton threads. I think that's fantastic. And this is going to give you free reign um, to do and create your own designs. Uh, to give you an idea, let me just pick this one up to show you. You could do something like this. So you could get your organza in the background, you could do the stitching on there, you could make the stitching up. You don't have to follow anything. It could be your idea. Or, if you wanted to, you could go for that book from Katrina as well. So if you've got a photograph or a scene, maybe you sit there in your home, you look out into your garden, you've got your favourite flowers, favourite corner of the garden, recreate it. Maybe you've been on holiday, you've been to the beach, and there's a certain area that reminds you of happy times. Make and create that as well. The world's your oyster, it really is. So that's your first kit available to you with all the organza, the thread. You also get the needles in there as well, don't you? Yeah, you get yeah. the, uh, the bead needle for the, as well. Yeah, so your beaded needle and the needle. So um, absolutely fantastic kit. Then, um, so that's 18.95.098.476. And then we've got the brights. And um, with the brights, with the sample I've just showed you, um, beautiful colours. What I'll do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pop that down like so. Uh, and then I'll take you through what you're getting. So you've got the beautiful, gorgeous sequins and beads in there, really nice bright colours, uh, as you can see, which are really nice. So nice bright colours in there, heading towards the springtime and summer. You've got some leaves in there as well, which are lovely. You've got your bright organza colours in there. So you've got some green, you've got some uh, bright orange in there as well. Let me pick that up. You've got some fabric. Have a play with this. Uh, you've got the lovely white. Is, again, is this cotton? It is cotton. Yep. Yep, you've got your cotton at the back, and then you've got your threads as well. So a substantial amount of threads for £18.95. pence, And that's something that you could make and create out of that as well. How lovely. It's exciting as well, Katrina, isn't it? When you get a kit like this, and you've got all the different elements that are in there, I'm making a bit of a pig's ear out of all of that, so I beg your pardon, I wanted to show you all of that. But isn't it exciting when you get something like that home, and you think, wow, I, c I can now create anything. Yeah, I mean, and you just, just get all it. the colours and go... And because that's sometimes how I design. I get a whole pile of colours yeah. on the table and they're all jumbled up and they're all, all lovely and uh, really 
exciting to use. So that it's a nice way of um, getting a collection of textures where you don't, you're not, you're getting just enough amounts there to create a picture. You'll definitely have loads to, to use both pieces of fabric. Yeah, you certainly will. Oh, it's so exciting. I bet everyone at home is thinking, right, I'm going to do this, I'm <laughs> going to create that. Um, now, uh, we also have another kit for you. This is beautiful. This really is with your snowdrops. Um, you don't get the frame, but this is showing you what it could look like when you've finished it. You get your threads on the organizer, so they're all numbered for you. You can see they're 1 to 12. So you've got your threads, you've also got your needles as well, which is most important because this means you can start creating out of your project pack. You've got your organza as well and you've got your fabric with the design on and you've got your instructions as well. So that's great. Uh, £14.95, 779-990 is your item number. Uh, right, we are, sorry, I've got back to you like this. Uh, it's just the way it has to be. Uh, right, uh, we're very busy, very, very busy. Make sure you get what you want, pop it into your basket. Um, I'm really happy for you because it means you've got something to do in the coming weeks to take your mind off the fact that we are hopefully heading out once again. How exciting is that? Uh, uh, right, let's head over to Katrina for our first demonstration. What we're going to have a look at? Okay, Katrina? we're going to have a look at Secret Stream. Okay, so this is the uh, new design. It's um, it's worked on the tweed, which is really lovely, and you have a, a small outline on the fabric, so you've got a starting point there, ready to stitch. And so the first thing I would do is to place my hoop fabric into the hoop, and this is the spring hoop. So this is the five-inch hoop. So you just Squeeze the spring together and then release that when it's in into the uh, frame. And then as you're ready to stitch, that's going to keep the work really taut. Now it's a five inch uh, hoop. There is one in the pack that's a seven inch, so you can use that um, for the Enchanted Garden. Um, now we do have those on the, on the um, show actually, the hoops that you use yeah, at the moment. Yeah, I mean they're great. I think, I think they're they're really useful. I mean, I've got, yeah, I use loads of them, but yeah. it's very useful to have. I think the advantage over a wooden hoop is that it keeps the tension. If, as you're stitching, you need to alter the tension, all you need to do is just squeeze the, the hoop there, the spring, and that'll ch rechange uh, the tension as you're working. Much easier uh, to handle. So I've got my actual work in there. So in your, in your kit, you'll get some lovely organza and you'll get a collection of threads. So there'll be a mixture of wools, some variegated threads, some metallic threads, uh, some bead thread. And then if I just have a look at those, you'll get some really fabulous beads to work with and sequins as well. So you'll get a mixture of turquoise and greens ready just to create this design. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just going to place the organza over the print and that's just going to create the meadow and you're just going to use little tiny pieces of the organza. So it's, it's a woven fabric. You're just going to cut little slithers off the fabric and just place those. You can distort them a little bit with just by pulling the fibres. And you're just going to create the little bit of that stream that's just appearing in, from the distance. And you're going to place that over the organza over the green as well and then just pin it into place and that's going to create the water effect as you're going along. Isn't um, it lovely, lovely how simplistic this is? It is. When you get down to it and have a look at it. It's really, really easy to do and you can just create, it's never right or wrong, you know, you can put more uh, turquoise organza in there, you can add more layers, just as long as you can see the print. You want to be able to see a little bit of the print there. And then I, I'm going to mount mine uh, into the four inch hoop. So you can just see when you you're, you're put the frame over the top, you can see where you're going to get the distance and you're going to bring um, the design right down to the edge of the fabric. So you can keep checking. Uh, but obviously, if you want to go, I know what I'm like, I give you a great big piece of fabric so you can really get carried away. So if you end up putting it in a five inch or a seven inch hoop, uh, you know, you can do that. But if, if, you want to, if you want to put it into the four inch display hoop, then just keep checking that you're not stitching too much as you go along. So if you wanted to extend that view and you wanted to, you know, when you start to get confident, if you wanted to add more to that yourself, you could do. 
Absolutely, and I, th I think you could also add, uh, you know, the card kit from the water's edge. Uh, you could add little bits, or you could add those pieces of fabric to your design. You know, there's there's lo lots of possibilities. But the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to show you how easy it is, uh, just to do the stitching. I've got my needle here. Now that's a chenille needle, so it means that it's got a large eye and a sharp point, which is perfect to go through the fabric and use the wool. And we're basically going to just do some straight stitches and it's very very easy to do and you're just going to add a couple of straight stitches just to create the grasses and the reeds in the distance and when you've got a couple of those stitched you can then remove the pin if you think the pins in the way then you can do a temporary stitch and take the pins out but it's as easy as that you can build up the straight stitching and obviously in the instructions it will tell you what to do where and when and we're going to gradually build up some stitches further down over the organza just to create the reeds. It's a gentle craft isn't it It is, Katrina? it is and you can chat, you can you can uh, you know watch television, you know you can be sitting looking out the window, you know it's something that is is not to, you don't have to be, don't be absolutely perfect Yes. You can be. You can just relax. You can add more stitches, uh, and as you keep going, so I'm just going to take those off. So once you've created, and you've followed that little part there to fasten off, all that you're going to do is just going to wind a couple of threads around the back there, and that's enough to secure that in place. And then you can just remove the thread. Okay. So you're going to create mostly with straight stitch, and then. I think the fun part of, the, of this design is that you've got the trees. Now the trees are worked in my favourite stitch. So one of my favourite stitches is French knot uh, and the whole of the tree is worked in French knots and beads. So you get lots of texture there uh, with different variegated threads. So I'm gonna, just going to show you how to do that. So I've got three strands in my needle so I'm using a thread that's um, a stranded cotton so that's this particular one here. It's made of six strands, so in the instructions it would say how many strands um, to use and it's got a lovely variegation so that that magic happens. You don't have to think about it, it'll just happen as you stitch and everybody's will come out slightly different depending where that variation started. So you keep your work in a frame and then you're just going to hold the thread and you're just going to go around once, twice and then as you turn the needle, point down, you're going into not the same hole but almost and as you push the needles through the fabric, it's got to be through the fabric, then you can tighten that and that keeps a nice, it, it twisted around the needle and keeps its shape. Just hold the thread as it goes through. Now then, apparently the secret stream isn't so secret because 20% of the stock has gone. 20% <laughs> of the stock has gone of your secret stream, secret the one stream. that we're demonstrating at the moment. Uh, so pop that into your basket, check on out, make sure you get it and then you'll be happy and you can continue watching the demonstration. The hayfield is also very busy. Uh, so these two, I think these two would look remarkable together. If I just take the secret stream and just place that next to your hayfield, imagine those two on your walls. It gorgeous. It doesn't have to go into the hanger. Uh, you could, these aren't included by the way, the hangers. You could place it onto a cushion. Uh, you could put this onto a bag, onto a wall hanging, for example. This is how they've been placed in the hoop, just to let you know. Uh, but I think both of those would look marvellous side by side. Maybe get one for yourself, one for a friend. You can both do the project, and then when we get a chance to come together, you can compare each other's and the different stitches that you've done. Uh, but the stream, 20% of the stock has gone of your secret stream, and also your hay feel very, very busy as well. Back Katrina. Okay, I've just done a couple of French knots there so that you've got a couple of French knots there. Leave uh, one or two spaces so you add the beads and hopefully we'll get a chance to show you how to do that. And you can see that magic appearing there with the different colours. And then really you could just build the whole shape of that design. And then for the shadow uh, underneath the tree, we're going to do a much darker thread to create the French knots and the shadows there. So again, same thing, you can fasten that off really easily. You can take 
the thread, keep all the bits, put back on your card, and then you're going to add. Now this, this you're going to add the beads, so I've put the beads in a little container, and I've got the um, needle here. It's, all it is is a sharp uh, needle with a fairly small eye, but it's, it's fine enough to go through the beads. All right, so you bring the thread from the back. Uh, you can either start with a knot or you can leave the thread to come through. Either way, whichever you prefer. Um, I think we've got some of those containers available. Um, here we go. It comes with the flower head pins, similar to the ones that um, Katrina's using. So they're ideal, aren't they? Ten ninety nine. You also get the um, needle pebble, which is brilliant for keeping your needles in, and you get the magnets for your pin needles, uh, which is fantastic. Great little kit that actually. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven four one two zero one is your item number for your own Dean embroidery accessory pack. I think. If, if you can go to it, if you can afford it, if you're going for the accessory pack, maybe the book, for example, and one of the kits that we've got available for you, what a lovely self-contained craft kit that's going to be to give as a gift. And when we've got Easter and Mother's Day coming up, uh, I think it's a fabulous idea. It kind of ticks the box, doesn't it, Katrina, for a gift? I think, I think so, and I think it's nice to give something that you've, you've actually made, and, and yeah. that's extra special, isn't it? So I've got, I've got my... Um, uh, beads here ready so I've got my container and you, all that you're going to do is just pick any of them there are multi the different sizes the different colors and you take the bead onto the thread and then all that you're going to do is just take the thread back down again and that's just enough to hold that bead in place and so you can bring the needle up further over and then just pick another color it can be a contrasting color and you're going to fill the whole area with beads and French knots and that will give a lot of sparkle to that area and there's some fabulous turquoise ones in there as well so you can just have a play with those and fill that whole area That's so effective texture. isn't it? A bead, a French knot, a French knot, a bead and it's um, really quite satisfying to fill that area. Yeah. Uh, but I think that something that's different about this kind of stitching is you're not counting anything. You're just working over the surface uh, and just creating with the stitches. And this design's really lovely in the way that you're not you're not covering the whole surface. Uh, you're you're leaving the organza to be yeah. seen as well. Oh, pretty. And then we'll add a couple of a couple of other ones, and then we'll go on to something else. I think if you're making a purse. A special purse for somebody. A design like this would be lovely. I think it's those emerald colours. Really, they're just fabulous colours. Mm. And so, really, the whole design is worked with the beads uh, and straight stitches just to create that. And then the water is created with this uh, metallic thread that's just going to a couple of horizontal stitches all the way down. Uh, and that's just as if the water's flowing down. The lower love part that. Of the picture. And like you say, you can add more of the organza, you can make the stream deeper in colour, uh, you could add more grass, more wreaths around there as well. It's going to be up to you. You could, you could add your own twist to that design, maybe put a couple of flying birds or the sunshine in the background. Uh, right, let's take you through the kits again and then we'll head back to Katrina. This is your Easter heart. How lovely is this? Not just for Easter though, but it would make a great gift for somebody to make and create or you make it and give it as a gift. Uh, it could be your starter kit, this could be the starting pack for you. Twist that round and show you the design that you've got on both sides there. 20% uh, of the stock has gone, love those daffodils. Just the best picture of spring, isn't it? 305 802 is your item number, £15.95. pence. You do get your full instructions, <clears throat> excuse me. You also get your thread counter with your threads on so that's really easy it keeps all the threads nice and organized and you've got your numbers that run along the top and it comes with your instructions as well so let me place that down there um, and your organza and your beads as well so that's the full kit including the ribbon I like the way Roan Dean Embroidery think about everything for you 305 802 is your item number 
Now, the brand new today, the Hayfield, very busy, 20% of the stock has gone. If you want to go for the hoop, if you want to display it in a hoop like we've done here, we'll bring the details up on the screen, you get three of the hoops. These are the four-inch hoops. And you get three of those in the kit, and the details will come up at the bottom of the screen, £10.99. You don't have to have those, but they are proven to be very popular, just to let you know. Your full instructions come with your kit. Very easy to follow, so you can see that. And we can turn that around, so you've got all your stitches there ready to go. The threads are all organised, as you can see there. So let me lift that up and show you. So they're all nicely organised, and they're numbered as well. The organza is in the pack. You've got your needles, your needle for your thread, and also your needle for your beads as well. And then you've got your beads and your sequins in there. And it's printed on wool, so you've got the scene set already to start creating. £10.95, 409 012 now, the secret stream, which is proving to be the busiest, oh my word, a third of the stock has already gone now, the secret stream, not so secret. Uh, it is a delightful image, isn't it? It's something that when you look at it, it makes you smile. You can put it in a hoop, you can put it on a cushion, you can put it into a purse, for example, into a wall hanging. You can create more around it if you want to, or you could leave it as it is. Absolute joy to make. 214140 is your item number. Again, you get your full instructions, you also get your organza, you get your needles, and you get your beads as well, which is fabulous. Now, we do have some cotton fat quarters for you on the show, and our Katrina's got them with her. So can we have a look at the fat quarters, Katrina? We can, we can. I'll try to bring them over from here. Well, these there's, there's a collection of the colours here. Um, they're, br they're brilliant to, to work with. The actual sort of creamy colour, the pearl colour here, that's the one that we do work with our kits. So that's we use that for a backing fabric. But if you wanted to do your own project and make that a much larger, I mean, it is, it, we call it fat quarter, but it's actually huge. That's, so you that get, is big. You get, a, you get a great big piece of fabric, um, really, really useful. But then if you have, uh, um, you've done a couple of kits and, you, and you'd like to make them into uh, part of a journal, we've got some colours that you can use um, just to create, whether you're doing a book cover or you're doing uh, keeping together uh, a lot of your stitch samples that oh, you've done. That. So you can build up uh, a little bit of a journal. But I've just done, um, it's as if it's a book cover. Uh, I, have, I would stitch this, but at the moment I'm just creating that. So you can use all the different colours just to create a project uh, and maybe idea? add a little bit of a butterfly or whatever. Uh, um, Colour-wise? So colour-wise, so we've got terracotta. Terracotta. I might get some of them wrong though. That's all right. <laughs> we've got a, um, a mauve. Yeah. A blush. Yes. Uh, Wedgwood blue, which is yes. really, really lovely. Celestial blue, yes, which is that. really, really gorgeous colour. We've got mushy pea here. Oh, mushy so pea! So mushy pea. I mean, that was great. It was a great name, but it's it, just, it's just lovely. It is. And then we've got asparagus. Oh, lovely! You got all of them so right. That's well good. done. And then there's powder blue. I don't know where that went, but it, we've got powder blue as well uh, in that colour collection. And then again, we've also got the tweed as a fat quarter. So if you wanted to make a, um, one of your designs into a cushion, uh, you've got that opportunity. The tweed uh, is a different tweed, item number. Is it? Oh, right. But yep. is it, it is a fat quarter. Uh, it is a fat quarter. It's not in that colour. It's not a cotton one. Yep. It's got a cotton We'll put one. the details at the bottom of the screen if you want to go for the tweed fabric fat quarter, £12.99, 331119. I'm being told that it's enough to make a 14-inch cushion. Is that right? That's what it yeah, says. Yes, I yeah. think, uh, you that's know, a good size. That's a good fat quarter. But the like color, that. I think the colours, you know, if you the that's water's a full edge, cream fat quarter. It is, yeah, it is, it is. And those colours would make a great cushion to go with, you know, the water's edge. You know, yes. they're all, all those. It's all those colours that we've we've been using. I like, I like the idea of the book and you putting one of your project kits on the front of the book. That is a, that I, is a fabulous I quite like idea. That. And build up because sometimes it's nice, you know, you could have different seasons, yeah. you could have uh, ideas where you're creating a garden or, if you're, or even if you've used um, the, the Playround pack, that would be great too. Yeah, it certainly would. Certainly would. Uh, right, we are getting busy for all the kits now. Uh, we'll carry on with the projects. Uh, coming up next, this is magnificent, isn't it? And it's achievable. That's the thing, your walled garden. Um, I would love to have a garden like that. Oh, to walk through that door every day, go and sit on a piece of furniture, or maybe just on one of the rocks. Love that. 
Uh, if you like the movie The Secret Garden, this would be ideal. £31.99. It's the walled garden kit. Um, now, you get, in your kit, you get your organza. Now, what's interesting about this, this part at the bottom here, you actually create on the organza. So you stitch it onto the organza, and then you use a technique where you can actually melt the organza away. It's amazing. And then it becomes one piece. But all you see is the stitching and the embroidery. It is, it's amazing. When you do it, you'll see what I mean. You'll think it's amazing too. Um, you get your threads in there. You get your beads. You also get the threads on the thread organizer. And if you're thinking, well, how do I put that walled garden together? I'm not an artist, but I'd really like to have a go. Well, that's absolutely fine. If I just move these out of the way for you, as you can see there, it's already on your fabric. Now, you do get the mount. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you get the, the Do you get the board as yes, well? Yes, you get the ah. board as well. You get the board as well. You get the mount, which is brilliant. All you need to do is purchase a frame. £31.99. 801645 is your item number. Now, something that's been really, really busy. Half the stock has already gone. If you want to get these now, I would definitely get these into your basket. Don't miss out. Um, Katrina has another show this afternoon. That's right. Do you know what time? Two. Two o'clock this afternoon. So, um, I'm not saying get in before anyone else gets them, but I kind of am. Uh, you've got six projects here, so you could put these on the front of a book, you could keep the cards and use them for something else, or you could give the cards as a gift with a suggestion of taking the project off the front and using it on their own project. 307598 is your item number. Full instructions come with the kit, so you can see here, if I just open this up, you've got all of the information for each of the projects to put together, which is fabulous. £18.95. pence. It works out to be £3.15 per card, or 60 15 Wow, what a deal, what a deal. 305 598 it's a card and a present half the stock now has gone very very busy for that let's head back to katrina um and we carrying on with the same project we're katrina? gonna we'll look at the water but the water's edge yes all right so um it's great it's, it, i love the idea that you can create six designs on one piece of fabric uh, each i would suggest that you work each design uh, before you cut them up ready for your card so there's plenty of space between the design and they're all individual and they're all themed if you like on um, on this the water's edge so I'll just show you the colors so the colors that you get I you get a bit carried away with the colors so there's an extra card in this time so there's 23 colors here just to create the design so we've got uh, variegated shades of blue we've got green we've got gold thread We've got metallic thread. We've got fabulous colours for the pebbles at, uh, in this design and a little bit of sparkle as well. So you've got loads of colours to play with uh, and lots of colours. If I just bring those over so you'll get lots of colours to create the design as well. Uh, so with, so the, just, just with the be. water's edge that we're talking about, how many threads do you get? Oh, well, there's actually 23 23 oh. different colours. In the in the little water's edge? Oh, no. Oh, no, in, in the, the cards, edge, sorry. Um, not the pardon. secret stream. That's my bad. That's right. Water's edge, water's edge cards. Of course it is. I just got confused. And I was thinking, oh, that's a lot, but I can see them in front of me here. Sorry, <laughs> Katrina. My fault. Okay, so we're, so we're, uh, so I would suggest you know work each design, and they're all different. So we've got here, we've got um, some organza. So in your Kits, you'll get a collection of organza uh, to use and to create um, the texture. So I'm just going to show you that how to do that. It's a woven fabric, so it, if you pull the fabric on the stretchy part of the design, then you cut it on the bias, so the stretchy bit. So you take a section, and then you're going to be a bit mean to it. You're going to distort it. Oh. Pull the threads apart. They don't. They don't. They won't fray just by moving them. You've got to really pull them apart, uh, and just make them a little bit textured. And then those pieces are you going to be used either for uh, grasses, or you could add texture into the into one of your kits. So you'll get loads to play with. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you get lots of colours. I mean you'll get navy for different colours of water, turquoise, and I love this sort of mid green. Uh, for the, the bottom of the of the pond. So you'll get lots of colours to create. 
and you, you're going to there is a plan in the instructions as to where I've put the organza to start with uh, and then you'll have loads more to add if you wish so I'm going to start on this one with a couple of water lilies so the water lily design is printed and I'm just going to bring the thread up from the back Three quarters of the stock now gone of your Water's Edge kit, uh, Katrina, proven to be very, very popular. Uh, there is some more organza on the website if you want more. Uh, maybe you've been following Rowan Dean Embroidery for quite some time now and you want to stock up. We've got some available for you. Here we go. Look at the five star upon five star upon five star reviews. There you go. Uh, so if you do want to get some more organza, you've got your landscape, you've got your um, autumn. Um, and you've got your large pieces as well. So go and check all those out on the website if you do want to get hold of some more. But there is ample amounts of your organza in your Water's Edge kit. But very, very busy. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Proved to be popular, um, Katrina. It's, it's, and it's, there's nice colours to work with. It's spring, the spring-like and the, the really sort of happy colours. So as you go around, you're just going to go over, just go beyond the print. And then you, you can't see that. the print afterwards, can you, Katrina? No, no. You, it's, I mean, there's not every line. I mean, some of the time, I only put the minimum lines on there. But you just don't want to see the print. And if you can, just go to the outer edge of that so that it's going to cover. Just go beyond the stitching. And you just, if you if you feel as though you've missed a little bit, you can always go go back over that design and just create the shape of the leaves. And they've got that lovely edge to them some of the, of the water lily so you're just going to go over that and fill in that shape really really easy to do and because you've got variegated threads the magic just happens uh, and they'll all come out slightly different and it's so easy this particular design we've got three different shades uh, of the watery leaves and then we've got some tiny little straight stitches here and a couple of french knots uh, for some daisies at the water's edge Aww. Really, really simple designs yeah. are quite effective. So you've got the opportunity to add more or you can uh, leave it quite minimal. And I just love the... I'll just move uh, over, over to the other part of the design. So if you've got your... If I haven't got it tangled up, there we go. If we're looking at the one with the dragonfly, this is a lovely design. You've got a piece of, a, of white organza that you place over the top of the print and you're going to stitch all the way around with stem stitch. And once you've stitched all the way around, you're just going to cut the excess organza away. And that's just enough to give you the shape of the dragonfly. So it's, it's really, really easy to do. So those uh, the sharp embroidery scissors perfect to get around the leaves and then add keep all the little bits because you'll get more oh, organs uh, Katrina Katrina I'm sorry to interrupt you but we are limited stock I don't want anyone to miss out on this I know we've got another show later on today at 2 uh, but we don't want you to miss out we're limited stock so here's your chance to pop it into your basket uh, we've got five minutes left on this show but limited stock I don't think it's going to last 307598 is your item number it is a fantastic price it really really is um, very popular this kit Katrina I mean, I think what's nice about the, this type of design is that you've got six designs, so you can work on one and then go on to the next one, yeah. and it makes you want to go on to the next design, and they all come out uh, different, which is which is great. I just think that, but they're so easy. I'm just going to show you another stitch. This is um, a stem stitch. So this this is a stitch that will curve. So some of the grasses on here um, are curved. And so stem stitch you would use to go around um, the dragonfly. So you bring the thread up and then you're just going to take a small stitch and bring the needle halfway between the two points. Bring the needle up and then each time place the thread to the top and then bring the needle out where you came out from before. And so it forms like a 
It's like an overlaid back. Katrina, stitch. I've got some news. We've sold out. We have sold out of the water's edge. Oh my word. Wow. Well done, everyone, for getting that into your basket. Um, that's it. They're gone. Um, so well done. Well done. 307598. Um, if you don't mind, we just need to do a recap of the counter because we've sold out of that particular project kit. Uh, we need to tell you about the other items we've got on the show. Your Easter hearts, that's also proven to be very, very busy. Lovely design on each side. 305802. 40% of the stock has gone of that one, £15.95. and pence. Again, you get your organza in there, you get your beads, you get your wool to actually put the stitching onto and you get the starting point in there. You get two pieces because one is for the front and one is for the back, of course. And you also get your lovely uh, wadding. So you can put some uh, beautiful lavender inside. You can make it a little, little uh, smelly heart, if that's the right way to describe it. A smelly heart. Uh, I love you. Here's my smelly heart. Uh, 305802 is your item number. Uh, right, also proved to be really popular, brand new today. A uh, third of the stock of the hayfield has gone. A third of the stock already gone. If you want to get the hoops, they are available. You get three of them. I will put the details at the bottom of the screen. Of course, you can put this onto the front cover of a book, onto a card, onto a cushion. It's entirely up to you. 409012 is your item number. Beautifully organised, wonderfully explained as well in the instructions that you get from Rowan Dean Embroidery. Uh, next up, also proven to be very popular, is the Secret Stream. We love this, don't we? We love a bit of a babbling brook. Yes, we do. Uh, and this is a delightful little project uh, to put together. This could be your first steps into uh, your wonderful Rowan Dean Embroidery. And then once you put your first stitch in, you really will be hooked. Uh, 214140 is your item number. And you get your full instructions as well. 40% well. uh, of the stock, though, has gone of that particular design. Right, your walled garden. This is also very, very busy. Love this. Isn't this beautiful? Who's doing the two o'clock show? Is it our Catherine? Right, here's some advice. If you want to get hold of this, I'd get in before Catherine, because as soon as she gets in, she's just going to buy the whole counter. So just to let you know. But she won't be able to get the water's edge because we sold out. Unless she was ordering it before she left to get here. Uh, right, this is a wonderful, wonderful design, isn't it? And when you put this together, some really nice techniques. First of all, the organza. Um, you'll be amazed at when you put this together. So you stitch onto the organza, which is that way. So you stitch onto the organza, and then you melt the organza away. So you're left, you, you've almost made your own applique. Uh, and then you put that onto your picture, and you can continue stitching. You've got your beads in there as well. So you have all of your organza to put that together. It also comes with, if I move this out of the way, it also comes with your mount and the board to put that on. All you need is a frame. All you need is the frame. So that's the mount and the board that it comes with. Um, if you want to get hold of that, 801645. Katrina, we're coming up to the end of the show. Where does the time go? I don't know where. <laughs> I've got lots to show yet. I know. <laughs> We've got another show at 2 o'clock. Yes. yes. We've had a very busy show this hour. Do go and check out the book from Katrina, award winning. Thank you. Award winning. Uh, and go and have a look at the reviews on there as well. It really is a magnificent book. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you. Let you get a cup of tea, yeah. maybe some lunch. And then we'll see you at 2 o'clock. Uh, great. We'll see you at 2 o'clock. Anything you want is on the website, apart from the item we sold out of. Uh, check out the accessory kit as well. It's always good to go for whenever you're going for the kits we've got available for you. Stay where you are, though, because we've got more coming up for you here on her channel. We'll see you after the break. Yes, Crafty Devils One Day Special is up next with Mel and Adam. Be crafty. Oh, there's going to be trouble. Is in the building after that, and then we're going to get back to Rowan D Embroidery. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander shows, we'll share with you 
the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple Shows on a Chanda and have some fun. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Yes, indeed, a very good afternoon. I was just conducting. I just have a little conducting with my brand new uh, Crafty Devils paintbrushes. I know, I got get them in slowly, subtly, subtly. Uh, we are talking Crafty Devils. This is your one day special. I know, words that we've never uttered before. Crafty Devils and one day special. And already, 60% of your one day special stock has all ready gone and I'm not alone no 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 <laughs> when we talk crafty devils we only talk one person uh, and Mel's in the building hi. hi this is amazing what you've given us is great value for money you've given us more projects than we can shake a stick at yes you've given us brand new MDF wood glue that's yes. in there as well we've got news on that shortly um, and you've just given us big projects that we can that you that are usable yep so they're usable so you can create them um, to your own taste 
but you can also create them as a gift and give them to somebody. Um, and we've, we've kind of gone, we want to include stuff for men. So we've got masculine, we've got feminine, we've got pets. This is the thing, we've got the toppers on the show as well, so you can uh, turn them into like the little, the little dog crate. But this is what I adore about these. I think they're absolutely beautiful with the shoe fats. Let's start with the crates. Let's go down the front. You are getting one large, one medium, and two of the small crates uh, that you see just here. What can you do with them? Well, you can do anything with them. Because they're made out of MDF, um, Pop a bit of gesso over the top, first of all. That's going to give them your prime. That's going to give you your base. That's going to give you your, your substance to everything to stick onto. Because if you go straight in with your decent paints, you're going to cost you a lot of money in decent paints. Because obviously it's wood, so it's going to absorb in. Go in with your gesso that I've got on the show as well. And once you've gone in with your gesso, it's down to you where you want to put them. The large one would fit into those cube systems. It really, really would. The smaller ones would fit into cupboards. Uh, so you can sort out your covers now. Maybe you're going to use one for hairbrushes and bobbles and ties and what else would I want to have? Uh, things like that, like clips. That toiletries. Toiletries. You could go in the immediate one if you want to. What you can do is endless. For the sheer fact, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Now you put that with the black tissue paper that I've not even touched on yet that comes with this on the inside for a Father's Day gift. Perfect. Would be absolutely beautiful. And you have created this all on your own. Uh, not only can you do with the small ones, though. So now imagine uh, the medium ones uh, that you've also got. So now you can start going with the medium ones if you wanted to. Start thinking about bathrooms. Um, I'm a big fan of hampers. You pop bath bombs, a candle, lavender oil, shampoo, all that in there. Mother's Day, done. You've got the cellophane wrap to wrap it all up. But then we can go even better. So you get the full crate. I'm also going to throw in one of the flower carts as well. So imagine putting the oasis in the bottom and your fake flowers that you may want to go in there. Imagine using it this morning. We worked out you can put two wine glasses and a bottle of Prosecco in there. And it fits perfectly. Uh, for your Mother's Day as well. Uh, so that is your flower. You're going to get one of those included in your kit. Then you're moving up to the 10 tags. Different assorted sizes. Maybe you're going to use them on your project. Maybe you're going to use them individually. But you've also got your 10 tags on the show, uh, obviously of different sizes uh, that you see there, from the largest all the way through uh, to the smallest that you've got. Then comes the good bit. Then it now comes this little badger. This little badger just here is brand, brand new. Now... The only way at the moment of getting this glue is going for this bundle. We are currently working on trying to get it individually. We're trying to work and we're just waiting for the buyers to talk to people. Uh, as soon as we've done this, we'll, I'll let you know. But at the moment, this is the only way of getting it. This is your brand new MDF glue. So, yeah, lovely, lovely glue. Everyone asks us what glue can we use um, on our MDF to keep it um, nice and secure. Um, and so we have produced um, our very own MDF glue. It's, it's perfect. It's in a nice handy little bottle, so you haven't got a great big bottle to hold in those fiddly little areas. Perfect little bottle. Well, it really is, and it's got the perfect stopper on it as well, which, once again, I never thought I'd say, but it's a nice size. It's ergonomic. It's not over the top. It's not cumbersome that you've got there. Uh, you've now got uh, that little nozzle on there, so you can uh, go with it, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm just being told, if you want more of the MDF glue... You can get two of them for £5.98. It's an end of call item. So once you've put something into your basket, there's no delivery. Once you've popped it into your basket, uh, this will go through. So now you can get three. If you're going for your, your one-day special, I'd pop another two of these in because you're going to use it. Because it's not, it's not got the wiggle room, it's got about 30 seconds of yes. wiggle room, hasn't it? But... What we're going to, you can still use it for your papers and I things. I use it for everything now. So if I'm decorating my MDF, I use it on my papers um, just to stick them onto, onto it. And yeah, you've got a little bit of wiggle room, but not a lot. Uh, I like that. So you've got your glue. You've also got your baker's twine thrown in as well. Nice to do with your cellophane because you're getting your cellophane and a lot of cellophane as well is what you're getting in there, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, which is beautiful. Uh, technically, 15 projects is what you're getting for this price. And then, 
Look at this. So all this is tissue paper. So you get the fuchsia pink, you get the burgundy, you get the blue, the yellow, the black, and you get the red. You think, oh, that's all right. 48 sheets is what you're getting here. Uh, but you think, well, it's not very big. Let me show you the actual size of the tissue paper that you are actually getting. Look at this. A good old A3 sheet there easily is what you are getting. And you're getting that in every single colourway. Beautiful, beautiful designs. Once again, you can do so much with tissue paper. Use it for the size of your crates uh, and really go to town with your mats and layers and your colours uh, that you've also got in there. Uh, there are so many upsells that we've also got on the show. Uh, what I need you to do, we've got over 40 items on the show. This is how many items we've got, so there's so many good to do. Uh, jump onto the website. Now, what I want to point you to as well are the, um, the crackle. This crackle is phenomenal. All you need to remember is paint, crackle, paint. It's as simple as that. Paint it, let it dry, put your crackle on, let it dry, put your paint on, and that's the one you can force dry. Um, but that <laughs> is the one you need to go and get today. Your crackle is extremely busy. Something else that's busy as well are our gilding flakes glues uh, that you can put on glass now. So you now, you can go, they are 80% of the stock of those have already gone. So if you want your crackle glues, not your crackle glues, Adam, I'm getting all my products mixed up. If you want your glues, there they are there, look. Uh, you can just see them next to the glasses that you're looking at. They are beautiful. We did a demo with these in the previous hour. You can now go on to glass, create your own wine glasses uh, with these. How beautiful are these? Right then, Mel, we're coming straight to you this time um, because we're busy already. And we want to, we're busy for the crackle, and 80% of the stock has already gone. Good. So can we see, uh, can we see the stock? So you want to see, do you want to see, do you want to see the crackle? I want to see, in, I want to see the action. So, um, our crackle, lovely stuff. <laughs> so once you've painted your MDF, put your crackle glaze on top. Now it's not only for MDF, you can put it on paper as well. Um, so, oh, yes, yeah. yeah, so for the backgrounds for your card making. Um, which I'm going to show you in a minute because oh, I've, I've been quite organised this, this hour. I've already uh, let one dry <laughs> on some paper. So make sure your brush is nice and clean. Now, obviously, I know the answer to this already, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I'm yes. going to play devil's advocate. Okay. Um, the colour that we paint on first is the, is that, is that the crack colour? That's the colour that's going to come through. Okay, your crackle. So that's the colour that will bleed through first. Yes. That's the colour we'll see underneath. So paint onto your painted surface. Don't do it too thinly. Don't 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 be stingy with your crackle. Um, to and I like an uneven finish. Um, so I do thick bits and thin bits. Can you do too much of it? Um, no. The thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to dry. But if you do it too thin, you're only going to get a really fine crackle. Oh, okay. Okay, so paint that on. And then forget about it for a little while. Okay, put that to one side. This is one we've done earlier. Put your lid on top of your crackle because you don't want to spill that everywhere because it's going to make a heck of a mess. Clean. And we've worked out this morning, it will last overnight as well, so you could do it today and come back to it tomorrow. Yes. Yes. That's good. So you don't, you know, it's a project that you can think, oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow, but you can prep it the day before. That's good. You're using the brushes as well, the new brushes that we've got on the show. I love these brushes. They're Six so brushes, nice. Six brushes, 14 99 These are beautiful brushes as well. So I'm going to go on top with a nice white chalk paint. Now, depending on the finish that you want, depends on how much paint you put on top as well. So okay. if you want to do thin layer... Um, you don't want it too thin because you do want to get that crackle effect and you just paint that on top. And it happens quite quickly, doesn't it? It happens amazingly quickly. I was looking this morning and I was like, oh, I can't see anything. Then all of a sudden, you all of a sudden like, it starts. There you go, look, it's gone. It started. It started. So you see, I'm just, I'm not brushing my paint on too thinly. And if you want a more even finish, you can swipe it down. How cool is that? Look at that. Now that's going to keep cracking for a few minutes. So while that's cracking, I prepped some of our lovely um, spotty paper that I believe is on the website. 
So I've prepped this with my crackle glaze already and let it dry. Okay, so that's, so that's already got the glaze on. So it's already got the glaze yeah, on. And then... Here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm excited about paper. Let's get a bit more paint. You can see it's going already. Yeah, you can. And again, depending on how much of a crackle you want, I'm going to put a bit of thicker bit here. Spread that out a bit, thin a bit there. Oh my word. Is it just paint that makes it crackle? Could we go in with our inks and things like our distress oxide? I haven't tried that. Okay. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure is my answer. This is a new, um, it's straight off the press, isn't it? Really? Yeah, like, it's a new it's thing for me. Straight here. We, um, you didn't want to wait. It, it arrived quite late because um, they couldn't ship it too early because of the temperature in Germany. Um, so, it, so I've only had a chance to play with it for a little bit. So I will experiment it with it before my next show. Was it too hot? Too cold? Too cold. Oh, it was too cold in Germany. Um, so, um, look at that then. So there, you can see that is crackling already on there. That. Look at that. Oh, I love that. And do you know that? So that you can use that on your card making. Yeah. So on your for background now. Um, and if you wanted a masculine one, you could um, instead of painting it white, you could do browns. So it looks like. Um, Render, cracked render. Like a cracked like crack leather on a book or yes. something like that would be absolutely beautiful. And our heart is pretty oh crackled my now. Word. So that looks pretty amazing. I, I love these. Can you hold it up to camera one. Can I hold it there? Be. There you go. Look at that. How aged does that look? Then you go, if you went over that with another colour now, would you lose the cracks? So if you went over like with your vintage blues and uh, old sepia photos, would you lose the cracks on it? Let's try. Okay. Let's try. Oh, I've got a bit of brown here. I suppose if you, yeah, if you thin it down like a thin water. Let's I just don't know. I just wondered if you, obviously, do you can you only go on with one colour on the top? It's, it's these are sort of questions. Let's give it a go. The answer to that is I don't know because obviously I, I haven't had a chance to play. Press. So... If you go thinly, no, you don't lose through. it. And I'm guessing you could rub it back as well, so then you're going to change the colour once again. Yes, you would You would unearth a lot of the underneath colour because you've got a little bit of pink coming through here. Um, not sure if you can see that on camera. Um, there's a little bit of pink coming through there, but if you were to rub it with a bit of fine sandpaper, you're going you to would get, get more of a... <gasps> Because I'm thinking now like furniture and stuff like that, like little furniture for dolls' houses, if you want to really age something yes. that you've got on there. Or you want to do, especially with the plaques that we've got on the show, these heart plaques that we've got, uh, it's very modern these days to do hanging, you know, like little hangers that you can put on like door handles and on cupboards and things like that. Uh, you can do that uh, with the hearts that I've got on the show, but you can now make them vintage. You go and buy stuff, these, th these vintage things like these, uh, that's also crackles. Uh, it's very, very expensive, but now you can do it yourself with our crackle medium that we have got on the shoe. As I said before, it's just come on to the market. 80% of the stock has already gone. 80% of the stock has already gone of this. Um, so it's literally hot off the shelves. At the moment, pack shots fell down man. Uh, so um, the crackle itself is, it's, it's brand new to the market. Basically what we're saying is there is so many things you can do with it and just look at what you can achieve when you get this home. Absolutely stunning. 80% uh, of the stock has already gone here as well. Uh, right then, something else that you might need. I'm loving my new pointer, my little new brush. Uh, you are getting your gilding flakes. Now, I'm not going to open these in the studio because they are full. 
You are paying eleven ninety nine for three parts. You get the gold, you get the silver, and you also get sort of get the bronze and the copper that's in there. Your silver on glass. How beautiful is that? No one needs to know what you're drinking anymore. <laughs> what you're having, Ribena? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, so, uh, how beautiful are these around the Christmas table? Maybe this year that you're going to be using. Maybe it's a celebration that you'll be using as well. Oh, look at that, the golden chalice that you've got there. I absolutely adore them. Uh, but to get that effect, what you're going to need is you're going to need your gilding flakes to do them with. Now, once again, as Mel always says when we have these on the show, be frugal. For the sheer fact, you need to peel them apart because there is more than one in it. They're, they're coming big clumps. So what you need to do, if that doesn't just one gilding flake, literally, I don't know if I can show you, uh, but you can see how full the pot is in there. Can you start the fans, please? Uh, so, um, look at these. So there are more than one. They are absolutely stunning. Something else that goes hand in hand with these is your glue. If you're wondering how we managed to get these effects on your wine glasses, it was quite simply by using these here. So they are alcohol based that you've got. Um, so what are the two types for that we've got here now? We've got a pink and sort of a clear. So the pink is an alcohol based one. So that is for your glass um, and your metals. Now that will um, go on pink. Um, wait till it dries clear. It won't, act, when I say dries clear, it goes clear. It will be really, really tacky and it will stay tacky for 48 hours. So you've got that. lots of time to prep for it. So you can do something in between. You can do it the night before. Um, and the other one is for your woods and your card. Um, and that will go tacky in 10 to 15 minutes of putting it on. And it will stay tacky probably for about 12 hours. And it doesn't, like nothing comes off or nothing, like you literally are good to go uh, with these. Let's have a look at this in action, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't give a hoot, to be honest. I'm gonna go straight, I'm gonna go straight in with this. I don't think we were meant to demo this at the moment, but I want a little demo of this. Uh, is it possible we can see this in action? Yeah, so, because you were talking about it, I, um, I started doing it. So, <laughs> so well, I've painted, i pre-painted my glass. Um, so it went pink, and now you can see the base of my glass is looks clear. Yeah, it does. Um, but it's not. If I put my finger on it, that my finger's kind of stuck. You can stuck. see, like, so it's it's tacky. Okay, so that's what you that's the finish that you want. Then add your gilding flakes, and they oh. just stick on. Oh, look at these. Try and do it over here so I don't get them everywhere. But you can see how brilliantly they stick on. They really do. And then you do get this beautiful, beautiful look. Uh, now, we had an email in, uh, I think it was from Emma this morning, that asked, uh, can you put them in the dishwasher? Um, but we've said hand wash. Hand we? wash, really yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't want to ruin my dishwasher with if, if anything happened. I wouldn't want to ruin the glasses. <laughs> you spent all that time doing them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, if I ruin my dishwasher, it means Mark's got to wash the dishes and no. then we'd have paper plates. <laughs> you don't even need paper plates, just put cling film over the top of your normal plates and just wind that up at the end of the evening. I've never thought of that. You see? <laughs> never hey. thought of that. You want a job done quickly, I'll be a man. <laughs> so, I've got Ford Cortina right at the back, full of cling once, film. <laughs> once you've put... Uh, don't make me laugh into oh, my yeah, plate. So I've just blown everywhere. Go. We've done so good for two <laughs> hours so got far. Got them on my glasses now. <laughs> so, and then just rub it off gently. Now, um, there's lots of different tools you can use to rub it off. I'm just using a bit of tissue. And what I liked earlier was the brush marks yes. of the um, paintbrush that I painted it on with. We're limited stock for the glue now. 
limited stock for the glue. Uh, we also said as well, because there's a super fine nozzle, super fine nozzle that you're getting on these, um, and if you're good at um, click, uh, click decanting, yeah, uh, de or even decanting, you could decant them into the thinner, into the thinner nozzled uh, glue jars, or because they've got a thin nozzle on them, you could actually write someone's name on sort of a flat surface. So if you held the glass still, you could do initials and things, maybe for weddings or big birthdays, or maybe you've got that, that one person that always comes that always likes their own glass. We've all got them. Uh, they normally bring their own with them. Oh, I bought my own glass, but mine aren't good enough for you. <laughs> uh, but you could do, you could You're do their initial. Film on her. Just get it off my chest. <laughs> that was all. I feel better. And um, so. Oh, cleanse. Uh, but um, what you're getting is you can now put their name on it, is what I'm saying. You could put uh, their name on there. Uh, we won't name them just now, but they know who they are. Uh, but we don't see them anymore. Uh, but now uh, you could go with the initials onto the glass as well. Uh, limited stock, if you want them, they are now limited stock, is what we're looking at. Uh, palette knives are up next uh, with your artist palettes as well, which works wonders with your new brushes. Looks like I'm painting, looks like I'm painting the screen. Uh, but, uh, so you get your artist palettes, you don't get your brushes, but you get your artist palettes, ergonomically designed, it's got the thumb hole in there for you as well, uh, so you know it's not really gonna go anywhere. Uh, so you've got that grip to it, so obviously your fingers go on the bottom. Uh, then you've got all the little ink wells around the edge uh, that you've got there. Let me turn it to you rather than to me, because I've seen it before. Uh, they're quite deep that's in there. So you're getting a lot of, you could get a lot of liquid in here. Maybe you're going to be some of your watercolours that's in there. Then you've got your mixing palettes in the middle and maybe you're going to pop a little bit of water, a little damp sponge. Who knows? Just to dab yourself down. But not only do you get this, but you never know. It's, it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer out there. It's lovely and sunny here today. I might pop a short on later when I get home. Oh my goodness. Just the one, just one leg out. It's too <laughs> cold for two. Just just pop a leg out, then I'll put the heating back on. Uh, then you get your artist palettes as well. So you're also getting your palette knives. Uh, you go from one, two, three, four, and five. They can be expensive uh, to buy them on their own, is what it could be. But you are getting all fives, and you're also going to get the artist palettes as well for £11.99. Uh, it's well worth having a little look at these. They normally sell out time and time again, and they're also good quality as well. Really good quality, ergonomically designed uh, with the uh, with the, wouldn't it, the plastic handles uh, that you've got there, but they're decent having. If you do need some, i definitely start having a look at these today. £11.99 and pence for that entire bundle, 205803 is your item number. Artboard is what we're talking next. We all love a bit of artboard because what do you keep your, what do you keep, put your canvases on? Maybe you've bought some calico and something like that and you want to stretch it over and make your own canvases. Well, now you can. In theory, you can do them any shape uh, that you want to do them in. Um, so if you've got a bit of calico, you could stretch them over the designs that you've got. You have got the obligatory circle. Love a circle. Can't go wrong. Uh, that would look nice with flowers around. So sort of drape flowers around it and have sort of a name in the middle. <gasps> crackle. Put your crackle on the background and then go to town. Uh, then you've got your hexagon that's also in there. Love the hexagon. 250 mil is what you're looking at for your hexagon. Uh, from your hexagon, you've got your A4, uh, and then you get your 12 by 12, and you're getting three of each of all these is what you are getting. Um, absolutely love them. 12 artboards uh, is what you are getting there, so it works out to be £1.42 uh, per artboard. But then you can sort of create things that look like this. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, then as we said this morning, get a little 12 by 12 frame, pop out the glass at the front, Pop that in the back. You are good to go making your own artwork. £16 and 99 pence. Uh, right then, 977. I've had a coffee. 977 314 is your item of I apologise for. Uh, then we've got the flowers. I adore these. You're getting one in your one day special, but if you want two of these, I can do you two of them now. Uh, you're going to get two of them for £12.99. Look how beautifully they, are, they, can be cut, they can be wrapped if you go for the one day special. But if you're going for them on their own, you could do this for yourself. So you could do uh, pop flowers in there. You can pop uh, your wine glasses in there as well. 
because they fit, everything fits in here. So imagine doing this with a little miniature at the back or two goblets that you're going to put in there. Then put a little miniature bottle of, uh, of your gins in there or things like that. Or even maybe you've got that little bottle of Prosecco that you want to pop in because you're celebrating something. How beautiful would that be? Your gold and silver cups with your little bottle of Prosecco that's in there, uh, all decorated up. You can't go wrong. It looks beautiful. And anyone would adore having that at home. Because it, once again, once you've drank the Prosecco, there is something else you can use it for. There are so many things that, that you've got. Um, even like the little holes inside, you could use it to hold your brushes and things. Uh, that's in there. So good to go. Pop your pens in. Things like that. Have it on the desk. It's a handy little thing. To put, your, oh, put your yarn in. Yeah. I know you could have your yarn through the holes so you don't lose your yarn if you're crocheting. Oh, wow. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Have another coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That, I'm, I, must, I must say, I, I did very well there. <laughs> it wasn't me at all. It was Lottie in my ear. Uh, but... <laughs> I just took credit for it. Uh, but yeah, pop, pop your yarn balls in there. Don't be sad. I, I give you the credit for you need now. It was a very good idea as well. That's why I took it. Uh, put your yarn, put your thread through there. Crochet away. You can't go wrong. And it's sturdy. Absolutely adore it. Something else that you absolutely are loving this hour. Are you one day special? Your one day special, you are absolutely adoring. Nearly two thirds of the stock now has already gone. You are getting four of the crates that you see here already. So you've got four of your crates, one of the small, one of the medium, uh, two, two of the small, sorry, one of the large, one of the medium that you're getting in there. You're also getting your flowers that you could use for your yarn balls. Uh, you also get your 10 tags as well uh, that's also in here so you're going to get all 10 different sizes uh, of your tags which we absolutely love and these are all precision cuts aren't they they are yes uh, which is what we like as well so you know uh, for mats and layers they're all going to work really really well if you're going to start layering them up as well uh, then you also get your shrink uh, in there uh, not your shrink at all you'll get your, uh, your polythene cellophane cellophane that's the word i was looking for uh, you get your cellophane in there and a lot of it as well now, it could have been quite frugal and going, oh, yeah, I'll just give enough to wrap the one of the smaller boxes. No, you get a lot of cellophane uh, that's in there. You also get your baker's twine and you're also getting your MDF glue, brand new today. Uh, you can buy more on an end of call if you like it. I, I think it would be your go-to glue uh, from now on for all your MDF projects. Even if you're making your tags and your plaques that we've got on the show, you can start sticking things together and start building things up. Uh, right then, let's go to Mel. What are we up to? So I'm going to show you, because um, I had an idea, um, uh, as I said on the earlier hour, but if you weren't watching, when I went to bed last night, I had this um, idea in my head, as I do. Um, so your tags. So if you're doing your craft fairs, um, which hopefully we'll be able to do soon. Um, and you want to do your gifts up, your hampers up. Um, blackboard paint. Perfect for that. So, blackboard paint onto our MDF is a perfect thing. So, if you blackboard paint it, you get a customer on your stall. Um, you will be able to put their names on it or the name of the person that they are gifting to. So personalise it for people. Use your blackboard pens, your chalks, pens, oh, even I just chalk. I think you should have blackboard paint anyway, just in your crafty stash. Oh yeah, definitely. So with our blackboard paint, we paint it one way. Then the second coat, we let that dry a bit. Then your second coat, paint the other way to create a fusion with your paints. I've got a bit of gilding flakes. They get everywhere, don't they, gilding flakes? So, there we go. That's the blackboard paint. It's that easy, our blackboard paint. It's such a good coverage. Um, you can't really see that on the... I'll put it there. So, um, and then what you can do, get a customer. You did earlier. So, yeah, this is a dry one that I did earlier. <laughs> you can write... Their name on their tag for them. How cool would that be? That Just would a be a really amazing. personalised gift, wouldn't it? I'm also thinking for weddings, parties, birthdays, things like that, that you can reuse, especially the man the board that we've got on the show as well, the circles and the hexagons. Yeah. Imagine doing the circles in blackboard paint and giving it to the kids. Yes. 
giving it to the kids, popping it in the Wendy house outside so they've got somewhere to draw and they can wipe back every single time. Uh, you get an awful lot as well. Uh, you're getting loads in here. Look at the amount you're getting. This is uh, writable um, with a beautiful finish as well. This is your blackboard paint that you need. You need this. Okay, it's very rare I say that, but you need this. £12.99. Uh, menu boards, all that MDF that we bring you here on Achanda, and you think, well, I don't really make journals, I don't know what to do with it. Paint it black. Paint it black, turn it into a blackboard. You'll always find things to use them for. Uh, there's so many things. Then odds and ends that you've got around the house. That cupboard door that you don't know what to do with or you've always wanted a big... I know our Derek made a massive blackboard. No, he did. He made a massive blackboard in his kitchen and he turned it into a calendar. And he cut, he cut all the things out. Um, I think for us it'd be a normal sized calendar, but Derek, it was, it was massive. But he turned it, he had a big blackboard one. And I think he used this. I really do think it, because that's what we, that's what we were talking about in the green room the other day, uh, bless him. Um, but, uh, 12, because he's only little in it, it was probably a normal sized calendar that he made. It was probably no bigger than this, to be honest. But knowing Derek, it was huge, because he's only little. Uh, £12.99. <laughs> Something else I must tell you about as well, black gesso. Now this is another thing I absolutely adore. I had it on a show um, not that long ago, because I rang, I rang Mel just before the show and said, is there anything I need to know? And she was just like, no, 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 you're fine. Um, and then I said, I'm going to have a little play. Is that all right? She went, yeah, yeah, yeah. She went, just be careful on the black gesture. A little goes a long way. I was like, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. I've watched people do it before. Poof. A little goes a long way. I had it on the counter, it was on my trousers, it was on my shirt, I was covered in it. Um, but you only need a little bit, but because the squeezy bottle that you've got there as well, it reminds you of a sauce bottle. So you know like your red sauce and things like that, nothing will come out until you squeeze it, <laughs> okay? I'm so tempted. <laughs> until you squeeze it, nothing will come out of that bottle. So if you knock it over, you know it's not going to go anywhere. And it's a clip shop lid as well. £9.99. 371343 is your item number. Uh, it's the same for your white gesso as well. Once again, these are worth having, aren't they? They're definitely worth having. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to um, paint straight onto my MDF. And you could, because MDF is such a porous surface, this is going to soak straight in. So if you're, um, you, you've got expensive acrylic paints and things, you, you don't want to use all them. You don't want your first layer to be wasted. Please prime, please. Now the difference, just use blackboard paint instead of gesso because it's black. <laughs> so the difference between your black gesso and your white gesso is the colour finish that you're going to get. So with the black gesso, your colour is going to be a lot richer, a lot darker. With your white gesso, you're going to have a more vibrant, a more um, pure colour. Um, so black gesso. Don't be afraid of the black gesso. What would we use black gesso for? So what would we put, obviously white ones to give us more intense of our colourway. Where would we go with black gesso? So I'm thinking if you want, if you've got a really bright red and you don't want it that bright. Okay. You want it a, more of a muted red. Put your black gesso underneath it. Good idea. It will give you um, a more of a vintage look. That makes sense. Well, especially with the tanks that you're getting in the one day special out, maybe if you took two of the, the smaller tanks and put, painted one with white gesso, one with black gesso, and you just do, do a thin line of your paints when you get them home, just so you can see the colourways on your gesso as well. Um, and it all works beautifully with okay. these brushes. It all goes on really, really well with the brand new brushes that you're bringing us. So this, my brush is a bit wet. So this is your vibrant pink. So you can see the vibrancy in that pink on there. Just so it's not quite dry. Look at that. I'm going to come back and show you the black when it's dry because okay. it's not quite dry yet. But when it is dry, I'm going to show you the difference in colour. Can you force dry Jesso? Or is it because it's on the MDF you don't really... I don't really want to. I, ne I never ever force dry anything on the MDF because I'm always worried that 
because I'm a bit heavy handed, I'm going to overheat it. And if you overheat it, it's going to misshape a little bit. Ah, so don't let it dry naturally. Uh, they're quick drying anyway. They yeah. really, really are. They're really, really quick drying. Uh, but the acrylic brushes are on the screen at the moment. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful and well worth uh, getting hold of. Look at the brushes that you are getting there from the super, super fine all the way through to your chipped edged ones. These are lovely brushes and well worth, once again, having in your kit if you can go for them today. £14.99. Uh, the Gilding Glitter Glue is now on extended delivery. It's sold out during that last demonstration. Um, the 3rd of March, it's just a week, is what we're looking at at the moment. So this is the one that has now sold out. If you want it, uh, to glue your glasses, to glue your MDF tags that you've got there with your Gilding Flakes, 593-833 is your item now. It's on a week's extended delivery now. It was brand new. It launched last night. It's been extremely, extremely busy. If you're going for that, I'd pop some of the Gilding Flakes into your basket as well. Remember, you get all three colours, the bronze, the silver and the gold, and it's going to work wonders with this. And it's also going to work wonders with your one-day special. Uh, what are you up to now, Mel? Oh, I'm just doing my first layer of pink. It's not quite dry. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to do a flower for you. Okay. Very quickly. Don't know how we're doing on time. We've got ages, 20 minutes. Oh wait, <laughs> ages. Ages. <laughs> right, so your flower pots, once you've put them together, um, I would always recommend putting them together first and then if you're using your mediums and that, put them on after. Um, because MDF is such a poor service, it will swell a little bit. Um, and because it's such a precision cut, if it swells, it's not going to go together very well. Um, you can file it, but that takes time. It takes time. So I'm going to use my MDF glue to stick my paper on. So before I glued my flower pot together, I drew, I used it as a stencil to draw around my papers. It sound, this, this is going to sound like a silly question, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Yes, of course. Because um, it's the one question I've not asked yet. Okay. Are the flat packs, as in the MDF that we get in this, so the flower, yeah. is it quite self-explanatory to put together? Yeah, yeah. You've got two sides, two ends, and a base. And yeah, it's all pretty self- I, I know it sounds a ridiculous question, uh, but sometimes you look at these things and you think, well, it's all well and good made in the studio, but when I get it, when I get it home, how do I know what I'm doing? Oh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's self-explanatory. It's, um... Have a dry run first. Just don't put any glue on. Just put a piece. All the ones that are built in the studio, like all my crates, are all dry built. Touch them, they're all going to fall apart. They're fall apart. Uh, they're literally all dry built. So you can see how sturdy the MDF is. So have a dry run first before you put any of your glue on so you can see it all works. So we've got our little flower for the bottom. Now the flower pot does stay stood up on its own, like so. So you could use this flower for something else if you don't want really? to put it on there. So if you want to be really frugal, you can. But I quite, I quite like it on there. Oh, it looks like a little plush chair or a little flower cart. A little wagon. So I'm just going to guess where my glue goes. Put a bit of glue on there. And I've, I'm doing it stood up so that I know that my flower is flush with the floor or with the counter. So I'm not sticking it halfway up. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Otherwise it won't touch and have that gap underneath. It'd be really yeah. annoying. So there's my flower. Then they've, they've thought of everything when they've designed this. So you've got your middle of your flower as well. So if you're using your mediums, you could crackle one bit put structure oh, yeah. paste on the middle bit just for it to stand out. I'm going to stand it up there just to guess where the middle is. Put your glossy accents on, put your structure paste through. I've got a structure paste on the show as well. I love that structure paste. It's like, um, it feels like cement. You feel like a bit of a builder when you put it on. You get that like that gritty open. kind of one here um, but you know so would you suggest that if you're going for the structure paste also go for the palette knives oh yes palette knives are a must with structure paste 
So it's well worth having a little look. 9.99 as well. These are phenomenal prices. These are really like happy hour prices, I'm telling you here. Uh, the 9.99 for your structure paste. These are something that we use every single day here on the channel. You always see people using it. Um, look at the structure paste that Mel's got here. It, so it's, oh, it's really like, 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 yeah. It's really like, it's got that sandy, gritty, cementy kind of texture to it. That. I do feel like Bob the Builder. <laughs> other, <doing> <laughs> other, other builders are available if Bob's Cowboy not free. Cowboy ones, all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she went there. She went there. Cowboy builders. I don't know any of them. Don't know any of them. Maybe but... that's a that, maybe that's a TV program for Dominic Nipperwood. <laughs> so then you can. <laughs> I feel you've got experience on that. <laughs> Um, you can stick all your flowers and your embellishments on there to decorate how you wish. Now, the other side is going to be matching. So what, what you don't want to do is you don't want to put your flower on one side and then turn it over and think you're putting your flower on the same size and you end up with it oh, like a, wonky. Like a, yeah. Okay, so... Remember that MDF glue that you're getting in this kit as well, worth its weight in gold. You can get two more bottles at the end of call. That's uh, just, as you, just before you put the phone down. They'll say, oh, by the way, Mrs, would you like? <laughs> and you go, oh, go on. Go on, we like that here. Um, what we say? Uh, just say, yeah, can I have two more bottles of that glue as well, please? Free P&P &P on them as well. <laughs> Stick that on there. Just going to... So now I thought I'd plug my glue gun in, but I haven't. I've plugged my heat tool in. So and again, sorry? I thought I'd plug my glue gun in, but uh, I haven't plugged my heat tool in. Do you want me to do some numbers while it glues do up? Do some numbers while I'll my glue heats numbers. up. I'll do some numbers. At 7, 4, 2, and the bonus ball is 33. Uh, there's some numbers for you. Uh, oh, imagine me doing the lottery, the voice of the balls. Oh, I'd love to be a bingo caller. Anyway, this is not about bait. Uh, let's get back to Gravity Devils. Uh, thank you for your emails, by the way. I'm absolutely loving them. Keep them coming. Uh, £29.93, pence, 591622 is your item number. £13 saving till 6 o'clock this evening. This is your Crafty Devils. You heard me correctly. Your Crafty Devils one-day special. Very first one-day special. Uh, this is your gift box bundle. You get your crates and your flowers, pots, you get your glue, you get your tissue paper, and you also get your cellophane and your twine and your tags thrown in, all for £29.93. pence. All of this, two of the small, one of the medium. Then you also get, as well, uh, so you get ones that will look... So look at what you can create going through with your, I, I don't know if that's paper, it's gone straight onto the bottom. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is stunning. And then maybe you're going to go into the bathroom uh, and you're going to go slightly, slightly nautical. You want to go slightly, slightly nautical that's in there. Uh, imagine filling that now with a candle that you've got in there. Little candle, little face flannel, little bottle of lavender oil, a uh, little bit of bubble bath. Oh... That was just me. That was just me last night, to be honest. Uh, then, oh, just after the house of games. Then we've now got your big craft box, and now you can keep your crafty stash in here. Oh, I'll put it all away. Uh, so you've got your crafty stash that you could put in. My crafty stash. Uh, you could go in uh, with your little bowls. But you, if you imagine a little drinks crate. If you're having barbecues and things like that, uh, your paper plates, uh, your napkins, your knives and forks to go in the little one, all your little sauces uh, would fit in there because you could start stacking them up so you could have one inside the other so nothing's really going to touch. So you could have all your little condiments uh, in there as well, which I absolutely uh, adore. I really do love these because I'm a big fan of a crate. I'm a big fan of storage. I love a bit of storage, especially with kids. Uh, you've got to have a lot of storage in the house as well. Dyes, stencils, uh, stamps you could put in there as well and use them as a little index if you wanted to. Um, put all your gessos and your mediums. Maybe you haven't got a craft room. Maybe, I mean, you don't have a craft room, but you've got all this crafty stuff and you don't know what to do with it. But you like to keep it all separate. So you put all your inks in one, all your paints in another one, your brushes in another one as well. You can do that and you've got three to choose from. And then you've got the large flower included as well. £29.93, 591622 is your item number for that. But 
the flower shapes is what we're looking at now. Uh, now what we're talking about, you get, you get two of the flowers. We said earlier as well, pop your yarn in there and put your yarn through the hole on the side and then you could crochet. Crochet, I don't know why I look that way, but you could crochet, that's the way I crochet. Uh, just like that. Uh, but I'm quite, I'm quite quick at crocheting. Um, but you could pop that in there as well, absolutely adore it. Uh, you've got the detail on there. Use it as a stencil first of all to get all your beautiful papers, so maybe your graphic 45s uh, that you want to use. You also get the markings uh, so you know where everything goes. So you do get the markings on there, so you're not out, you're not out in the cold as it were. Uh, you, you've literally got everything you need uh, to make all these and it's pretty self-explanatory where everything goes already in there. You're going to get two of them, nearly 50% of the stock now has already gone. Uh, from there, we're now looking at the artboards. Um, I think if you stretched over a bit of canvas on this, a bit of calico and stapled it on the back, you're going to have yourself a little canvas uh, on this already. You're getting three, di four different shapes. You've got your hexagon, you've got your circle, you got your A4 and you got your 12 by 12 in there as well. Uh, you're getting three of each is what you're actually going to be getting here for £16.99, and 99 pence, uh, which I absolutely love. 3149773314 is your item number. Um, I love these. I get so excited when these are on the show and I, I, it's just something inside that thinks this is an amazing little deal. We've all been around those crafty shops, um, not maybe not lately, but we've all been around the shops and, you've, and you're always looking. Uh, maybe you're rowing to your Wilkinsons and your B&Ms and your places like that and you're thinking, oh, I, the range, and you think, oh, I need that home bargain. Do you want it? That's four now. Uh, I want to get some crafty stuff. And you're thinking, oh, I'll, go, I'll just go in and have a little look. I need a little palette knife. And you go in and look for one palette knife. And you think, well, I don't need that size. I'll go for two. And then you get two palette knives. And you think, well, I might as well buy a set. A set of palette knives is going to cost you more than what this is. You get all the sizes that you get here and you get your palettes as well included for £11.99. 205803 is your item number. These have been busy as well. Your glues that we've got on the show, phenomenally busy. Phenomenally busy. They're back on extended delivery is what we're looking at at the moment. They sold out. I've now got them back on the 3rd of March. Use them on your papers. Um, I've never seen one for glass and metal. I've seen them for paper before, you and flags. Uh, but now you've got glass in this as well. So now you can create your own wine glass set, maybe. Uh, you've got your non-porous surfaces in there. You've got your metal, glass, plastic, acetate that we're talking about. 593833 is your item number, £9.98. Then, if you want to get this effect, you're going to need some gilding flakes, aren't you? Well, I've got those on the show as well. These are your gilding flakes uh, that you're looking at to create these beautiful designs uh, that you can see on all the glasses that we've got here already. Uh, the gilding flakes, and they're full to the top. They are literally full to the brim of pure gold, gold. Uh, you get the silver and you also get the bronze also in there. Then your crackle medium, star of the show, hot off the press. Limited stock, oh, here we go. Limited stock is what we are. That wall's not real. This, this place is like crossroads. Nothing's real. I thought that was a real wall. Uh, but uh, £9.99 for your crackle that we're looking at at the moment. The crackle that you're getting in this is going to give you the effect that you're looking at here. As I said, it's hot off the press. Uh, which means not even our Mel has really had time to play with this. There is so many techniques that you'll be able to do for £9.99. Uh, 710947 seven is your item number. I wonder if I run hard enough. I'll be at Hogwarts Express and all that. Uh, we'll give it a go in a minute. Uh, let's have a go. Mel, we're coming back to you. What are you up to? Finishing off, uh, <laughs> scared I me down. I caught you unaware there. I did, maybe jump. <laughs> so I'm just finishing off my decor with these lovely white paper roses, um, which are on um, the show. On the show. <laughs> no, you did, you, are you caught people. me. It was like, so you get 48 of these for nine pounds and ninety nine pence. They're so lovely. You can spritz them. You um, can use your inks on them. So they don't have to stay white. We do, um, they're just so lovely. They come wired, but you can cut the wires off. Oh yeah, you've got the wires in there as well. If I hold them like this, you'll be able to see. Uh, these are all the flowers that you're actually getting. Uh, you're getting four packs of separate individual flowers, uh, which are lovely. And then they're all wired as well, so you can change uh, the colours of the wires. Uh, give them a spritz, pedalwigs and stuff like that. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, well worth having a little look at, if I was you. 
So that's my little flower pot. Then if you want to, you could... Um, everyone likes a bit of bling, don't they? Do you like a bit of bling? Love a bit of bling. So just do it around. We've got three minute cues on the phones as well. So if, uh, start checking out your baskets if I was you. Nearly 70% of the one day special has already gone. That's such good news. My drive here was well worth it. The one people are absolutely adoring it. It's just so versatile. I think everybody, like I said earlier, struggles for male things. Like a lot of a lot of our craft is geared up for feminine um, kind of flowers and that is the thing. And stuff, you know. Males do like we do like a good box. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it, Ben. Thank you. I'll have none of that smut on my shows. We do like a we do like a good box is what we like an MDF box is what we like. I, well, I'm going to leave it there. Storage. Let's go with the word storage, yeah, shall we, rather than the storage. word box. Our poor cameraman is in stitches. We like practical boxes. Practical boxes. But I just think it's so nice. Um, so for every occasion, <laughs> every occasion. So gardening. Father's Day is coming up. True. Um, just day-to-day -day gifts. Day-to-day -day gifts. Um, get the kids to craft their own Easter bucket. So instead yes. of a bucket, they've got an Easter crate to go Easter egg hunting with. Movie nights. Movie nights. Doing white and red. You could have popcorn, a little drink in there. Carry it in. Christmas Eve box. Yes, Ben. A Christmas <laughs> Eve box that's in there. <laughs> See, we're all on this now. We're all on this. <laughs> Halloween, trick or treat. Yes. Oh, here we go. A spooky box. Spooky. <laughs> well. <laughs> the nightclub I won't be going back to. No <laughs> way. Did you see him at number 43 with a spooky box? Well, <laughs> he should have closed the curtains, to be honest. I can't. I can't see to put me... Uh, paintbrushes! <laughs> a seamless link. Uh, paintbrushes <laughs> is what we've got. Uh, beautiful... Oh, let me move out of the way. Uh, there's your beautiful paintbrushes uh, that you're getting. £14.99. And £341.402 is your item number for your paintbrushes as well. Uh, brand new. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. I absolutely love them. Uh, they're long... They feel longer. Uh, than normal paintbrushes as well. I don't know why they do feel longer. Uh, look at that, fill it with tissue paper. Oh, here we oh, go. Cup of tea and a candle. Cup of tea and a hanky candle. He's Love that. <laughs> look at that for a nice... That is a beautiful gift. That's, that's perfect for me. <laughs> That'd be perfect for me, to be honest, the way my life's going. Uh, but a cup of tea and a candle, cup of tea you can't and a candle. go wrong. Uh, but I love this idea. Absolutely love it because... These are perfect, perfect, you're right, Matt, look, perfect, for, Mel's crying, I don't know why I've made, I've made, you made me cry, I've made me cry, oh, 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 uh, but, what's that HR call again, I thought so, uh, so, just bring the wheelbarrow with the file down, oh, my hair needs washing, oh now, <laughs> Uh, you are getting all these. How long we got left? Not that long. Uh, so we've got a minute and 40 seconds. Uh, so sum up now. My glasses are I'll come back to you. Uh, you are getting two small crates, one large, one medium crate in there. You're getting your flower in there as well because we lo look how beautiful it is. You're getting your cellophane. You're getting your MDF tags. You're getting your brand new glue, uh, your MDF wood glue. You're getting your twine. There's more on end of, uh, end of call if you want your wood glue. You're also getting your tissue paper. Tissue paper, let me show you the size. Uh, pretty much A3, and you get a lot of tissue paper in there. You are getting, tissue paper-wise, 48 sheets. 48 sheets of tissue paper is what you're getting as well. Um, Mel, sum it up for me. If people are still umming and ahhing, what would you say to them? We've got a minute left of the show. If they're umming and ahhing, get it in your basket, check your basket out, and have fun. That's what I would say. I think that sums everything up. We've got four-minute cues on the phones. 
Check out your baskets for the mediums as well, your blackboards, your gessos that we've got in there. Uh, very limited for the crackle as well. If you want a good crackle, uh, you can get it, but it's super limited stock. You better get in quick if I was you. Right then, well, I think we all should regroup in the boardroom because I think someone needs a word with all of us. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I will see you Friday morning, bright and breezy. Thank you, Matt. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It's been I lovely. absolutely adore working with you uh, because, well, you take the blame of all my wrath. So, uh, Mel will be back at four o'clock. She might be back at four o'clock. It could be Catherine on her own yet. Uh, but nearly, how much has gone? 70% of your one day special has already gone. Stay safe. I'll see you Friday morning, bright and breezy. Thank you, Mel. Can I do the menu first before we go to that meeting? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, Bee Crafty Stamps, Birds and... Oh, surprise, what's after the birds? Who knows? It's Rowan Dean. Right, I'm on my way. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, it, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques. 
from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementerie. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. to you. You know what they say, birds of a feather, well they flock together, don't they? And I'm flocking together. <laughs> don't know where I'm going with this. I, I, I'm interested to see where this goes. I yeah, um, I am nesting up <laughs> with our lovely Bev. Stay on Janice, honestly, let her keep going. <laughs> I, I really want to see where this goes. Um, um, I've just twigged, <laughs> which makes no sense at all to a bird, but it does. Anyway, Great to be in the this afternoon. Uh, I hope you're well. Don't worry, I've only had a pair in between shows. I need a pair to eat. I want to do I'm, I'm wicked. I'm great. This is going to go awesome. I see nothing going wrong at all. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for joining. It's fabulous. Carry on, Janice. <laughs> You'd make a great presenter, you I really would. would. You know. um, we've got great collections coming up. We've also got something that's going to help you reverse stamp so you can yeah. make a mirror image as well. Yeah. All coming up in the show. But can we start right here? Absolutely. Brand new. Absolutely love birds. You know I do. I am a twitcher. You, well, in many, many ways. Yeah. So, <laughs> what we did, when we launched our very first dies last year, we launched these small birds and butterflies. Okay? And basically, since then, it's just been, yeah, but are you going to do the bigger ones yep. with the dies? Are you going to do, are you going to do the dies for the bigger ones? So, you know, and we always say what we are here to do is bring you guys what you want to want to buy and what you want to play with. Well, you know what, so, obviously, we had to. They're beautiful images as well, and these are going to make a really nice focal point to your projects. Um, I love the butterflies. Of course, I love the swallow there. Isn't that elegant? Absolutely fantastic. And lots of detail in your stamps as well, Beth. There is, and this is the important thing. They have to come out well. And one of the things that, you know, as, as, a, as a polymer stamper, you know, people say, oh, you can't get the fine detail with polymer stamps. On these stamps, you will see why I beg to differ. Because all of the beautiful detail on that swallow, on the dragonfly, all those really fine lines on that dragonfly, all stamp out absolutely perfectly. And now we've brought the dies as well, you don't even have to worry about cutting them out. Because in fairness, I am not a fussy cutter. There are some people that very much enjoy it. Emma enjoys it, Emma Blake. And Charmaine loves a good fussy cut. But me, if I'm cutting those out with scissors, those antennas are coming straight off. Why? Why? Because I'm not cutting around them. Oh, well, so that's yeah. why I had to do the dies, you see. Yeah, I suppose. Well, with the um, dragonflies, if you wanted to, uh, you could cut them off, but it makes it so much easier, doesn't it? When you've it got does, the it keeps that so. whole image. And then if you want to decoupage them up and add in extra wings and layer them up, then it means you haven't lost that detail on the first layer. So do you know what I mean? So it just, in my opinion, it just helps you build them up. But if you look at the image now that they're showing, this one, this is show, Jane showing how even without the stamps, these dies are immensely useful. You know, you can use your word stamps to, to do them. You can create your own masks using the dies. There's so much you can do. Yeah, there's so, there really is. I love the butterflies if you're just going to have them in that black and white image as well. It's not all about cut up, um, colour. Butterflies are beautiful. They really are. And they do bring some beautiful colours to the gardens. But even when you use them in black and white like that, how stunning is that? And this is the thing. So that is layered onto some of the new papers that we're going to show you later on as well. So, yeah, like you say, you can just do your background stamp in black cut it out and put it on and you get a fantastic effect with that so even if you're looking to make something quick you know these are these really are going to make that easy for you yeah they are very very quick and easy uh, you get that grungy look with that black and white image add the color as well to change 
that image that you're putting together. Each and every time it will be different for you. Uh, Freedom members, wow, you've got a discount. It's only £26.99. You've got your eight stamps and your eight dies included in this kit and they match perfectly together. I've just got another image of the swallow here because this is beautiful because it's not all about being grungy no, not and doing, you know, like those dirty style backgrounds which are fabulous. It's also making them look lifelike and realistic as well. So that is absolutely stunning. Uh, we're very busy. 10% of the stock has already gone. These are your larger, well, they the extra large stamps and dies. 739513 is your item number. Pop them into your basket and check on out before they go. I don't want you to miss out on these because they are absolutely delightful. And a stamp set that I think is going to take you all the way through the year. Well, definitely. I think the, the beautiful thing about a bird and butterfly, especially with the, like I say, with the dies now, is you, if you are struggling from some crafty mojo, which we all, we, we literally all get, honestly, all of us, you know, you can sit and stamp and cut some of these out. So when you are ready to go again, it's all there. I mean, but if you just look at that, just stamped on the craft card, coloured in your, your small word sentiment across the bottom. Love that. Isn't it that Like you beautiful. said, it doesn't have to have this mass background on it. No. It can be really, really simple. Because too. that's the focal point. That's yeah. what you want people to see. Absolutely beautiful. 739513 is your item number if you want to go for your extra large stamp and die set. That's really important because it means you don't have to do any fussy cutting anymore and it cuts it out precisely. You get the whole of that image each and every time. So that's the extra large. We do have the returning favourite for you. What started it all off, the original yeah. size? Yeah, so this was our very first range of dies. So this was should be crafty do dies. And basically the answer was yes. Um, so this is the regular size. And again, what's lovely about these is they give you the opportunity to cut them out because obviously these ones are smaller. So the intricacy of cutting out is even more difficult. Yeah. So with those dies, what it does is it means you can cut those out really, really simply. Again, you can layer them up. You can create, for example, that canvas we, that Lou made earlier that's absolutely beautiful. So you can really just go to town without worrying about, well, you know, am I going to lop off the antennas? Am I going to lose the dragonfly's legs? It's just all there for you. I just want to show you the difference in size, just so you can see, because there's nothing stopping you going for both sets, really. Because in all if, honesty, if you go for one, you are going to want yeah, the I other. Think so. Because I was going to say something really stupid then, it doubles it. Well, yeah, of course it does. But you know what I mean? So you you can, if you're layering up your butterflies, you've got so much more scope to go with. Yeah, and you can have a great. bit of perspective as well because you can have some of the smaller birds in the background, the larger ones in the yeah. foreground, for example. And like you say, when you cut them out and put them on the projects, because you're getting all of that particular detail in there, it just makes it so beautiful and so desirable to use as well. If you're going for the smaller set, yes, it is a returning favourite. You might have the smaller set to start with and you want to go for the extra large one today, then you're more than welcome to do so. It's a great price, £19.99. Absolutely stunning. I think the larger ones, the extra large ones, should I say, they'd be really good in shrink plastic. Yeah, really, yeah. really good. And the dies do cut shrink plastic. Do I have, yeah, I've tested them with that, and they also cut like um, a thinner linen. I, and, and the only reason I'm saying a thinner linen is because that's all I've tested them on so far, because I am soft craft unable. So <laughs> honestly, I'm awful with soft craft. But no, I have cut them on a, on a linen um, when I did the doodle art houses, and they cut absolutely beautifully. Yeah, isn't they lovely? Uh, isn't they lovely? Is that all Leicester then? Isn't all lovely. lovely. Hey, in, hey, isn't these lovely? what to say back in Leicester um, that is beautiful I love that sample with the moon in the background isn't that absolutely gorgeous 19 pounds and 99 pence 990809 and 10% of this set has now gone so we are very very busy don't miss out on the set that you want to get and if you want to get both of them remember as a freedom member you've got the discount on the extra large you won't be paying any P and P either right we did say we've got more items on the show yes we have let's head on down the counter we have got some demonstrations coming up there, yes, haven't we, we do. Our Bev? Um, if you've got any designs that you've made and created with the dies and stamps that we've got for you on the show, send your pictures in. We'd love to see them. And I'm sure Bev would love to see what you've got. I been up love to, as well. to see what people make. Yeah. Honestly, it's one of those things we do say a lot. We do say, oh, show us what you make. We really mean it. We love to see your creations. Yes, yeah, we certainly do. So the email is studio at hochanda.com. Let's move on some more stamp sets. Uh, a gorgeous stamp set here really really do like this has this been designed from something that was actually real once yes. upon a time yes really? so that is a real ledger page and this is one of these things it's just a fantastic stamp to have in your stash because it works with everything 
because it's got that ledger on it, which is fantastic for a background. You've got the, the pen nibs and the inkwell. Um, so it just, like I say, it just works so well creating backgrounds, using that texture. Like we were saying earlier, if you wanted to just use the, the silhouette of the dies and then stamp a pattern onto them, that would work really, really well. Yeah, it certainly um, would. So yeah, it's, it's, it's just a really good one to have, basically. Yeah, I like the fact that you've got that larger stamp in there to create the backgrounds. And then the paint nibs, I was thinking, you know, if you've got like, for example, you've got your, um, I was going to call it an overall. It's not an overall at all. It's an apron. It's an apron. Yeah. Uh, with your apron. If you've got a pocket or a shirt, you could put those little pen nibs across the top of the shirt. That, that would look would amazing. That would be fab. Yeah, that would look Check really good. Check you out. Good. Can I say? Well, no. um, that is a great deal. £12.99. pence. Don't miss out on that either. 041058. Now, we did say earlier on that we've got something on the show so you can mirror your stamps, which is really handy. If you've got one, I'm going to say, one stamp that is a wing, then you can stamp it. And does that mean then that you can turn that over so it looks like you've got a pair Absolutely. of wings? Absolutely. So right by you, I've got a sheet of card and it shows you. So I've used the small birds from the, uh, the small birds, the regular size birds from the regular birds and butterflies set and shown you how you can mirror them so that they're either facing each other or facing away. And that's just using the one stamp. So, you know, you will have other stamps in your stash that you can use your mirror blocks with. And these are another fantastic example of a tell us what you want, because it was a lady at the Stamp Magic Show that came to me and asked me to do the mirror blocks. Really? Yeah. Aww. So I did. And these are the mirror blocks just here. So you've got different sizes, which yep. is great, of course, for different size stamps. Absolutely. So and as well, it does mean you can ink up, for example, the oval in the circle. You can ink them up and use them as a stamp to create backgrounds as well. So yeah. It's really useful. Now, are we going to demonstrate some of these maybe yeah, in definitely. the show? Because it'd be really good to see how these work. Yeah. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two nine three one one three. I would suggest probably getting those into your basket before you miss out, because when we see a demo, how you can take your stamps, and in essence, really, it takes one stamp. And it means you've then kind of got two stamps out of the one. Exactly. So it is a great deal. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two nine three one one three is your item number for your fantastic borders and backgrounds and your mirror stamps. Now we have some new today's for you, with some muduff. 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 Um, these are pop-outs and they're lovely because you can start layering these up, but you can use them separately. Absolutely. Yeah. So the DT, they've used them separately. You can see Kaz here has used them together and layered them up because you've got the silhouettes and then you've got the cut-out, more intricate ones. Um, and basically, now I will say, although we call them pop-outs, with the um, intricate ones, um, with the little tabs that hold them on, I would nick them with a knife so you don't lose any of your intricate bits oh, okay. as you're cutting it out. But um, but it is just, they're just held in two places. You can see on that butterfly there, there's just one little bit where it's attached. Oh, yes. So I would just nick that with your craft knife, So just, just so you don't lose any the intricate bits when you push it out. I love that. I was just thinking when you, before you use these and create, you could actually, you know, if you had some like a uh, spray paint yeah. or inks, you could lay that on a piece of card and just spray ink it. Yeah. And then you've got your butterflies coloured, but also it's going to leave a really nice background on a piece of paper. Absolutely. As well, when we did the, the snowflake pop outs um, at Christmas time, Jane made a fantastic uh, project using basically the out yeah. bit, the wastage. Yeah. So you can use that as well. It's brilliant. Uh, talking about backgrounds, lots of great papers coming up. You can see all of that on the website, but we will get there and show you them. But if you want to get there before everyone else, why not head to the website and check out your baskets? Great price, only eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two oh two nine four five. Brand new today. Quarter of the stock already gone. Beautiful detail on those butterflies. Do love butterflies, really, really do. And you guys do as well. Uh, right, we've got some Myla stencils. We've got some innies and outies. Absolutely. So these are the Inkables. Um, we absolutely love inkables so what we've done here is we've combined um, our inkables big ones where we've got a that really big bird cage yes and then we have a one of our regular six by six inkables which has got the smaller bird cage a branch um, on it as well and again you get the innie and the outie so yep. you can silhouette it and then also we've got some easy frames in there now our easy frames are always really really popular because it's a way of creating a color a, you know just a nice central color section with a clean edge um, that you can then work over. So you can see the butterfly easy frames on that sample there used to create that background, just that lovely sort of hazy thing. So you've got those in there as well. So there's lots of pieces in there because it's the innie and the auntie. Yeah. Whereas we would say, oh, it's four templates, there's 
more than that piece is because yeah, there's certainly an is. I love that. I love the idea of that. Getting inks out um, and just experimenting, uh, whether they be spray inks or whether you're blending. Absolutely brilliant product. £11.99 pence and it's a great price as well. So if you're thinking about a gift for somebody who's just started crafting, I think this is going to be ideal for them because you've got the right images here, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. That are very, very popular with crafting butterflies, the bird cages or the bird houses, just lovely, wonderful images and great sizes as well. Only 11 890 is your item number. Now we've got some hickory dickory clocks, clocks for you today. Uh, do you know where the nursery rhyme hickory dickory dot comes from? I've got a feeling you're about to tell me. I am, I am. It's from um, a clock in Exeter, a lunar clock in Exeter Cathedral that tells the time but also tells you when the moon rises and apparently there's a hole at the bottom of the clock where the cat can get in and hide and catch all the mice. Cool. But it was also known as a nursery rhyme to help people count, yeah, but that's where the um, hickory dickory dot comes from. Fabulous. Yeah, I know. I'm full of it. You uh, definitely four, are. Four, three, five, six, eight, nine is your item number. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You've got your three little mice. You've got your three clock faces, and then you've got your little cages as your well. Your two bird cages as yeah. well. Well, I say they're bird cages. You can keep whatever you like in there, really. Yeah, it could be the cats that are sitting in there. It could be Janice. There. It could be me. It could be me <laughs> in that cage. If you do make that sample, do send it in. Love to see it. Maybe an explanation as to why you did it. Uh, oh, I don't think that needs to happen. <laughs> uh, we've got a lovely sample up here, haven't we? Lovely. Yeah, so this was made by Anne, and it's absolutely beautiful. And you can see on there, Anne has used that ledger stamp in the background as yeah. well. She's used texture paste through her inkable template with the branch on it. So you've, that's where that texture comes from as well. And layered up those pop-out butterflies and put the XL um, swallow from the birds and butterflies on there. So it's really a mix of a lot of things that are on the show today to create that beautiful canvas that which lovely. I absolutely love it really it yeah that's going to be something that me and Sam arm wrestle for I can feel oh, it oh that's if you can get it away from me at the end <laughs> of the show I reckon <laughs> I can take you Janice I can't lie <laughs> it is beautiful and it does give you a chance to mix and match all of the items uh, that are available on the show I do have some other samples here I'd like to share with you um, because this one is absolutely incredible and this is mixing bright beautiful colors and it's also got that lovely grungy depth Rust to the Sort of look yeah, to it as love well. that. Yeah, this is lovely. So this one's by Jane, um, and she's done that rust effect using one of our art boards that are in the six assorted art board sets. And then she's layered up everything. And I think again, the dies with the stamps just make it so much easier because if you've spent all that time on your background, you can quickly then apply your birds and butterflies yeah. over the top. Yeah, you certainly can. Another sample here using that using that bird cage and your Roman numeral clock on there, but you've also got those butterflies. They almost look lifelike, realistic, don't they? Mm. With the way that they've been layered up on there. Uh, really, really like this set, and it's also proven to be very, very popular. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's and, that, and that's. I think that's a good example of how it can be quite delicate as well. Yeah. You know, Jane's first samples, you know, got all that texture on the solid board, but that's much more delicate and much lighter. Yeah, I love that. Four, three, five, six, eight, nine, your item number nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I think we're gonna be very busy for your hickory dickory clocks. Yes. Nine ninety nine. I thought it was hickory dickory dock. Well, that's the nursery rhyme. These are hickory dickory clocks. That's what it says right there. Yeah. That's right. That you see, that's where sometimes I get a little bit mixed up. The clocks and the docks. Uh, right, let's move on to those papers. Uh, brand new today, really excited about these actually. Uh, <coughs> you see many, many demonstrations of our lovely Bev creating some amazing backgrounds and Sam of course, creating the backgrounds and sometimes you try and replicate that at home and it doesn't go quite to plan and it's about practice and it's about trying but until you get that technique, we've got some papers for you to get you started. Not just papers though, we also have some card as well. Uh, the card itself is on a white background, that's a 250 GSM, and you get 10 of those. That's a really nice way of creating your card toppers. Let me turn that the right way around, that would help. Um, this is a great idea, Beth. Well, I will say, and um, us doing papers as a whole is um, Louise Sims just getting on at me about it. 
a lot. Um, so it was just, you know, to keep quiet. But yeah, so what we've done is I've done these these backgrounds, but they are a starting off point. There yeah. is still room on there for you to add your own yeah. thing to it. So your circles here, they will fit your ATC coin size. Yeah. Okay, so you've got that if you're trying to create something quickly. But like I say, there's still enough room on there for you to add on some more blending, some more through your templates, and then add on whatever elements you want to over the top. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is give you a starting point if you want to. So the, basically there are four different designs within the pack. Okay. And then they are, they are in the pack in different sizes. So you've got them in A4. Okay. Then you've got them in A5. Then you've got them in A6. So you can layer up as you go um, if you want to. And then you have the border strips that go with it and the circles. So what I wanted to do is make sure that you've got everything, regardless of what size you crafted, there was something in there to at least give you that leaping off point. And what I really wanted to do is make sure they had that bit of texture to them as well. So yeah. if you look, they do have this sort of watercolour cardstock texture to them, yeah. but the cardstock itself isn't textured. So if you are new to stamping, it's going to be easy to stamp on, um, but you've still got that lovely texture effect as well. Oh yeah, it's smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's that's... smooth, but I've created this watercolour card texture about it i think that's absolutely fantastic that's the white card you've also got uh, the paper but it's that really it's that beautiful cream isn't it it, it is Love it's sort this. of this ivory um base which and, uh, and i have to say you're gonna make me laugh here it, it tears beautifully so if you're that's using it. it for art journaling and things like that you can rip it into strips put use your gel medium put it into, into your journals and it's really going to work there as a starting point um, Lou um, Sims has made canvases with them, Charmaine's made some stuff with them because you've got that A4 page to start off with and then you can just start from there. So for example, Lou's made um, some things I'm going to show you in a minute, but the canvas we saw earlier with all the butterflies on, she made in less than an hour because she started with one of those papers and then just basically rolled with it from there. So again, if you are suffering from a mojo stuntedness, you know, they give you also a colour way to start with yeah. so you don't have to start from scratch. So you get, yes, that is upside down, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. It depends on the design that you're going for. So you do get the white card and you also get the paper as well. Twelve ninety nine is an exceptional price. It really, really is. 643106 is your item number. What a wonderful treat for yourself. Uh, let's head to the website. This is where you can go to to see all of the items that we've got for you on the show. We are busy for those extra large stamps. We're busy for the smaller ones as well. Um, and lots of people are going for both. The mirror blocks oh my word they're flying out i hope oh half the stock is gone i hope we've still got some left because i'd like to do a demonstration i'd like to you see i'm the royal we now uh i'd love bev to do a demonstration with those uh lots on the website to have a look for shop by brand there's some amazing deals there really is and if you are filling up your basket and you get to the end and it's over 60 pounds you think oh no i can't afford that um that's fine what we'll do is we'll divide the cost over two months so it needs you get to have your cake and eat it too. Uh, we'll just divide the cost over two months, but not the products. Um, we've had a picture in, yes, from Sally. Thank you for sending in this, Sally. Oh, oh I love that. Sally is on the DT and she's doing the, you know, check the birds in your garden thingy. Yeah. Um, what birds are in your garden? It's in Bless her, she want, Yeah, so she wanted to send it to me and I said, please don't do that because I'm worried it's going to get damaged or lost. I said, send a picture in. Um, so basically, she's keeping a note of all the birds she's seeing in her oh. garden over the spring. Oh, let's have a look. So in February, she saw uh, blue tits, great tits, chaffinches, wood, wood pigeons, pigeons. Uh, black hooded gill. Is that headed a gull. Oh, black headed gull. Sorry. A robin. Oh, robins are with us all year round, aren't they? Absolutely. Um, look at that. And then all those birds in January as well. Do you know what? If you wake up early or at sunset, all throughout the day now, more and more birds are coming out. They're coming back to us, yeah. which means spring is here. I absolutely love that. I think that's fantastic. And do you know what, Bev? Something like that you could do for the kids and go out for a walk. And when they notice the bird, yeah. they can do a description underneath about the song. Absolutely. And, and, and just and, and it's one of those things just sitting and enjoying yeah. what we have. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a, quite an important thing right now. Yeah, it certainly okay. is. Okay. Right. Uh, so right. do you want me to do these mirror blocks? Yes, so you please, can see because we're busy. All right. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the regular size. And we're going to take our swallow because I just absolutely love him. Right. Now, so we've got, I've put this mirror block onto one of my acrylic blocks and I've got the swallow here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versafine and I'm going to ink up my swallow. Now, what you want to do is you want to ink it up quite a lot because effectively you want enough ink for two images, right? 
So, and then we're going to stamp onto our mirror block. Okay. Right. So I've used Versafine. Okay. So Jeff then from there, you can use your Versaclair as well. I, no matter which one I use, I always wish I'd use the other one. <laughs> um, so then without re-inking, I'm going to put my swallow onto there. Okay. And then put that one onto there. And because they're clear, you can see where you're going. Oh, it hasn't come out. I'm going to use my Versa. Okay. Claire. Like I said, whichever one I use, I wish I'd use the other one. I think it's because I should have done this one first. Let me just clean that off. Do you have to clean it with anything special? No, 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 not at all. Best th in fairness, the best thing for your clear polymer stamps is soapy water. And do you have to prime your stamps when you get them home? Um, I do, but on the back of every single stamp, yep. there is a use and care of your Bee Crafty stamps. And it does say about priming them with archival ink. Yep. Um, but in all honesty, that's one of those, see, that's better. That's one of those do as I say, not as I do things. Because I just get in there. So that's one me. is the mirror, it, one is the stamp on the mirror block. Yeah, and so the that's the stamp, the stamp on the mirror block, and that's the stamp. Wow. Okay, that's so amazing. what that means you can do is you can do that lots of times. Now, the reason I don't re-ink, yep. okay, is because effectively that is a second impression. Okay. So by not re-inking, that's also a second impression. So the tone matches. Got you. Because if I was to re-ink it, that would then be a first impression. Yes, it whatever. Would. Okay. So let me do it again with the bird, the bird on the branch. Okay. And I'll show. It. I'll do it with a different mirror block as well, so you can see that they all. This is such a fantastic idea. It makes every single stamp you own. Well, it doubles yeah, it. Yeah. Any 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 it stamp up. you have that's facing one direction, I've you can then. I've got another question. Does yes, my darling. Does it have to be uh, a polymer stamp? Could you use red rubber on yeah, there? Yeah, definitely. So any stamp? Any stamp you've got. So there we go. We'll stamp the bird on the branch. Stamp that one there. Lift it off. That's amazing. That's amazing. So it just extend your possibilities outwards oh my word uh, pattern building and making borders and bearing in mind you can still die cut this because you can just try and die cut it from the back or so, so i would probably die cut it first in a way Ooh. do you know what i mean so you can still line it up that way i'm not saying it would be easy but you definitely could you still could do, it. do it i yeah. would die cut it first yeah so die that's cut it first yeah because yeah because you can see where you're going yeah. you can die cut it first yeah oh that's that not is a problem fantastic at all. But with now it, yeah go, go on. on no go on i was going to say we are getting really really busy for your background mirror blocks now 15 pounds and 99 pence what an absolute bargain you're getting four in total and you've got those different sizes as well so I know you've all got different stamps at home and sometimes if you've got a small stamp you don't want to put it on one of the larger blocks so that's why you've got those four for you there excellent value for money I've seen one at that price now you're getting four for 15 pounds and 99 pence 293113 and it works with all of your stamps whether it be red rubber whether it be the gray stamps that you've got as long as you can stamp with absolutely. it absolutely and you will find you get on better with one ink than another yeah it's just one of those things but also with your mirror block so if I take this one which is the oval okay so I'm just gonna ink that up do, 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 do. it means you can use that to create a shape yeah. pattern, okay? But what you can also do is, I'm just going to ink that up with my wilted violet again. And where's my ledger? So I'm going to take my ledger. This is a new ledger, because I chopped mine up. I'd be, I'd, I'd be fascinating to, to right. try and read it when you get and it And then, home. we're going to take our ledger, and we're going to stamp that onto our Mirror, mirror block and then when we stamp it we've got the negative of the ledger but we also have that shaped section of our ledger as well oh, i love that okay that saves you die cutting really it does so i've got some it. other examples here with some other background stamps so you can sort of mix and match them up yeah Oh, I love that idea. Now, I was going to ask you another question. What I was going to ask you? Go I have on. no so, idea. We've got the... Oh, do you know what? Neither have I. I've just thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> oh, right, the mirror blocks. So they yeah. mirror yep. what you stamp onto them. Yeah. So here's the thing, and I don't know what I'm just I'm you know I'm just getting really excited now. So it might mean nothing. It might mean something. Could you use? Well, you've used your, your your other ink. Could you draw onto it and then mirror your own drawing? No. I would be worried about basically carving into it. Yeah. That would that would be my so concern. So you, you wouldn't draw on it with no, any No, not necessarily. No. But I, but you can stamp on it in, yeah. in different ways and blend on it through templates, maybe. Right. Uh, 041058 is your item number if you want to go for your ledger. Love this. Isn't it fantastic? Uh, and if you do want to get hold of it, only £12.99. The stamps themselves are brilliant. You get your ink well. You get your ink nibs as well. I think all of those in a row on the pocket of a shirt or a... Um, apron would be absolutely amazing the mirror blocks everyone they've just sold out they've just sold out so uh, well done to everyone that got hold of those they were absolutely superb value for money we've had some images in we've had some images in let's have a look these have been sent in from Jackie Jackie these are lovely I guess this has been using the smaller set of stamps that Jackie oh. bought aren't they lovely 15 pounds and 99 pence uh, sorry the backgrounds have gone we're showing you some photos now these are uh, that Jack these are uh, some cards I think that Jackie has made aren't they lovely <laughs> they're absolutely beautiful I absolutely love them and I think it does show as well that for example say you're thinking well I love them but I just want to go for the regular size today that's absolutely cool because you can see how well you can use them and even the butterflies in the regular size are fantastic for, for for cards. They're a good enough folks. Jackie, Jackie Pickering, thank you very, very much. Very nicely done, Jackie. Very, very nice. Uh, we've also got another picture from Jackie oh. Pickering. Um, look at this. Oh, I love that. It's on fabric. Stamped on the fabric. Yeah, that Lovely. is... Lovely. That is beautiful, isn't it? That could be a necklace, or it could be um, full of, like, lavender scent, which is lovely. Uh, Lou Sims has sent in a picture. Oh, Lou. Lou how actually did this it? on a live last night. So if you want to see how she put it together, oh. it is actually online. Look, she's how cheekily she left in the pens as well to show us how she's done it. How do you do it, Lou? Amazing. Well, we know because we can watch the live. Yeah. That really is superb. And this is also by Lou. This is also by Lou. So if you look at this really carefully now, you can see that's got the A4 paper on it. Yeah. The one of the blue papers on you it. See that now, the all the butterflies are stamped on the papers as well. So they're all stamped, just stamped on the papers and then dike it out. Lou did this entire canvas in 45 minutes. Oh, I like that. Okay, because the because most of the work for the background was done. Yeah. Um, and then she just used the papers to stamp on because that way she didn't have to do coloured backgrounds for the papers. Do you know what? That's a great idea. Then, Could you also stamp straight onto the card as well? Because yeah, in that absolutely. deal you're getting the paper and the card. And it's the a card. Super so you deal. can use whichever, you know, if you want something a bit weightier because you want to 3D the wings out slightly and you want it to hold, yeah. I would say use the card for that. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to get that dimension really, really well. I think it's great. Uh, do go and check out those papers. Brand new today, and we're very, very busy for them. It's excellent value for money. Uh, we could bring the details up maybe at the bottom of the screen for those, um, just so you can get them into your basket. So we have some nice inspirations there from Lou. We've had another email in from Jenny, who is the woman, the lady, uh, the dame who requested the mirror. It box. was. That was Jen. And that, like I say, that was at Stamp Magic in Doncaster. And she came and she asked me. And in fairness, she, I think she asked me in the June. Um, and they took a bit of, you know, messing with to get yeah. absolutely right. And by the October show, I had them for it. Oh, she says she hopes to see you again soon. I hope to see you again soon. I really do. Oh, isn't that lovely? Thank you for your emails. Let's get straight back to demo. Right, what we have okay. to look at now. So what I want to show you quickly, just because Lou reminded me, she did these three cards and she's going to do a video of these. Um, and these cards, like I was saying, the canvas took her uh, 45 minutes. These three cards were done in half an hour. And she's going to do a video of these. So you can see she's used the backing papers. She's used the swallow off the XLs and then the die cutting it out. Oh, I love so those. she's managed to do all of those. She's used her circle layering dies to cut out yep. um, and just using the papers to put them together nice and quickly. So love those. as well, if you do like to craft quickly, yep. the papers, I think, will also help because they're absolutely beautiful. Excellent. Right. So with the papers, I'm just going to we're just going to have a go with some of the papers. So these are just some bits I've cut out. So I was telling you about how the papers are available in different sizes in the pack. And I keep saying papers, but it is a paper and card pack because yeah. so you do have both. So, for example, this is the card and this is a C6 card. So you can see you just cut that layer out to the edge and it fits perfectly 
onto your C6 card. All right. But like I say, this is a starting point. You can add more to it. So if I take, um, what was I going to go for? I was going to go for one of the mandalas because I wanted to talk to you about the mandalas as well. So you can take these with one of your blending tools. And then if you're thinking, well, it's a bit more on the bluey side. I want the, the green to really, really pop out. You can just go through your mandalas because I've used these on the papers as well in card and then you can add on more if you want to bring in another color you can then bring in another color like you can that. doodle around them there's just a lot more you can add in do we have the mandalas on the show we have the mandalas on the show in the set of seven and, and the we're going to look for those and bring the details up absolutely for you. so the thing with the mandalas you can see it again on here in this white outline let me get the bigger sheets actually this is silly showing you on the little ones okay so this is a large sheet of paper and you can see the mandala effect there but the wicked thing about your mandalas is they give you a leaping off point for lots of different sorts of crafting okay, okay? so for example Anne has done this where she's used one of them and then decoupage blended through it and then decoupaged it up wow okay is that from one of the mandalas that's from one of the mandalas no okay so then we've got another one by Anne where she's used just some light blending and then some dots. Did, do you dot through the stencil or dot and then dot, uh, I I think what Anne's done is she's blended through first and then just gone round freehand. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then the other day when I wanted to start my prep, but my energy was not at its highest. Yes. I, I did this. Okay. Wow. So you can draw around your mandala, and then afterwards you can go in and just doodle in the sections. Oh my and word. that is so easy and it's so much that? fun. I did. Don't sound so surprised. Uh, sorry. Oh, you did that. <laughs> that looks great. Um, I've got one of the samples here to show you, um, <clears throat> which is brilliant. And uh, with your mandala as well, um, I guess you do get you do get an outie and inny because you could always use that really as an absolutely aperture. and the Definitely. reason that is is if you are blending through but you want to keep a clean edge you've yep. got that out of there so the ink doesn't travel outwards yeah so you can create a perfectly clean edge if you want to and you get a set of seven set of seven innies and outies so that's 14 pieces wow and here they are i mean you've got some great shapes there with your mandala yeah. design so you've got your circles your traditional mandalas in there you've also got uh, like the the star and Oh, this is like, this is, oh, there's a word for it. It's it's like the emblem of Leicestershire, not a filigree. Um, it's called something or other. Anyway, it's in that collection. Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to know, <laughs> am I? Um, oh, isn't it fantastic? £26.99. Imagine having all of those in your collection, ready to go for your stamping and your designs. And they'll work marvellously with the papers and cardstock that we've got for you on the show. That is very, very busy. It's a lovely set, it really is. We're half the stock gone. You've got that lovely paper, which is in that gorgeous cream. Love that, very dreamy in their designs. Um, and then you've got your circles, you've got the card stock in there as well. So you've got A5, A4. You've also got some fantastic uh, patterns in there and borders that you can cut out and use. But what's great about this is that you've got the inspiration there, but then you can start adding to it. So you're going to have a lot of fun with those. Don't miss out on your papers, twelve ninety nine. I'd buy a couple of sets because I know as soon as you start using them, you're going to think, why didn't I have these sooner? It's because they weren't made. They're brand new today. Uh, 643106 is your item number. Very busy for those. That is a top idea, Arbev. Absolutely. And I'm so sorry. I know I will demo, I promise. But there's other things I want to show you as well that other people have made. Right. In fairness, I did make two of these. So with your um, birds and butterflies, obviously you can easily start thinking that the XLs are just for larger projects and the regular for smaller. But yep. the fantastic thing is you can actually mix and match. So I've got a couple of art journal pages here. So I've got this one, which is in a small journal, yep. um, which is easy enough done mixing up um, papers and all this sort of thing. And again, just with your regular size birds and butterflies, just in black and white. Then I've got this one again, lots of color where I've added in the mandala. You can see the mandalas in the background, the stitchy borders. And the, but this has got both layers. So it's got the XLs in the back yep. and then the regular size at the front. So you can layer them up. That's good. And then give a really, really wicked effect. But then if you want to go even bigger than that, Sam 
in her exceedingly big journal. Oh, it's, it's like this is your life, isn't it, with Amy and Andrews? <laughs> <laughs> so I sat in her really big journal. I mean, she's done this absolutely massive page. And in here, you can see she's used her ledger and the Excel butterfly. That's the biggest butterfly in the Excels. Wow. So, but again, stamping onto the papers to, to bring those out. So regardless of what size journal you like to work in, yeah. They're going to work. I think they're fabulous. Okay. I really, really do. So and it's a good way of layering them up as well. If you've got the smaller size, you want to go for the larger size, brand new today, then it's a good way of using them. Um, and you've got the Freedom price on there as well. So if you are a Freedom member, you get the extra discount, which is absolutely fantastic. So do make sure you pop those into your basket because we're busy. It's for the stamps and the dies, by the way. So no more fussy cutting. Yay! You get the whole image. Yay! No more cutting off parts of the butterfly. Yay! Yay. There you go. Uh, 26 99 Freedom members, that's your price. And you don't pay any PMP. If you're not a Freedom member, it's 29.99. So if you want to become a Freedom member today, why don't you? Triple eight, triple eight in your basket. If you do want the other size, 19.99. Those details at the bottom of your screen. 990809. Right, back to bed. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the. This is the biggest butterfly off the XL. So I'm going to use this one to add because I, again I want to show that you can use the big ones on the smaller papers as well. It's not just about one and all. So I'm going to go to my regular distressing and I am using Lucky Clover. Um, and we're just going to ink up our large butterfly here because I just want to add in a little bit more onto, like I say, this is the cardstock I'm using and I just want to add in some more and so I'm going to ink this one up and put it over the top, okay? And then we're going to put that layer onto our card because you can just see that it adds even more so if you're like I say if you're batch making um, as well you're absolutely free to do that with these stamps and the papers you know absolutely go to town because it's just going to make it so easy for you if you're just starting out or you like the inky effect but you just don't like getting dirty fingers yeah true you no know, that's true. totally I it's not something I suffer from I mean I like I like the inky effect and I don't mind getting dirty but I have a tendency to overdo it. I didn't say anything. I have a right. tendency to overdo it. So what starts out to be nice and dirty and grungy turns out to be just a bit messy and brown. So these would be perfect because yeah. I think I'd learn from them, Bev. Well, it gives you, it, like you say, it gives you a starting point. And if you don't know what colours you want to start with today or anything like that, that is, you know, that is a good way of doing it. But from here, what you could do, so th this is, these are some of my black and white die cuts. Okay. And Sam did do me some green ones that I've already lost. Right, so from here, but you can see, even just with the black and white, so again, this is in the XL on that small layer. Do you know what I like about that as well? You've got your butterflies in the background, then you've got your bird the on The bird top. in the front. Because sometimes you think, oh, I've got a butterfly on a butterfly, or Absolutely birds on not. a bird. All these work yeah. together yeah. so beautifully. Now, if you look at the back here, and I'm going to show you the back because I think it's easier to see. If you look at the back here, you can see the dies actually also emboss. Hang on, let me see. There you go. They sort of emboss that edge. Oh, I see. You can see it sort of embossed down. Yeah, yeah. So when I flip that over, it's got that lovely, that white line is actually pressed down a little bit, so it really does lift. Oh, like a beer mat. Like a beer mat. Yeah, beer mat. You're mats. missing the pub, aren't you? I know I am, Right, yeah. so <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to put that swallow on there. Is it called beveled? Named after you. Beveled. It's beveled. So you think of beer mats and you think of me. I don't really no, know what to say to I that. No, I don't. Right. <laughs> but I'm here. happy when I look at both. <laughs> oh, charm. Right, and then from here, I'm going to go in, because Sam Blesser has cut me out some of the beautiful Ticker Tape 1 words. They're also on the show today, so you can see them on the website. Yeah, they're brilliant. Okay. Go and check those and out. And then, just onto there, look layered up, absolutely beautiful. I love that. I love that. It's got really... Do you know what? It's got a really nice vintage look to it, that bird. Yeah. But if you colour it in, you've got a modern vibe as well. Exactly. And what, and what I think what the papers do as well is I love grunge, but as Daphne says, I like bright grunge. Yeah. I don't like it dark. I like bright colours, and that's what these backing papers allow you to do as well. Did you know the swallows can fly up to 65 kilometres per hour? I knew it was fast. I didn't have the numbers. Yeah. That, 
They're not a swift, they're a swallow. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful birds. Encourage them into your gardens, encourage them. Uh, right, let's have a quick recap of everything that we've got for you because we are very, very busy. Uh, right, your large stamps in there, brand new today. Um, and you've got your dies as well. Over a third of the stock has gone of that particular set. I love this. I love the fact that if you use your die and not the stamp, you could just cut out the image yeah. into paper. I think that's a wonderful uh, idea. And, and that's the thing. I will say with the XLs, the design team and, and, and everybody, they do seem to have gone more to using the dies independently of the stamps yeah. as well. It works. So I think that's really sort of opened up more crafting possibilities. Yeah, there. it works. I've got some birds at home in a frame and they cut the shape out of birds, but they're in maps. Yeah. So, so you, you could, could create something like that. Yeah, yeah, you could associate the birds with the different areas in the country, for example, or where you live. There are so many different possibilities. Or oh, go for those papers and use the dies with those brand new papers. They'll look terrific. They really will alongside the stamp. So that's your extra large. Freedom members, you've got your discount. If not, $29.99, which is a bargain because you're getting eight stamps and eight dies. You can use them independently. But of course, use them together to save all that fussy cutting. 739513 is your item number. Then you've got your smaller size. We've seen these before, but lots of people going for these as well, in conjunction with the larger ones. Um, and have a look at this. This is a great sample of the butterflies in the smaller stamp set. And then, of course, building up, building up, building out, and using the larger stamp set with that as well. £19.99, 990809 is your item number if you want to go for your smaller set. If you want to go for both of them, you're more than welcome to do so. Again, as we're heading into the spring, into the summer, we're going outside more and more now, and I think more and more people are noticing nature than ever before, and I think that's a fantastic thing. Uh, so, making cards with those stamps would be fabulous. Now, your ledger is also busy. Love this. Imagine, this was actually a ledger, a real proper ledger somewhere in history uh, a right proper ledger uh, but somewhere in history this has been used and now you're going to use it with your crafting i love those nibs at the bottom and i love that ink well as well so much detail in there isn't there on those nibs absolutely lovely nibs 12 pounds and 99 pence zero four one zero five eight is your item number again i would definitely recommend let me turn this around because it's good to see the size of the um, inkwell and the ledger and the nibs at the bottom. Um, I think they would look lovely on a pencil case. They'd look fantastic on just on the shirt, just above your pocket, or even on your apron. £12.99, 041058 is your item number. That's a great set. Now, brand new today, we've got the MDF pop outs. 40% uh, of the stock is gone. I love these, love the detail in there. Really easy just to pop out, but what it'll also mean is that you've got the shapes of the butterflies left in. So that's kind of a twofer, isn't it? You can use it in two different ways. Um, again, another way of using this, pop this down onto a piece of paper, get your sprays, get your inks, go around it. You'll be colouring the butterflies randomly, which will look amazing, but you'll also have the pattern that's left from those holes in your MDF that make up the butterflies. Layer them up together or use the silhouettes on their own. You can do. You could actually paint your own details into there or use them together like on this particular sample and layer them up. £11.99, 202948 is your item number on that one. Love that. And that sample's by Kaz. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got your Myla stencil. So this is what we mean about your outie and your innie because uh, it's the only way we can describe it. Uh, let me just... Oh, there you go. Stop. So I have limited room. Limited... Look, I'm just trying to get my... Limited. Oh. Um, oh dear. Right. So that could be uh, your lovely framework for your butterfly, which would be lovely. You can ink that up. And then you've got your silhouette. So whatever shape that you ink around is going to leave that particular shape on the paper. Uh, this is a great deal. Sorry, I've totally messed the pack shot up. Oh dear. Stop it. Right, uh, £11.99, pence. you get your butterfly and your bird cage set. I think those are fabulous, I really do. Uh, now we've got hickory dickory clock. <laughs> Why do I pause? I don't know. I don't know. It, I want to call it hickory dickory dock. Well, okay. But it's hickory dickory Ickery. clocks. Hickory. 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 Hickory dickory. Hickory dickory clocks. 
I just think it's fat. I just love that phrase, hickory dickory. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the mouse and the clogs on, has it? That's a different one. But there is mice. But there is mice in here. There is. Those are butterflies that you see in there. But the clock faces are there. Lovely sample, that. Um, right. In the kit, you get three clock faces, all Roman numerals, which are lovely. You get three mice as well different sizes and you get the two bird cages as well. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, four, three, five, six, eight, nine is your item number. Just show you that quick sample as well because I think it deserves a second glance. So this is by Jane Royston. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely sensational. Uh, four, three, five, six, eight, nine for your hickory dickory clocks. clocks. There you go. Uh, right, the paper and the card. I love this. I do need to, I, 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 do you know what? I'm going to, I want to show you them both together because you get you get all of that. Ten sheets of the paper, ten sheets of the card. And it's the same design on each, but with the paper, which is 120 GSM, you get that lovely cream colour, which, which works so well. It really, really does. And then you get your cardstock, which is in white, but you've got the lovely techniques on there from our Bev. These are absolutely sensational. We're very, very busy for them. 12 99 three quarters of the stock has gone i think it's an amazing price it really really is six four three one zero six is your item number we've got about how many five and a half minutes where's the time gone i don't know it's gone up the hickory dickory dot clock i know that's you that is that is i've got up the hickory dickory as well right bev what we're gonna have a look at right okie dokie so i just thought what i'd do is i'd do some stamping and die cutting so you can see the stamp stamped out with the die cuts yes. on here so we're working with the xls yes. right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my versifying clair just to stamp up onto the green so what this means well the green and yellow I actually don't think I used a green on here. I think it was the combination of the blue and yellow oh, that really? made it. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp up all the different elements. Yep. And then we're going to die cut them all together. Would you say green and yellow is your favourite colour? You use it a lot and I like it. I use it a lot. Funnily enough, I remember when I was primarily a scrapbooker, yep. I was doing an online class that used yellow and I realised I owned absolutely nothing yellow. But when I became more of an art journaler and started using spray inks and whatever, yellow is definitely a go-to colour. Really? Whereas purple is one of my favourite colours, but I avoid it because it's, it's how you can easily turn things to mud ah, by using okay. purple. Whereas yellow, it always creates a sort of brighter, brighter mix. Okay. So you can just go in with your Excels. Now, in fairness, you could use this as the beginning of an art journal page as well. It's a way of starting out your colours scrapbooking page um a scrapbooking page absolutely i have to say there's so much i wanted to do in terms of have a go with for the show and i just didn't get to it all yeah. i wanted to do some scrapbook pages i wanted to do some more journal pages but i just didn't get to it there's just so much i wanted to do you could also right, send so. that through your die cutting machines building up that background and then using i mean you could even use the dies that you're getting with the sets of the stamps so therefore, you've got those lovely dies there, especially the extra large ones, to cut out your swallow, but you've got it in the background paper that you've created. Exactly. For example, I cut, I was die cutting, doing a lot of die cutting earlier, but I've kept the, the cutouts because I thought they'd be really good for blending through, using as a stencil. You know, you could put different That's bits a good idea. over and create layers that way. It's like, you'll see here, I haven't stamped the biggest butterfly on the set and that's because what I'm going to do yeah so this is the XL I'm going to put put the XL die so this will only work on your A4 I'm going to put the XL die over that blue one and die cut that out okay and that okay. way I've kept everything away from that strip so I can cut that out and yep. use it later. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I like this sample just to show you this one quickly because it's going on what Bev is talking about. When you've cut out your die, you've got your background that you've created there, but then you're using the actual, what you would normally just discard and put to one side because you've die cut that out. That, is, uh, that is a great idea. That is a really, really, really good really idea. Good. That's one of those when I saw it, I was like... <gasps> That's fantastic. And I think that's where these sort of shapes really do show their use because it's not for just one thing. It's not, you know, it's not just the bit you cut out you can use. It's everything else as well. Love that. Great so, idea. Great idea. And that was by, that was by Jane Royston again. It was. 
I tell you what, we have the best DT in the whole wide world. Do you have a name for your DT team? Yeah, the best DT team in the whole wide world. That's good. I like that. I think I like it's that. catchy myself. I, I, th I think it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put this bird on here. And then you've got... I bet so they're you can a hive see. of activity. They are a hive of activity. Boom, boom. Bob right, boom. so I'm going to take... My bottom cutting plate here. They could be called the queens. Oh, there's only one queen bee in our hive. Yeah, that's And that's true. mother. That's true. We have a queen bee. She has a mug that says so. Really? Yes, yeah, she does. Aww. Your mum's a crafter. My mum is a crafter. She is the matriarch of us, shall we say. So... We've got one minute 20 left on the show. Yes, I don't, which is I, making me wish I'd put that down. Carry on. I just do not know where the time goes. Look at that. Stamped out and embossed. Isn't that a beautiful card? Simplistic, but it's the image that makes it. And by going for the stamps, these are the kind of cards that you can make as well. They're brand new today. The extra large stamp and die set. Eight stamps and eight dies. Get that freedom price if you're a freedom member as well. Remember, you get that discount. Uh, you can watch the show again. You'll have those inspirations uh, and it will be available on Rewind and of course you can follow our Bev and Sam from Be Crafty on Facebook you do lots of Facebook do lives. loads of lives and all this sort of thing so you can see just one pass through and these are all popping out absolutely easy peasy see I really okay. like that I really like the way that you can create a background and then just die cut them out okay so then you know but they're already they're all colored in yeah okay Perfect. so if you then took one of your for example this piece onto a card Right. 25 seconds left. You can then out of the use show. these oh, die cuts bed. over the top. When are you back, Beth? On your birthday, 23rd of March. Hey, you said it, not me, but there's another mention. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I hope I'm working. I hope I'm, I think I am. Uh, Bev, it's been an absolute joy. Please check out your baskets. Thank you very much, Bev. Thank you very much, my lovely. Thank you. Make sure you get your hickory dickory. Clocks. That's the one. Right, coming up next, we've got Rowan Dean embroidery for you. A memory box springtime special after that. And then we're heading to the final hour of the Crafty Devils one day special. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on a Chanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Can you believe it's been two years of Sentimentally Yours here at Hochander? Please join me for our very special birthday celebrations, starting from the 26th of February at 10am and ending on Sunday the 28th of February. You will not want to miss these birthday celebrations, launching with the brand new products that I am super excited about. Then we have a one day special launching on the Saturday, this is gorgeous and we have a secret, very, very special guest coming in to launch that for you. Then we also have Trudy Howard's gorgeous brand new release launching on the same weekend. What a treat. I cannot wait for these birthday celebrations. So put the dates in your diary and make sure you don't miss the Sentimentally Yours second anniversary birthday celebration shows.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. everyone thank you for joining us here at Achanda we've got an hour with Rowan Dean and that of course means we've got Katrina with us as well second hour today Katrina it is very very busy earlier I know it was, wasn't it? I'm not surprised because we've got the most beautiful kits with us. Of course, Katrina's going to be demonstrating throughout. We're going a little bit uh, seasonal as well. In fact, we're visiting Easter, first of all. Let's have a look at this kit. We're going to work our way down the counter, and you've really just wait until you see what we've got on offer. Now, half the stock has gone of our Easter heart embroidery kit. This is a gorgeous little sample I can see here, Katrina. I'm just going to turn this round as well because I've just spotted. Do you know, we did the prep meeting, and I fell in love with this, but I didn't realise it was actually stitched the other side as well look at this how pretty is that with the pinks yeah, in there as well the way, the, the way it's made you know you you join it in the middle of the heart and that covers all the join of the heart but it's actually you could have it each way around the other way around you could have yeah. one side one you know that is lovely. Oh, I can imagine that hung on a little cupboard door or just on the wall. You know, you can hang that in so many different places, couldn't you? Such a pretty project as well. And of course, being a kit, as always with Rowan Dean, you're getting everything you need in there. So that includes the tweed. You've got the um, wadding in there as well, the beads, the organza, the threads, the needle, the full instructions. You're ready to go straight from the pack. It has been busy, this one. So make sure you check your baskets out if you want it. £15.95, item number 30580. Too. Could you put some sort of smellies in there? Some I think you could. I think you could put, you know, lavender or some herbs or, yeah, or herbs put, would be nice. Herbs actually. would be quite nice if you put it in the kitchen. Definitely. Oh, what a lovely project. But we've got more for you. Let's have a move on down the counter because a new today, this is lovely actually. You've got the Hayfield here. Aren't the colours just divine in this? The Hayfield Tweed Mini Kit. I love the fact that you do get the, the little hoop in here as well for display purposes, don't you, Katrina? But it's, it's not in the kit, but I, I, it's in the other, you know, you can buy it as okay. a set of three. Um, but I think it, it shows off the work really, it really does, well. doesn't it? 
Now, we will show you the details of the hoops in a second because we have got different sizes as well. But if you want to go over the Hayfield Tweed Mini Kit, of course, you've got the pre-printed tweed. Again, you've got the organza. You've got the beads in there. Always Katrina provides the appropriate needles as well. And, of course, you've got that all-important thread there that's already sort of here, that lovely little bit of metallic in there as well. What a great price as well. Only 10 95 for this one. 40% of the stock has gone on that one. Details at the bottom screen if you do want the hoops. Let me just show you what you're getting here as well. We'll just bring the details to the side of the screen. Now you've got the four inch details coming up first. So let me just pull out the four inch hoop. So there we are. We've got the inner and the outer hoop, of course, because you're going to trap your fabric in between there. You do get three of these. So exactly what you get in there, as I did show you, $20.99 is the price. Lovely to display if you do want to display. But of course, there are other ways you can use your work as well, Katrina. Notebooks, little panels on cushions. I think all backs. those things. You know, it's the same with the heart. You could put the heart in a hoop as, yeah. as well. So it just depends on who you're going to give that gift Definitely. to, really. Isn't that pretty though? I love the colours in there. 409012 if you want to go for the kit itself. Then moving down again, we've got another little kit. Now this one is absolutely gorgeous. The reason I love this one so much is because you've got that metallic thread there in the stream. Look how that glistens as well. So you've got the Secret Stream Tweed Mini Kit here. Gorgeous colours, the turquoises, the greens. Isn't that pretty? They're really spring-like colours and bright. I think, I think it's just, you could be sitting near that stream and it would just be absolutely magical. Oh, I can hear it babbling now, that stream. Oh, I love it. Beautiful colours there. Again, look at the price point on this one. Only ten ninety five. Everything that you require in the kit there. If you want to go over the hoops, don't forget they're a separate. They're an upsell for you. If you do want to go over those three hoops. But for the kit itself, 214140. Now, half the stock of that one has gone. Moving down again, another beauty, the walled garden. I think we all wish we'd got one of these. But if you haven't, you can have your own and hang it on the wall, just like this. Now, obviously, Obviously, you don't get the frame with it, but you do get the mount. Again, you get the pre-printed fabric, all of those glorious colours already sorted out for you. There's an awful lot of thread and yarn in this one, Katrina, isn't there? Yeah, I got carried away, I think. <laughs> Just uh, enjoyed using the colours and the textures. Amazing. Those beautiful organzas are in there as well. Just a lovely, lovely kit. Isn't that gorgeous? Half the stock has gone. Thirty-one ninety-nine is the price on this one. You're going to have so much delight putting that together as well. Eight zero one six four five. Katrina, when it comes to the ease of doing the kits, is this one a little bit more advanced, a little bit more experienced? How could anybody do that? I think I think anybody could do that. I mean, it's more or less the same stitches as some okay. of the smaller kits, but it's bigger. It's going to take a little bit longer. But sometimes yes. that's nice to, to have a longer too. project to work on. And I, I mean, I, I particularly like the, the motif on the edge where you, you stitch that and then you apply that afterwards to the, to the uh, mounts and glue, it, the glue that on it. Sort of, you could, you're walking into that view, what's behind that secret garden, you know. I think it just helps you travel into the picture. It and I does. love the lilac. Lilac is one of my favourite plants oh. and I think that with the beads and the French knots. Those it makes it a colours. nice plant. The bright greens and the yellows in there work so well with the lilacs, don't they? What a lovely kit. Now we move down again because we've got more. Now we've got back in stock. This was a sellout on the early show. I did say it was very, very busy, and it certainly was. Now you've got the Water's Edge card kit in. Now you don't have to use these as cards, obviously, but you do get the card blanks. You get the envelopes. You get all of the tweed in there. You get all of the fabrics, the beads again, the threads, and such a lovely array of different colours once again here, Katrina. I can see we've got variegated threads here. We've got solid colours. We've got metallics again. So they are absolutely beautiful. Now, because this is on extended, we have brought this back for you. The dispatch date is from the 26th of February, so not long to wait at all. It's only three days extra. It just allows Katrina and Ted and their little helpers to get everything ready for you. Now, these are beautiful, Katrina. Again, I love your card kits. We see them. We've seen them in the past with different color variations. Again, simple stitches, but so, so effective. And the use of those yarns and the beads in there just make them, don't they? It, it makes it fun to do, you know, having six designs that you can work that aren't going to take too long, that come out quite, quite different, but on, on the same theme, using those fabulous sort of rich turquoises and, and silvers and metallic threads. 
I think that I, I really enjoyed doing those. I'm not surprised. And the dragonfly there, looking one of them, absolutely beautiful. Well, you're loving it again because over 10% of the stock has gone. 18 pounds and 95 pence. You're getting the whole kit there. All six of those cards with the blanks, the envelopes, the threads, absolutely everything. 307598 is the item number that you need. Oh, now, something that we didn't see on the earlier show are the pebbles. Now, these are pebbles in a pond. Talking to dragonflies, we've got one on here as well, look. So we've seen pebbles before, but we've seen the beach pebbles, but we haven't seen the pond pebbles no, before. No, uh, you know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite new. It's the same, same idea that you, you stitch on, on the oval shape of the, the top of the pond, and then you put the layers of, of wadding and a backing on, so it raises the surface, you know, making it into a, a 3D sculpture. But the actual stitching, you know, if you didn't want to make it into a pebble, you could make it into a picture. But the idea of looking into that water, a few water lilies... Uh, the, the beads there, the sort of gold, there's some gold beads, some uh, variegated threads to create the pebbles, and then the, three, the water lily is created on a piece of organza that you cut out and then apply. So, so it's really raising the surface there. Uh, but with the same stitches that we love, you know, French knots, a few straight yeah. stitches. Oh, uh, and a few beads. And just give them a little bit of a wiggle there. You can see how the light catches those beads and the sequins and the metallic threads as well. So effective. Just 19.95. Again, everything in the kit ready to go for you. 747-325 is the item number there. And then finally on the counter, we have the Enchanted Garden. Another beauty. So you've got some beautiful pinks in this one. What I love about this one, Katrina, is the fact that, you know, with those yarns and threads again, you've got very tactile threads in this one. I think that, that's the beauty of working on the tweed and, and this kind of design is you can use knitting yarns, you can use quite heavy yarns and all those work to go, together just to make a really textured, ma a magical garden really. And then I can't resist having a few beads and a bit of sparkle in there just to give that uh, a bit of sunshine in the design. Lovely. And some Absolutely organza. Gorgeous. We've got to have a bit of organza. You so have. there's little organza flowers in the foreground there. So they're, but they're again, lovely to they do. They really catch they're light. Really you can nice. see it on the screen there, how they're just catching the light. Because you've got kind of that crystal organza, haven't you, that you've used. Beautiful. Once again, £19.95. Item number 679819. Now, you may have noticed that this one is also displayed in a hoop, but it's a larger hoop than the ones we've already seen. So we do have on offer the seven-inch hoops as well. So again, this is a pack of three. So you can see you've got your inner and your outer. You will get three of these. So a great price again, $14.99. Of course, these are real wood, the hardwood as well. So a lovely, lovely finish to these, isn't there, Katrina? Absolutely beautiful. 903751 if you want to go for the hoops. Do you know whether you're going for the kits or not? That Everything's available. If you want to display yours in a different way, you can. But I just think they work so well in those beautiful hardwood hoops there. Let's have a look at the website as well because, of course, you can see much more over there. I mean, Rowan Dean, been coming here. Katrina, I've got to ask, have you been here almost from the beginning? You yeah, yeah. So I know, amazing. lots to see on the website and lots of lovely five star reviews as well. Don't miss out on the play around packs. We've got lots more kits on offer, all sorts of different florals for you, different colorways. The play around kits always prove to be very, very busy. We've also got the fat quarters of the cottons as well, which I've got to say are exceptional quality. If you've never seen them before, make sure that you have a look at those. Also, Katrina's book always proves popular. You've got your accessories there as well. You've got more in the way of embroidery hoops. They're your working embroidery hoops as well with the little scissors. If you want your pebble of needles and your pins and your magnets as well as your needle minders then of course that is also available so lots to consider there right okay I think it's time for a demonstration though so Katrina what will we be looking at first well we're going to be looking at the the hay field um, these oh, are the two lovely. new minis I've really I think they're just such lovely projects they're not going to take you very long to stitch the idea is that they're they're worked in a in a hoop uh, and my finished size of the hoop I'm going to put it into the four inch hoop but to actually work the stitching you're just going to take the spring hoop and just place that over the top and then just press the spring together and then just release that as long as it's on a, a flat surface then you've got um, it'll be easy to work and you can move the spring out of the way you don't want that to get caught so as you're working your design you can move that out of the way so it's not going to catch on anything. It's very easy to adjust it, isn't it? Really, 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 really good. And, and they, if, the, if the tension does change as you stitch, um, 
you can readjust that. So the first thing for this design is there's, there is some organza that's going to form the field. Um, because I'm stitching mine in the, uh, which I've mislaid already, here we go. Um, I, in the four inch, I've actually, you'll get quite a large piece of organza. So if you want to work it in this style of frame, just make sure that you, you cut the organza, uh, okay. just don't go beyond the four inch. Okay, hoop. so you don't and want then, to trap you know, I, in the frame you know, I think it's only yeah. But if, if you get carried away and you want to make this larger, because you could get carried away, I know what it's like, you could make this into the, a five inch hoop. You okay. know, you can extend the design if you get carried away and make all the foreground here uh, quite detailed. So it's up to you how, you how you feel as you're stitching. But I've cut my, placed that on there, and then I've also got a little bit of organza just to create uh, a little tiny piece which I've had cut on the bias and I've frayed this a little bit and it's just going to go at the base of the design just to extend and make the design sort of fall off the edge of the picture. Lovely. So it's it's easy to start. There is a plan, there is a step-by-step -step guide uh, as to where to start, but I'm just going to show you a little bit of the ploughed field. Okay. So the first thing, there is a, a print guide just to start off with, with the shape of the, field, of the ploughed field. And I'm going to start, you're just going to go over the top just with a three strands and then I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to do some horizontal stitches. Now you can either start with a knot or you can leave the thread to wind in later, whichever suits you. But I'm just going to take some straight stitches across and this time they're going to be a little bit more messy. Okay. As if they, that, um, it, if it, as if it's been cut. Yeah, so you're adding field. that texture, but you're not losing all of that organza no. background, are you? It so you're going to do. It's, it's a great way of using a mixture of wool, and you're just going to reduce the size of the stitch as you go up to the top of the picture. And it doesn't matter; it's not doesn't have to be straight. You can overlap the stitches, and gradually, as you work to the top, the stitches will get a little bit smaller. Well, you always say, don't you, Katrina, that you've given, you know, the guidelines, so to speak, there. But if people want to so, so go off piece a little bit, they can do. If you want to add a little bit more in the way of stitches, you can do. Absol so everybody's own project will be unique, won't it? That's right. I mean, you can add more. You can do it as the instructions. Um, it's, it's up to you. But the, the instructions are a guide. But if you get, you know, you can add more or you could add other colours in there, which, whichever you prefer. So once you've done a little bit of... The wool there, I've got another thread, and this time it's a variegated thread um, with three strands. And I'm just going to go over the top of that again, just with a few more stitches, just to create the effect. Oh, and of it the builds grass. very quickly. I've got to tell you, Katrina, we're very, very busy. Everybody out there, we do have cues on the phone lines at the moment. About two minutes forty is the time we're looking at at the moment. If you can go to the website or use the app, it's the quickest route for you. But do not miss out on these. We've had sellouts earlier on today. We've got the car kit back in stock. Just going to remind you as well that the hoop that Katrina's using now, the accessory kit there, if you want to go for that, we have got the details for that. We'll bring those up at the bottom of the screen again. Just in case you've never seen this before and you're wanting to. You know, make a start on this craft because it's such a lovely craft to do as well. You may not have ever stitched before, but you certainly can achieve what we're seeing here. So the hoops at the bottom of the screen, 7-inch and 5-inch hoop, and you do get the scissors as well under item number 646785. Right, Katrina. Okay. That is building so beautifully, isn't it, and so quickly. That's the thing. I think the thing about this um, type of stitching is you're filling in part of the surface, but on these particular ones, you're not covering the whole of the surface. Uh, so that really gives a really nice effect. And there's no counting. It's not like a counted method of stitching uh, where you're looking at something. This time, you're working over the surface and just creating the texture with stitches. Now, one of my favorite stitches that, um, that we use a lot is a French knot. So in the distance here, we've got the trees in the distance worked as French knots and then in the foreground I've got some more French, uh, French knots for the flower so I'm just okay. going to show you these so these are on the printed dot of the fabric and that's just giving you a guide as to where to start to stitch so for this one it's easier to put your work on the table um, and then you've got two hands to work the stitch and this time you're going to wind around once twice 
and then as you turn your needle you're just going to go almost into the same place not quite and then push the needle all the way into the fabric and then just tighten that and that's just going to keep it twizzled round the needle uh, and a nice neat shape then just let it do its own thing and just let that travel in on its own and then don't be tempted to guide it just let it do its own thing there and then repeat the process oh, and the, I mean this stitch is made great a little rose head, it looks like there, it looks like a little rose, rose doesn't, doesn't it? it so uh, you just keep adding a few of those and once you you can if you wish make these a lot bigger so if you wanted to you can do a loose French knot and you can leave it fairly loose around the needle and that'll make the stitch uh, a lot bigger and more textured Absolutely so whichever beautiful. you want to do whichever you prefer have a go at, at uh, both stitches I've just got my thread tangled a little bit there uh, so you're just going to add a couple of French knots in there it's a great stitch you use it. I can't in fact I can't think that I um, do a kit without a French knot I think I think I've got just got to use some French knots if you don't, uh, it's definitely worth uh, mastering it. It's, it it's quite addictive. Is. And you do provide the instructions in, in all of the packs, don't you, to do the French knot and those simple stitches as well. So once again, I just want to reiterate, anyone that's never stitched before, this is something you can pick up and you can have a go at. I've said this before on air as well, and I've seen it again this last week. Do you know, I, I do take notice of what people post on social media. I do like to see what everybody's doing. And I'm seeing more and more people wanting to have a go at different soft crafts and different stitching. And they may have never done it before. This is a great way to start with one of Katrina's kits, one of Rowan Dean kits. Now, I'm just going to give a little bit of an update, actually, as well, or a reminder as well of this kit, because this is proving so, so popular. Half of the extended stock has gone. Now, this sold out on the earlier show. It is proving very busy again. Just to go through the details again, you've got six cards to create here, but you don't have to use these as cards. You do get the card blanks, <coughs> excuse me. You do get the envelope, you get all of the threads, you get the organza, you get the needles, you get the beads and you get the sequins as well. And of course you get the full instructions. I mean, if you want to use these as separate little pictures, if you want to put these into the hoops, if you want to use these on notebooks or journals, you could do, if you want to make needle cases, you've got all those different ideas there. The colours in this are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful turquoises, the blues, the greens there, the purples as well. All of that for just £18.95. Everything just ready to go straight from the pack. 307 598 is the item number. Now, because these are on delayed dispatch, there is a little bit of delay, but it's hardly anything. It's only three days, the 26th of February. But the rate these are going, I think we might be seeing yet another sellout on them. So very, very busy. Do not waste time checking your basket out on those. Katrina, we can go back to you, if we may. Okay. Well, I think... Um when you look at the, the hayfield, um, you're just going to work. It's mostly um, straight stitch and a couple of French knots, and that that will be lovely, really, to, to complete. So the one that goes with it is the other one. So this is the uh, secret stream. So it's a very similar way of working. I've got the you know the, the designs printed on the fabric, and this time I've placed some green organza over the top, and I've cut some slithers of um, blue organza so that's just going to run down uh, towards the foreground of the picture and then you'll be able you still be able to see your stitching there you'll still be able to see the size of the stitch which is uh, on the print and that's an indicator of how big to do the stitches so I'm just going to do a couple of straight stitches in the distance okay. and I'm just taking the colors the colors are absolutely uh, magical colors I think if you were they sitting really by this stream they? they're just Oh, they're it's just a lovely. magical price as well, Katrina. I mean, not much over £10, is it? I mean, for someone looking for a new craft or something quick and easy, or perhaps you're going for the hayfield and you want to pair up with something, these two together make beautiful sort of pairs, don't they? If you want to put them on the wall in the hoops or use them together on a project as well. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's the beauty of this, is that you can adapt the design that it, and how you're going to uh, display your work to suit whatever you do, whether you want to put it on a journal or on a bag or uh, you want to give it as a gift uh, and, you know, hopefully seeing everybody and you'll be able to give them a little gift. But I think the colours are just superb. And they one really of the things are. that's really attractive about the colours are the beads. And the, this is how the tree is done with the beads. So we're going to work some French knots there uh, with 
uh, the variegated threads and look at all those colours. So this time there's a mixture of green and turquoise beads that will just make that sparkle. And you can see by look, looking at the light, I can't resist a few sequins either. So there are a couple of sequins that go in the foreground uh, of the design. Oh, so really, beautiful. really easy to do. I think they're relaxing colours. I think that's what they are. They're they, really they are very much relaxing so. colours. Yeah, you know, we've um, had a little uh, suggestion as well from the gallery. Our Meg thinks, and I quite agree. We can imagine a little stream fairy by the stream there with little yeah, organs and wings as well. Maybe you could stitch a tiny one in if yeah. you wanted to. Or even a or dragon dragonfly. Dragon a yeah. dragonfly would look yeah, good, wouldn't yeah, it? Well, wouldn't it? So to, to attach the beads, you just take the beads, and I've put them in the lid of the pins, just so I can pick them out easier. So you're just going to take a bead with the bead thread and you're just going to scoop it up onto the onto the needle and then you're just going to take the needle down and that's just going to secure that bead and you could apply a couple of these and leave some gaps and fill in with the french knots whichever or you could uh, work the french knots first but and i just love threads, Katrina, the colors you even provide the bead thread don't you as well it's all there in the kit it, it is and, and it's, it's specific for uh, for beads and jewellery making, it doesn't stretch. So when you apply the bead, it's not going to drop and fall. Once it's on there, it's on. Uh, and I think that that's really, really good. If you're putting this on a jacket or something, I'd probably stitch a couple of times into yeah. the bead so it's not going to catch. But it's such a lovely way of creating uh, the tree in the distance. And then the other tree, if we look at the colours of the tree, these are the colours. So you'll get a, a mixture of variegated threads and woolen threads. Love the metallic sparkly ones there. But this, the two trees are worked in the different colours. Oh, nice. So when you're looking at your design, you'll have one tree that's slightly darker and then you'll have the other tree slightly lighter with some lovely little lilac French knots in between. So it's a really lovely, a lovely design to complete sitting in, really in, a, in the garden or wherever. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, I think there's so many people falling in love with that, myself included, and I just got to show you that metallic thread in the stream there because that just makes it for me. Do you know, the perspective on this one again is absolutely beautiful. It's so clever as a kid. It really is. I mean, the further away you get them, you know, I don't know, I wouldn't say it gets better, but you get a different perspective. But when you come in nice and close, you can really catch the glint from those threads and the sequins and the beads there as well. Over 60% of the stock has gone I am not surprised only 1095 214140 is the item number now we'll just have a little bit of a recap before we get back to Katrina let's go back to the hayfield because it's another new today so if you did want a couple of different designs there i think the one we've just seen the stream and the hayfield will work beautifully especially if you're going for the hoops as well do you know to hang those on a wall or use them in a project use them separately but i just think hand in hand you know that price point once again there the beautiful turquoises the purples in this one you can see it really does look like those fields just been furrowed don't they or you know the corn cut or whatever it is the hay there now over half the stock has gone again on this one 10.95 once again that's your price point here everything remember straight from the pack you don't have to go rummaging around for extra bits and pieces you can just get to work on this one 409012 is the item number oh and then we do have our Easter heart as well if you want something do you know what? I'm gonna say it's not just for Easter it certainly isn't of course you've got the daffodils on there as well but let me just turn this one around so you can see the other side lots of detail in there and if you've got other kits from Katrina as well you will find that you will have spare beads you'll have spare threads so if you want to sort of add little bits extra into this you could do as well it's a lovely project do like the idea that you could put something in there that would smell nice as well but it is beautiful at just 15 pounds and 95 pence 305 802 and 60% of the stock has gone there as well don't forget it even includes that beautiful tweed and I know Katrina and Rondine have the tweed made for them it's a beautiful soft tweed as well and it's the perfect background for all those projects now we do have the accessory to remind you of as well these have been busy now remember here this is a great kit now especially well any of the kits that you're making actually because you are getting the different size hoops there the five and the seven inch you've also got the embroidery scissors there as well you'll see Katrina using those I've got this kit myself I couldn't recommend it highly enough because of the ease of using those hoops you've got the spring attachments there so if you need to move the springs out of the way it's not just case putting your fabric in there it is moving those out of the way as you work as Katrina explained earlier lovely sharp pair of scissors. Makes a lovely gift for someone this one as well if you know someone that does stitch. 
46785 is the item number. Been busy on these today. 1599 is the price. Again, exceptional prices when you think what you're getting for your money there. Now, proving to be our star of the show, I think, or the star of today, 70% of the extended stock has already gone. It's sold out this morning on the earlier show. Beautiful colours. I don't know if it's the colours that are drawing everybody in, whether it's the fact that you've got the six different projects there, whether it's the designs, everything all combined, isn't it? They are gorgeous. 307598 is the item number for these. It is a new today. 1895 is the price. When you think of what you're getting there, when it comes to the tweed that's pre-printed, all of the different threads then, you're getting an awful lot of threads here as well. I mean, there's more than one card in this instance. You're getting the organza, you're getting the needles in there, you're getting the card blanks, and you're getting the envelope as well whether you use them or not on these projects you've got them to use for something else three zero seven five nine eight if we break this one down actually it works out at just three pounds and sixteen pence per project I don't think it can get any better than that. Dispatch date currently is the 26th of February because of the sellout, but it's only three days. It's not stopping you. Don't let it stop you checking those baskets out. 307-598 is the item number. The pond pebbles. Now, we didn't get to see these earlier on. We have seen, of course, the beach pebbles before. These are a different kit. These are so pretty. Again, I'm just looking at our screen, and I can see how the light is catching on the sequins here as well. That little bit of glint. Yeah, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? It? I adore the dragonfly as well. Look at that again, that glint there as I just give that a bit of a wiggle. You've got the lilies there, the beautiful threads. There's some gorgeous variegated threads in this one. Again, you've got the different greens. You've got the turquoises, the blues, the purples, the browns, almost into golds there as well. If I just hold those threads up again, give these a bit of a wiggle so you can see how the light catches. Aren't they just beautiful? There you've got your needles again. So even your needles, you don't have to be rummaging around looking for the appropriate needle. We've got everything in the kit for you, including the wadding in this one as well, because that's an important component when it comes to the pebbles. 747325 is the item number, just for 1995 as well. Gorgeous to gift those once you've made them or gift those as a kit as well. Then the enchanted garden. We'd all like to think we've got an enchanted garden. These colours again. Do you know, I've decided this year I must get some foxgloves to put in my garden as well. And I, yeah, I've got it all planned out. I've saved, been saving pictures on my phone and now I've just seen this as well. It's reminding me I must look into the best way of planting those. £19.95 is the price on this one. This is a good size kit as well. If you do want the hoops, they are separate. You will find those in packs of three, but we're looking at the kit itself. Everything to stitch what you see in there. So much texture in this one. I'm just going to pick up again the yarns and the threads. Look how tactile these are. We've got mohair in this one gorgeous there's still some metallics in there as well those beautiful colors running through from the greens right through the blues the yellows the pinks and purples there six seven nine eight one nine is the item number now something else we haven't seen oh snowdrops reminds me of a certain person so many people love snowdrops look at this how beautiful is this this is a kit again now you decide how you work with the finished piece but doesn't that look glorious in that frame Beautiful. I love the large amount on that one as well. But we're looking at the kit to create the snowdrops there. £14.95. pence. I can see that stitched onto a, a blouse or a jacket, actually. Or a bag. A bag a bag, be, yeah. I think it would, that would be great. It really would. Oh. I think once you start making snowdrops, you won't want to stop. They are beautiful flowers. 779-990 is the item number. I did tell you we've got so much more to see other than on the counter as well. But Katrina, if we're ready to go for another demonstration, that would be amazing. We are. We are. Have we're going to look at um, the one, the card design. Oh, lovely. All right, so we've got um, six com completely different designs here. So it's worked on one piece of fabric, each, each having the print. Uh, the outline print on the fabric. So we've got the first one with a, a dragonfly uh, and it's just sitting in some grass. So very, very easy stitches. So that's worked with some organza and then cut ar around the organza to create the wings there. So we, we did that uh, earlier today. So you can have a look at, at that one. But the idea of this one is that you're looking into the pond. So there's a little bit um, of organza. Now there is a template in the kit if you want to get the exact shape uh, but it's made from two colours so you place that over uh, next to the pebbles that, okay. are, that are in the pond and then you're just going to use the metallic thread just with a couple of stitches just to hold that in place so it, it's very easy to do that you can add as much or as little as you wish 
uh, and then I've created some different rocks uh, in the in the uh, in the sort of water there, and I've used uh, a metallic thread. So you'll get a collection of different sizes, and so to attach those, you can either use a metallic thread or you can use a stranded cotton. But it, it will say in the instructions which one. I've used and you, whether you go from the inside of the outside of the bead it doesn't matter uh, sometimes it's easier to go to the outside of the bead and then you can work around there with different colors and different textures just to give a pebble and again Katrina for anyone that hasn't stitched before is looking for a project that they can do by hand there's nothing complicated about this either no, and I, th I think the, the joy of doing this is that it's, 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 it's quite creative, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, you're doing it to sort of enjoy the colours, relax, chill, yeah. uh, and, and just enjoy what you're producing. It doesn't have to be exactly the same uh, as the instructions. You can add parts to it. You know, it, it's really quite, quite fun to do, but there is a guide. I mean, there is a sort of a plan. Uh, and then for these, uh, the other shapes, they're going to be pebbles. So you can uh, add some French knots in between, and that'll give the sort of shingle effect of the small stones in there. And when you look at the, uh, if you look on your instruction sheet or the front cover, you can see how that's developed uh, through the design. But it's just fun, to, fun to do. Oh, and again, if you want to add any little extras, you could do as well. I'm thinking maybe if you've got some beads or a little bit of orange thread, you could have one or two little fish in the pond. You could, mm. fish, dragonflies, you Dragon know, you fly. can... I think I'd have to have a frog in there. A mind. frog. <laughs> yeah, I love frogs. I bet you could find a bead that's a frog, you know, that would be a good thing too. So you can work that round uh, and then you can add some other, other stitches as well. I'll just show you the next one. Just fasten that off. So to fasten off, you're just going to wind the thread a couple of times around. Now the metallic thread is... Um, made of six strands and so you can use those individually. Usually it's quite difficult to stitch with it the full six strands, it tends to not not want to play. So usually use it um, with a, a smaller thickness. Yeah. I think that's probably a bit easier. Well we're proving to be very busy still Katrina, I've got to say, and the extended stock of the cards it's now limited stock. I did say you need to be quick on these. Please check those baskets out and secure your purchases. They are beautiful. We've just seen a demonstration there from Katrina. Just one part of one of those lovely designs there, and you've got all six. I mean, you're going to take these designs again, aren't you, Katrina? And think about what you've stitched as well, and maybe put them into bigger projects, because you're learning the knowledge as you go along as well. Absolutely, and I think it's fun to try and work with different colours. I mean, I love that one there, the bamboo in against the pond, and all the, all the bees and the French knots that are coming off the edge of the fabric. I think, you know, they're all quite individual, but when you look at them together, that is the water's edge. Yeah. And, you know, you've got those water lilies there, and there's the one that we were just doing with the, with the pebbles and the, a little bit of French knots in there. Oh, hello. And then another one where uh, the sixth design is there for you. There isn't, there isn't a print. You just cut strips of organza, and you're making lines of bubbles in the water uh, just with the beads. So that's quite an abstract design, but you can work those as the instructions or you can uh, create your own. Of course. And just a reminder there, although it says there's six cards in total, yes, you do get those card blanks. Let me just show you another blanks because, of course, it has got a score line in there for you. So if you do want to create the cards, they're there ready for you with the envelopes. But once again, you stitch, you decide what you do with those little projects. Split it down however you wish. Oh, I've just heard it's technically sold out. There we are. Well done, everybody. Now, just want to grab a copy of Katrina's book as well. So many of you have purchased this. And, you know, we have got so many great reviews on this. Five-star reviews. This is an international seller as well. This has been printed in different languages. If you've never seen this book before, do consider this. I mean, there is so much knowledge, so much, oh, so many step-by-steps -step in here. You can purchase particular kits to go alongside the book as well. But whether you're doing that or not, you are going to learn so much from Katrina. This is absolutely beautiful. I know, Katrina, you took such a long time to put this together. You enjoyed it, but it was a labour of love, wasn't it? It took a long time. We're all waiting in bated breath for another <laughs> one. Don't know if it is going to happen. I keep pestering Katrina about this. But if you've never seen this before, please treat yourself to this book or buy it as a gift for someone. 
I often pick up my copy and flick through. You know, even if I haven't got time to stitch, I just love to look at the photography in this one and the guidelines in there. You know, we're talking about animals, we're talking about florals, we're talking about all sorts of different projects, beautiful colours as well, including the poppies in there. If you've never seen Katrina's butterflies as well, do look at those. Now, every time I see Rowan Dean and the kits where you've got those lovely sort of embellishments in the foreground, do you know, I think this is where I think Katrina's really hit the nail on the head. I mean, it gives, again, so much perspective there. Only $17.99 for the book. Do treat yourself. 903483 is the item number that you need. Oh, we've got some news I'm hearing. Now, the card kit. Right, OK. We've just sold out of the extended. We've had words with a certain Ted, I believe. Uh, we've managed to persuade Ted to let us have a few more. Now, the dispatch date for this will be the 8th of March. Now, we've got to give that longer dispatch date because, of course, everything's got to be caught. All the threads have got to be wound for you. This is a family affair. This is a family business, so you've got to appreciate the work that goes in behind the scenes. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we're always into March, aren't we? So it's not long to wait. If you've just missed out, you can go for this one again. 307598, 8th of March. It'll be with you before you know it. And, you know, by then, we might all be sat in our gardens. We're appreciating a little bit more of a milder spell at the moment, aren't we? And we're all itching to get in the gardens. What about sitting out there with your stitching and working on a project like this? Beautiful. Katrina, I think we can head back to you now. That's what else great. can we see? Right, we're going to look at the Enchanted Garden here. So this is a, a design that's worked on the, on the tweed. It has a, a, a basic print on, on the fabric, uh, but really you're combining lots of straight stitches uh, to create uh, the foliage in the garden and then just using some quite bold colours, some, some daisies there at the front, some long-legged French knots, and obviously that almost like bubbles in the distance. There are lots of beads there just, uh, just to create that little bit of magic there. So to start with, you, your print will come a little bit like this. That there is a uh, the design, a few lines on the fabric. So this just it, the few lines are really just to give you an idea of what size stitch to use, and they're quite heavy threads. So to start with, you're going to stitch the full length of the print. So some of the yarns will be wool, some of them will be stranded cotton, uh, where you're using the full thickness of the thread, and I'm using the seven inch hoop here. So this is the larger of the two out of the accessory pack. So it's quite useful when you're working on a larger project. So you take the threads across the print and then you're just going to fill in with straight stitches. And really that's the basis of this whole design is straight stitches. And obviously in the instructions it'll say which colors can be blended to other colors. Again, Katrina, there, I think you've taken the fear out. For anybody that's worrying and thinking, oh, I don't know, it maybe looks a little bit complicated, there's a lot of stitches in there. The fact that you are doing those big, large stitches there, and you've just mentioned that that creates most of this particular kit. Do you know, I really do think it takes the fear away for a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, people sometimes worry about whether the back's good or uh, very neat or, uh, uh, you know, you won't be able to do the stitches. It doesn't really matter what the back looks like. Uh, if you've got your work in a frame when you're using lots of textures like this, it'll keep it taut. It won't be wrinkly when you uh, come to, to frame your piece. And really, just have a go at just using... It's really fun to use the different textures here. Definitely. So, again, you're just going to take those through and then you can fasten those off afterwards and then you can add other colors as you go down the piece and now one of the things that i would don't know how much time we've got we've got quite a lot we of time we've got 15 minutes left. okay i've got loads of time uh, so to start with i'm just going to show you how to do some of these uh, little tiny uh, flowers here that are in the organza so you've worked your design and you'll have worked your design all the way through and I've designed it so, you know, I, I quite like working it into the, into the display hoop. But if you wanted to make it into a square picture, just make, get a piece of card and tack it to the size of the shape okay. that you want. And then there'll be plenty of threads left over. So if you wanted to make it into a different shape picture, you could do that as well. But I think the flowers are sort of quite important here. So I've got some organza here. Now that'll be in your kit. So you take a little bit of the organza and you just take a little strip about 
a centimeter in in width just the length of the fabric and then I'm just going to take a running stitch all the way down the middle of the fabric so I'm just going to do small stitches does make this one sure not have to be on the bias this one Katrina? this one doesn't have to be on the bias this can this can be straight you could do you could do it on the bias as well but I think just cut it the width of the fabric but it does need a knot in the bottom so you take the thread the full length of the of the, the shape and then you're going to just gather that up and it just gathers itself up into a flower oh, lovely. and then just hold all those folds together and then just do a couple of stitches on top of each other just to hold all those folds together and obviously the wider the strip of fabric that you use the bigger the flower so if you wanted them really big and bold just make them a little bit deeper you know two centimeters or something like that so once you've got the little shape there you've got your flower and then you can use the same thread to attach it and oh, you can do a couple that. of straight stitches there just to hold that in place and you can add beads as well but that gives it a little bit of texture just to Do you know that color as well doesn't it give it a lift as well as soon as you put it on there really quite vibrant and makes it 3d so that's going to be uh, one of the flowers so you could put as many of those I mean I've got three on there but if you wanted to get carried away you could put them all the way through the foliage uh, and just see how they are oh, really nice. good okay Beautiful. so that's one that's one way of creating the flower and then the next way is to perhaps take um, you've got your stitching you can then use it to add texture so you can add flowers onto the onto the fabric and stitch over the top of your stitching either with a lazy daisy stitch to make daisy flowers or we'll do some long-legged French knots so let's do a daisy first so you just take the thread ignore all your other stitching I've got six strands here so I'm just going to take the needle and I'm going to go into the same place and then I'm going to tilt the needle back onto the surface just bringing the needle back up and then I'm going to tuck the thread underneath and then I'm going to pull the thread gently towards myself and then that's going to create the first loop and then just hold that loop in place and that's going to be the first part oh, of the stitch. Katrina, I often ask you about your garden you must be itching to get into it, by the way. <laughs> and you say you're influenced and uh, inspired by your walks and gardens. Abs absolutely. I mean, I, uh, I think I, I mean I just love gardening. When I get time to do it, I think I probably if you saw it now, you wouldn't think so. It's not great <laughs> at the minute, but uh, I like the idea of, of using. That's my inspiration. It's definitely the colour and the oh. shapes of the plants. Whether it's uh, you know walking along the water's edge or whether it's uh, you know at a, a a formal garden or whether it's in my own garden and that, I get inspired to plant things have a go sometimes I don't mind if they don't grow as well as I want them to but I just enjoy the the experience of, oh, of, of them so the enchanted garden kit where's this one inspired from would this be from your own garden this, you know I just I just love lines of flowers and you know if you're walking through um, a garden with lots of spires and, and where you've got colour after colour after yeah. colour that's you know that's what it that's what it that's what inspires me for this oh, you're I sitting there in, in amongst all that magic and uh, I and think color. I may and have to your brains you after this show about foxgloves as well because <laughs> uh, I think easy. you might be a foxglove expert maybe uh, but beautiful beautiful stitch in there so the daisy stitch there is the one that Katrina's doing right now and did you say we're going to see a, a long leg day? yeah long let's do a long leg I'm just gonna do well. So the daisy, you can make that in groups of two or groups of three, or you can make them uh, a giant daisy. But as you, if you want it to be a daisy, you just turn your work all the way around uh, so that you're working the stitch towards yourself. You can make the stitch uh, uneven, you can make it. And it's just a matter of sometimes to either practice a stitch or just have a go and see how it works. But I'll just do a long-legged French knot so I'm not do I'm going to do them in white to save a little bit of time so this is uh, a long legged French knot so you take the thread the thread and it's the same thing you're going to go around once 
twice and then instead of going back into the same place this time you take the thread up so it forms like the stem uh, and the knot yeah. on top. Is there a set size that you would say avoid going past or is it literally up to you how long you make those? It's, it's, it's up to you. I mean, a couple of, couple of centimetres uh, is nice for this, for this design. And you can build uh, and have one overlapping the other. You can really build a, a very textured area with this and just build up a little bit of, Beautiful. build up the texture. And I think that's a lovely way of creating texture in whether you're using lazy. And lazy, I use the same stitches often in, in different designs, in different thicknesses, can get different effects. But this is really lovely to have a go and then either you Look can actually use those, you can have smaller ones here and then you can have the, fret, the columns of foxgloves. So I love, I love plants with, with columns, so they're very yeah, easy beautiful. to do and they're I'll really show you nice. how to do one of those. Well, do test it on the screen for that kit, actually. Um, the Enchanted Garden is what we're looking at. If you haven't got your own Enchanted Garden, you soon can have by means of this kit. 1995-679-819 is the item number for that. Now, we will try and get back to Katrina in a second, but I just want to remind you of something else. I'll tell you about something else. We haven't actually mentioned this hour. We do have available for you as well some of the tweeds. So if you want to create your own designs, I mean, this is made specifically for Rowan Dean. This is such a beautiful soft tweed. Only $12.99 for your fat quarter. That's what we're looking at here. So, of course, you can go freehand with your stitching. We've also got play around packs galore for you as well. They're always popular. But if you want to go for the fat quarter, 331-119 is the item number. Do have a look at those cottons as well. I'm just saying that, you know, because I know they are absolutely gorgeous. Once again, I do like them. There's some beautiful colours there, so just look at everything. But, for a second, let's just revisit this garden again. The Enchanted Garden, 1995, 679, 819. Remember, everything that you require is in the kit. If you want to use one of the hoops as a frame, we do have those as optional extras. But for the kit itself, you're getting the fabric, you're getting all of the threads and yarns, and there is a lot of texture in this. Of course, the organza that we're seeing uh, Katrina using there. The beads and the sequins, or the beads in this case, we've got seed beads, we've got bugle beads in there as well. Look at those colours once again. You always get far more than you need. And of course, Katrina always provides the appropriate needles for you so you really don't have to go looking for anything 679819 now Katrina's just promised us another stitch so I think we can head back there now before the end of the show and just see how we can work with this one then Katrina okay so we've done the, uh, a French knot where we're going to go around once and twice and straight as soon as the needle's through the fabric you can tighten that and that's going to give you a French knot so if you were going around that would be the stitch to do but if you want to make them a little bit more textured you can do the same thing you can take the French knot and just leave that wrapped loosely around the needle and then as you point the needle not in the same hole almost the same place that if that's loose around the needle it's going to leave a little bit of a textured area so that gives you a nice a nice textured not one that's gone wrong but no, one that you deli no, you've deliberately uh, worked that yeah, and a mixture a of those stitch. look great or even if you don't want to change the thickness of the thread you can do a single turn French knot and that'll make a smaller one uh, without having to fasten off and that's just lovely effect so those built into columns and of course you do get beads in this kit yeah. so you know you could actually work some of the beads into the flowers as well oh, which nice. would look quite quite interesting Oh, I'm just looking. I just thought you could use one of the little beads as a bumblebee. A little tiny bumblebee. As long as you've got the gold colour ones, couldn't you? You could maybe put some little bumblebees in there as well. You always are very generous with the beads. I know, so you've got plenty I know. to work with. That, yeah, I think that, you know, I'm sure you could add loads more uh, to your piece. Because I give lots, you know. <laughs> oh, Katrina, thank you so, so much. I've got to just say something as well. We've had a lot of emails come in this hour and pictures as well. We're very, very sorry we couldn't get to read them out or show them all. Um, it, with just so many to deal with, actually. But thank you so, so much. And do keep sending those pictures or any questions because in future shows we will try our best to get to them as well. I know, Katrina, everybody loves you out there. You know, we... Oh some of the pictures we see and we love to see them and I'm sure Katrina will be able to get to see those after the hour as well but thank you I just wanted to say that um, now Katrina 
in front of you, I didn't mention them, the cotton fat quarters, you've got them there, or some of them at least in front of you. I think you might have all the colours there. I think I've got these are beautiful, most, aren't they? Of, these, most of the colours, um, and we've got the one that's not here. So this is, this is the one uh, that is uh, a pearl coloured, uh, uh, it's the, the white, so that's the one that we use uh, on our kits, and it's a great if you want to do a bigger piece of work on your own. And then this one's great. This is called asparagus. Uh, so that lends itself to, you know, stitching straight onto the fabric or using it um, as a, a background. And then mushy pea. I mean, mushy pea is just such a great, a great name for a, for a fabric. And then this one's uh, celestial blue, which is a really, really beautiful colour. And it, I mean, it, it lends itself to the water's edge and, and the secret stream, you know, if you wanted to put use it as a cushion. Uh, and again, the wedgewood colour, wedgewood blue. So when you look at the pieces, they are, when you say a fat quarter, they're really, they're, they are quite big, well, uh, are, so that they? you could use yeah. these for a lot of different things. Uh, you could use it for a journal or a cushion or uh, whatever you're, you can do, desire. And I love the way that some, there are some very gentle colours. So this one's called blush, and this one's called, I've forgotten now, blush and... Mauve? Mauve. Yeah. They work so well together as well. Blush and mauve, just lovely, the two together. And then terracotta. So terracotta to me would go with, you know, if you're working on um, nice. the play around that's autumn, the two of those colours together would look great. And I think, you know, if you're into making a notebook cover or whatever, then these are great oh, wow. uh, ideas that you can keep your little bits of embroidery uh, and you can use any of the pieces that you've done and build up a little bit of a design they so that beautiful. they're good for they're good to put your embroidery onto as well as stitching and making it into a I really a wanted to, to make sure we had a look at those Katrina because I know in the past shows sometimes we've we've shown them but they've been in cellophane it's nice to see them uh, yes, out of cellophane yeah. and honestly when you feel the quality of these absolutely beautiful I love those you're gonna make so many wonderful projects with those as well only 12.99 as well go for as many colors as you wish now we're almost at the end of the show let's just give you a final reminder of the star of the day and I'm saying of the day because of the sellout earlier on we've had another sellout this hour we're back on extended extended from the 8th of March but so many of you have purchased the card kit these are absolutely stunning if you're looking for small projects if you're looking for something that's going to keep the interest something maybe that you want to give turn them into cards turn them into individual projects make a little journal for yourself if you so wish as well everything that you require individually as projects these work out was it three pounds 16 pence I think it was just check. yes it was three pounds and 16 pence per project that is ridiculous 18 pounds and 95 pence is going to get everything that you see here including the card blanks all of the threads the organza the oh everything everything's there three zero seven five nine eight is the item number if you want to still go for those remember that date the 8th of March don't forget Katrina's book don't forget about the tweed the cotton everything Katrina thank you so so much another lovely hour I'm hoping Katrina's back very very soon and we'll see you soon Oh, I always enjoy those hours. Coming up next, we've got Memory Box Springtime Special. Oh, some nice uh, pictures to show you as well. Crafty Devils One Day Special at four. And then we've got Paperpole. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet. 
either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. I'm super excited because I feel like I haven't seen the lovely Julia for forever and she is joining us live via Skype. Hi Julia! Hello! Hello! Oh bless you, <laughs> missing you loads. Can I just say, we were just I saying, know. your hair's got so long now. I know, I hate it, absolutely oh, hate it, can't <laughs> wait to get to the hairdressers. <laughs> I think we all feel the same, Julia, I really do. Um, lovely, so what we've got on the show today, memory box and a really nice sort of um, Easter and spring and all the things mm -hmm. that we're really looking forward to. So um, I know that you're going to now just swap your camera over because you've got some boards to show yep. us. Fabulous. Yep. Uh, okay, so if you want to go ahead and do that and uh, we'll show the audience our lovely um, dies here. So we've got our lovely eggs, we've got the basket, and we've also got our happy Easter sentiment. Now I will just show you the dies. I always think that's quite important. Uh, important, important, you know what I'm trying to say. There you go. So this is a really full set of dies in here. You can see um, 
Now, this one is available individually at $22.99 if you didn't want to go for the bundle. But obviously, your bundle, then it all goes together and you get a good saving. But I really like the detail on the basket. That doesn't just have to be for Easter. It can be for all sorts of things. Mother's Day as well. Um, you can see you've got your grass here. And you're able to make a really cool little card blank with this. And then we've also got the eggs. So I'll pick those up so you can see they come together. Lovely stuff. And then last but not least, sorry, let me bring this one up. You've got the Easter sentiment. There you go. Um, so, yeah, do you want to show us these boards then, Julia? Okay, yes, yeah, so it's uh, very, very simply. I didn't do one for the, um, the pop-up card, but I have got a sample. Um, so the actual um, die set cuts out the card blank. Yeah. So it cuts out this and scores it for you. And then it cuts out the backer as well. And also you've got the basket, the bow, you've got the grass, you've got the foliage, and you've got these little berry branches as well. Uh, and you can either have it as a flat card mm -hmm. um, or, or, or you can pop a stopper in there as well and use some other dyes. So that's that. Yeah. But then you've got your Happy Easter and you've also got your um, Farm Fresh eggs as well, which obviously you can fill the eggs in the basket you can actually use the eggs as stoppers if you want to uh -huh. and then you've got this lovely happy Easter font. I tell you what Julia I really like the embossed detail on the basket I think that looks really cool. Yeah so, so I don't emboss dyes anymore but if you do emboss this one you can then ink through with your distress inks uh -huh. and we will be doing that in one of the demonstrations so people will be able to see that if they haven't done that before. Excellent. And also, I very much like the font on the Happy Easter. I think that's really pretty. Lovely, isn't it? And of course, you can use the basket uh, if you want to, uh, just as a, on, a, on a flat card if you want to. You can use it separate. Uh, so this one, um, this is from the design team, both of these from the design team over at Memory Box. And they've got the grasses in the back. And you can see you've got the farm fresh eggs cut out in various different things. And this bunny's coming up as well in, a, in another set. Oh, it's adorable. Thank you very much, Julia. So if you do want to get ahead, £31.97 is the price for your bundle. But like I said, you can buy them individually if you want. But if you go for the bundle, everything works in tandem. Uh, 845588. And I don't know about you, but I think a lot more people are going to be sending Easter cards this year because, you know, we can't, we can't send the chocolate so much. So there you are. So this is a really nice one to go for. Um, next then, we have got another little bundle. Again, these go hand in hand with the first set that I've just shown you. You get your um, bunny silhouettes and again I'll just wing in our lovely little dies. They're very cute, so sweet. <clears throat> And you don't have to, like, they'll, they'll, they come apart, if you know what I mean. Not the actual dies, but the die cuttings themselves fall apart. Not fall apart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyway, and then you've got your Happy Easter, but this time it is in a lowercase font, like so. And then last but not least... Look at this, this is so fun. Look at this. So the die actually looks like this. At first, I, I just saw the die and I thought, is this a flower in a vase? But no, no, no. Y your little pieces, your little nose, that is um, as a separate part. It layers up. Uh, so, Julia, I'll hand back to you then. Okay, so yes, so as you can see here, here's all the, the, the dies actually cut out. And yeah, you're right in saying that the bunnies come separate and you've got the, the splendid Happy Easter. And then the, the uh, bunny face, when you cut him out, you get these pieces here. Yep. Uh, so the idea is that you, you can cut out different colours for his ears, and that piece sits behind that, so mm -hmm. you get his ears. And then you can either just cut a strip of card or actually a colour or paper piece back in his eyes if you want to. And if you do, if you actually put that on with 3D foam, then you've got his nose with a bit of dimension. And uh, the design team, again, have sent a, a little sample across. Uh, oh. So this is super cute. It is. <laughs> um, it's super cute, isn't it? Yeah. So we've, we've even got glitter cards on the ears and we've got the Happy Easter that's in the previous set. Uh, but yeah, so cute. <laughs> love that. I love him peeping out. Now I want to sort of turn that into some sort of shaker card as well, because you know what like, yeah. I'm like, Julia. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, you, you are getting seven dies in this set for 13 99 I think that's a very reasonable price, actually. Um, 357-390 is your item number. 
Next then, ah, oh, now I love this sort of look because you can create almost like a stained glass finish effect. Um, so we've got our lovely little butterfly square here. Oh, and that's the actual size on the packaging as well. That's good to know. And then you've also got these fabulous florals. And of course, these are your staples, aren't they, Julia? Absolutely any occasion for these. Yeah, stained glass is, 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 is great for paper piecing or, uh, you know, you can do your, you, you put it onto acetate and do your glass painting kind of techniques. Um, and so they're very, very usable, very easy to use, very fine detail on mm. them, actually. Um, and so you can see how, how they cut just absolutely beautifully. Uh, and then again, we've got some samples here. Um, so just matted onto some uh, pattern card and just paper piecing in the background pieces. How simple is that? And this happy birthday should be present as an end of call oh, item. Right. Uh, so you should find that when you check out. And I've got one here. This is, again, from the design team. This is uh, just, again, a very simple paper pieced in uh, piece. And then I did one yesterday on my Facebook Live. Again, paper piecing, this is what we tend to do with these sorts of dies. Um, this one's coming up, this one. And again, that's the happy birthday from the end of call. But you can find that on my Julia Watts Crafts Facebook page, how we did that yesterday. I adore the colours you've used there. It's quite dramatic. It's quite romantic, actually. Quite power, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Loving that. <laughs> Uh, so that is uh, then 13.99 for those dies. Uh, item number is 858932. Then moving on, we have got some more fabulous butterflies. I mean, you can never have too many butterflies in your crafty stash uh, because they're all different. So you can see we've got this lovely one here with the sort of cutout finish, and then you've also got the solid winging that one in. No pun intended. And then we <laughs> Lottie went a, hey. um, and then we've got these two here as well. Slightly smaller, uh, slightly different, this one, in terms of the, the actual sort of cutout elements. Um, back to you then, Julia. Yeah, so you can see them the both side by side here cut out. And as Alex, as Alex said very rightly, is that you've got your solids, then you've got your decoratives, and then if you pop them together, then you can see the decorative detail through. But, I mean, I've glued this down, but I don't know if I can actually pull it up. But you can actually... Uh, here that's cut in there oh. as i said i've glued it down so you can actually put, have them pulled up so on this sample here um i did this yet again yesterday on my facebook live you can see that you can have a little bit of detail pulled up if you want to yeah so instead of just shaping your um your your butterfly in the traditional way where you just put your finger in the body and, and just uh, bend the the, the um, wings you can actually have it coming up like that and you can do that with both of them um so yeah they, they, they are very very they're lovely mm. and they're, I'll, I'll probably be using this in the seven o'clock show tonight the um the butterflies Fabulous, yeah, you get a nice bit of dimension there. Um, £14.99, yeah. item number is 140878. And now, I like these, Julia, because they're a little bit different. So we've got eggs. We've got layering eggs. We have, yes. <laughs> I like these. So again, I'll just wing these in. They're good fun, actually. Um, so yeah, do you want to show us how these actually work for anybody who doesn't sort of know about layering dyes? Okay, so these are memory box uh, layering dies. We have bought some before, and they're, they're really, really cool. So this is how they would look if you just put all the layers together, because they are designed to work together, but you don't have to use them all together if you don't want to. So I'll just turn this over. So if you wanted, if you just cut layer A, then you get that, which is lovely in itself. You can imagine that on pattern paper behind, mm. and that would be a lovely Easter egg, absolutely fine. Then uh, this is layer B, and you can see that the holes, if I put, bring that in there, the holes are smaller. So the idea is that you put layer A on top of layer B, and then you've got a different colour card showing underneath. Yep. But like I say, both of them are independent. Then you've got layer C, and again, the holes are even smaller on that. I've got some tape there. I didn't notice that. Um, so, yeah, so they're even smaller. So what you, the idea, again, is if you put all three layers together, then you'll see all the pattern of all three through. But you don't have to use all three. Cool. As we've said, we can use layer A and B together. You can use layers um, A and C together, and mm -hmm. that's going to give you an entirely different look too. You could use layers... 
B and C together and just have a more um, a, a, a more uh, solid egg, if you like. So there's lots and lots of permutations that you can have with that. Very, very flexible. That's what I like, because these are the sorts of things that I call, you know, they're not a one-trick pony. And also, no. you can make a card so quickly with these, because, like you've just said, three cuts of the eggs, um, cut out a happy Easter, stick a bow on it, you've got cards. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, of course, this is going to cut you an egg shape out. The, the aperture yeah. is going to be an egg shape. So, uh, and, and we will do it in one of the demonstrations. You can actually have a shake card if you wanted to. Oh, nice. So, uh, you know, build up the aperture. I have a piece of acetate in between. Have this behind the acetate and have things shaking around inside of it. So there's lots you can do with it. And, of course, it will work with your happy Easter sentiments that we've got on the show too. Fabulous. Love that. Uh, now, have you seen, uh, so got a £10 saving here. Uh, perfect for Easter. And like I said, I think we'll all be sending a lot more cards this year. £24.99. Item number is 501740. And then last but not least, we've got some more fabulous dies here. So this one is called Field of Blooms. And again, these ones are your layering dies. They're quite detailed, aren't they? Yeah, this is my absolute favorite on today's show oh look absolutely absolutely love this one this is my my kind of i don't know need in life if, if, you, <laughs> if you like nice so so this is how they are if, if if you're actually stacking them up and this does have an, a, a piece of playing card at the back so if i go through all the layers just like we did before then you'll be able to see so layer a when you cut layer a this is what you've got. And if I just hold that up to the camera, hopefully you'll be able to see. Can you see that kind of um, engraved detail yeah, that you've got on it? Nice little swirly you've got bits. The, you've got swirly bits and you've also got the stem going on here, there as well. So that in itself, layer A, works brilliantly on its own. And when it cuts, it cuts, obviously cuts the tulips out and cuts out your um, stems as well. So what you could do, just with this one, if you wanted to, if you, if you put this onto green card, say, and I've got a piece of green card here, pop into green card, just layer A. If you cut it in out in a different colour card, you can then just pop your tulips back in again. Yep. Yeah? Nice. So that in itself will make a card, just layer A. Okay, right? yep. I love this. Absolutely love this. <laughs> I get very carried, get very carried away, get very carried away. So this is your layer B. Okay, this is yep. the second one. Cool. That doesn't really look like something that you could use on its own to me. Right. If you if you put it with your um, layer A, and then you pop it onto green card again, you you you've got your tulip that's green there. So again, that doesn't really work on its own okay but if you then cut layer c mm -hmm. now layer c i'll hold that up to the camera as well so you can see again you've got leaf details on that yeah now that means that you could use this completely on its own so just put a piece of colored card behind it and you could actually use that on its own that's cool okay so we've got lots of possibilities yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? But then, of course, if you want to vary variation and put the odd tulip in in a different colour, then you can absolutely do that. Cool. Right? Yeah. So that's your layer C. But if you put all three layers together and pop it on a piece of coloured card, you get your coloured card coming through for half of the tulip, so you've got a variegated tulip. You've got your leaves coming through here. Yeah. And... Um, you know, you've obviously got your top level of your tulip as well. But you don't have to use, I think it's that middle layer. You don't have to use that middle layer if you don't want to. Okay. You can just drop. So just use A and C oh, and have pretty. a solid tulip. And you've got the leaf coming, coming through at the back. Can you see how many t permutations there are? Mm. It's just it's just an incredible die set. To me, that is, it, it, it's invaluable, the yeah. amount of permutations you've got and the fact that all you need to do is pop a sentiment on it and you've got a card. So mm -hmm. I think it's a real mojo buster. Yeah, I like that. Very flexible. Okay, so I have to tell you, you know how I'm just a little bit bonkers, Julia? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go with me. I have seen something. <laughs> Lottie just went, oh no. Right, 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 right. Which one is it? It's this one. 
I can see little faces and eyes. Look. Yes. There's the uh, mouth and yeah. the little. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, like. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It, it's almost like a ram's head, isn't it? It is. There you go. I just had to get that one in. <laughs> but, but really, just as tulips, it's more beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is more beautiful. I totally agree. Uh, right then, uh, so spreading the cost, two payments of £22.50. pence. There is a £15 saving. Now, if you were to buy this, because it's on Flexi, it opens up your Flexi basket, which means everything else could be added into your Flexi basket. Um, so, Julia, just while you get set then for your, next, for your first demo, um, I'm just going to show yep. everybody um, some seven day savers. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, some of Phil Martin's fabulous stamping goodies. Oh, I love, I love these box kits. Um, now, this is issue three, and you've got £10 off. It's just £14.98. And look at all of those beautiful goodies that you're getting. Oh, the exclusive papers, too. You've also got um, a massive A4 set of stamps. There's dies, there's embossing folders, and so much inspiration in there. 211453, a 68 page magazine. That is phenomenal value. Don't know how, how Phil does it. Um, then we've also got some watercolour card. So if you are running out of your consumables, uh, now this is half price. You've got 80 sheets in total uh, and it's 280 GSM. Uh, 422157 is your item number. Next, then we've got some foam tape. So if you're wanting to add a bit of dimension to your projects, Okay, now you're getting 40 metres here. You're saving a whopping £9. Uh, so we've taken it down to 9.99, so almost half price. Item number is 893518. Um, right then, so as ever, you can call us on the usual number. 01733602000 or check out at hachanda.com if you want to place your order that way. Uh, so are you starting with your favourite favourite then, Julia? Well, yeah, it would be rude not to. Before we actually start making a card, which is going to be super quick, the longest will be the gluing, I just wanted to bring this one in again, actually. Sure. Because this, if you look at this background, this is actually the layer A from the um, the field of, um, I've forgotten the name of it, Fields of Blooms, is it called? That's it, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so this has just been um, embossed. So instead of cutting the die, I've just run it through the machine with the embossed sandwich and I've put some of my Pentart gilding um, waxes on it, wax pastes on it. Yeah. So it doesn't, you don't have to use the die as a die. You can use it as an embossing folder and I think that's really effective. Again, this mm. is on my Facebook Live yesterday if you missed it. Yep, yeah, cool. So just a bit of gluing that we're doing here so again but, but we're using more striking colors here we're mo mo using more primary colors mm. so my top layer is uh in um a lovely blue card and we're going to stick that to um these are all uh sentimentally yours uh card colors uh this one is electric blue love it um so you can um spray glue them if you want to mm -hmm. um apologize for having to watch me do this no, i'll do it good. as quickly as i can don't you worry and of course it's sentimentally yours is um anniversary at the uh... second birthday yeah. it's a big weekend this weekend yeah hopefully i'll be all right to come in at the weekend fingers crossed um, i am keeping everything crossed yeah. yes absolutely um so yes yeah, so we just pop that on there cool so we got onto this is summer poppy really vibrant yeah i love the colors you've chosen yeah the tulips will be out soon well it, the, the we've got to have the um the daffodils first oh i've we? seen and then we some get of the those tulips. yep i've seen have some you? daffodils well, you already would do because you live down south oh well this is true <laughs> <laughs> we're a little bit further behind up north ah uh, yes um yeah so i'm not getting that on very straight am i right seeing what I'm doing right okay so then that one and then this is I just think it's brilliant that you could use this one on its own it's yeah, if you wanted to yeah it's so, they're so clever the way they do these um layering dies um and we've had we have we had some last October and I know they were very popular they were more um a Christmassy theme yeah to them uh, and don't forget, Memory Box are uh, an American company. They have been going for years and years and years. I can't remember how many years, but they've been around for a very, very long time. Uh -huh. um, their dies cut 
absolutely beautiful. They, they are fine, fine detail dyes. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, you, you, your card falls out of the, the dyes really easily. Um, and don't forget, guys, it's extended delivery and you need to buy on the day you see it on her Chanda because obviously it's getting shipped from the States. Yes, absolutely. Good point. So yeah. It might not, yeah, it might not be there tomorrow or the next day. Um, I'm just saying because I know a lot of people miss out. Yeah, totally. And that's really frustrating when that happens as well. It is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. So there's my third layer. And all we're going to do is pop that on a piece of card that I've just trimmed slightly smaller and that's really popping. Mm. Um, so we add olive grove and then this is um, this is summer citrine that we're going to on, on to now. And because you're st you know, we like a bit of dimension in our cards. Indeed. Certainly Mr. Martin does. Yeah. Um, so um, foam tape we normally go for, but you don't need to with this because you're putting three level, well, four layers of card on already. Um, so you don't need to. You could have a uh, pattern paper down on here instead of having your solid card. Yeah. You'd have um, like, like patterned tulips, which would be really lovely. I know that um, Memory Box do do some lovely uh, washi tape, uh -huh. uh, wide washi tape, and also some lovely prints Ooh. as well. Yes. So let's just put this on here. Oh, that's just absolutely sings. <gasps> it does, doesn't it? It's really lovely. So all we're going to do is just pop that on because we've got we've got a, quite a depth there going on. So I'm not going to bother with any more um, tape. Uh, just while you're, just while you're doing that, like I need to explain why I just did a really big gasp. Then you it did. Be, it was because I thought a ladder was falling by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but everything is fine. Sorry about that. It was very dramatic. <sighs> and I'm not, e I'm not even there, so it's not me causing it. So no, it's not. Sorry. Me. <laughs> sorry, Julia. <laughs> so all we're going to do now is add a little bit of an embellishment. So I've got the little bunnies. So we've, I've just, just cut them out in... Um, um, this is watercolour card, I think. Yeah. Because um, I'm going to use them as a stencil. Because you could later on, um, if you kind of, you can just cut a line of them um, and have them kind of romp, romping through the the grass, if you like. Yeah. Um, and act as a stencil. Uh, if you if you cut anything sensibly, mm -hmm. you can make a stencil out of it. Good point. So we're just yeah. going to have these down here, and these pop because they're against that lovely dark background. Mm. And then I've got a sentiment here. Yep. Let's grab it. I, I'm using Lottie's book, so I've got adhesive on the back from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And all we're saying is Happy Easter. Oh. And that's as simple as that. Can yep. you see it? That is there a beautiful go. card. Love that. Do you reckon, you know those bunnies? Because they're quite a simple shape, do you reckon you might be able to cut them out of thin felt? Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah, she, yeah, you should be able to. Absolutely, yes. Um, lovely stuff. Thank you very much, Julia. Um, I'll be back with you then in a second. So just while you get set for the next demonstration. And again, sorry for my gasp. You probably all at home were like, what, what, what? <laughs> no, I just thought a ladder was falling over. Right, so first off then, we've got our bunnies. Uh, it also comes with the Happy Easter. Um, and it's just 13 99 for this one. Um, Julia also used the Field of Blooms, which is a really, really cool set of layering dies. The possibilities are endless. Uh, now you've got a £15 saving. It's on Flexi Buy, which means your basket's opened up if you want to put anything else in. Two payments of £22.50. Um, 438295 uh, is your item number. Alrighty, if you are just joining us, we are talking all things Memory Box and it's a really lovely spring inspired, Easter inspired, just what we need, especially as we've had, you know, this lovely good news um, yesterday that, you know, things are hopefully on the way up. Um, now, let me show you this set of dies. There we go. Uh, we've got this one here with our die that can make a little pop up card or easel card, which is fabulous. There you go. And you've got the grasses there. And you've got your bows, love that. And you've got the basket weave. And then we've also got our lovely little eggs. 
They're cute, aren't they? You could speckle them, you could cut them out of patterned papers, couldn't you? So you've got some nice ones there that could go in the basket, should you wish. And then you've also got your um, lovely Happy Easter, beautiful font, this. Love that. I love the mix of fonts. It's very nice and swirly, this one. And again, you've got some lovely inspiration on the packaging. If I turn the packaging around as well, uh, it'll just give you some inspiration about how you can pop the card together, which is amazing. £31.97 is the price for all three of your dies, but you're getting quite a lot in that basket one. Uh, 845588 is your item number. Next then, so here's where the bunnies lovely here's the bunnies um 13.99 so again you can see these two there we are and then we've also got our happy easter this time in it's it's in a lower for a uh, lower case and then we've also got our bunny which you piece together and you give him a nice little sweet face those are so lovely um 13 pounds and 99 pence and you've got seven lovely dies there these are the sorts of dies you're going to get out every year to make your cards with um all your canvases whatever you whatever you're making Next, stained glass. Um, this is great for your acetate. Get your alcohol markers onto the acetate and then you can layer up over the top. You've got your lovely butterfly. Won't go out of fashion, this one. And then you've also got your fabulous flowers. Look at that. And this is a nice size, isn't it, card? Um, of, um, you know, for when you're making your card, nice size of die. Um, that is just 13 858932 Then we've got our butterflies. Love these. So you've got, which is really nice, you've got your solid and your decorative. And of course, you can use that on its own, that on its own, or layer them up. And as Julius mentioned at the top of the hour, also these little bit of wings will pop out. Uh, this one's about six centimetres. And the other one is about five centimetres. So again, this time you've got the solid and you've got the lovely decorative. Marvellous. £14.99. Um, 140878. Right, we've got the layering dies. Uh, this is one of the most popular on the show. And literally, I was thinking, oh, I'd love to have a play with these. I like the fact that you get a really nice decorative card. We are nearly, we are busy for this. We are nearly a quarter of the stock gone. And I love the endless possibilities. So very, very busy for these dies. They are fabulous and you've got a £10 saving. You can use them each in their own right. You can do two layers, you can do three layers, you can have a real play around. You can use your bright cardstock, you can use your pattern papers, of course, but they're fabulous. And it does tell you on the back as well, A, B and C, which, you know, the order they go in. £24.99, £10 pound saving. Item number is 501740. And then finally, we've got our... Last one, which is Julia's fave faves. And again, so that one, yes, you could absolutely use it individually. There we are. And then we've got this one here. Uh, this is another really busy um, set. We are nearly a quarter of the stock gone. Don't forget that um, Julia's got one more show tonight at 7 o'clock, but then, as she said, because these are coming from America, they might not be on the website even by tomorrow. Um, so if you are going out for your exercise and whatnot, d make sure you're placing your order first. Two payments of £22.50, item number is 438295. Okay, oh, I can see what Julia's got here. Let's uh, Right, so we're coming back to you, Julia, live via Skype. Okie dokie. So, yes, so we're, we're, um, we're looking at the um, woven basket pop-up easel set. It's quite a long uh, title with it. Uh, and it has got a picture on the front, as you rightly said, which gives you an idea. A lot of um, the packaging you'll see on uh, Memory Box, there's a QA car, uh, code on there. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the, these all these dies on today's show are brand new to Hochanda. And right. they're actually part of the brand new spring release from uh, Memory Box. So they are really new um, dies, yep. all of them. So at the moment, if you actually scan that, you, th there might not be much on there. Okay. But as, as obviously as the dies get older, you, you'll, it'll take you to the website and it'll give you lots and lots of inspiration. So that's always worth having. Um, so this particular die set actually comes with everything on uh, a magnetic sheet. Um, so you can see that we've got this die here. 
and I did measure it um, yesterday when I was doing my Facebook Live because I've got a standard, um, this is a standard cutting plate from yep. a six inch machine. So you can see that it just about fits on there. So every single die that's on the show will fit in a six inch machine. Cool. Which is also quite nice to know if you've got a bigger machine because you can use your smaller plates and it, 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 get, it cuts quicker. Um, so, so that's quite nice to know. So yeah. this will cut this piece here. Yeah. And so it scores that for you and scores that for you. So you just need to fold it and then that's your actual base card ready. Then you've got your um, this die here. And this die here cuts your card front. So this is actually out of the Studio Lights, uh, one of the crafting books that I had on last week. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm using one of those. Uh, and that's going to go on the front uh, here. So that will mat and layer for you there. Okay. Yep. Then we've got the actual basket die itself. And I'm using the basket die. So I'll bring that over So because I, I ran one through my machine earlier. And I've actually run it through, and this is the back, and you can see that I've embossed it as well, and you've got that lovely embossed detail. Mm. So leave it in your die, and then grab um, an ink pad of choice. And I've got uh, brush corduroy here, Distress Oxide. Yep. And I'm just going to use my um, tool to force the ink into the embossed area. And then this will make my embossed area pop. Don't worry about that bit there because that's that's waste. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. That's good. I like this. You can do all, all, it's a nice technique, yeah, isn't it? It's, very nice. It's something we don't tend to do nowadays because I think we're getting, certainly I am, getting very lazy. <laughs> and um, I tend to kind of um, just want it to go all go through in one pass. Yeah. So that, uh, you know, it's just quicker. Um but uh, every now and again, you get a die that does actually need uh, embossing. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, the, the ink won't uh, damage your die. You can um, just uh, mist it with water and clean it. But when you fetch it out, you've got that lovely detail. Mm. I'll hold it up for you so you can see. Yeah, better. Can looks you see? really Oops. good. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yep. So it's always worth doing that. If you've got a die that needs it, it is actually worth doing that. So uh, I've got one already that I'm going to use because I've got foam on the back. You've also got uh, within here, you've got this die here, which is your grass. And so that actually cuts out and stays in. Oh, you okay. see? So you actually, you have to actually snip up where you want it to be. Right. So you, you could, you could have it well, I'll show you. I'm saying everything at seven o'clock. There's a card I'm doing at seven o'clock that will use it as a background. But uh, so you just snip that out and that's going to go in the basket. Cool. And then you've got these two little berry branches here and they yeah. cut out like that. Yeah. So you can actually um, what I've done is I've actually cut it out of colored card and I put little tiny pearls on the end to make my little um, berries, mm -hmm. but you could actually um, just uh, colour them just with watercolour pens or something yeah. and just colour the berries in. You don't have to use pearls. And then finally, you've got, oh no, not finally, actually, you've got, you've got the little leaves as well, and mm -hmm. they've got a lovely cut detail in them. Mm. And you've also got uh, a little bow as well. Uh, which uh, cuts with um, a lovely uh, detail on it too. Oh, that is nice. So yeah. there's a lot in there. And of course, you, you can use that separately. You can use that for another project. Um, and you can use the basket separately. You don't have to use it on the easel card. There's a heck of a lot in this particular set. Cool. Right, so let's construct one, because that's what we want to know. We want to know how it goes together, don't we, really? So... Let's see if I can find a pokey tool. I need a pokey tool. There we go. Phil's pokey tools will be on at the weekend at some point. Oh, good stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot on the shows at the weekend, not surprisingly. So I've put some uh, red liner tape on here just so I can get it to, to bond quicker. And I will add some glue as well because glue is a little bit more permanent. I don't need more glue. I have got glue. 
just reluctant to come down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, you'll have I'd to get a Phil. Story. What, sorry? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you'll have to get Phil to send you a bit more glue. <laughs> he, he just he has just sent me some oh, has so he? i can't ask for too i can't ask for too much can i really <laughs> so i'm trying to line this up on the wonk a little bit so that i've got an even border all the way around that'll Lovely. do me nicely and so you can see that's going to stand up yep. nicely then we're going to bring in my uh, basket and i put a little bit of uh, tape behind there but what we need to do first of all is is add our grass to the back of the basket so it'll go in like that hopefully I might, have to, I might have to put a little bit of glue on it as well because of where my tape is oh okay yeah just so you can see yeah because you can if you want to have it uh, longer you uh -huh. just you just position your die a bit further up when you're cutting it okay so let's see where we're at do it from the front I'm thinking, oh, I can't just, I can't knock my mic, but I haven't got a mic on, have I? I know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we need to just pop our little leaves in as well. Oh, that's nice. Lovely finishing touches. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we pop. I'm a bit cack handed with my glue here at the back. Oh, don't worry. Uh, and then uh, we can just put, bring in some of different colours which is quite nice to do. Yeah. Different angles. Yeah, mix it up a bit. Mix it up a bit, bring in my, my pieces with my pearls. I do like the pearls on the end. I think that really finishes it off. Yeah, it's actually called lemon sorbet. It's Ooh. one of Phil's uh, pearls, but uh, we could even bring in, if we wanted to, we could even put in a couple of eggs if we wanted oh, to. Oh, that's cute, yeah. So for, for, from the farm fresh eggs. Yeah. And um, the lovely people over at um, Memory Box sent me a little packet of eggs, which was really lovely. Uh, I've cut some more as well myself. But, yeah, yeah they, they sent me a little pack because it cuts all six of them at the same time in the same dye, you see. Yeah, it's good. Which is quite handy. So, again, we can just pop a few little eggs in there. So, I'll pop one at the back as well. Mm -hmm. Then we can pop that onto our card. And again, the, the basket um, sort of scalloped edges will all line up so you can see where they go in. Yep. Okay. Then we can bring in one of the bunnies. And I've, this time I've cut him out of brown card. I thought he would be nice sitting mm. um, on the front. He wants one of the chocolate eggs. Yeah, he's not having it though, is he? <laughs> no. Not having it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks really sweet. And then sweet. for my stopper, yeah. um, what I'm going to do is, because I, I wasn't happy with how I did the stopper on the other one. Oh, we've got the little bow. Let's have the little bow at the top as well. Can we see that? Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've got my Happy Easter. So we'll bring that in. This is your splendid Happy Easter. Because mm. there's the two the lowercase one so we bring that in and put that in there and so for my proper stopper i thought we'd bring in again the eggs and bring them in cool uh, about here yeah we'll take the, the the backing off the foam tape first so bring it in, in about there and we can bring in another one the other side oh uh, this kind of like, kind of like that yay can you see? Yeah, that looks so inviting. It really does. So happy. The colours you've chosen and everything. There you go. Thank you, Julia. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. All right, I think we've got time for one more if, you, if you're all right with that, Julia. Yeah, I'm on it. He's on it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, um, let's go through these. Um, so this is your fabulous basket. As Julia was pointing out, we've got sort of instructions as well. But obviously, when you get these, you'll be able to watch on Rewind. And here they are. Now, I'm really super chuffed because that um, almost increases the worth that it's on a magnetic sheet already for you as well. So that's really good. So you get your storage too. You've got your bows. You've got your lovely grasses. I love those little stamens really pretty and then we've got the eggs that can go in the basket 
What egg is it? Will it be a duck egg, a hen's egg, a goose egg? You've got them all there. Can she, oh, chocolate egg, yeah. That's the best one, isn't it? Um, and then you've also got the Happy Easter in a really, really pretty font. It's nice, isn't it? And as I said, these are your staples. They're going to come out year after year after year. £31.97 then for the collection. Item number is 845588. And then these go hand in hand if you can possibly go for it. Uh, so Julia used the um, bunnies on that last demo and the demo before, so they're a bit of a favourite. You've got your bunnies there, that's two on there. Uh, then you've got your Happy Easter uh, in your lowercase font. Marvellous. I think it's, up, have I got it upside down? Probably, probably. There you are. And then the last one, we've got our little bunny face and the parts come uh, separately. Now we are busy for this one. A quarter of the stock has gone and again another reminder that we might not have any of these dies even on our website tomorrow because there is an american company um, if you've seen anything you like pop it in your basket there 13.99 then 357390 then we've got our wonderful stained glass set i like these i think these are so useful and they're universal aren't they um <coughs> any occasion mother's day easter's day um, wh just whatever, birthday, anniversary. They'll create really nice fresh cards, these, I think. Uh, £13.99, 858932. Then we have our fabulous butterflies. Again, you've got the solid, the decorative. You can use them on their own or you can layer them up. So you've got this one here. Um, and then you've got a slightly smaller version. And don't forget that the wings do lift up slightly. 14.99 item number is 140.878 and then this see this one's my favorite favorite i really like these layering eggs so they can work um, on their own as a pair or all three together which is my favorite look actually i like that a lot but have um if you go if you miss the start of the show um, you can catch up on Rewind, and Julia was showing us just how they layer up, and they're really nice. Uh, £24.99, but you've got that £10 saving. Item number is 501740. Oh, and Lottie's in agreement with um, the lovely Julia, because this is Lottie's favourite as well. So we've got these fabulous layering dies again. These are called Field of Blooms, and they really do have a lot of blooms, don't they? So again, you can use them individually. You can layer them up. You can paper piece them, which is if that's something you enjoy doing. I, I personally do. I find it really relaxing. Um, now, you've got a huge £15 off. It says, uh, if you want to spread the cost, two payments of £22.50. Item number is uh, 438295. Now, something else you might want to add to your basket. Okay, foam tape. This is a bargain, 9 99 And you've got 40 metres on here. What's that? 75 pence. Oh, even less. 25 pence per metre. That is phenomenal value. Uh, 893518. So again, this is a consumable that you might want to top up on. There we are. Um, right then, so I'm going to hand back to you, Julia, live via Skype. We'll have uh, just over 10 minutes, I think. OK, that should be plenty. I've done a bit of gluing beforehand. Um, OK, so we're looking at your, um, your petal uh, eggs. So for anybody that, that's, that's just come in and, and you, you missed the beginning of the show, I thought I'd just go through them again. So you've got three layers. And as Alex said, you can use one, two or three, however you want. So this is layer A. So this, this has got lots of open areas on it. And then layer B comes in and layer B has slightly um, smaller open areas, if you can see the two next to each other there. Yep. So the idea is that you stack layer A on top of layer B and then you've got yourself a, a, a kind of a more interesting design. Yeah. Right. Then you've got layer C. So layer C is here, and that's got even smaller bits and pieces there on there. 
So the idea, again, is that you put all three together and then you've got multiple different colour cards mm -hmm. underneath. I've got glue on there. Okay. Uh, multiple, I know what it is. It's, I've got sticky tape there. That's really <laughs> doing my head in, that sticky, <laughs> sticky tape is. That's better. Um, so so you've, got, you've got all three colours. So it's nice to mix your card up. You know, you're going to have lots of fun. It's always going to look different. Obviously, I've gone for pastel colours because they're more Eastery colours on this one. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to use all three together. You could just use layers A and layers C and then you get a totally different look. Yeah. Or you could use just layer B and layer C and then you get a totally different look too. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very versatile and you decide the look that you actually want. Now, if you want to have a backer to that, so obviously I've got it on blue card here, but if you want to have a backer to that, there's a very easy way to do it. All you do, you know, if you wanted to add, say that have that three-dimensionally on a card and then a sentiment, say, all you need to do is just draw around the outside edge of your die. Oh, okay. And then cut a fraction on the inside, just yeah. inside your 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 line, because obviously when you, when you pencil line, you come in outside of your actual die, and actually the die edge is is a little bit inside that. Right. So you need to cut. A little bit more okay you, you'll figure it out yeah and then 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 when you just pop it on like that and when it's a glue it in place then you've got a colored piece that you're working with okay yeah it looks really good but we're not doing that oh. we're <laughs> going to put it on pink card anyway but we're not doing doing that so, so that's the one that i'm not using because i've got one that i've already glued down which is slightly different colors um that i am using with all three so i thought we'd do because i've got an aperture here mm -hmm. So out of my white card, I've just cut an aperture. So I thought what we'd do is sink that inside the aperture. Oh, that like looks good. Like that. Yeah. Right? But well, I want to use the bunny, the bunny face. So let's put him together first because I'm not sure how I, how I want him to appear on my card just yet. I'm still dithering. So I've cut the ears, ear piece out of, um, and, and the, the die is all in one piece, if I can find it. Oh. Look at me, I'm so lucky, I've got all of these lovely dies. I know, it's like Christmas. I know, I know. <laughs> so lucky. So, yeah, so it, it, it is a bit like a flower die. It doesn't look like a tulip, but the ears are that piece there. Yeah. And that's his nose. And then obviously you've got his face there. So I've just all I did was just cut a piece of card that was about that big and just run that through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's in pink. So you want to pop a little bit of glue on the back of his ears, and then you can slide this at the back. Cute. Very cute. And, and then you've got his little his little pink bunny ears. They don't have to be pink. They can be whatever colour you want them to be. And then for the eyes. No, let's actually, let's do the nose first. The nose, what I've done is I've actually just put it onto a piece of um, foam tape and um, think about, yeah, because I, I thought it's that way up. It's not, it's that way up. That's the way he has has his little nose. Yeah. So for the eyes, I don't like the eyes being just blank. You can either, you can either colour the little eye bits that fall out of the white one in, in blue or whatever colour you want to, or just cut a strip of card. And that's all I've done. I just cut a strip of card and we glue that behind his eyes. Good for and you. And then he'll have blue. Sorry. Go I was on. just going to say good for using it for your tiny scraps, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So then he's got blue eyes. Cute. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's really cute. So mm. what I'm dithering about is yeah. whether to have him actually coming out from a bit like that sample that the dt sent in whether to have him come in so he's he's, he's like that or whether to have him actually on the top that's uh, what the i'm dithering about the consensus in my ear is they like the first way uh, i thought they might <laughs> <laughs> thought they might that might make it a little bit difficult but let, who, who knows right so let's have him on the back and i can use my phone tape yep. to secure him like that okay right we'll put a little bit of glue on there as well just in case oh look he's losing his eyes 
Oh no! He's obviously le he's obviously legless. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously had too much um, chocolate, maybe. Well, so he's gone hyper. <laughs> he's gone hyper, yeah. 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 So I've just put a couple of layers of, of foam tape on the back here. No worries. And again, this could, like I say, this could be a shaker. You could uh, have a piece of acetate mm. um, on there as well. And I will stick a, a little bit on him as well. Actually, I can't stick this down just yet, can I? Right. Let's think about how I'm doing this. Right, because I want this to be behind the aperture as well. Yeah. Right, so we need a bit of glue on here. This could go all kind of up the wrong way and, <laughs> and not work, quite work right. But, you know, it, it's only Skype. It's not live, is it? <laughs> no, that's right. It's totally recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, why on earth didn't I just do it the easy way? <laughs> uh, you, can, you blame the voices in my ear, there you go. <laughs> I haven't even got any voices in my ear. Right, okay, let's have a look. Let's see that if we can cool. line it up. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I really like it's that. Almost, oh, it's almost, almost straight, almost straight. It's just moving a little bit. I want it to be right. It could be a little piggy, it could be whatever you want, but it's a little bunny. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, won't it? Very cute indeed. We'll have that. Yep. We'll have that. And then all we need is our sentiment to come in. And I think we'll have a, a blue one. So we have our happy Easter down here. Yep. Oh, that looks beautiful. There we go. I'm still faffing around. I just call me the only number two. That's all you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. There's our, 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 our Easter card. So we've focused on Easter this hour. We've focused, focused on other things in the next hour. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Julie. That's brilliant timing, actually. Um, <laughs> do you want to just switch your camera back around? Then we can say we can see you to say goodbye. Okay. Cool stuff. Um, so here we go. What we've got on the show. It's been a lovely show. I've really enjoyed it. Now, um, you are getting that um, woven basket pop-up easel card, uh, well, set of dies, fresh farm eggs and your happy Easter sentiment die. 17 dies in total. Don't forget it does have some um, instructions on the back with the uh, how you make the card. You've got three pounds off. It's 31 pounds and 97 pence, 845588. Then next we've got our bunnies. <clears throat> so we've got our lovely solid bunnies. Uh, which you could cut out of felt if you wanted to. Then you've got the face, and then you've also got the Happy Easter, but this time in a smaller font. <clears throat> Only 13 99 for those, 357 390. Then we've got our stained glass dies. Love these two. They're just any occasion. They're a lovely size. You'll make really nice, clean, fresh cards here. 13 99 858 932. Next then, we've got the butterflies. And remember, you can use the solid on its own, the ornate on its own, or you can layer them up. Um, and they do have that little bit of a wing that comes out. $14.99, item number is 140878. Next then, we've got the egg layering dies, which I adore. There's a massive £10 saving here, just £24.99. Item number is 501740. And then both Julia's and Lottie's favourite from the hour, we've got our Field of Blooms. Again, you can, um, oh, all right, I'm being told they're just over 14 centimetres if you were one, by 11 centimetres if you wanted to know the price. They are on a flexi, which means that if you pop these in your basket, it opens up your basket for all the other items on the show as well. Two payments of £22.50, item number is 438295. So thank you very much, Julia. Thank you. And so, yes, we'll see you at <laughs> seven o'clock with Catherine. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And are you going to, did you say you're going to play with the butterflies, I think? Yeah, we're going to do some butterflies and some stained glass, and we're going to do some different things with the bunny and the grass as well. Excellent. Thanks, Julia. We will see you in a bit. Bye. Lovely stuff. So um, that was, of course, Julia live via Skype. Again, a quick reminder that this is Memory Box coming from the States. It may not be on our website even by tomorrow, so you do need to be quick and snap them up. But lovely spring-like Easter dies. I've really enjoyed this hour.
next then it's four o'clock which means it's final call and it's the crafty devils one day special uh, then we've got i hope i'm pronouncing this right paver pole and after that dreamies hi there i'm nick from craftoscope i've been crafting for as long as i can remember uh, it started off making things just for myself but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too it was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Jim Pool Shows on a Chanda and have some fun. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels, then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the Chanda.
Hello everyone, it's four o'clock. Of course, that means one thing. It means it's the final call for the one day special. Now this has been Crafty Devils one day special, the very first one day special for Crafty Devils. And of course, we've got Mel here representing the team. Mel, mm. good afternoon. Good afternoon. You've had a long day actually. It's been a very long day, but oh. I've really enjoyed it. I must say, I've really oh, enjoyed it. Oh, I am so it. pleased. Well, what you've brought to us, Mel, I've got to say with the one day special, is exceptionally good when it comes to value. Yes. Exceptionally good when it comes to projects to do, whether you're doing it yourself or your family's crafting with you, or whether you want to gift, because it is all about gifting, isn't it? It is all about gifting, and we've tried to incorporate something for feminine, something for masculine, something for children, Easter, so all eventualities. Amazing. Well, I did say about value, and it certainly is, because straight away you can see a £13 saving, but let's have a look at everything we've got in the bundle, because you have got projects here. Let's start with the crates, because we have got crates involved in this. Now, everything will come flat patch. You've got all the components there. They will just slot together, all laser cut. We've got the large, we've got the medium, and we've got two small for you as well. And these are great because, Mel, these make great storage items. They're great for gifting if you want to put goodies in there. It could be anything from plants through to baby toiletries or anything, couldn't Absolutely it? Absolutely anything. Um, and we discussed um, on a previous hour, um, lots of people use them for shelves. Yes, in they do. In shelves, cup and saucer on a shelf, display. Yeah. Herbs, Do you know what, nice in the bathroom for displays? Well, put your yes. rolled up towels and things in there as well if you want them to look nice on the shelf. Well, they are fabulous, but it's not all you're getting because, of course, when it comes to projects, you also get the flower pot. Now, Mel, I know you were saying to me yesterday, and it's so true, I mean, we've got lovely samples around the studio, but the smaller flower, you don't have to use it in that project because this will stand as it is. It, yeah, it so will could, stand alone. You could stretch this one a little bit, You could. You? So you could use that other element for another project. Definitely don't need it on there. Of it course, does look nice on there, though. It, it does look nice on there. It looks very nice indeed. But you, you know, if you want to stretch it, you certainly can do. I just suggest maybe use that as a gift tag as well. You could either sort of loop some ribbon through there or put a little hole in the top. But it's entirely up to you because it becomes part of the one day special, of course. So from the flower pot, we've still got a little bit more MDF to tell you about. We've got the tags as well. Again, if you want to use these as actual tags, you can, but they could be turned into books, you know, little tag books. You can use them for whatever you wish. Now, you do get 10 tags of very different sizes as you can see there so that's the MDF covered but there's more because you're getting all the accessories to go with it now we've got as well also the MDF glue I know this has been you know lots of people have asked in the past now what do we use for MDF we recommend certain glues but this is specific for the job but also I'm saying that but I know you've used it on many other items as well like your paper and your card that's it I use it I use it to do my construction and then I carry on using it to decorate it's perfect Lovely. for everything. And it does say there, strong bond for MDF. And I know it's a quick grab as well, so well worth being in there. What I love about this, the fact that you've got glue, you can just take everything out of the boxing or the packaging when you get it, and you can get going as well. Now, the baker's twine is also included, which is a lovely addition. I mean, again, you can use that for your packaging. Maybe you want to use it on your card making. You could stain that with your inks and your sprays. If you want to change it as well. And then we get the tissue paper. 48 sheets now you're going to get uh, 40 sheets is it 40 sheets sorry that's my mistake there 40 sheets but lots of different colors there an assortment of colors and you can tear this you could shred it you could wrap with it you could stamp on it you could do all those different effects on there if you so wish there is something else included in this kit as well when it comes to packaging you get the cellophane as well so a nice length of cellophane and we can see one of the pots there the flower pot has been wrapped up so if you really want to make this a gift you can certainly do that the baker's twine's been used one of the tags has been used there as well so you can getting an awful lot in the kit. Now, when it comes to the one day special, I know last night we were breaking this down per project, but we were just kind of breaking it down for the crates and the flower pot. But if you take into account the tags as well, it works out at just, well, I'm going to say less than something, less than two pounds per project. And you've still got your twine, you've still got your glue, you've still got your cellophane, you've still got your tissue that's not been accounted for there. So all the MDF components there, less than two pounds now, that really is good value. You can't, you can't, you can't buy that, can you really? It's just, it's just so good. It really is. Great value, great fun. I was saying last night, I think, you know, get the family all together. If you're just stuck in, maybe it's a rainy day or you've just got nothing better to do, 
have everyone craft and create something, something for the kids' bedrooms perhaps, something for the bathroom. You know, maybe you are going to gift for Mother's Day or for Easter as well. There's the details on the screen for you. 591622 is the item number. You have got that £13 saving and I think you will agree when it comes to value, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? Now, you can go for some additional crates as well. Now, this is a set of three, so the large, the medium, and one of the small as well. There we are, $13.99 if you want to go for these. I think this, though, although that is great value, it really, really is, you can, of course, see the value of the one-day special as well when you think that you actually get four of the crates in the one-day special. But if you go for the additionals, there they are for you. You can find all the details on the website. Now, if you want more flower pots, also a set of two we've got for $12.99 here. There you can see all the different components again, 971073 if you want to go for those. Now, something that has been very, very busy, and I was, I was kind of really blown away by this last night. I've seen flake and glitter glues before, or flitter glues, or whatever brand names they've got, but I've never seen an alcohol-based one before, and that's what you've got here. You've got two components within this bundle. So one of them is for more of your porous surfaces, so your MDF, your card, your paper, maybe canvases, but the alcohol-based one, which has a pink tinge to it, will go onto surfaces like glass, onto metal, I presume ceramic as well, Mel, would it work on there? So your non-porous surfaces are covered as well. Yep. Love it. And you can see how good these are. You can see the, the gilding flakes have been put on there. Now, the dispatch date on these is the 3rd of March. They've been very, very busy beforehand. We did sell out of these, £9.98. What I love about these as well are the little bottles with a really good nozzle on them as well, so you can be quite precise with these, or you can brush on, as I know Mel has been showing us throughout demonstrations. 593-833 is the item number. You are getting both. And I love the fact that you can tell the difference between the two because the one that's alcohol-based is the pinker one. So you know that's for the non-porous surfaces love it now we have also got for you the gilding flakes as well it wouldn't be much use without the gilding flakes would it now great value once again because you've got three pots here you've got the gold you've got the silver and you've also got the bronze but if you wanted to mix these together you could do as well I'm just I think the air cons off isn't it I think it is I can't hear it I'm not gonna breathe for a second Chew. Oh, no, that was a pretend one. Uh, you've just got to be a little bit careful not to cough and sneeze when you've got the lid off because they're so lightweight, they will go everywhere. But these are fantastic. They really, really are. That's why we didn't want the aircon on. But you could see how packed full those tubs were. Only 11 99 for all three of these. £6 savings, 046241. You've got some really good-sized flakes in there as well. And don't waste any. You know, when you sort of... Uh, Use these on your projects. Any bits that you catch, you can still use, of course. Mix them into things like your clays as well. You can have so much fun with them. Now, we've also got the Crackle Medium. Now, this has been exceptionally busy. It did sell out earlier. We do have it back. Dispatch date from the 3rd of March. We're just looking at one of the samples here as well. The crackle on this is just incredible. Now, obviously, it will depend how you put this onto your surfaces. The thinner you go, the smaller the crackle effect. The thicker you go, the larger the crackle effect. But it is beautiful. I'm sure we'll see more of this throughout this hour. 710947, I believe that was. You're getting a 250 milliliter tub there. So an awful lot to work with. Love, love, love crackle as well. Now, we are going to get to Mel as quickly as possible for demonstration, because I think we're going to see some of these mediums again throughout this hour, but we've got lots more to share with you as well. But for now, Mel, if you're ready to go... Yes, yeah. Lovely All stuff. Ready, rare, ready and raring to go. Wonderful. So, um, first off, I'm going to show you our um, flake and glitter glue, the alcohol-based one. So, because I'm going to brush it onto a glass, I'm going to pour a little bit into my tray it does have a really nice nib on it but i'm going on to a glass where i want to cover quite a large area so i'm going to brush it on so that i don't get any clumps okay. or bumps it might be worth mentioning we have also got for sale the palette which comes with some palette knives and it's great value for this bundle you didn't see last night and this is genuine i've purchased palette knives that look just the same as these for three ninety nine each. Now you are getting five different palette knives on the palette there. I think we're just going to see the details come up. 
this really is a good buy. Eleven ninety nine. You've got three pounds saving. Even without that saving, that is far less than I paid for those when you top them up individually. Two zero five eight zero three. So you will see that that's gone on. It's like a pinky white colour. Now you want to leave that to air dry um, and it will go clear. So your glass will look like this and you'll think, oh, there's nothing oh, it on really there. really just go clear, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> so you'll think there's nothing on there, but there is. Because if I put my finger on there, you get a close-up of my finger coming off, you'll see my finger's pretty well stuck <laughs> there. <laughs> Is oh, it is, isn't That's it? my fingerprint on there you now. You can look. see a fingerprint. Now, am I right in thinking, when you said last night that you could leave this up to 72 hours? 48. 48. 48 for hours one. you can leave right, this. Okay. Um, and it will still be tacky. Lovely stuff. For you. So then we're going to um, empty some flakes into a pot. So I think I might change up the colour and go for a bit of gold. So I'm going to mix some gold in there as well. But the size of these flakes... Are, are incredible they're like jumbo flakes and they're so well packed in this pot but definitely open them so I'm gonna have gold nails now because I've got a bit of glue on my nails <laughs> <laughs> definitely open them into a pot okay and then just dab your flakes onto your glass and it sticks straight away no messing about with it. Very easy to apply, isn't it? Really easy. And great to have that pot as well, Mel, because any bits that break off, and you will get that, and you will brush that so you do sort of get that smooth surface. But you can reuse any bits that fall back into the pot, can't you? You can. And what I like as well is that gives you a fourth colour because yeah. you get a mixed, a mixed colour then. So lots of different little tiny mixed bits because when you brush it off obviously it flakes a lot finer doesn't it it's not as chunky as when it first comes out the pot this is a great bundle with the glues actually because as we said earlier you've got something for every surface really whether it's the porous or the non-porous just make sure you're using the right one and to me it's an added bonus that you've got that time before you actually can add the gilding flakes. So if you wanted to put, say, as you're doing now in a glass or a piece of metal with the pink one, if you did it overnight and then uh, went to bed next morning, you could put the flakes on. You're not having to wait for it to go tacky. You can just go to bed, go to sleep, and crack straight on with the project the next morning. That's it. I'm, I'm, so you can pre-prepare what you're doing the next day, can't you? Rather than having to sit around for half the day waiting for it to dry you can just do it before you go to bed and know that you're doing that project definitely in the morning so I'm, I'm smiling at myself with you and your nails actually because it brings back a memory when I had my shop we had a a nail bar a training nail bar very close to me and they used to come in and buy gilding flakes and glitters and all the different crafty items yeah, gilding flakes are really popular now for nails. You can put it in with your nail van. You can, because you can encapsulate it into yeah. the gel that they use. I mean, oh, I suppose you could put it straight on top of your nails as well. Look how smooth it goes as well. When you, I mean, you're just brushing with your fingertip at the moment, and there's still lots of areas that need sort of cleaning up, so to speak. But you can see how beautifully smooth the finished results are. Yeah, just... I felt that was a bit chunky, that bit. And look how much is on there. Just spread it out. And of course the flakes will only stick where the tackiness is. So if you have got too much on there, they're not going to stay there. You can just brush them away. That's it. So you're not using any more than you actually need. So... Look at that. But I think I have one that I pre-prepared. Okay. Would you use a brush or something then, Mel? To um, just so you can use a brush. Away? You can use a brush. You can use um, something soft. Okay. I would say. Um, there's lots of different um, things out there that you can use, like scrubbies and things like that. I tend to just use a bit of tissue, me. It's a bit tight, don't want to pay for anything else. <laughs> Do, I've, I've used in the past, yeah, I've gone with tissue as well. Also, um, 
the, the scrubbies used to be provided, actually, I don't know if it was Indigo Blue that did the scrubbies, I'm not sure, it was a brand name, I presume, uh, but bits of sponge, but also a nice soft brush does do the trick really well. There's a little piece there that I've just missed, so just, so I did this glass yesterday, so you Is can this see the it's... one you applied the glue to at six o'clock? Yes. You so said at the time you loved the effect of the feathering and it has worked beautifully, hasn't it? Where it's we worked really, the really well. I just, I love that effect now. I don't think I will cover a whole glass again. I just like that effect. So, and there we have it. So I've just moved that beautifully bit smooth. off. And that is your goblet. Lovely. Different effects glass. depending on the colours you use, on the mix you use as well. So I really like that feathery effect. That would look lovely with a little candle in there or a little tea light, wouldn't it? Or a very nice wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all know what Mel's looking forward to later tonight. Well, if you do want to go for those glues, £9.98, 593 I can tell you we're very busy on these. Half the extended stock has gone. Remember, you are getting um, the flake and glitter there, which is for your more porous surfaces, that's the whiter one. The alcohol-based one is for your non-porous surfaces, such as the glass that we've just seen there. Both of those for that price. Dispatch from the 3rd of March. Very busy indeed. 593833. As we're here, we'll just give you a recap on those gilding flakes as well. Don't forget, for this price that you're going to see on the screen, you're getting all three of these. So the gold, the silver, and the bronze. I mean, you will find different size flakes in there, some really big pieces in there. There's chunky bits, there's smaller bits but it's all so usable. Use them for so many different projects as well. I mean, gilding flakes can go into multiple surfaces once again. Do you know, I don't think there'll be many people that aren't popping the glues into their basket without the flakes. 11 99 for all three of them. There's a £6 saving today. 046241. Love the copper in there as well, that beautiful sort of rich copper in there. Or if you want to call it a rose gold, it certainly could be if you're wanting to use that colour. Then, of course, the crackle. Now, this has proved to be very, very popular as well. I am not surprised when you see the size of the pot. 250 millilitres. That's your crackle medium. It's not a two part, it's only a one part. You, you do need paint, obviously, to see the crackle come through. I'm sure Mel's going to show us this, but you can see the effects that you get there, and you can change those effects depending on the thickness that you brush on the crackle medium. 710947 is the item number. Back over to you, Mel. So, um, with the other glue, our flake and glitter glue, it goes, it's like a bluey colour when it goes on and it goes on to your porous surfaces, so your card, your paper, your MDF projects. That takes about 10 to 15 minutes to dry, and when that is dry, it will go tacky. Lovely. That's not the one I did. It's a bit like that's the glue in the glue pens then, because that's kind of a tint of blue, isn't it? Yes, yeah, in, in certain glue pens it comes out blue and then dries clear, doesn't it? Yeah. So you mentioned the coppery flakes so I'm just gonna pop some of these on here quickly just to show you because we haven't used the copper very much but if you see the size of these flakes they are they are jumbo flakes a lot of them that's a nice thing though because if you wanted to do a mix and sort of place something in a specific area then you can pick out those larger flakes and build it up can't you, you can make it look a bit like a map couldn't yeah. you like a world map like those globes that used to be quite popular. So stick and then just rub again, rub your excess off into a container. So one I did earlier, because I don't want to waste too much time on one element, is I used the gold and the silver there. So if I hold all that three up just there, a little fact, bit. The gold, silver and the bronze. Look at that on the They look the quite MDF. good together, don't they? they do. And with glittery nails as well, look. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your flake and glitter um, glues. Definitely use both of them. Ha have fun with them. That's yeah. what I would say. Have fun with them. A nice mug or something. You could make a mug for Mother's Day. Get the kids involved. 
Um, it just makes it a little bit more personal, doesn't it? It certainly does. I'm guessing then, with the glue, you could actually use a little sponge and sort of dab that through a stencil as well to pick out a detail of a stencil. Yes, and definitely. Then, oh, my sister rang me the other day. She said, I need some gold gilding to go in a tissue box. She's painted a tissue box black and she wanted some gold gilding. That's what she needs. She needs some of this glue and some of these flakes. Many of you watching, get your order in and check your basket out. Uh, do not miss out because these have been flying. There we are, 593-833. Don't forget if you're wanting those glues. Mel, you've got something else sparkly there as well. I've, I've got our glitter, self-adhesive glitter on a roll. Now this is brilliant for covering MDF. It's really good for die cutting. It's really good for your die cut machines. I'm going to stick because Adam had a little idea earlier on about whether or not we could use the crackle glaze on top of it. So I said I would give it a go and find out. And this is going to really annoy Catherine, but I'm going to screw that bit oh, up. Oh, no! And put it in the bin. <laughs> oh, you could have a little pot there with my name on it and put all those scraps in there, Mel. <laughs> Later on, when Catherine's going through my bin, everyone's going to wonder what she's doing. <laughs> I love these glitters because they're, it's such a fine glitter. They're beautiful, but it doesn't shed at all. You can use these on your digital cutting machines as well, can't you, Mel? Yes, you can. Which is very, very handy because many of us have got those, myself included. So, yeah, the Cricut or the Silhouette, perhaps, that we do sell here. Um, as Mel has shown us now, you can file the edges as well, which is fantastic. Really easy with a craft knife. As I cut, but I just want to tidy up the top bit. Okay, and then we're going to get our crackle glaze. This stuff is my new favourite medium. Is it? My new favourite. Haven't had it very long, so I'm just playing with it at the moment. To, oh, you are not stop playing with crackle medium, Mel. It would be always a favourite, I'm sure of that. So, um, we had this idea about using it on top of the glitter to see if the glitter would come through. Ah. So I'm going to put this on. Now you need to let this dry. Um, you can't force dry it. Okay, so, so let everything dry naturally, just let a little everything bit dry. Again, a project to do the night before, to leave to dry overnight. So I've put that on. And I've put it on thick in some places, thin in other places, yeah. so that so I get... get that difference of effect. So put that away to dry. Okay. Here's one I did earlier. Now, um, I was going to use black. So I've got... I'm going to use, instead of black paint, I'm going to use my black gesso because it's just as good as black paint. Okay. Oh, now we've got this available as well. It's a really good gesso, I've got to say. Huge tubs of this, available in black or white. Oh, do check out the blackboard paint as well while I think about it, because that's another <laughs> fantastic product that I love, as Mel well knows. Yeah. Um, the black gesso is on the screen now. Five pounds saving, nine ninety nine. Look how much you get in here. Half a litre, five hundred millilitres. If you want the white, that's at the bottom of the screen. Same price, but a different item number. Don't miss out on that. If get well stocked on your gesso, especially if you you're going for the one day special as well, because of course the MDF you might want to coat in the gessos. Now we weren't sure if this was going to work or no on top of the glitter. I'm not sure if it is going to work. But we're going to leave it. Put that to one side okay. to see if it works. It was just an idea that Adam had, and I wanted to try it. So we've tried it live. <laughs> so, but I, have, but I have a nice well, heart. Well, we've still got plenty of time to uh, allow that to be yes, set in, haven't we? Yeah. So I've got a heart anyway that I previously did with my crackle because I want to show you how instant it is. Do you know what? It may actually be. I don't know whether it's the gesso that it might may be the gesso it because it's got more of sort of a plasticizer in it, hasn't yes. it? Yes. You might be right. So I'll try it again in a minute with an acrylic. Now this is an acrylic with a crackle on the top and another acrylic going over. Yeah, so PCP. Uh, you can see it, 
you can see it coming through very quickly here as well. I love watching this. It's like the embossing powder when you melt it with the heat gun. Never gets boring. Just lovely effects. So that's, that's coming started through really already. Yeah. Now it's not just for your MDF. It's you can use it on paper as well. So I did a piece of paper earlier. So while we watch that one crack. This is a piece of paper earlier that I did. Now, obviously, you don't have to paint this because that's your paint layer. Yeah, of course. So you just put your crackle on, let your crackle dry. This is so good for card making, for backgrounds on your cards. Well, you could still die cut once you've done the crackle effect as well when it's dry. Yes. Oh, think of some vintage flowers with crackle effect on the petals. <gasps> Coat your paper, a little bit of paint on top, let it dry, die cut. Look at that, see that's cracking. coming through. It doesn't take very long to start cracking. And again, thick bits of paint somewhere, thin bits of paint of other places, just to get a different effect Loving all over effects, your actually. paper. There's one area in particular there that I absolutely love, where the, you've got the wide, the th paint is a little bit thicker, but you've got those big crackles appearing around it. These weren't this bit. Yeah. Yeah. So a bit more there, so that it cracks. Oh, do have a look at, around at home as well for things that you can upcycle because you can bring that crackle effect into so many different items. How good is that? I know, love it. Like you said, die cut it when it's dry, die cut it flowers. That's they look amazing. Do you know, to me that, because crafters are very impatient and I'm one of them, I, you know, I'm, I'm terrible, I really am. But because you've got to wait a little bit of time for that crackle to dry, don't force dry it, that, that is Mel's tip there. But once you apply that top coat, you don't have to wait, you can see almost instantly those crackles coming through. So it's well worth the effect, isn't it? Something's happening. Something is, is, it, is happening. It, is it working with the, with the gesso? It's not cracking, but I like what it's doing. Oh, oh I'm it's, intrigued. Let's have a look. It's got like veins. I don't know, can you see the silver oh. veins coming through? Well, it is cracking, but really wide, isn't it? Yeah. So that is are, a really nice effect. It's slower, but you are getting that glitter coming through underneath. So the longer you leave that, the more it's going to develop. So use your glitter as well. Use your glitter, your stick-on adhesive glitter. And we've got lots of it here for you as well. This is what you're going to get. Look how many rolls you get in here. Now, there are eight rolls. We've got the pink, we've got the gold, the silver, there's a red, and that beautiful blue in there as well. It's kind of an icy blue. All for $14.99. Don't forget, die cut. Cut with your scissors, apply to your different surfaces, your, your digital die cutting machines we've already mentioned as well. This is non-shed. This is a lovely surface to work with. Whether you're going to go on top with your crackle or you're just coating something, 766-638 is the item number. I would give that a go. I want to go and play with that now. Now you've just shown us that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of glitter coming through. Now we've also got some more MDF for you as well. We've also got some hearts for you. I'm just going to pick up some of the bits behind me actually because Mel was showing us the hearts there. We've got a whole bundle of these. Three different sizes as well. Let me just show you the different sizes first of all. So it's a set of 30. I'm presuming it's 10 of each because you've got three different sizes, yeah? Or, now what you can do is go for a set of 30 that's a little different with five different sizes so I'm presuming that with the uh, second one we just mentioned you've got the even smaller ones in there as well so there you can see that adhesive being used as well let's have a look at a picture of the five different sizes there they are so lovely to have the option of all those different sizes there for just 9.99 these are half price 502.995 you're going to use your glitter glues you're going to use your crackle you're going to use your adhesive there you're going to use all the different mediums that you've currently got in your drawers as well I presume at home because your papers and your cardstock and uh, your texture paste anything will work of course on the MDF we've also got the MDF square coasters another half price bundle for you here 9.99 for these five six seven nine eight seven oh well, imagine having some gilded coasters maybe put some varnish on the top just to protect the surface that'd look really nice wouldn't it 
little bit of gilding in your room if you've got maybe maybe you've just redecorated with a nice dark navy blue or a black or something you want to bring out the metallic lovely now of course when it comes to the one day special you've got a whole host of projects here now this really is great value you've got a 13 pound saving straight away now you have got within this bundle the components to make four crates now you get a large you get a medium and you get two of the smaller ones and when I say small they're not that small you're still gonna get loads of goodies in there in fact I'm just going to grab if I may something that's um, already decorated up and full and because there's no lids on these of course to me adds to the effect as well you can have things that are higher than the actual crate I also love the fact that you've got little handles in there as well one suggestion last night was if you decorate these up in time for Easter and give these to children to do an Easter egg hunt. They can carry those around the garden instead of a little bag, maybe personalised with their names or some of the embellishments that we've got on the show as well, because we do have those available. Uh, so lots to go in this bundle. So the four crates, you also get the flower pot as well. Now you get one of those within the one day special, but that is a good size again. That's going to make a really good gift if you want to fill that with, I don't know, flowers, cupcakes, uh, yes, little bottles of Prosecco possibly, chocolates in there, you could have a whole host of different gifts, nice toiletries or perfumes would look good in there as well. Maybe some handmade chocolates. Perhaps you're doing that. Oh, yes. You never know. Lots of us like to make chocolate, don't we? And then eat them before anybody else sees them. £13 saving. That also includes, of course, the glue. You get the baker's twine in there. You get 40 sheets of the tissue, which comes in assorted colours. However you want to use that for packaging or in your projects is entirely up to you. And, of course, you've got the cellophane as well. So that means that you can wrap up your gifts also. Now, I didn't even mention the tags there because there's even more MDF with those 10 tags in different sizes. And we did work it out that it's just under £2 per project if you just count in the MDF projects themselves. And you've still got all the extras on top of that. £29.93, 591622. Mel, back over to you. I'm just um, playing with the structure paste now. Now, I love this. This was my favourite one before the crackle. Um, but I'm just seeing what it looks like. So against the crackle so you could do your um art boards crackle your art boards well, you could, first yeah, work nicely on and the then do you structure paste around different areas and i just wanted to see but you can see this structure paste is lovely it's got that real gritty effect to it it's you got can hear it it's that noise again, Mel, that we both like, isn't it? I do, it is, yeah. I do feel like I'm constructing <laughs> when I'm using this, but it looks pretty cool. It does. Now, the, the structure crackle. paste, you could tint that as well if you wanted to, couldn't you? If you wanted to put a pigment in there, you yes, could you can. The of it. Yes, or you can paint it afterwards. Yeah, or spray on the top. Or of spray it. it, yeah, use all your different. But I just wanted to show you that it goes quite well with the crackle. It definitely so does. So, for your art boards. The art boards we didn't see on the first trip down the counter, actually. These are really good buys. Shall we have a little look at them? Can we do that? I'm going to go for a wander. Let's, let's go down the <laughs> counter just for a second. These are them. I remembered them because of the value of them. These are laser cut pieces. These are big as well. Now you're getting three of the A4, three of the 250 millimeter hexagons, which is a lovely shape, three 12 by 12s in there and also three of the 300 millimeter circles now these are normally i think they work i think if i remember rightly two pound fifty a piece normally but in this bundle if you break it down it's a lot less than that it's about one pound forty one one something like that one pound forty something sixteen ninety nine mm -hmm. one pound forty two there we are nine seven seven three one four is the item number these make great pieces of course as Mel has just said for applying your crackle also the gild inflates as well with your glue you can create all sorts of wonderful projects with this I mean with the different shapes as well I know we've got various ones dotted around the studio don't forget we've got the blackboard paint as well so if you wanted to turn one of these into a blackboard do you know what i would do mel i'd go blackboard paint i'd put a frame around with the crackle so i've got the best of everything i'd have maybe a bit of gilding in there as well yeah something useful yes um like um notice board yeah. uh, food menu for yes the week. a nice vintage notice board that's what i would do i think 
but I'd choose, what, you know, any of those shapes would work. You've got the Malta Goyle, so another great value bundle there, 977314. Back to you, Mel. So I'm going to use your favourite now. Oh, hooray! The blackboard paint, because I just want to show everybody. Now, you'll see I'm using my palette with the blackboard paint, yeah. because if you squirt it onto your mat, it will stain okay okay so i tend to use my palette yeah so that um i don't have a dirty looking mat well, have you tried the crackle with the blackboard paint no <gasps> i'm wondering gilding flakes surface yes crackle yeah blackboard paint we need to try that we do oh we it's do. a nice show isn't it it is oh, but no. um yeah well i don't think we've got time for it to dry so with your blackboard paint, paint it one way first, straight onto your MDF, so you don't have to prime your MDF. It's such a good coverage. I love these paint brushes. <laughs> these paint brushes are such, so they're just so nice. I am really impressed with these paint brushes. We've got those as well. In fact, I can reach for the ones that I've got close to me as well. I don't know if anybody's interested in looking at these. Just as Mel's applying that coat there, because what you've got here, <laughs> you've got those different bristles. I can tell these are so soft. What I love about these are you've got the long handles, but they you got straight away the weight of these. You can feel the quality of them. Yeah, I'm really really impressed with these. Another great price at fourteen ninety nine as well. All six of those, right from your really fine one through to your sort of slanted one there, and then you've got your wider, your round head one, your detail brush, lovely bundle. If you're looking for new brushes, give those a go. I think you'd be very impressed with those. So my second coat of blackboard paint is I'm going the other way. So you're creating um, a fusion, if you like, with the paint. So your first coat one way, your second coat the other way. Yeah. Um, and then just let that dry. And my idea, when I went to bed last night and couldn't sleep because I'd driven up, <laughs> was with our bundles, our one day special, you could, when we're allowed to do it, do your craft fairs, you could have a chalk pen with you. And when your customer comes up and says, oh, I really like that for my grandson, my mum, you can say, well, what's their name? And you can write it That's on the tag. That's a really good idea. Can't like you? That. So, And if you're very thrifty, you could actually... Could, would that rub out being a chalk pen, then? Or is it just no, or is it a permanent white that's acrylic a permanent pen? permanent white oh, one. Right, OK. Or you could write it on with chalk and then rub you it could. out and reuse it. You could. It does write... So you can write on our blackboard paint with normal chalk. And then it does... You need a damp cloth to wipe it off. I've got a wet wipe here. It really is a lovely paint, this one. I've used it a lot myself. We've got a, a lovely sample at the back, actually, which is a menu as well. I'm just going to grab that while we're watching Mel cleaning that so up. So that cleans off, mate. and you can see it doesn't take the paint with it. Lovely. So my cloth is clean, Yeah. apart from the chalk. Perfect. If you want to make your menu boards or your own notice boards, it is going to be perfect as well. I mean, this is a good idea. Menu, you've got the days of the week. That could be a little notice board of a reminder as well, things that you need to do, perhaps. Um, remind yourself that you've got to take the dog to the vet or something like that. And the fact that you can rub everything out just makes it more worthwhile, doesn't it? You can still have fun decorating up the framework or, you know, around the edge there with many different mediums as well. Great for your meal plans, that one. Love it. And then, we, of course, we've got Christmas, haven't we, with the countdowns and things like that. We have, yes. Um, yeah, countdown to Christmas for kids. Yeah, I'm counting down already, Mel. I, oh, you're not? Yeah, I am. Oh. Sorry. Can, can I have summer first, please? <laughs> <laughs> Only because I've just decorated my craft room, and the first thing I thought was, I'm going to decorate it up at Christmas. Can't wait for Christmas to get the trimmings out. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, can I have summer first? I want a few garden parties and... Now, hopefully, we can have, and I want my friends to come round. I know. Just want hopefully. to Fingers crossed, things are looking a little bit brighter, aren't they? So this is a crate, the mini crate that I did earlier. And I gessoed it um, first, and then I crackled on it. And then I just thought, for a man, 
it would look quite nice. in the brown oh watch it for it crackling now this is going to look a bit leathery it does actually listen to it with the colour you've gone with yeah that. so i'm not putting it on too thick oh i can see it going mel can you see it yep so it's kind of like, so, so you have got something quite masculine there for, for a man. Everybody says to us, we do um, shows and things. Look back, at that. Oh, now we've got we a really good shot of it. When we did shows, there's, we can't ever get anything for men. Oh. Well, now you can. You can create. So like an old book would be done. You know, you could co recover an old book. If you love the really distressed look as well, you could take that further, do the crackle and then sand the edges away so you've got more of the bare wood or the underneath colour coming through as yeah. well. Yeah, I've put crackle glaze on everything. So that does, oh, I really like that. That's a, that's a finer, so I've gone not as clumpy with my paint. Okay, yeah. So I've brushed it a bit thinner. So that's the different effect that you get rather than the chunky... So this one that we did yesterday has come out quite chunky. So you, you really can pick and choose the effects that you want. Do you know, I would, well, I have done it before myself, but if you've got a small piece of furniture that you're upcycling, you could use a crackle on that as well. Yes. If you want to bring out that sort of effect. I love that. That is really nice, isn't it? Love it. Love it. Oh, a little bit of gilding wax around the edge as well, like yes. the gilding flakes again. And just use a tiny bit of the glue and brush it on the edges and a bit of gilding flake on the edge to bring yes. the gold out. Beautiful. There we are. Oh, now then, very, very busy on the crackle. Um, I'm just going to reach for the crackle. There we go. Got it. There we are. There it is. 250 millilitres there. 250 millilitres, that's what you're going to get. That is an awful lot of crackle medium, especially if you are going to go with those thinner coats as well. We can't say how far it's going to go because it depends on your project, but I don't think you'll be restocking anytime soon with a pot like that. 9 99 is the price, dispatched from the 3rd of March. I've just said that and I'm thinking to myself, I know I'd be getting at least two of those because I would never want to run out. 710947 is the item number. I can't believe we're almost into March. Where's this year going already? Brighter days ahead, though. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Uh, there you go. Take advantage, of course, of everything we've still got available. And Mel's still painting. I think we've lost her, actually. Right, Mel. Yeah, I'm lost You're in my crackle. That, I'm lost in my crackle. And I'm just trying, <laughs> if I'm brushing my brushes different ways, to see okay. what effect I get then. I've got some sort of... Because you're using an acrylic there. there as well and it's quick drying, you really are seeing that detail very, very quickly, aren't you? Got some oh, sort what of have you got there? A bit of gilding? I don't know, a bit of hair or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bit of... I don't know what it is. Is it, is it a brush hair, do you think? No, it's oh, too it's long. A... Oh! But I don't think it's it might my be, hair. Um, have you had your hot glue gun out? It might be a trail your hot glue. I've had it out earlier, so we'll just touch that up. And hope for the best see if that bit crackles i'm just uh, i'm just loving this wow now we are, i did mention we're getting close to the end of the show but we've just had a massive surge for sales on that crackle again we've suddenly gone from 70 percent to limited stock if you want yours i wonder if people are putting more than one pot in the basket now oh you need more than one pot don't ever run out of it you are gonna have so much fun with this 9.99 for 250 milliliters 710947 Oh, I want to go home and crack off, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, it just keeps going. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Do you know, I'm doing a sewing box at the moment. I'm thinking I might actually oh, put crack some crackle on it. I might just have to do it. <laughs> no, I just, I can't get over it. I just, I really, really love this. it. I could watch it oh, for just, ages so just I. to see if I could see another bit cracking. Well, it's going to go again. <laughs> you need whoever's out there wanting crackle, you need to be very quick. I can tell you now, it really is. Fastest fingers first. 
I can count on one finger what's left. Be quick, be quick, be quick. You're not going to get more than one if you go it. Oh, technically sold out. It's gone again. If any bounce back, we will let you know. But all stock is now allocated. You are not going to regret that. Oh, I, can't, I wish I could remember the lady's name. Somebody posted this week on... Um, on my uh, not my own personal page my group page on Facebook about crackle and she was having trouble with the crackle we did try and help out if you're watching go for this one give this one a go if you're having trouble because it's just a one part I've just said that and we've put none left have we no we'll, I'll be back Oh, I'll I feel back, terrible I'm, now. I'll order some more. I'll maybe, be back. <laughs> maybe that lady's been watching. She's already ordered it. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers oh, crossed. I had forgotten for a second that we'd just sold out. <laughs> no, we've still got about nine minutes left. Have we? Yeah. Right. I'm going, to we yes, I'm going to show you really important what I always say. Gesso. Prime your MDF. So this is my white gesso. Okay. Now I just want to quickly, if we can, if we can get it dry in time. Oh, using those paintbrushes again? I am. I love these paintbrushes. They're so nice. Right, so just really quickly. Nice coverage. And of course, just so, it's used for all sorts of different reasons. The way you can paint it onto your paper, your car stop, sort of use it for knocking your colours apart, do effects with it. So I'm just going to paint half my tag. Okay. Or not even half my tag, because I want it to dry. Okay, so because MDF is such a porous surface, you need to prime it, because if you don't prime it, all those expensive paints that you've bought, that you've spent a lot of money on, all those expensive bits, you're going to waste because you're going to have to do probably two, maybe three more layers of that expensive painting um, because your first couple of layers is going to soak straight through to your MDF. So I'm going to get my nice bright pink because I'm sure oh, this is nice going to show well, that's you. That's a chanda pink, Mel. It's a chanda pink. I didn't think of that, but it is, isn't it? It definitely is. So I'm going to paint this straight on to my MDF. Okay. That is a beautiful colour. Now you can see I'm trying to drag more of it across, but because it's soaking in, it's not going very far. So I'm going to have to dunk again to get the coverage. Okay. Okay. Now my gesso is not quite dry. So I'm going to do what I don't usually do. I'm going to force dry it. I don't usually do this because I don't like doing it. Because if you have it too hot, you will warp your MDF. Oh, you might scorch it. Scorch yeah. the surface as well. So I'm just going to... And just as you're trying that, we'll just have a reminder of those tags. Of course, they are part of the one-day special as well, but we've also got this bundle for you. 30 tags. These are your large tags bundle, £11.99 or £12.70. So these are half price, 457302. We've also got the scalloped tags as well. There we are. So four different sizes there. Another 30 in that bundle for 12 99 Almost half price on that one too. Different sizes. Uh, lots to go at 036923. So you will see that um, my gesso's dried and it's got, uh, I've got a nice base layer. But you, if you get a close-up of the pink, you will see bits of MDF coming through that. So... Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, we can. You can see where it's been soaking in, yeah. can't you? So that is soaking in. But if I paint straight onto my gesso, it's not quite dry. Do you know it works particularly well if you've got a brighter colour or a pastel colour as well, because the brightness of the white sort of really keeps the truer colour, doesn't it? It does. So you see the difference in colours. I'm doing it a little bit thicker than I normally would because my gesso is not quite dry. So I want yeah, to so get it just finished. Drag it across. Look at the richness of colour there. Beautiful. It's beautiful pink, isn't it? It is. That's a fever decor one you've got there, isn't it? It I is, yeah. But you see the difference in colour 
Love it. So you've got your brightness, and that's quite dull and what I would call a bit grungy, yeah. which is okay if you're going for that look. Yeah. But if you're not, definitely use your gesso, please. Please use your gesso. <laughs> <laughs> Save on your best paints. Yeah. Well, you know, it is value for money because the amount that you get in there, 500 millilitres, or in other words, half a litre, which is an awful lot. We do have it in white under item number 397417. We also have it in black as well. Same amount, just a different item number. Both give great coverage. 371343 is the item number if you go for the black one. Right, we've got about five minutes left. What should we have a look at? We'll, we'll have a look at the one-day special again. We'll have a bit of a recap of that. It is final call, remember. So the prices are only available till 6 o'clock when we launch a new one-day special. Uh, do be checking your baskets out. We've got gorgeous samples around the studio using, of course, the crates and the flower pot as well. Let me just go through the components of this particular bundle. Let's start with the crates, actually, because in the one-day special, you are getting four of them. You're getting a large, you're getting a medium, and you're getting two of the smaller ones. Whether you are going to put gifts in this and gift them to someone once you've decorated, whether you're going to use them yourself for storage, it doesn't matter. They're just such great value. One of the flower pots as well, if you prefer not to use the smaller flower, you don't need it as a support, it's there for decoration, so you could use that for something else if you wanted to, but you can see when it's been put together as a full project there, it does look lovely. Look, flowers in there, I can see there's cupcakes in this particular sample as well. One of the tags has been used there uh, with mum on. Do check out the website as well for other embellishments and MDF pieces, there's loads out there. But when it comes to the one day special, we've done the crates, we've done the flower pot, we've got the 10 tags in there as well of assorted different sizes so that's the MDF covered remember less than two pounds just under two pounds per project if you're just counting in the MDF projects individually then you do get the MDF glue which is very very good indeed it's a quick grab it's very very strong and it will work for more than your MDF as well but if you want that quick grab it's there in the kit you're getting the baker's twine included as well then you're getting your tissue paper if you want to use it as packaging for inside your boxes your crates you can do you maybe you've got other ideas for these as well you could stamp onto these if you wanted to you know make them more decorative use them in different ways scrunch them up and stick them onto projects as well and then just so over the top with the white or the black just so you can do all those things you also get the cellophane in here which is a nice touch I've got to say because I think if you are going to gift you want to give that added protection but it just looks the part doesn't it if you've got it all wrapped up there and of course you can see through it as well so you can see the beautiful work that you've done putting that together but it makes it feel very special the fact that you've gifted that and wrapped it in the way that you have. £13 saving, £29.93 is the price. 591622 is the item number. Now, while you are looking at the one-day special, if you do want to consider some more of those mediums, if we've still got them left, don't forget we've got the glues for the gilding flakes, the gilding flakes themselves. Um, we've also got the blackboard paint. We've got the gesso, the black gesso. We've got the glitter, haven't we, Mel? Look at the what's glitter happened. glitter adhesive. Can we look at that again? Look at what's happened can you add, can you see it there? oh wow look. that really has worked well how cool is that so that was the adhesive glitter yes. onto mdf yes and then it was the black gesso that you put on top there wasn't yeah, it yeah the crackle over medium the crackle. and then the black gesso yeah so glitter crackle gesso yes but look at that i love that do you know if you haven't got any short paints or any acrylic paints and you just go for the black and the white gessos look at the effects you're going to get using on top of your cardstock your paper i do think the blackboard paint will work as well you know yes we'll next time we'll try mm. it promise love that effect <laughs> Love that. You can just see the right amount of that glitter coming through there. Do look at everything. I know there's things we haven't even covered in this show as well. Things like magnetic sheets. We've got the smoothies. Just looking around the back of the um, studio, there's paper flowers. There's also um, the glossy accents as well, the glossy. Let's have a look. A few more samples, actually. Now I'm going to pick these up now. We're at the end because another one of the crates here. So again, there's baby items in this one. It could be posh toiletries for male or female. You know, you could do a whole sort of bathroom kit, couldn't you? You with, could, yeah. With flannels, a little towel in there, your toiletries as well. So we've What's got the, the one at the, the dad front? one, and that has got the dad embellishment on it, which is in Ooh. the gift set. So we've got oh, a toiletry and a mug. Oh, no, I don't know if you can see through the cellophane there. No wonder it's heavy. It's got a proper ceramic mug in there. 
Do you could do your hot chocolate, your marshmallows, yes. your sweets, a survival hamper. Oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> But I love. I don't those. know what we're surviving at the moment. <laughs> what, I've, what I'd put in mind, but yeah. Well, so I think we're all surviving life at the moment. We aren't are. We? Very true. Very true. <laughs> but I love the embellishments, the names, and the um, the dad, the mum, the gramps, yeah. the grandma. We do have those, don't we? We've also got Easter embellishments for you as well. I'd, if there's any left, that is. I've just thought of something. Yeah. Anthea, I was on with Anthea recently, and she had a book, one of her books that we patterns in, and she called it Boredom Busters. You could put all sorts of sort of crosswords, colouring books, pen pencils, things for, you know, if you're stuck in, if someone's stuck in on their own and, you know, they're, you know, they're struggling for something to do, fill it with things that are going to keep them busy and gift it that way as well. Oh, do you know, I really enjoyed that, Mel. Thank you. I've had um, fun. I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask anyway. When are you back again? <laughs> I'm back on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday morning oh, for a happy bright hour. and early. Yes. <laughs> Nine o'clock, Mel's back again, but don't forget to check those baskets out. Lots of goodies for you, lots of great savings as well. Mel, thank you very, very thank much. You. Don't go anywhere, the menu is coming, we've got some great shows ahead. Oh, in fact, I'm looking across at a very interesting counter. We've got Paper Pole coming up next. And then, of course, we're launching Dream is One Day Special at 6. And then we're back with Memory Box at 7. William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, 
then please join me, Barbara Gray, on her channel. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Good afternoon. I never know what five o'clock is, but there you go. Um, now, I'm super excited for this show. Have you seen these beautiful sculptures? You are going to be able to make something like this. They are absolutely stunning. Now, um, I'm with a guest that's my first time working with, so uh, let me introduce you to Susan. Hello, Susan. Hi, Alex. How are you today? I am good. Like I said, really Brilliant. looking forward to this because it's such beautiful artwork that you thank create you. yeah thank you very much i thoroughly enjoyed doing it and like you say anyone can do it good stuff and um, so susan can you tell us a little bit about Pavapol? yeah and pa how yeah. you got into it as well um i got into it in 2006 i started i just discovered it in a magazine and started working with it and in 2016 yep. we became the importers of Pavapol into the uk mm -hmm. so we are the main distributor around uk mm -hmm. um Josie, who developed the product, um, did it probably in about 2002, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. So she developed it and she marketed it around. Lovely. And so for those who haven't heard about Pavapol before, what actually is it, the substance? It's a water-based uh, liquid uh -huh. um, based on, I think, PVA glue. And it's so easy to work with. You don't need gloves, you don't need masks, because it hasn't got any smells or anything. Um, you can just wash your hands in water afterwards. You can use all natural products like um, cottons, linens, um, fiber, you know, yep. anything natural, and it works really well with that. Sculptures afterwards can be varnished and put outdoors, so it is all weatherproof as well. Right, so you can make not just sculptures, I guess, you can make all sorts of things like fairy houses and all Absolutely, sorts of things. Absolutely, and wall art and yes. anything really. Excellent. Your imagination's the limit. Nice. Well, take a look at this beautiful <clears throat> lady to start with. So this is Bella in blue. She is amazing. And is it really that easy to achieve? It is, yes. I did do Bella in blue on one of the previous programs, so showed people how to do that. Yeah, nice. So we're just having a look at her here. <laughs> I just want to very carefully turning around. What materials have you used and soaked? That, that is t-shirting for her dress. Yeah. Uh, her arms and body are covered with using our wrappers. Yeah. And then the little shawl is like a muslin, so very lightweight. Excellent. And her hair, whoops, her hair is all hundreds of strands of the cotton fibers which you've got in front of you which come in her kit. Amazing. So yes, yeah, so I can see here, I want to be very gentle with her, um, that these are the fibres you said used for the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else do we get? Do we get the wire? In the kit you do, you get the wire frame, you get the pin, the metal pin base for her. Ooh, hang on. You get all the, the colour okay. pigments, you get the 500 grams of transparent which you can split up into the mixing bowls which you get. Yep. Mix the colours in, you get the spatulas for mixing. You get the piece of cotton muslin, you get an apron, you get enough wrappers to cover her body. Wow. And all the instructions. Amazing. So you can see everything that you're getting. Like I said, the power pole, we've got pigments here for her, the stair is full and I mean, you even put the apron in. We put the apron in as well because That's if great. you get it on your clothes, it doesn't wash off, especially once it's gone hard. I see. So maybe, do we, is it good to work with a, a little pair of gloves? No, you don't need to. You don't need to, do you that. Don't need to wear gloves. I would test it on your skin a couple of hours beforehand just mm -hmm. to make sure you don't get any reaction but in all my time I've never seen anyone get a reaction 
fabulous. So I think the best thing to do as well is we'll look at the beautiful samples because, and you're going to show us how we're going to put these together. Yes. Lovely stuff. So here she is. So if you'd like to make this beautiful lady here, and I think I will just, um, like you said, the full instructions. Let's just take a look at just um, one of them. So it tells you everything that you'll need. That's right. And anything you need to supply from your own house, like an old T-shirt to do her dress. Yeah. And you need pliers, wooden spoons, some aluminium foil and a pair of scissors, basically. Oh, we've all got that yeah. sort of thing, haven't we? So there you go. Nice, full, comprehensive instructions. Yeah. Excellent there. So it's all there for you. And I'm, 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 I'm guessing as well, if anybody does get stuck, you're on hand to help. Absolutely, yes. yes. By email or phone. Lovely thought to say. There we are. So that's our first one. Bella in blue. It's £44.95. and pence. Six, mm, 635 uh, 629 And she's also on Flexi by Two payments of £22.48. pence. Next then, our lovely lady here who looks so beautiful, grey and glamorous. Absolutely. Wow, isn't she? I, I'd, I would love to have a midriff like that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can see she's got a beautiful headdress on and the poses that she's in. Very elegant. Yes. So of course you can put her into any pose that you want. Um, we do it as a demonstration but mm -hmm. you can choose how you want her to stand. Wow, and I love the wrap and the curve of her dress, like a fishtail, isn't it? And then again, if I turn her around, there you go, you can see that beautiful fabric, the way it's draped. So the Pavapole hardens up. Absolutely, yes, it is a textile hardener. So is it exactly the same as the first kit, but different pigments? Um, yes, it, you, that comes, you don't get all the different colour pigments, you okay. get the grey paper pole, That's the, yeah. and then the silver paint to highlight her afterwards. <sighs> Excellent. So the grey is already, the paper pot is already coloured for is her. That br yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, but again, you've popped in some muslin. The, yeah. Um, so all they need is a t-shirt yeah. and then the common household. Excellent. Well, Thanks. she's a beauty. Um, now, once more, you can spread the cost on Flexi Buy. Two payments of £19.98. 943562 is the item number. Then we move on to our lovely autumn girl. Um, have we got anything different in this kit? We have. We've got the terracotta scrub, which is on her wooden board. Is that she, this? She comes with the wooden board, yes. It, that's enough to do the base of her. Um, she comes with the brown, brown colour bundle, which yep. you mix with the transparent paper pole, which comes with her. Mm -hmm. So you'd need to supply your own T-shirt to do her dress. Okay. But everything else is in there. Look at that, and then again, you've got the wire sculpture, you've got your stirrers. These are just absolutely beautiful kits. I love the gold element you've got the, in The here. gold is uh, an additional um, item that we've added to the kit yes. to highlight her dress afterwards. And I'll be demoing her in the second show. Second show, which we're together again. Absolutely. Indeed, that's at 9 o'clock uh, this evening. So take another look at her, and then again, her hair is done. Yes, yeah. you get the cotton strands for her hair and... Beautiful. And the mixing pots and everything. Oh, yes, I forget that because you've got mixing pots, you've even got the stirrers yes. and an apron. Brilliant. Uh, £44.95. pence. Or again, you can spread the cost on Flexi by two payments of £22.48. 291999 is the item number. Mm. Then moving along. Now, this time we've got our nomad. Your nomad figure, which is probably the most simple of the lot to okay, do. Okay, good starter one. Um, yes, very good starter one to do. And he comes with. Um, the, uh, I've forgotten what it is, stockinette, sorry. Oh, okay. The stockinette wrap to do his this draping one. of his cloak. Oh. Um, so he comes with that with the frame, with the metal base pin. Yeah. Um, and a bit of t-shirting to cover his body. That's good. And then we've got our lovely pigments here. And then you've got the black with the different colour highlights to finish him off once he's dry. Lovely. That's yellow ochre and red ochre. Ochre. Oprah, I forget how you say it, yes. in here, yeah, um, 39 pounds and 95 pence is the price, item number, oh, and you can spread the cost, two payments of 19 pounds and 98 pence, 457834, and then we've got our beautiful sitting girl, they are all so elegant, so regal, thank you, yeah, they are beautiful, I mean, is it hard to get the, dre the sort of pleats in a dress? No, once you start, it's a good idea to do it when it's dry, when the fabric's dry. Okay. And then just have a practice run, but it never works out like that once you've wet the fabric. Yeah, but yeah. you can play with it for up to about an hour, hour and a half to get the drapes how you want them. 
Wonderful. Do we get any paints in this one? or it's uh, You just charcoal? get the bronze colour paper yeah. pot. Um, so that does the whole of her and you can either paint the wooden base like we've mm -hmm. done there or you can leave it in its natural state which is what you get. Yeah. Um, uh, or I guess, if, could you add, if you wanted to, like a gilding wax to highlight and things like that? You probably could. I've never tried the gilding mm. wax, oh, but it yeah. is something that would be worth trying. Yeah, why yeah. not? You could always try on a little Absolutely. scrap piece, couldn't you? Because yeah, you, yeah. you, you mean you're getting a good tub of your cover pot. You do, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Lovely. £39.95. pence. Item number is 143889. And then, uh, moving along here, uh, right, we've got our contemporary figures. Uh, this is again really cool. They're all so elegant, but they're all so different, aren't yes, they? Yes, yes. I feel like this could be Torval and Dean of the skaters available. Just so you know, the pose that there is. Yes, yes. Amazing. Definitely. Um, now, so what colours have we got in here? So you get the, the grey paper pole with that, and you get the paper plast. So instead That's of that. using fabric, oh. once you've built up your figures on the armature, the, their bodies, yes. you mix the paper plast with the grey paper pole and then you use it almost like a clay, like a paste, okay. and you cover the whole body. And then once that's dry, you can do the highlighting and we provide the different colours for the highlights. Beautiful colours here, look at those. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, again, you can spread the cost, two payments of 22 pounds and 48 pence. <coughs> Excuse me, item number is 662079. Now, if you do just want the paper pole by itself, we can um, give you a tub, 500 grams actually, so that's gonna go a really long way. Okay, right, we've got four different colours for you to choose from. There's the transparent, we've got the bronze, next we've got the grey, and then we've got the black. All under the same item number is £12.50, but that's a big tub, 500 grams. 102236 is your item number. We've also got the Pava Scrub, I like the names of these. They're really cool, so we'll have a little look here. Oh, this is cool. Okay, um, $9.99 and you've got the blue you can choose from. That's cool. What's it? Well, I'll ask you in a second. I'll just go sure. through the uh, uh, colour options. This one's the granite. There you go. Pink. That's nice because it's sort of pe peachy pink. Yes. Uh, we've got the terracotta. And then we've got the green. Lovely. Um, so, it, right, these have been busy already. You found these. 9.99. Item number is 587758. Now, if you've got any questions at all to ask us, because this might be a brand new product to you, please, as ever, feel free to send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or pop your questions onto Facebook and we'll endeavour to answer them for you. So, with the Pava Scrub, what is, what, what is it? It's is it little flakes of something similar to dried paint. Oh, yeah. Um, but it works work very well with the transparent paper pole. Right. You paste the transparent onto your surface and then sprinkle the paper scrub on. Okay. And if you look on the Autumn Girl, that's yeah. what I've used on her base. So it just creates that different finish and once the transparent's dry, yeah. it goes clear so it leaves the colour of the scrub. It's really cool actually it's, and it makes it very tactile Absolutely, too. Absolutely, yes. Lovely. Right then, so um, how, where do we start? So we start w with the wire armature that we send with the kit. Yeah. Um, I did start building the little head here but it is, the camera is going to love me because I'm going to make a noise with the foil. Um, but basically, just to build the body, that's what I'd like to just sort of show a little bit. And then we'll do some wrappers. Sounds good. So I did start on the head, so it just create a nice little head shape. And then to do the body, I've just taken a piece of foil and rolled it up very loosely. And just hold that around the body and wrap it around. Cool. So you can just start building the body. And the idea is just to get a nice little shape. Um, Feminine or male, yeah. depending on what you're building. So do you always use foil? Is there any other thing you can use? Um, I always use foil. Make me a really big sculpture. You could do something like the expanding foam. Okay. Something like that yeah. on the armature and carve that down. But we always use the, the foil on the cool. little ones, yeah. It's a very easy medium to build up yeah. your body shape. Holds it shape yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. So that's all you do to build up the torso is just keep adding the layers until you can get a nice shape. Don't forget about the all the feminine forms, the breasts and the, the bottom and everything mm -hmm. to give her and give her a nice waist. And then when you do the arms, I'll just do this sort of quite quickly so it does take a lot longer usually. So just take a piece of foil and fold it in half. 
and then into thirds and you can cover the arm if you're having straight arms just okay. do the whole arm but like the wire is so malleable the wire you? is very malleable yeah. but often it's better to put her into shape so like um i haven't done her leg here when when if you're looking at that mm -hmm. um fix her to her base with the bare wire and then you can foil that leg afterwards i see yeah um so don't foil it all at once but you can still bend this arm I usually do the whole torso first. Okay. Um, quick question if it's yeah. all right. Just for our cameras. You know your lovely statue there? Yes. You want to... me to move it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'll just do a bit more on her torso. Okay. Can you paint features onto them if you wanted? If you wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, can, I've, I have seen people put a little nose on just to give her a little bit of shape on her face. That's cool. Uh, my personal preference is the the flat, the, the flat contemporary yeah. look. So if you want to do um, her breath, this is the easiest way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So just into a square and then just sort of pinch it up into a triangle and this is where your pliers come in handy this is probably a little bit big just to bash it down so you can get the shape okay and then you would tape that on in position Tape it on. Tape it on with masking, masking tape. tape. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Which again, I'm sure we've all most got people at home. have got yeah. at home. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's actually building so up a lot quicker than I thought. It builds up very yeah. quickly. Yeah. She she would need refining because <laughs> I'm just doing it really quickly, just to sh give some ideas on how to do it because some people are a bit nervous about how where to start and how yeah. to begin. So. You know, my granddad would high. absolutely love something like this. He used to do sculptures with bronze and plaster of Paris. Oh, wow, wonderful. But he was always interested in, yeah, my mum's house is full of the sculptures, but he was always interested in the female form, form shall yes. we say. Yes, yes. he was. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I so went what, to the hall. what sort of materials do you use for the clothes? What sort of... Mostly t-shirting, yes. cotton t-shirting. So as long as it's got sort of 80, 90% cotton in, it will work because otherwise the paper pole doesn't like it. It doesn't like synthetic. Okay, synthetic yeah. stuff. Yeah, this just makes a big noise. Um, and do these sculptures, are you able to make them so that they can go outside? Yes, so once the paper pole is totally dry and hard, like these ones are, it'll take about a, up to about a week, depending okay. on how thick you've made like the fabric. It, cures or something? it just cures and, and air dries, so you don't need to bake it or anything. Oh, that's good. Um, and then you can varnish them. So we've got the varnishes in Upsala, I think it is. Oh, I will ask Ross in my ear. So that's just having a look. That um, the varnish will then make them weatherproof and able to go outdoors. Brilliant. I mean, can you imagine all these sculptures in the garden? It's fantastic. Right, so. Can it? Can you? Can it go onto um, wood at all? You can. Yes, like on the little autumn sitting girl, I've done the scrub onto the wood. Right. Um, I painted the bronze sitting lady. That there's bronze on there. Yep. Um, so yes, you can. And then obviously you can uh, adhere fabric to it as well using the paper pole. Nice. Or what? grass, or flowers, oh. or you know, also paper flowers and things like that. You can Lovely. use all sorts of things like that. That's cool. Right. So where are we at now? So I don't know how time oh, we're fine for time. comes. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give some ideas on how to get it going and then what I'll do is I'll show how to use Great the wrappers on that. Yep. So it, once you start doing like the, the bottom, your best bet is just to take a piece of foil and just crunch it all up and you, starting where the armature bends for the legs mm -hmm. and the hips, just scrunch it into there. So you start creating, keeping the, the waist though. Yep. Like a very pert bottom. Yes. 
And sometimes it's good to like almost over exaggerate the hips. Okay. Because then it gives the fabric something to fall from. Mm, yes. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be an expensive tin foil at no, all, does it? No, just normal household yeah. foil, yeah. That's cool. I'm not squashing this down as much as I would normally. Um, you need to have a very firm base okay. so that there's no movement underneath the foil. Yeah. It's just I want to just show the, how to do it and the shaping. Mm -hmm. So your, your wooden spoon is very handy as well okay. because you can use that to smooth off areas and get all the little lumps and ridges out as mm. well. That as well as your, yeah. your pliers. Nope, these are great tips, these. Yep, lovely. So, just going to go like this. Did you, I know we can't at the moment, but did you, do you run workshops? Um, I, I have done in yeah. the past, yes. Yeah. <laughs> can't wait till all that yes. gets back to yes. normal. And they're great fun because we have about 10, ten yeah. people at a time and it's, you have such a laugh and it's really good fun. So are you making any one of these sculptures in particular? Not really, I'm just, just do, yeah, just yeah. showing how to do the foiling. So basically this technique is kind of universal across all the kits. It is, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. But it's only the, the nomad ends up looking like this once you right. built his body. So he's slightly different because he doesn't have the arms. Yeah. But like you said, if you if you're wanting just to dip your toe in, then the nomad is the one to go for because he's the easiest one. Yeah. Uh, so we pop the details on the screen for our lovely nomad. Actually, um, I can I'll grab him. Here we are. Oh. Um, here we are. He's on nomad. As you can see, he's on screen. He's really cool, isn't he? I love his clothes. Brilliant. Uh, so that is £39.95 and, and again you can spread the cost for our lovely nomad. Look at him, it's brilliant. I love the drape of all the clothes. Yeah, that's great fun. I used to do a lot of sewing, so oh, working yes. with the fabric is really wonderful. Nice. So I think if you can sew, you can definitely do this. The other good tip is um, like I folded over with the pliers, just the end of the hands. Oh, okay. So you do the same for the feet if they're sitting. Um, or leave the one loose if you're attaching her to the frame. Got you. Yeah. So just just as easy as that. Is that for shape or is that so that it's... It's for the shape yeah. as well as to, to stop the sharpness of it, say. yeah. Yeah. And it helps when you're building the foot to, to have the shape. And what type of wire is it? Is it just like a garden wire? It is just like yeah. a garden wire, cool. yeah. Fairly strong garden wire. So again, like for the leg, um, the same as I've done the arm, mm -hmm. I'll just bend this one over. Oh, I'm just going to grab which one am I? Oh, on this one. Oh, okay. oh the wrappers, yes. Um, you have found this already, um, just while Susan's doing that. Uh, wrappers, we've got some wrappers. Um, you're getting a hundred of them in here. Uh, so it's a big box. Again, is this just to add texture? Yeah. Um, this is actually to cover the the body oh, right. and the face. So the uh, little girl, the Bella in blue and the grey and glamorous have yep. the, used these for the bodies. And I will show you in a minute. I'll just do this one foot and show you how to shape the foot. And then I'll show you how to do the wrappers. That sounds good. Um, so you've got 100 wrappers in the box. And it's £12. It's just the one box, isn't it, Ross? Yes, good. Okay. Um, Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. Item number is three zero zero two four eight. So that's very handy to have. Nice. I don't know why we've got two boxes out, so I'm just going to pop one, one there. There we go. So, so just to create, her foot's quite big. Just to create the heel, you don't need a lot of. Just to give it a bit of shape. Just a little bit of foil. Yep. Just sort of creating. the foot. Cool. So you've got the heel there. Just to create a, yeah, just yeah. to create the little shape of, of a foot. So I guess the loop that you've done, that really helps anyway. Yes, it does. It yeah. helps to give it a bit of shape. So it's just a few ideas on how to do different things to give them a bit of form. Yeah, lovely. 
got lovely long legs. <laughs> She's got really long legs. <laughs> not quite a right shape, but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically how the, the foiling technique and just gradually build up the body Wonderful. to the shape that you want. Yeah. Nice. So I'll show you how to use the wrappers. So this is like the little autumn girl, the yeah. same position. Um, with the wrappers, they come in these sheets. Mm -hmm. So just a little square sheet and with the kits you get 10 wrappers, which is more than enough to in cover the, the body. Girl. In the autumn girl, yes. Right. Um, and basically to cover the arms and legs you just need there is a stretch to the wrappers so one way will stretch one way will stretch the other way doesn't stretch so when you're cutting for the arms and legs you want it on the stretch um, and then you can cut four wrappers out of each sheet lovely so just cut So that will create enough for the arms and legs. Okay. I always cut a few extra just in case. And then when you start doing the body, I'll just um, I've just cut a wrapper in half with a stretch that way. And I don't know if you can see, but I have drawn lines on it. Oh yes. And they're sort of slightly diagonal lines, and I've done it so that when you put it on, that the wider section goes up and over the shoulder and the narrower section will go down towards her waist. It just helps to be able to wrap it around the body. Cool. So I'll just cut those up. And then... There you go. Um, again, if you've got any questions for Susan, please feel free, because you might not have seen this sort of product before. Uh, send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Oops. But I think it gives you a real sense of satisfaction to create some something so beautiful. It does, yes. Oh, and okay, we have had a question. We're not sure who it's from. Oh, okay, I'm wanting to know about the books. Shall I have a little flick through? Sure, they behind you. Lovely. Okay, so this one, How to Have a Pole, we've got here. And... Hang on, details are just coming up in a moment. It's got, I think, about 30 different designs in there. Wow. Um, with all those instructions on how to create it from scratch. Oh, I can see we've got it in different uh, languages here. Yes, it's in Dutch and English, because Josie is Dutch yeah. from the Netherlands. So don't worry, you have got the English down here. You don't have to learn another language. Although we probably had time in lockdown. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's beautiful with the bandages. Look at that. They're all so amazing. Um, so who wrote this book? Josie Derood. Yeah, she's the inventor of Paper Pot. Yeah. Um, so she, those are all her sculptures it's and so what she's here. tried to do. Wow, look at this. It's sort of going all through different cultures as well. It is, and very yeah. inspirational, because there's so many different ideas in there. Amazing. Hang on, I've got my fingers stuck. But look at all of those. And you've got all your methods and everything down here. Uh, that's your one book then, £29.95. And and this lovely hardcover book, um, 883628. And then we've got the Elegant Figurines. Again, is this by Josie? Yes, it yeah. is, yes. So let's have a look. For Home and Garden, there you go. Lovely instructions again. It's telling you, sort of hold your hand really from start to finish. Very much so, yes. Very nice. There you go. And then we've look at these. And then using other forms as well to create and decorate. Yeah, nice. Uh, okay, thirteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Eight three eight nine two seven eight. Back to you then. Ah, right. So right. what have we got here? So I've got some pre-mixed um, paper pole. It's got the brown pigment in, which forms the body for the little yeah. autumn girl. Um, I've just cut a little piece from one of my long strips with a stretch to do her neck. So I usually always start with the neck. And the best and easiest way of doing it is to have just an ordinary artist paintbrush and just paint the area where you're going to put the wrapper on. Yep. I'm going to paint her head as well because that's the next place I'm going to. So straight onto the Straight onto on the one. foil, yes. Right. Straight onto the foil. Make sure most of the loose pieces have all been taped down. Now, apologies if I miss this, just because obviously I've got...
got voices in my head as well. Is yes. um, what, uh, What's the sort of ratio you're using? So to do, um, because we in the kit there's three different colours. Yeah. So I would do, um, divide two, th it's about a third each. I okay. think that would be probably be the best ratio to do it. Lovely. A third of the paper pot into the mixing buckets yep. and then about half of the color pigment into each of those cool lovely and the the best way is to mix the color pigment with a tiny bit of water and then mm. mix it into the paper pot okay so now but just that's sorry. all on the instructions it is yeah, yes i'm just going to wrap the wrapper around and then just using a bit of the paper pot just to wet the wrapper as i wrap it So you can see it's absorbing the paper pot as I do it. Yep. And you, I'm assuming you have to give it a really good coat. A really good coat. So the yep. wrapper is totally covered. Yeah. Lovely. There you go. She's got a lovely long neck as well. She has. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just holds in place. And then I just cut the wrap, one wrapper into four. So mm -hmm. it's just the square. I have already wet the face. And this you're just going to go this way. Just take straight across the centre of her face and just pull it up underneath her chin and around the back of her head. Yep. So it just nicely grabs onto the head where you've put the paper pole already. So is it almost, you know, the wrappers, are they all, is it almost like a bandage? It is almost like a bandage, yeah. it's almost like a gauze, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And because it's got the slight stretch, you can pull it so you don't get all the creases and things like you would do with a thicker fabric. Yeah. So you just want to make sure all the foil is covered uh -huh. and then all the wrapper is covered in the paper pole. Lovely. Uh, so it almost acts like a glue, doesn't it? It in does, a way? yes. Um, just while you're carrying on doing a bit of wrapping mm -hmm. then, because we're halfway through the show, sure. I will just show the um, lovely beautiful ornaments that um, we've got here that you will be able to make using the Pava pole. Oh, do you want to see a picture? Yes, please. Uh, Emma, Emma, this is fabulous. Oh, fantastic. Um, Those she are says amazing. She's, uh, she's used Pava pole for years, absolutely loves working with it. Fantastic. Um, and one of the things that, yes, you, I can see you like working, um, what, like making are these lovely large fairy houses. Gosh. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, Very they're creative. Amazing. Ama I'm, I'm literally, Emma, I'm absolutely in awe. That is just amazing. Oh, do keep your pictures coming in because um, we're on together as well at 9 o'clock this evening. So that would be cool. We can, we can show some more. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, fantastic. Work. Love seeing those. Right, so let's just remind you of some of the kits. First, we've got the beautiful Bella in blue. Um, just take a look at her because her hair, it, you said it's stranded cotton, is that stranded right? Cotton. Strands, yes. Yeah, lovely, uh, beautiful hair. Look at the detail. She's got a wonderful bow at the back. Is that the jersey material? It is the I thought yeah. so. You know that the cotton jersey, That's yes. That's it. Yes. And then you can see her beautiful like veil here. She's amazing. Now in this kit you'll get your transparent pava pole. You've got your blue colour bundle here of your pigments. Obviously, you'll get your wire and your stand. Um, you've got 10 of the wrappers, which are here. Uh, there's a little bit of, um, do we call it gauze? No. Gauze. Uh, it's like muslin. Muslin, it's that's like a the light word. Muslin, yes. You even get a couple of cocktail sticks to stir, I'm assuming to stir. The cocktail sticks are actually to tease out the hair. Oh! So that, because when you wet it, wet the cotton with yeah. the paper pole, it sort of all clumps together. Right. So you want to squeeze out the excess, and then once you put it on her head, yeah. you can actually just tease it out. Oh, that's nice. All thought through. An apron. So these are your stirrers then. You've got your yes, little the sticks there. And you've even got the stirring pots as well. And full, full instructions. But she's beautiful. £44 and some change. Or if you want to spread the cost, two payments of £22.40. Eight pence. Item number is 635629. Then we've got the beautiful grey and glamorous. Just look at her pose. It's absolutely stunning. And I love her outfit. I love she's got that little bustier crop top. I love that she's got, it looks like a little gemstone on the, on the hat. And then look at her figure. She is divine. And look at her dress. It's a lovely, beautiful fishtail dress absolutely amazing 
and then she's got her wonderful sort of shawl gorgeous so in this one you'll get the pavapole that's the grey pavapole and you've got a nice silver paint um, and again you're getting your apron your wrappers um, and your stand with your wire and full instructions uh, so she is, if you want to spread the cost, two payments of £19.98. Uh, 943562 is the item number. Then we've got our beautiful autumn girl. She's stunning. Uh, so this is the one that Susan's working on. Again, look at her hair. Look at her, the way she sat. The drape of her dress. And you've got the pava scrub in this. So that you can see... It just creates that lovely texture here on the base. Um, you've got the pava scrub, you've got the pava pole, you've got the gold lovely paint. That's stunning. Here's the pava scrub. And then you've also got your lovely brown, light brown and rust for the colours. Stunning. Um, £44 and 45 pence or two payments of £22 and 48 pence. Item number is 291999. Then we have our Nomad. If you are a complete beginner, then Susan was recommending this one's a really good one to go for. But I love the drape of the fabric. And you do get the fabric in with it. It's really soft, actually. What did it's we call this again? Stock and net. Yes. No, st stock and net? Stock and net. Oh, stock, stock and net. net oh, yes. stock. Oh, right, I see. <laughs> I think we've got it as an upsell. Meter, yeah. Meter oh, okay. At a time, yeah. We'll have a look there. That's probably an end of call item. You have a pole and your two lovely different paints there and your stirrer too. And of course you get the wire frame for you to um, create the shape. $39.95, um, item number is 457834. And then we've got our beautiful sitting girl. She's stunning. Oh, there we are. Details are just coming onto the screen. Look at that drape of the dress. It's absolutely exquisite. Now, this one, you get the bronze pava pole. Here we are. And you get your wire, of course. Um, so, for this one, we even get the wood, like... You get the wood plinth. Wow. Just on, yeah. That's great. Um, and you've got your cotton strands there, apron, stirrer. It's all there for you. Two payments of 19.98, And then, last but not least, we've got our contemporary statue. And I really like the different shades of colours that are used. So you're getting four different lovely paints in here. They're really nice. Pava paint, I like that. I love the names. You've got your gold, your burnt sienna, uh, deep turquoise and the blue. And in this one, you've got the, the powder, the pow Pava Plus to Pava make Plus, the paste. Yes. Excellent. Two payments of £22.48 if you want to spread that cost. 662079. Now, we haven't yet seen these, so we've got some pigments in groups of threes. We do, the colour bundle pigments, yes. Lovely. So you can have a really nice experiment here with these. So we've kind of got a lovely green selection, the greens. This is the earth set of tones. This one is the blue. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And then down here, primaries, yeah. And then this one are the browns. Uh, so each set of three, and I look, I, they look like big tubs. They look like, you know, you, they're going to go a long way. Abs yeah, each um, pot will do at least 500 grams of the pepper pole. Oh, great. It works with the transparent yep. um, and colours that. Otherwise, you can put a little bit in a bit of the varnish and mm -hmm. just paint it on like a paint. Nice. £14.95 for any sets of three there. 408 272. Now we've got more things on the website and we do have some end of call items. We were talking about the varnish if you want to pop anything outside that's there. Okay Ross is going to show us how to do this. So uh, Ross is going to pop something in. Okay oh Ross is putting his favourite in which is grey and glamorous. I <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there you go. There to go to the checkout. Here we are. We've got all of those lovely add-ons. You can get the varnish, the pava pole, and there you go, also the stockinette. Cool stuff. Right, how are you uh, getting on there? Getting on, I'm just wrapping around the arm. Yep. It's a little bit fiddly, depending on the position you put your sculpture into. Mm -hmm. um, I often just roll up the, the wrapper just so you can roll it round yeah. and round so it doesn't get all tangled up. 
and just pulling it gently as you're doing the, the paver pole and coating it so it holds it in place. Yep. I've done the other arm. Yes. Yeah. And quite easy to smooth off with a paintbrush and a bit of paper pole too. If you've got any loose edges. Fabulous. So again, must reiterate that you've got to really give it a good soaking. Yes. And then how long do you leave her to, to cure? So if you're doing the autumn girl, I would leave this overnight just to get hard and dry. Because once you start working with the other colours of paper pole, you don't want it all just to mix all together. Yeah. Um, but if you're doing all one colour, I would leave her for about an hour just with a fan on her maybe mm, okay. in a warm area and um, let her dry and then carry on with the dress and everything. Right, okay. I'm just going to finish off this arm. Okay. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes left, just so okay. you know. Whoops. Uh, and it's this just washes off your fingers all right. It does. Yeah. I've got a bowl of warm water here. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> Kirsty was doing with that when she walked in with it. <laughs> and it just uh, washes off with warm water. Yeah. Um, gets under your nails sometimes, but just it'll come out with some warm water and a scrubbing brush. It's quite a natural product, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. And um, don't empty your wash basin down the sink. Okay, oh, good tip. You can pour it out in the garden. Okay. It won't kill your plants. I've done it for years and my, my garden's still growing. That's good. <laughs> yes, I hadn't thought about that. It's yes, good to know about yes. this. Don't, don't pour it down your sink, only because it'll clog it up. Do not want that. And no, definitely don't, don't chuck it down the loo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just take this over her shoulder. Okay. And then for anybody just joining us who missed the start of the show, do you want to tell us that. a bit more about your background again and how you got involved with this? Well, I discovered this in 2006. Um, I just bought a tub. I didn't look at anything else and just started creating. I thought yeah. it was a fascinating product. Um, six months later, I actually went on a workshop with Josie. Oh, nice. What, did you fly <laughs> out to the Netherlands? No, she, w she came over to the UK okay. and she did a couple of workshops. So I went on one of her workshops um, and had a great time and then went home and just carried on creating. And I, I now create all my own sculptures and I get them cast in bronze resin and bronze. Ooh. And sell it at RHS shows and the nice. garden shows. So. Yes. Um, spe speaking about selling, so with our lovely kits, once we've made them, if we wanted to make to sell, or is these for personal use only? People's creations are their own. They okay. can do what they like with lovely. them, really. Right. Yeah. Everyone so, is individual. On. Yeah. We all create something different, mm -hmm. even if it's from the same medium. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to put her back on. So again, I'm using the, mm -hmm. the wider section over those shoulders. Yep. And then that just goes down on her waist. Um, now, if you do just want the 500 gram tub of the Pava Pole um, individually, we've got that for you. Um, maybe you've used it before and you just want to top up. Uh, here it is, 12 pounds and 50 pence. And you've got the different shades. So you've got your transparent, bronze, gray, and your black. But it's a 500 pound tub. So that is going to go a long way for 12 pounds, 50 pence. Um, and then you could get some of the pigments as well. Uh, 102236 is the item number. Lovely. There we go. Yep. Just wrap that around. Can be quite fiddly. Um, now, the elegant figurine. Is this our lovely lady? Oh. The book. Oh, the green book, sorry. Okay, you're liking this one, so I'll just do another little flick through here. For home and garden. Now, you've got instructions. That must be Josie. Um, yes, it is. Uh, yeah, lovely. Um, you can craft 11 different sculpture projects. So it takes you through, you know, from the beginning. And then look at these. Absolutely stunning. I love the fabrics used as well. We've got some really contemporary ones in here. We've got our, um, Helene and, J and Janny, I think this is. Very stylish ladies. Look at those two. <laughs> Um, then we've got our art stone figurine. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Mm, it's at the top here. I'll, I'll leave it for you. I'll leave it for you. 
to decide. But she's quite sexy. Look at that. Yeah. And then moving along, uh, we've got the woman in the straw hat. So a much larger piece here. Uh, that one's a little mermaid. Oops. And then we've got our... Oh, look at them. They're amazing. Oriental torch bearers. Yep, so you're liking that. And it's a really good price. Lots of inspiration in there uh, for just £13.95. 389278 is the item number. Uh, so how are you getting on there, Susan? Yep, getting there slowly but surely. It's um, just trying to smooth things out. And then... So these are the lovely sculptures that you can do. I think you, you've got to allow yourself a little bit of time to enjoy it, haven't you? Yeah, don't rush it. Yeah. Enjoy the creative mode. Forget about everything else. Okay, so I'm going to start on one, one of the feet. So, because there's a sort of a, a knack to doing the hands and feet just to start them off. So again, just paint the foil with Oh, how come you, sorry if I missed that, how come you starting with the feet rather than continuing the down? I, I often do the, the limbs and then finish off oh, with okay. the bottom area. So I have done her chest mm -hmm. and her back, but now I'm just going to bring the wrappers sure. up here and then just finish off at the bottom. So that's just Because you won't see this, this will be under her dress. This is, oh yes, yes this is true. <laughs> so if it's a little bit messy, it's not too serious. So at home, think about all of the maybe clothes that you don't wear anymore, the ones that are cotton that you said. Um, instead of throwing them out, like make them into memory pieces like these. And the cotton lace, cotton lace oh, works very good. well. So with the, with the foot, the best way to do it is just to wrap it over. So you, I've got a little bit left over here, which I'm just going to put some paper pot and then just fold that over. So that closes in her foot. Yeah and then continue wrapping around. Whoops. Sorry, lady. Let's roll that up. Oh, right, yes. So you're getting 10 wrappers with our lovely lady. Yes. So there's plenty there to do each little lady. Yeah. There you go. Now, you can get also a set of 100, if you want, for £12.95. pence. Um, that's going to last you a long time, a long time, Oops. maybe 10 more sculptures. Yep, definitely. There you go. Yep, so then just taking your time. Let's wrap her up. So as long as you cover all the foil, then she'll be nicely sealed for the weather if you're putting her in the garden. Did you say, though, that you needed a varnish over the top for that? We recommend the varnish. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It is a waterproof product once it's dry anyway, but just to protect them further mm -hmm. and make sure that they yeah. are frost-proof. That's it. There we go. So what do you reckon? You could do one of these in a couple of hours. Uh, Maybe more? Workshop is a whole day. Oh, a whole day, okay. <laughs> and that's using just a single colour, like right. a bronze or a black. Oh, amazing. Um, when you're using the different colours, like she would dry overnight and then do her dress and nice. hair tomorrow. Yep. Let's finish that off. Have you done, like, what's the most impressive sculpture you reckon you've done? Have you done some giant ones? <laughs> I have done life-size ones, yes. Wow. Um, Where do you put them? Well, at the moment, some of them are in my garden. <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> but no, I have sold like a family of um, a mother and three, four children. You mean sculpted like it based around a yeah. real family? Yeah. Wow. That is really incredible. So, you know, the sky's the limit, really, and, and your imagination. So, yeah. Just enjoy it. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. And I suppose because. The, because you, I suppose you've got the wire in there, and it, it so it doesn't become brittle or anything. Um, it can become quite brittle. Okay. Um, like especially when it's really cold. Right. Um, it can sort of break if you're going to be quite violent with it. Okay. Don't be violent, <laughs> don't with, be violent with it. <laughs> Treat it as you would a ceramic in your house, and you'll be fine. Okay. I'm just tidying that all up. Lovely stuff. 
Um, now, we've had, shall I go and get them actually? Yeah, we've had a lot of interest for the uh, Pava scrubs. This is really cool things that you can add. <coughs> Excuse me. So, do you only use them on the bases or can you use them on do the models themselves? Do you want me themselves? to show? Because I've got a little base here for that the would be amazing. autumn girl in the second yeah. show. So, I can just bring that on. There we are. So give you've got me, give me a moment. five, that's all right, I'll show the colours, five different colours. So we've got the lovely blues, you can see in there. It's like, oh, it's, they're actually softer than I thought. Yes, it's, they're very delicate, actually. Yeah, I like those. So we've got the blues, and then we've got the greens. Oh, you've got some quite bright greens in that one. Lovely sort of grass greens in there. Uh, then we've got the granites. Yeah, lovely set of colours or shades. Uh, then we've got. Whoops. Oh, that frightened <laughs> me! Oh, the set's falling apart. <laughs> oh dear! I've screamed on air in Julia's show because I thought a ladder was falling down. <laughs> oh dear! All exciting. And now the back wall. The back wall's just gone. There we are. Uh, and then I've got one more. Oh, where are we? There you go. Uh, we've got our lovely pinks. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Right then, so each option is £9.99. Uh, item number is uh, 587758. Right, let's have a look at what you're doing then. So basically I've got some um, transparent paper pole here. So it will dry clear, so don't worry about the white. And I'm just doing the edge of the board for the little autumn girl, which I'll demonstrate in the next show. Okay. Um, and I've left the center area because you don't really need to cover that because that's where she's, she's going to sit. sit. Yeah. So I'm just doing, I did this the other day just to prepare so you could see the finished effect. So just using a paintbrush. Be a little bit generous with paper pole so it's got something to stick onto. Yeah. There you go. And then, yeah, like you said, it, that dries clear, so it'll be yes, all right. Yes, it dries yeah. clear, so don't worry about that. And then just basically just shake the scrub on. Do you have to press it in or anything? Yes, I'll press it in in a minute. Okay. Just to... Maybe save the other half there for later, maybe? Or unless you've got another bit you can do for later as well. I'll find another bit. Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you've got uh, just four minutes left. Okay. So basically that's all, all we do. And then just press it down. And later when it's dry, you can just shake off the board to empty off any of the excess. Mm. Can you reuse the excess or is it too late because it's got... You could, no, you should be able to reuse it. As long as your, your table's clean, not like mine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you should be able to use, reuse the excess, yes. And the little packet that comes with the kit is enough yeah. to do her base. That's good. But yeah, it's interesting stuff. And I love these autumnal colours that you've got. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Look at that. It looks like the wonderful leaves in autumn. In autumn, yes. Yeah. So just leave that to dry. And then you can go over it with some more transparent um, later if you like just yeah. to help seal it because this is still a little bit loose so I would once it's totally dry just take a brush and go over yeah. the top to seal it all in. Fabulous. Right then just before the end of the hour then I'm going to show these beautiful figurines one more time. These are the things that you can be making. Uh, you just choose your favourite. You might want more than one. We've got our beautiful Bella in blue. Again I just want you to look how stunning she is. The drape of everything. Um, and you can choose your poses, of course you can. She's absolutely stunning. In the kit then, you get your full instructions. Uh, in this one you get your lovely stranded cotton or cotton strands for the hair and everything. You've got your pole. Uh, that one's the transparent. You've got your, oh, the wrappers down here. You've got your pigments, you even get an apron, you get your stirrer. Obviously you get your metal wire and the stand, but absolutely stunning. Uh, two payments of £22.48 and pence. if you do want to spread that cost, 635629. The busiest one, our lovely star of the show here, has been our 
grey and glamorous and indeed she is it's i have to say the drape of the dress is absolutely divine and as i said earlier i quite like a midriff like this i really would um but let's turn her around again so you can see her in all her glory beautiful um so again in this one you're going to get the gray paper pole and a lovely silver paint again full instructions your apron your stirrer is all there and the wire um, 39 pounds and 95 pence and you can spread that cost on flexi buy 943562 is your item number and you've got two payments of 19 pounds and 98 pence then moving along we've got our autumn girl so this is the base that Susan is working on or was working on just to show us that pava scrub you do get the base included and again, you're just getting everything that you need. You've got your pava scrub there. You've got your pava pole. Uh, you've got your beautiful gold paint. Stunning. Um, so the only thing we need, really need to add is the T-shirt. The T-shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's An great. An old T-shirt out your wardrobe. Excellent. Um, don't, if it's got any of the plastic um, stencil um, print Take on those it, off. just cut yeah. that off, yeah. Excellent. £44.95, 291 nine. Very quick then, we've got our Nomad. Here he is, um, in all his glory. Uh, this one is 39 95 This one is your beginner's one, if you want to dip your toe in. And it's four five seven eight three four. We can't we can't fit the others in. But can you join us at nine o'clock then? And we'll carry on with the uh, demonstrations. Um, thank you very much, Susan. You're very welcome. Fascinating. Anna. It's thank gorgeous you. stuff. Thank you. And just the artwork that you can create is amazing. Um, so do check out your baskets. You can order after the hour. Again, I'd encourage you to keep any questions coming in if this is a product that you've never used before. But I would say dip your toe in. I think it's just beautiful what you can create. Don't go anywhere, more after this. Uh, right, we've got our Dreamies one day special. The ladies are back in the house. Uh, I get to work with them at eight. Catherine's got them first. And then we've got Memory Box Springtime special after that. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Can you believe it's been two years of Sentimentally Yours here at Ho Chanda? Please join me for our very special birthday celebrations starting from the 26th of February at 10am and ending on Sunday the 28th of February. You will not want to miss these birthday celebrations launching with the brand new products that I am super excited about. Then we have a one day special launching on the Saturday. This is gorgeous and we have a secret, very, very special guest coming in to launch that for you. Then we also have Trudy Howard's gorgeous brand new release launching on the same weekend. What a treat. I cannot wait for these birthday celebrations. So put the dates in your diary and make sure you don't miss the Sentimentally Yours second anniversary birthday celebration shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. 
We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So if you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. Good evening everyone. It's six o'clock so that means the brand new launch of a very special one day special. I've got two lovely ladies joining me here tonight. Shall we say hello right from the offset? I'm going to go to my right and say good evening Ooh, Carol. Hello Catherine. Hello. hello. How are you? I'm fine thank You're you. You're looking very well. Thank you. Yes. Can't wait to see what you've got in store for us and of course we've got Hayley as well. Good evening Hayley. Hello. Hi. Do you know this is getting to be a little bit of a habit this isn't it? It is yeah. yeah. Isn't this your third one? One day special. Yeah. Oh gosh, and it is. Yeah, I've presented the first, the launch of each one so yeah. far. So yeah. what a delight! Now the two ladies, of course, are going to be demonstrating throughout, and we've got brand new products for you today. Let's have a look what we've got on offer for the one day special. We've got the gatefold dies for you. Now you have got choices here as well. These are beautiful. What do you think of gatefold? Straight away, I think you know two sides folded in a little bit. You know, if I dare say it, plain, but nothing plain about these. Aren't these absolutely? Stunning. I mean, we're looking at the most gorgeous samples here. Now, you've got different options, as I say, but straight away, if you're looking at the screen, you'll see that we've got a £13 saving for you as well. So a wonderful saving for everyone, and we've got Flexi available as well. We're just looking at just some of the gorgeous samples that we've got on offer. We've got new paper pads and everything coming up as well. Now, who's going to tell me all about the gatefold dies? Is it you, Hayley? <laughs> it could be me. <laughs> Um, so the original gatefold dies, we bought those, oh, well, we designed those and launched, oh gosh, about a year ago now, really? I think, and they were so popular, yeah. um, so we have bought a bit of stock back, so there's not as many of the older gatefold as there are the newer, um, but we wanted to do more of a floral collection, so these okay. are a bit more detailed, you've got all the lacy elements in there, in the oval, the heart and the... It's got sort of a plaque, I've called it, um, but you also get your outside edge, so you can do your shaped cards with these. You can do your half gatefold sort of cards, so you have got that half edge in there, and then you've got your decorative detail if you want to use that. You don't have to. Um, they do stay within the card stock. The heart doesn't, purely because the half of it, you can't make another heart with half of the heart, unless I you've see. got a second die. Um, but the oval obviously stays within the card as well. That really um, does like pure look like pure lace. It is. It? It's, it's so intricate. gorgeous. Yeah, and they they cut oh, really well as well. Garden. You know, considering how much detail there is, you won't have to put it through a million times. Um, we will demo these, but I think some of the boards are double sided as well. But you can see on there, I think that one's my favourite. The rose panel on there is just gorgeous. 
This one certainly is double-sided. Let's give that a little bit of a flip over for you as well. So you can really appreciate not just that beautiful panel in there, but look at the gorgeous detail on the edges of these dies as well. Let me just go back to the heart. I don't know if this one's double-sided. Now, that one's going to catch me out. That one's single-sided. <laughs> but the circles, let's just bring this in the oval, sorry, I should say. I really can't stop looking at that. That is just like a piece of antique lace. It really is. There we are on the other side as well. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And we've got the most gorgeous samples here as well. Ladies, have you done all the samples? We have, yes. Oh, you are clever. <laughs> Aren't you? you? You really are. Let me give you the details, though, because look on the screen there. We've mentioned the £13 saving. We're looking at the floral option at the moment. This is our newest option. I'm just going to try and bring in as many samples as I can. Of course, you've got your beautiful oval there. I can't get over that. That's going to make the most beautiful stencil as well, isn't it? it you spritz in through yeah. it. Yeah. How yeah, gorgeous. Then, of course, we've got the heart here as well. Now, the details are on the screen for you. We have got the original gatefolds for you as well. So we will be having a look at those. But if you've, you may not have seen those before either, but this is brand new for everybody today. Look at that. They work beautifully in conjunction with each other as well, don't you? You can they really do. mix it around. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, if you want to use them without the whole gatefold element, you can do that as well. Of course. Oh, that's pretty. So Mum thought that one looked a bit like a book. It does, doesn't it? In yeah. fact, I've spotted something. <laughs> I've, so I, I have my eye on this. I love anything that's in miniature. Look how sweet this is. Isn't this beautiful? Look, using the dies as pages for the book. So you've got that decorative element there going on. And the papers, of course, we will be having a close look at later. They are gorgeous. I recognise the stamp there as well. I've seen that before. 722377 is the item number. Let's have a look at those other dies, of course. So that was the floral option that we've just seen there. 10% of that has already gone. Wow. Let's have a look at the others, though. Now, the originals, Hayley did mention it there. We don't have as much stock of the originals, and already almost 20% of the day's stock has gone. That's the full 24 hour stock. This is the first time I've seen these. These might be the first time you've seen them. If you want to go for this particular option, I would say be very, very quick on it. £13 saving, £46.97, 722377. We do have the flexes for you as well. We've got the two payments of £23.49. Now, I'm just going to bring in the boards for the original collection as well. I'm going to check to see these are double-sided as well. Uh, this first one isn't, I've got to say. Now, again, and I'm holding these horizontally, but these work either way up, don't they, as well, Hayley? Yeah, they do, definitely. So I don't think as well that you've got to use the whole die. So you can actually create little edges with these as well, which we will see in some of the demos. But you can just move your die further down. So, you know, if you wanted to make a smaller plaque or something like that, I'll make sure I fit all my demos in. But you can do so much more than just the gatefold element of this. Beautiful. I can see pockets for your albums here as well again. Yeah. You know, with those beautiful shapes. Oh, that you shouldn't have seen that one. I just <laughs> <laughs> saw a glimpse of something like that. Oh, it's double-sided. No, it was just a number. It was just a number. Not to worry. There we are. And, of course, what we call, well, we don't call it waste anymore. Those little fallout pieces, very useful indeed as yeah. well. Now, they, they're really nice as pockets, I think. They are. And they're huge as well. You know, they are yeah. good sizes to make your card bases. So if you're just doing your square cards at the moment, maybe you want to change it up a little bit, just put that against your fold of your card and you've got a card beautiful. shape then. Oh, gorgeous. But we've got a lot to get through as well. We're busy already on those. Do you know which option you're going for? The original. Oh, half the stock of the original is gone. There are many of you that won't have seen wow. this before. Remember that. Let me just show you a few more finished samples as well. I'm just going to randomly pick up because they're all as beautiful as each other. Do you know there's some really pretty colours coming up as well? Do watch out for the papers we've got. Look at this. How beautiful is that? You, know, you can see there how the gorgeous shapes do work. So it doesn't have to be, as Hayley said, that it doesn't have to be a gatefold card. Let me show you this as well. Let's have a look at it. Look, this is definitely not a gatefold card, is it? Isn't this beautiful? How lovely. What a lovely little album. I mean, you could make notebooks, you could make uh, little photo albums, little scrapbooks as well. Do you know, the options are absolutely endless. And as always, we've got lots of other goodies for you available. But do you know what? We're very busy from the word go. Oh, uh, just hearing, do you know, almost two-thirds of the stock has gone of the original dies. Now, we've, we've checked, we've begged, we've pleaded, we've held Carol down. 
We've, we've tried everything, but we can't get any more stock of the original gatefold dies. This was our backup demos as well. Is it? Oh, <laughs> no. Maybe the floor. Oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> Hayley's looking rather worried, I can tell you, at this point as well. Oh, dear. Let's have a look what else we've got for you as well. I did keep mentioning the papers, didn't I? Wait until you see these. Oh, no. Another update for you. The original gatefold dies are now limited stock. Honestly, there's no more. We're not going to come back and say you can have some because there is no more for you. Right, the papers. Oh, these are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love the boards that the ladies put together for <laughs> us as well. Now, you've got three 8x8 eight eight pads here. These paper pads, beautiful, beautiful quality. Uh, gorgeous as well. Look at the designs here. I love how the ladies do these boards because you, you've got kind of a, a snapshot of everything. Now, you are getting three, so you've got different colour options. Well, not options because you're getting them all. But you've got those different colour palettes there. I've got to say, Carol, I'm absolutely loving this one with the almost apricot colours, the mint yeah. green in there. Yeah, you don't see a lot of those colours about, you know, and it is one of my favourite colours. It the, is the beautiful. The colour, yeah. It makes you feel all spring-like and it smiley, does. doesn't it? Love it. Very fresh colours. I've got to say, though, I, I, well, they're all beautiful, <laughs> but I've got a soft spot for this one as well because yeah. this is kind of your muted vintage colours in there as well. Do you know, you can stamp over the top, you can spray, you can die cut, you can shape, you can do all those different things. Wow, we are busy. 782412 is the item number. Almost a quarter of the papers have gone. Can I just check on the GSM of those ladies? 120. 120. 120. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. We were fighting to answer then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it was like having two very well I know that speakers question. either side of me there. Love it. Love it. When right. you get the blank look, Kathy, you just move to it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's move on again because we've got some stamps and we've got some dies for you as well. Now, these obviously correspond, you can see that. Love these, Hayley, because you're well known for your flowers, your dies, your stamping, you're stamping yeah. onto your papers as well. We've just seen those beautiful papers. You've got a lovely selection here, great sized flowers as well. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm terrified now <laughs> that I say the next thing. And these have been out before, but again, we've restocked, so we've not got as much stock of them as we would like. Oh. <laughs> and the allocated stock that we had, we sold out of. So this is the only place you can actually get okay. them. Sorry. Is, is this <laughs> another one when they're gone, they're gone? Um, they've gone at the, at the moment. At the if moment. there's enough demand, I can get them back, yes. Right, okay. So <laughs> I would say be quick, but we are busy on these already. You are shopping ahead. Almost 20% of the stock has gone. 29.99. You are getting 15 dies there. You're getting 15 stamps as well. I mean, obviously, you could use these individually as well, Hayley. You could stamp out and not bother die cutting. Yeah. You could just stamp and overlay. You, can, yeah. you could die cut with other papers you've got as yeah. well. And other... I love doing that. Yeah. I love that you don't have to have a stamped edge. You know because sometimes you're doing a white yeah. on white project and you don't want to put a stamped mark on there. You don't yeah. want to say use brown or black or something like that. So it's nice to just be able to do crisp white with dies if you I want totally to. totally agree. But the detail in there is just the right balance isn't it? You've got that gorgeous detail in there. A little bit of inking maybe. It's entirely up to you. Very busy on those. Eight five four five. Six, two. Now we've got some more dies. Now these are very pretty as well. These are really lovely actually. I have got a little board for you here as well. Let's have a look at the detail here. Now I've got two sides to this board as well. We will be showing you in a second. We're just looking at the dies there first of all. Now details on the screen again. Value for money again here just fourteen ninety nine for three dies. Now you've got, you can see by the board or the side of the board I'm showing now Hayley that you've got different options cutting into the card cutting out of the card, cutting also um, on the edge of the card. If yeah. I just flip this one around, how pretty is that? Yeah, so these ones, these were kind of like an afterthought because I kind of wanted them to work with the gatefold dies, but also these are completely standalone. Like you can do your decorative um, card shapes with these as well. Maybe if your budget doesn't stretch to the bigger bundle, this is a great way for you to do shaped cards with a smaller price tag on there. And it is literally a similar sort of gatefold um, concept, but you can put the edges and make it all decorative like that. That is so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And I can see you could paper piece here very easily as well if you wanted to. Yeah. Let me just bring in this one, the black, the white and the red together. I mean, that's a statement if ever I've seen one. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've got so many options here. This next one, actually, using what we would sometimes class again as the fallaway pieces there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I've put the um, paper pad pieces back in there and then I just thought it would be a really nice cover for a photo album or something like that. 
Absolutely gorgeous. And these papers, don't yeah. they just work beautifully with everything? They do. It really does that. scream oh. spring, this show. <laughs> oh, it really does. Oh, I've fallen in love with this colour scheme. $14.99, the three dies in total there, but you've got far more than three options of how you work with these. This is the set that you're looking at here. 334-321 is the item number. Now, something else that you are shopping ahead for. Mm, let's have a little look at what we've got now because... Right, okay. Details. Shades of Sparkle Ink and Re-Inkers have just come and gone. Uh, there we are. <laughs> there they are. There's the details. Oh, it's a happy hour deal. Oh, these have been popular before as well. If you haven't got yours, grab these. Look at the saving. £28 saving. Now, you've got the re-inkers there. Of course, you've got the ink pads. They have got that little bit of sparkle in there, haven't they, Hayley? They They're have. really, really pretty. And you can, you know, they're not just for stamping. You can paint with these. You can do yeah. lots of things, can't Absolutely, you? yeah. So they are dye-based, which means you can use your water brushes with them. And you can do a lot more techniques because you've got the solid ink as well as the ink pad. Obviously, treat them like normal ink pads as well. But you can do so much more than just stamping an image. You certainly can do. Grab yours today, £36.95. And 95 pence. It is a happy hour deal, so that price will only be relevant for this hour. But if you're going for the one day special, you can split the cost of those as well. Even though it's a happy hour, you can still add other things into your basket. Oh, right. Now then, I remember these. Look at what we've got here. Look at the saving on this one. Right, ignore limited stock. We're not, I know we're doing well, but it's not quite that well on this one yet. We'll just change the details there for you. Now, these, these were the last one day special, weren't they? They Amy? were, yes. And um, we did order a bit more stock for the one day special. So we, we've just got a bit of extra. And I was just thinking, well, I can use these for pockets on my journal that you can see I've been making. <laughs> I'm not really a journaler. So using these gatefold dies to make journals has been great. And these have got so many corner pieces and lots of decorative elements in there. They really have. They're absolutely stunning. There's some great inspiration on the front of the package. And in fact, I've just noticed the card that I've picked up. I can't really call that a card. It's such a <laughs> statement piece, isn't it? But that's on the front of the package in there. This is beautiful. I do remember from doing that show as well, Hayley, that you can, well, if, if you make these in the way that you were demonstrating on air, you can fold all of these flat, although they're really sort of yeah. big sort of statement pieces. They will go flat as well. Yeah, so you can pop... For instance, that card will go into an A4 envelope if you wanted to do it like that, or you could fold it down and make it into a 6x6 six six envelope. So you've not got to necessarily have something massive. And again, this one, like you say, it folds flat, so you can post them pretty easily, or you could gift them, maybe if you wanted to wrap them up in cellophane, treat it like a gift as well as a card. Now, I know this one will flip. Look at this one here. Look, absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, love those. Well, we can split this one down for you as well. You've got that £37 saving, three payments here. So if you are going for these and anything else is going in, you can split three ways. £44.99 is all you need to pay today. That's £37 saving. Now, if you're going for this and you are going for the one day special as well, it makes it £15.66 each pay payment because it's three payments, of course. It was two on the one day special, it's three on here, so the one day special, it's reducing down what you're paying right now. And then of course you can budget for the time ahead. 940-835 is the item number on those. If you missed out last time, then this is your chance to grab those. Now we do have something else to tell you about before we get to demonstration, and then it's there, look, right on the screen, I'm so pleased, because this is a great bundle for you. 12.99 is going to get you this collection of the eight pieces now I'm saying eight pieces you've got double-sided in there you've got the liquid glues or the PVA glues in there you've also got the low tack tape Carol haven't you yes low tack tape yes we've not done that before so that is very handy for putting your dies you know if you want to place them on your card before yeah. you cut them yeah wonderful and we've got sticky pads in there as well oh, yeah so to me that is an essential kit and you can get yours for 12 99 6399936 there we are. Oh, I'm getting an update. Oh, no. <laughs> Start panicking. Right, okay. The original dies, the gatefold dies, oh, they're very limited. Almost all of the stock, this is the original gatefolds. Lots of you have seen them for the first time. Almost all of the stock is currently in people's baskets. If you really want to secure them, check those baskets out. Now, the floral collection, that's the heart, the oval, and the rectangle with those beautiful panels in there. 
almost, oh no, almost 60% oh of the full 24-hour day's stock has gone. So I think we'd better go to demonstration before we sell out. Uh, Hayley, over to you. <laughs> I was just going to say, Lotta's so chilled in my ear. She's just like, oh, we'll go to demo then. <laughs> no panic. <laughs> right, so this is the card that we're going to make first off then. So I'm using oh, wow. the panel there to do what I would call the reason for these dies. Um, so it's... It's probably not really what you'd class as a gatefold, is it? You know what you say, you fold in the two sides. Yeah. But this is more of a, to me, a gate just means like a fold. Any sort of bits that fold together. So that's what we've got here. And we've used the half edge there to create this plaque in the centre and the decorative detail as well. So to create this card then, I've got my measurements for you. So I've got just a piece of paper here. So I've scored at two and a half, two and a half again, so five one inch, so six, and then two and a half again, which made it 8.5. stuff. So that is how I do these cards. And I just score the two middle lines at the top. I don't know if we can just see that crease. Coming in see. nice and close, Hayley. Oh, I can see it. There it is. Yeah, we can see it. <laughs> doesn't matter. I think I score about an inch down anyway, so that then we can join those two lines with the shaped edge piece. Okay hair off of there so then I would then just put these two together near those lines there and then just secure that with my washi tape so then that's going to mean that I've not got a score down of this plaque then and whilst we're doing that I'm going to pop my detail die on there as well just secure that for where it's going to go on this plaque and then we can run this through okay. and you'll be able to see it is really detailed and I've put it in the middle of the machine. I'm hoping it's going to go through and cut through the first time but failing that you can just rotate it round and then cut it through again. It's not Wonderful. a problem. And this is what it's going to create when it's completed. So it looks really complicated Hayley but it's not. It does and that detail there it just makes it so elegant doesn't it and like you say the lacy elegant detail is a really as well good word. yeah that oval for instance right right so it's not cut through perfectly i did put a shim in there as well so then all i would do is just rotate it around and put it through again but you can okay. see we have got a lot of that detail coming through there so i won't bother running it through again just so that we can see okay yeah lovely right so then we'll take this off and a lot of this detail like i say it has cut out You'll be able to just give it a, a knock out there. And then with this same die, I'd then just rotate it round like this and line it again oh, with see. my lines. Yeah. And then I've done it offset so I can pop flowers around here. But then you can build that up as much as you like. But like I say, they've okay. popped out. They're, they do come out really easily. Obviously, take your time at home. But yeah, I don't want to keep got wasting time on things, can. haven't we? As yeah, well. exactly. You know, Unfortunately, Hayley, you know, the days at the moment are not there where we can help with the pokey tool. We used to love doing that as presenters. We used to stand and poke all the bits out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't do it at the minute, unfortunately. Right. So I have got another demo of this for tomorrow, hopefully. Well, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful, but not very. Um, so I'm just using the papers there and I've, the way that I cut this panel then is I lay down my piece of paper around this outside edge. Okay. Line up my die and then take the paper away so that right. you can get that yeah. pattern there of um, the outline die. Okay. And then I'm just adding a bit of lace. I'm very busy on the papers as well, Hayley. I'm not surprised. The colour palettes are absolutely oh. beautiful. Yeah, Almost they are. a third of the stock has gone. You can split that into two payments, of course, if you're popping them in the basket with the one-day special, or three ways if you're going for the other collection. Right, so I've just popped some paper and some lace just down the two ends there, just because I wanted to tie that in with the nice, fancy um, panel there that we've got. So okay. then I'm going to use the designer floral stamps. And if you... I like to die cut first, because I find it easier then to die cut a lot at once rather than line it up with my stamp every single time. Okay. Now so, what you're doing here is such a good tip, isn't yeah. it, with lining, lining it once you die cut with your stamps as well. So if you've never seen this before, everybody, take notes. It is very clever. So I've saved this piece. So this is just a scrap piece of craft card that I had and I've cut my three sizes that I'm going to use out and then popped my die cut back in because like I say, I like to die cut first because I can put through four or five different layers, yeah. <laughs> rightly or wrongly, and get 
all my flowers done at once and then I can go back in and stamp this way because sometimes it can be quite time consuming especially like when we're prepping demos and things I'm sure you realize that if yeah. you're stamping every single one and lining your die up every single time yeah, it's totally agree. Off. Sometimes I just like to have a few hours just die cutting and nothing else, you know, so I've got bits and pieces ready. And I think when you've got new collections like this, it's nice to cut out everything or stamp everything out so you can really see what you've got to play with before yeah. you sort of start on a project. That's it. Love the detail there. Yeah, I love, love the stitching on these ones. There's something about little bits of stitching. It does makes me happy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. And though, again, the papers are just gorgeous. Right, so I'm putting the three of these together. And I'm just going to concertina fold these petals there. And this right. really lends itself to the frilling sort of technique there because it's got a frilly edge. Yeah, but it's, it's easy to do. We can see that. And you've got those three yeah. layers together there where it makes such a difference. I'm just going to take this opportunity to let everybody know how busy we are on the phone lines. It's getting busy and busy at the moment. Currently on the phone lines, we've got about five minutes waiting time. If you can use the website or go to the app, that's the quickest route. The original gatefold dies are all in baskets. Now I do know, I get this and this is true, we don't make this up, we do know that some people are popping things in the basket, probably thinking about other things going in there as well, and then the basket's timing out. That's when things jump back out. If you want to secure, especially the first, the original dies, because there is no more when they're gone, they're gone, please check those baskets out. Keep refreshing your baskets because you might think, you might think that everything's there and then suddenly it's not. So refresh those baskets and anybody that looks like they're going to miss out, keep those fingers poised just in case and they do bounce back. Right, Hayley. Right, so I'm just layering up some of the smaller flowers. In the um, very vintage paper pad, you do get this it's gorgeous like um, brown sort of colour, but it's got the music script over the top. So I don't know if you can even see oh. it. We might be able to see it on the actual pad. But you yeah. can see it's got like a gradient yeah, to we it. Can. Yeah. And it is, it's really pretty. So all I'm doing with these, instead of frilling all of them, I'm just gonna crease them down the center. Okay. And that way we'll definitely get a second demo in. <laughs> Right, just in case anybody's wondering, Carol is still at the side of me. She's very quiet, but she's still here. There she is. There she is. Just don't like to leave her out at all. <laughs> all right, honestly. All right. <laughs> so I'm just popping this third one into the centre there. I have offset the petals a little bit as well, um, just so we've got that raised frill there. And then okay. just lifting up the petals. Okay, hey, perhaps a third of the stock ones. gone, everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> busy busy start very <laughs> um, on the original as well the card I picked up a bit of the roses there with the sparkle inks I don't know if we can see that it is very pale um, but you can obviously then pick up all the oh, roses yes, can see. so you can just oh, see a little hint of lilac and green on there yeah just to tie in with those flowers gorgeous wow right so I'm not going to do that on this card but I am going to add the flowers on okay. in the same sort of way don't miss out on that happy hour deal for the sparkle, the shades of sparkle and the ink and re-inkers. It's a whole collection. You are saving £28. Almost half the stock has gone. £36.95. That price will go up at the end of this hour. I don't know that there'll be any left though because half the stock has gone. Do not miss out on these. 826028. Oh, just as Hayley's gluing as well, can we just tell you about the storage? We did see this. I remember Carol, in fact, she's got one at the side of her right now. Don't miss out on this as well. Pop this into your basket if you're going for the inks. 999. This comes ready cut for you. You just build it together. You can decorate, but it's going to house not only the re inkers, but also those ink pads as well. This is really, really clever, and what a great price at just 9 99 Do you know what? If you're buying this as a gift for someone as well, I would want that on my desk because it keeps everything organised. But I think as a gift with the inks and the pads in there as well, somebody's going to be very, very happy, aren't they? 418-936 is the item number. That is such a lovely idea, Carol, isn't it? It is. It's amazing because you can keep everything tidy on your desk. This sits at the side of me when yeah. I'm working at home or out. To, at work but you've got like your little bits that you can so they don't jig about a deal you know it's so do you know yeah. i love as and well it just slides in and i'm sure this was part of the design this will have been thought about but it's a point that i would make because the depth is just right so you can see the top of the bottles and you can see the colors there without yeah. it just sort of being sunk down too far That's so all right. you're getting is the white lids yeah love yeah. it 
That's it. Love it. Wonderful stuff. 418936. <laughs> Back to Hayley. Right, so I've just popped all my flowers on there and I'm just going to add a little bit of the dinky ink. It's just around the edge of this um, plaque here that we've done the edging with. So I'm just using a door, but obviously you can use your ink blending sponges or your brushes or things like that if you want to. But I'm just adding a little bit of ink just around the edge there. Lovely stuff. So I was just going to pick that up a little bit and just raise it away from the pale pink in the background. And we can see how beautifully those flowers are holding because you shape them as well there, Hayley. 120 yeah. GSM, the paper, but it shows how strong that, that yeah, paper is. Yeah, absolutely. It does really hold the creases, so you're not going to make them and then them just fall flat again. No. Right, so I'm just using one of the sentiments. This says, Happiness Blooms From Within. So this is in the Happiness Blooms stamp collection. Nothing. So I'm just going to trim this down. Can just trim along the edge. I would do this with my trimmer at home, but I've only got scissors to hand. So, oh, <laughs> and if it's not that perfect, straight, it? it'll be fine. And again, a right. little bit of ink just to tie everything in. Yeah, it, it really lifts it away from the white of the cardstock. Then, so then we can just pop this. Oh, that really is an elegant card, isn't it? Isn't it is. Beautiful. I also want to say as well, you know, the adhesive bundle with the foam tape just open the new of mine um it's really handy and it doesn't um stick to your scissors either oh nice so as you take your scissors away it does just literally peel away oh, so i know bonus. a lot of people have a lot of trouble with foam tape that sticks and it ruins your scissors doesn't it it does <laughs> and there we That's go good. so oh, i've added a few little so butterflies pretty. look at this I adore I love that the colour scheme. A wedding invite or something. Can you imagine that, if you just did that as a wedding invite? You know, it works so beautifully. I mean, everything about that, and I adore the lace that you put. It just ties in with the papers, ties in with the dyes. It is beautiful. There we go. Oh, what a lovely first demonstration there from Hayley. Now, let's have a recap of the one day special. Now, the original bundle has gone. Uh, oh, well done, those that got it. That's all I can say. We do still have, of course, the floral bundle. Now, we will show you this because it is brand new, so nobody's seen that before. Two-thirds of the new bundle has already gone. This is the launch show, remember. This is from our 24-hour stock. So this is your time to start checking those baskets out. Let's have another look at the new dies. Now, you have got two payments of £23.49. and pence. I will show you the double side where it... Uh, it needs to be shown. I still can't get over that. That, to me, looks like you've got a proper doily or a piece of lace that you've just cut. I adore the border, Carol, on that as well. Yeah, it's so it's, pretty. Yeah, it is. It's really pretty. Really pretty lace effect. It's the same as you say, if you stencil through that or spritz through it, it would be amazing. It really Or you will. could just colour your little bits of flowers on there. Very true. Very, very true. Now, of course, you've got three sets of dies here. This is the reverse of the board I've just shown you. So we're still looking at one die set at the moment. And remember, it might say gatefold, but these are no ordinary gatefolds, and they don't have to be gatefolds at all. Let me just give that a spin round so the heart's the right way up. You see, again, I can see that heart being used as a beautiful little pocket as well. Yeah. Yes, really, it would, wouldn't it? Really, yeah, it would, definitely. Oh, that one's not got anything on the other side. <laughs> but this one, look at the detail on the edging of this one again. And that beautiful panel there with the roses. Do you know, everything's been thought about for you. All you need to do is get your die cutting machine out, get your cardstock and away you go. Maybe just add in the paper pads though, if you haven't already done so, because I just think they're a marriage made in heaven. Let me just move those uh, boards for a little while. Let me show you a few more samples again. We've got some beauties around the studio as well. Now, I am going to take this opportunity, as I'm showing you these as well, just to say there will be other things on the website that we've not even mentioned yet, such as the adornments. They are beautiful. We often see, I think Carol's got some of the adornments, the natural ones, but we're looking at the dies at the moment. Let me just bring that in a little bit closer. Again, using those papers, the very, very pretty um, colour palettes that you've got there. Another one in the same sort of colours as Haley's just used there. I, I'm really loving this colour scheme. Look at that. Again, a clever way of using the dies, Carol. That's it. So that one's on the fold. Um, that that flaps over, which same as you say, you can use those in your journals and things. Yeah, you know, and pop a little pocket in there as well, and definitely portrait way as well as yeah, um, definitely 
horizontally, the landscape way as well. And of course, you, any colours go, anything works. It really does. Look at this one as well. How pretty is this? But those gorgeous paper pads that we've got on offer today, they really are very, very pretty indeed. So don't miss out. Now, if you're going for the one day special, the details are there for your £13 saving. Two payments of £23.49, and pence seven two two three seven seven. I am just going to let you know again, refresh those baskets. If you're leaving things sat in those baskets, they may have a tendency to jump out. You might not even realise it. Refresh the baskets. Make sure they're there. Don't risk it if you want the one-day special. Two-thirds of what we've got left, because we've already had a sellout, two-thirds is already gone. That's on the new gatefold dies across those beautiful florals. Now, on the website, everything is there, including the stamps that Haley was just telling us about. We've got all the dies and everything. The paper pads are there. The endowments will be there. The happy hour will be there somewhere as well. Do make sure that you're having a look at everything. Don't forget about your essentials as well. You've got your glue bundle there. All oh, the storage with the happy hour. Don't miss out on that. Five star reviews on that one. That's such a neat little idea, that one. The bundle, look at the saving on that bundle. If you missed out on the last time's one day special, wow look at the freedom saving here that freedom price has come right down to 121 pounds and 46 pence these dies are absolutely amazing as well what you will create with these will just blow everybody's socks off originally those dies were 42 pounds and 99 pence so do the sums yourself add them up if you want them individually they're there but of course with the bundle you're saving lots of money also the embossing folders are absolutely gorgeous I love the packaging of dreamers as well how pretty is that so do have a look at those but do you know what we're gonna put the other lady to work next Carol oh Matter. It's your turn. <laughs> right, so we're going to create this card now then. So this is using the floral edges and some of the MDF embellishment sheets, what we've got. Oh, how we pretty is that? We should have those on, uh, on the website. So first of all, I'm just going to cut these out just so you can see them. Okay. Um, the MDF, is that the bundle where, is it a pick and mix where you can I think the it sheets? is still yeah, a pick and mix, Yeah, do have a look, there's yes. lots to choose from. Oh, there's from. loads, yeah. I think it's, yes, I think it's there three of the A4 there. embellishment sheets. Yeah, well worth a look, actually. You get yes, a lot I'm for your money. Put this through. Uh, $9.99 for any three. Yeah, and they are really amazing. They're, they're two mil, but that's all you need for your card. Of course. You know, they, they are nice to just pop on your cards. And you've packed out every single sheet there, Carol. There's no <laughs> yeah. waste whatsoever. You're lucky if you can pick three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to, as long as it's no. multiples of three. You That's can it, yeah, more. exactly. Right, so this is what I wanted to just show you, this one cut out. So, obviously, I've cut this like this, so you could leave it in your card if you wanted to, okay. or cut it out, or that would be your edge. So, that is the floral edges. Lovely. And then I have just cut a couple of flowers out, which are the designer... Designer florals are these, yeah, designer florals. So just because I'm going to be using these, so I thought I'll show you them actually cut out. Dead easy. You have got your stamps as well to go with those. So, you know, uh, if you wanted them stamped, okay. that's fine. Right, so what I've done here, I've done this already. So I've cut my edge. So what I did oops, was the edge along the card. Right. This okay, might be yeah. the other side of it, but yeah. And then on my paper... I've cut the edge and the detailed bit. So then this is going to mat onto there. But also, I was thinking, if you wanted to leave that little bit of an oh, edge I on quite purple. Like that, you know. Do you like yeah, it like, I that? Don't like that? Right, we'll go like that then, Catherine. Okay. We'll go for so, the. Actually, that brings me to a question then, Carol. If you're cutting the edge to your paper, is it advisable to have your paper bigger than you will need it? Decide where you're going to place that and then trim away. That's what I've done, yeah. And oh. like with this, I did leave an edge over there, which I've just cut off. But now we've decided to put it a bit further up. We'll just need to either cut that off oh, or you can... Oh, I it up for you. Sorry? You can do no, it your way no, if you like. No, it's fine. I was just thinking that would look nice, actually, like that. So, yeah, I don't mind, Catherine. We can... well, I'm trying to save your work, Carol. No, no, it's all right. Don't. Don't feel bad, Catherine, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to use the go-to glue now, just so it gives me a little bit of a bit of a wiggle time sooner than the uh, tape. Obviously, you couldn't put your tape through it. I think you can get other adhesives, can't you, that cut through the, the dies if you wanted to. 
So just pop some glue on there. Oh, I'm so glad you've not got talk back on a near piece in Carol. Oh yeah. Oh, are they, they're not talking about me, are they? No, they're not are talking they, about you. Are they saying I'm silly? <laughs> You're not talking about Hayley either. Oh, right. We'll leave it there oh, then. floor manager. We'll There's leave only it. one other person left. It could be. What have you done wrong now, Catherine? I Is don't it... know. <laughs> I don't know, Carol. <laughs> well, the floor manager's <laughs> laughing, so... Oh, dear. It's normally me that has to go through that, but... Don't worry about it. Right, oh. so we've just decided then to put that that way. And don't forget, because I'm doing it that way, obviously it will stand up that way. But if you wanted it that way, going down the, the side oh, of the card as well. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going to trim this off now, just so we've got it level. If I'd have left it longer, you could turn it round on that side if you wanted to. Right, so we'll just get our layers on then. So what I'm going to, I've just got some lilac card. And then this paper, mind you, you do get all three, don't you? So it doesn't really matter. But this is the tender teal one. Which, I mean, oh, if, I, like I, if I say it's my favourite, they're all, they're all so lovely, aren't they? Oh, you know, so? I, I thought I'd picked a favourite, but it does change depending on yeah. you know, what we see happening in front of our eyes, the different samples. And I think sometimes the mood you're in as well. That's it. Good. It is, isn't it? Right, so just lay that onto there. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of the double-sided tape over here just to pop a little bit of ribbon on okay now don't forget about that adhesive bundle you're getting an awful lot for your money only 12.99 double-sided tape you've got the sticky pads in there two glue bottles and also oh the low the low tack as well is in there don't forget yeah that's dreamies uh, haven't done that before no eight we pieces haven't. in total that's there it is that's everything you're getting six three nine nine three six Right, so then oh, we nice just a little bit of ribbon there. Yeah, just yeah. to add that little bit. I know you don't see much of it, but time you've put your layers on, but we know it's there, don't we? That's right. a good way of using up any little scraps. It you know, is, because you could just do a little bit well. that end and yeah. a little bit that, couldn't you? Yeah, so I'm just using this as the border, if you like, of one of the oh, papers, so we can that? just see that along there. And then I've got my umbrella MDF, and nice. I have covered this already. I've used the go-to glue, which is more than ample to cover that, and then I just... Uh, trim around it with my scissors and then a nail file but whatever your preferred thing is to okay. file your paper back and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of faux stitching on there and then these two will just mat on top just to give it more of a 3D effect on there. I love how you've coated with the opposite paper as well so you've gone with those dots on the umbrella itself. And That's it, yeah, yeah. With the floral and that will really stand out well. That's it. I am going to use the hot glue just onto here just so it will grab quickly. Okay. So just spring that round and you can see where it's going to go because you've got a little bit on the top of the umbrella as well. Yeah, easy to little, line it up. Yeah. And you do get quite a few sheets in there as well that, you know, a few sheets, a few umbrellas in there that you can make all these different things. Right, so just move that over there and then I'm just going to pop oh, this. That makes such a difference, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Just that couple of layers on there. Then just pop a little bit of a bow on there. Oh. But you could put a pearl in there as well because I think we've got pearls on the show as well. They'd be lovely for a baby shower. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Just hold that onto there. Oh, how sweet. Right, and then we're just going to put some of the adornments, same as you said, the natural adornments. So in here you get the sisal and I believe the green moss and the natural moss. Okay, we will bring the details up for you. Well worth, again, popping these into your basket. You'll use these on your home deck or pieces, your cards and everything. Again, only twelve ninety nine. You've got your natural moss in there, your green moss in there and your white fibre as well. The thing is, once you start using that, Catherine, you can't do a card without it. It's just something that you just have for your fillers. Yeah. It's it's just amazing. Right, so we've got that onto there. And then we'll just do the sentiment while we're going. So this is from the Blooming... Is it Happiness Blooms? Happiness Blooms collection, this stamp set. I've got the stamps here, actually. It's the one with quite... It's that one. There, look. Oh, one. you've got your copy. Right, okay. Yeah. We're just watching you at the moment, Carol, yeah, but we'll fine. show everybody. In fact, we've got a still of these to show everybody. That might be the easiest way. There you are. 
Beautiful. 15 stamps in total amongst those three sets. Now, these are lovely because you've got kind of the focal points of the larger stamp terrace. Those little butterflies that Hayley used as well are in the one with the Wellingtons. This is the one I think that Carol's using at the moment. Yes. All three of those, £9.70. That's where those bees came from that I spotted as well. £29.97. Lovely sentiments involved in there as well. Lots of different texts and different size texts. Something for all occasions. 769967. Right, so we're just adding the sentiment on here now then. So I've just mapped and layered that onto some more of the lilac card. And then we're going to create our flowers. So I've done two already, just to save a little bit of time. So I'm just using two of the, I don't think this is the largest one. I think there is another one larger okay. than that in this design. But you do get your three, like three yeah. designs in that uh, collection as well. Um, Right, so I'm just going to twist these just with my tweezers, just get the tweezers down to the centre there of each petal. Ah, now that's interesting because you're using tweezers, Hayley used the fingertips so you can get different effects using tools or oh, yeah. how you do yeah, it then. Yeah, that's right and we do like to make different flowers shall we say yeah. but obviously these are three petalled which just brings it back to a six petal if, you, if you're doing it like this. But obviously you could use them in just your three petals or whatever you prefer. Lovely stuff. Right, so I'm just going to pop those into there. I am using the hot glue now just for quickness. Now with the stamps and the matching dies, almost half of the stock has gone. You are getting 15 dies and 15 stamps. Use them together, use them independently. But you've got an awful lot to play with here for 29 99 854 562 Again, think about splitting the cost if you're going for the one-day special or our other collection where you've got a three-way payment as well. Always worth splitting things down. Make it a little bit easier if you've got the opportunity. Right, so we're just going to get some more of the little bit of sisal under under where the flowers are going to go so I'm just going to pop those on that side okay and then we can add some moss in once we've got our flowers on I will pop a little pearl in here as well oops do we have the pearls available as well you do they should be on I, I think they are might they be end of, end of call I think they are Catherine yeah okay. there's a set of three the the AB white, oh, nice. AB pink and the plain mushroom. Oh, have a look when you check your baskets out or speak to the operator. Of course, end of call options, there's no extra postage. Even if you're not a Freedom member, you don't have to add um, anything else. We might be able to show you those in a little while, I'm not sure. We are going to be able to show you that. There we are. We have got the pearls there at the bottom, you can see there. Uh, oh, right, okay, we've just <laughs> spotted something. Look, the faux pearls have got glue next to them and the, <laughs> the glue has got pearls next to them. Somebody <laughs> has got the pictures mixed up. Uh, so make sure you're ordering the one with the text that's correct rather than the picture. We'll see if we can get that sorted out for you. Right, so we're just adding these flowers onto here now. And we will pop a little bit. I'm using the natural moss because with this teal, I don't feel that the darker green is the right colour for me yeah, for I'm this. Yeah, with that actually. I think that works beautifully. Yeah, it it's a bit of a natural colour. But also what I have done in the past is use my dinky inkies to colour this. Oh. So you can just put your ink pad on there if you wanted it a bit more grey or something like that. That's a good and idea. And also with the darker green, well I say darker green, the green moss, you can make it darker with adding your yeah. slate and things like that from the dinky inkies. Oh lovely, so even options with the natural products there Oh as yeah, well. yeah. I've got to remind everybody at that happy hour actually because I know it's been very very busy but it will go up, the price will be going up. Was it £28 saving on this? Let's bring the details back so we can just check this. So you've got your Shades of Sparkle, the Ink and the Reinker collection. Yes, £28 saving for this hour. Do not miss out on this, 826028. Don't forget about the MDF storage to house everything as well. They all fit perfectly. Keeps everything nicely compacted at the side of you where you're working as well because the footprint isn't enormous, but it houses absolutely everything you need. 999 there, 418936. Right, so the little sprigs I've just used there, they are from the Fancy Florets collection. Okay. So you get your flowers, your stamps, your dyes, and some sprigs in two sets of those. Um, and then I'm just going to add some pearls just in the centre of these flowers here. Just oh, nice. to add that little bit of a bling there. Because yeah. it, it's screaming like it wants something there, whether you do a pearl or you do it in a different colour, you know, colour it in or something like that. 
but obviously if you want to leave them plain you can do. Okay. Now everybody's been shopping ahead for that collection, the 15 stamps and the 34 dies when it comes to the fancy florets stamp and die collection. Flexi on this one as well, two payments of £22.50 and, and almost 20% of the stock has gone. Right, and then what we'll do, just to finish off, we'll just put three little pearls just in this corner. Just to add a little bit more detail up there as well. Love those little pearls. Oh, the, yeah. Again, it's these little add-ons, isn't it? You know, your embellishments that really finish your card off. How so pretty. There we go. So that one is the one with a little bit of a layer on the bottom. And that's the one as I'd done originally Aww. with. So, you know, just a little bit of variation oh, there as well. Those. They are so, so pretty, aren't they? Now, of course, the floral edges have been used there. You can go for those. A set of three dies for fourteen ninety nine. Gorgeous. And, of course, the MDF. Now, there are so many different options there with the MDF. Do have a look on the website. There's a pick and mix of any three for nine ninety nine. Seriously, these sheets have been sort of packed out. And even the, the background piece, you can break that up and use it as supports if you want. Or maybe use it as a stencil if you want to spritz through it as well. Great bundles to look at. Right across the board, actually, everything's busy as well. Now, let me just give you a final recap of the one-day spe special for now, and then we'll get back to Hayley. Now, one or two of the originals, you didn't check those baskets out, have bounced back, and we're talking a minimal amount. So if you missed out, this is your opportunity. It's going to be a fight for these, I think. So do check your baskets out straight away. If you want the originals, that's the ones we're looking at right now. One or two of bounce back, 722377. That is the original, but the floral option, extremely busy. Over 70% of the full day stock has already gone. These are absolutely gorgeous. So delicate. You know, you've got that beautiful detail in there. You've got that lace effect in there. You know, we're talking about gatefolds, but we're talking about much more besides as well. Even if you just want to take out or take snippets of that lace there, it would be absolutely beautiful. Do you know, there are some gorgeous samples here using the flowers and the papers as well, of course. Those beautiful colours together. Do you know, it's endless what you're going to achieve with these. Oh, I've just spotted a really pretty blue one. I don't think I showed this. Can I just quickly sneak this one in? <laughs> just because those colours have really, really caught my eye. How pretty is that? And you can see the adornments in there as well. Don't miss out on those. Right, we have got enough time to get head back over to Hayley. So we're going to get a third demonstration in. So Hayley, if you're raring to go. Yes, I'm good. Wonderful. Um, you really do have like a mind reading streak. Oh no, don't. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> have I done it again? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's um, an easel card that you picked up and I'm actually doing one like it next. So this is going to be an easel card <laughs> with the shape. <laughs> Oh, so it was the blue one. I didn't actually open it out, so nobody no, else realised. <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll get finished, so I will just build up the topper, and if we okay. do get further, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to use one of the embellishment sheets. So I've got my rose panel. So this is um, from the plaque, floral plaque, and I've just die cut around the edge there just to add the little frame. So I've got a mint green frame around that, so you do get all the elements to build this in the die set. And I'm just popping a little bit of the sisal on there. Okay. And then I've got a mushroom. So this is one of the MDF embellishments. And I've just covered the bottom half of it just using the paper pads. And I'm just going to pop this onto the centre of here. So I've not covered the top because we've got an overlay piece. Ah, so this right. is going to okay. overlay yeah. over the top there, just showing the little um, holes of the mushroom on the top there. So again, I've just covered behind, you can see, on the paper, and I've just laid this over the top. I do use hot glue, but you can use whatever, really. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you use... Well, um, many people be going for the glue bundle as well, and you get two pots of glue yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So now that I've got this, I'm just going to use some of the floral edges. So these are the little leaves that are in there, and I think these make really nice sort of like fillers around here. So I'm just going to pop some around the mushroom. They're really useful.